Hey everyone, my name is Will. I'm with the RV Wholesaler Service Department, and today we're going to be going over how to turn on the gas and electricity portions of your water heater. So, to start out with, you're always going to make sure you have water in the unit. Obviously, you could crack this open to make sure you have some water pressure. Water will come out. Close her up. Now, uh, to turn on the electric portion of this water heater, what you're going to do is you're going to open up your cover here. Look right down here to the bottom corner. You're going to have an on and off switch right underneath here. That's going to be for your electricity only. So these are two separate systems. You can run both at the same time if you'd like, but this right here is just for electricity. We'll go ahead and head on to the inside. All righty, now the propane side of a uh, DSI um, water heater is always going to be on your panel. If it is manual light, obviously you'll write light that on the inside or outside, sorry. So right here, you're gonna see uh, your water pump there and your water heater button. What you do is you click that water heater button on. You have your FLT, your uh, fault light here. If this does experience any issues, um, that will illuminate, it will not light. When that goes off, you know you're lit. If you have any other questions, just give us a call at 877-877-4494. Hey, this is Kelly with RV Wholesalers. Today we're going to show you how to start your propane system so you can utilize your appliances. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to pull this tank cover off of here. We're going to take off this existing tank. Now keep in mind, if you had gas in there already, we wouldn't be switching this out. But for this video purposes, we're going to switch the tank out for you. Now you can see on this regulator as well, it has the red eyes. That means it's out of propane. And this arrow is pointed to this side, so it's gonna pull from this tank first. You always wanna run both tanks open, so then if it runs out of this tank, the one it's pointing to, it'll automatically switch over to this tank. Then when you come out in the morning, you'll see that this eye is red, and you know that that tank ran out. Then all you do is take this, switch this over, and it'll pull from this one. You can see it turns to green, okay? So I'm pull this one off of here. this tank on here purpose of the video screw that on there make sure it's good and tight open that up switch to this tank that eye is going to turn green okay so the first thing you want to do is come inside the unit and you want to turn the burners on on the stove click those until it fires and see this is the whole point of the lighten this up because what you want to do see how that takes a little bit for that to fire up there's a lot of air bubbles in the gas line so by starting this stove up and letting that run for about 10 seconds 10 15 seconds what that's going to do is it's going to purge the lines you can hear the air in the lines right now once you have good flames all the way around then you'll know that basically all the gas bubbles are out, or all the air bubbles are out of the lines so you want to let that run for about 15 seconds and then you can shut that off if you just put the propane bottles on and then you go to say run your refrigerator on gas or light the furnace or light the water heater a lot of times it's not going to work and then you're going to wonder well man do i have a faulty part in my refrigerator faulty part in my water heater no nine times out of ten it's there's an air pocket in the line but that's the number one key to having everything run efficiently as far as your appliances your water heater on gas, refrigerator on gas, furnace on gas, those types of things. You need to purge the gas lines before you do that. So this is a very key video for you to watch. If you're just starting out, just learn how to use your camper, or if it's been in storage for over the winter and you're going to get it out in the spring, put those bottles on there, come to your stove, purge the gas lines before you start the refrigerator, water heater, and furnace. If you have any questions, give us a call, 877-877-4494. We'll answer any questions for you. Thanks.
Hey guys, David McCrary here. You may know me from such things as the virtual RV show that you're watching right now. <laughs> um, about a week and a half ago, the folks at RV Wholesalers and I came up with an idea. Here's what we're doing. My wife and I, Berthy, she's sitting right here running the camera so we're being safe. I call her Berthy, her name's Tabitha. But we are going to stay in an RV for a couple nights. Something we've never done. We are not RV owners yet. We thought, what better way for somebody who's interested in owning an RV to see what it's really like than to live vicariously through me and my wife for a couple days. So that's what we're doing. We're headed out right now. Uh, it won't be anything fancy. We gotta, we'll have a bunch of these videos, but it's just me, Berthy, and the cell phone shooting some fun video and kind of discovering what it's like to camp in an RV. Let's have some fun. Hey, there you are. <laughs> hey guys, David, and this is Berthy. That's my wife, Tabitha. I call her Berthy. Uh, we found our trailer. We're gonna go inside and take a look right now. Are you excited? Sure. All right, let's go look. <laughs> oh, this is awesome. That's the back. This up here is the front. This this one has, I looked online, this one has two bathrooms. That's the that's the bedroom. And you know what they say, if this trailers are rocking, then there's probably a strong wind. It's not funny. Well, they slide, they slide. Oh. Look at that, get in there, Berthy. Shoes on and all. Look, and you're you're six foot one and don't even come close. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> She's not six foot one. <gasps> Look at there. Mirrors. Your favorite thing, yourself. Oh, it's hysterical. And this is the kitchen. So we've got a microwave. We will put that to good use. Look at this, Berthy. I love I these saw things. That. I know, it's very cool. Do you do it? Can you do it? Look at that. I can do it. I can do it. No, not both of them at the same time. <sighs> There's a stove. Look at this big refrigerator. I know. You know how to use one of those? Yeah, you don't. <laughs> Two bathrooms. Two bathrooms in this RV. I don't think you got the toilet in the other one. You, just you want me to show the toilet? So there's a shower. And there's a toilet. There's no real rest but I'm trying to think do they do you ever rest your back when never. you're when you're in there never never normal people don't so I probably won't need a backrest no okay so you got a couch here there's a TV turn that on a little bit <coughs> the table it's an awful low table <laughs> it rises that's a bed right now it's a bed right now? Yeah, you put those other cushions there, make it a bed, and then put it back and you pull the legs out. What makes you think you know how this works? I've been reading the instructions. Where, show me, point to them. Right here. Well, not really instructions, but. Oh, yeah. You don't have to be a brain surgeon to figure that out. See, I, I feel like there's some tension going on here, Berthy. Oh. Hey, did you see the, the bunk beds back here? In this room? I did. Your goal this weekend is to not end up sleeping in one of those bunks. Hmm. Yeah, you, you'll sleep in one of these bunks. You know what? If I sleep in one of these bunks, it'll be less snorry. Yeah. And lonely and sad. <laughs> the very first RVP just happened right in there.
Hey guys, welcome to the show. I'm David Durnell from RV Wholesalers. This is our second virtual RV show, and this is? Just, I, just go. I can't. <laughs> I told him not to wear the helmet. We're driving like 10 feet. The man has to wear a helmet. No, but seriously, welcome to the... You're like a bad episode of The Masked Singer. Seriously, it's hard to work with this guy. Uh, thank you for coming to the RV show. We just want to uh, thank a lot of our sponsors. We've got uh, Vibe, Wildwood FSX, uh, Elkridge, Zinger, Cameo, uh, Cyclone, Wildwood x uh Wildwood DLX, Rockwood. Man, so many, it's, it's hard to name them all at one time. Are you getting close? Yeah. And uh, not only do we want to thank all of our sponsors, but I also want to uh, say a special thank you to the guys at uh, Virtual RV Show for making us look really, really good. I think, I, Tim, let's go through them. I, I think I might have missed one or two. I got those guys. Uh, oh, Windsport. We didn't think Windsport, Bighorn or Cyclone, Wildcat, Cardinal, FR3, Nomad we got. I did my job. Solaire we forgot. Columbus, Heritage Glen, and... Yo, I'm out of breath. <laughs> Are we going back? Let's just... We're done, yeah. Okay. Oh my God, he put it back on. All right. Where are we going? Over I'm there? Out. Yeah, go over there. I'll go over there. The helmet's probably pretty warm today, huh? It's warm. It's warm. And I, I couldn't get the helmet off. Huh, how you doing, Kelly? Good, how are you? I'm all right. We, uh, we drove from there to there, and I felt necessary to wear a helmet with David driving. Yeah, I, I've been there. Yeah, yeah, it's scary. Yeah. So uh, it's been like, uh, what, a month since we've done this? Outside. Yeah. You ready to get back into it? I'm, I'm ready. Let's do it. We have 10 minutes per trailer. Awesome. All right. So the first one here I'm going to show you is a Wildwood. It's a 36 VBDS. Okay. Now this one is pretty sweet floor plan. So you have living area up in the front so if you want to do two couples you can do that because you're gonna get a full bed in the front full bed in the back or if you have kids you can do change this into bunks it's just a pretty sweet layout it does have the versa lounge which is kind of their claim to fame on this floor plan it makes into beds it makes into dinettes it makes into couches it makes into all kinds of stuff all this and it has a big patio door has a sec second entrance in the back so it's a very sweet floor plan let's come in here and check it out power awning all led lights you step in this coach it's just you're gonna see it's an awesome floor plan fireplace okay it kind of gives you all the bells and whistles so it has a nice setup in here which is the versa lounge because a lot of people like to be sitting down on the couch like this which is nice this will all make into a bed as well i'm gonna have you showing this poster here in just a second or we can pull this out set it over here facing that way then you have the dinette, point. Have so it gives you best of both uh, worlds there, okay? Their, uh, if you take a look at that picture right there on that, take a look right here so you can kind of see what all it does. So you're going to get the Versa Lounge, you're going to get the lounge there, makes into a dinette, the Chase Lounge, and a full bed. So this coach right here, I mean, technically you could sleep a small army in here if this you wanted to. This is cool. To. Yeah, I, this no, is we awesome. didn't see this last time. Nope. Brand new floor plan this year. So these will both lay down. So you have an L-shaped bunk here, full-size bed down here. Now the sweet thing it is, you lift up on that handle. This will make into a couch in here as well. So if you have kids, they want to relax in here, play video games, what have you, full access. And it has a hard door, not a curtain, a hard door that you can pull across to shut this area completely off, give the parents privacy, the kids privacy. They can act all crazy in here. Do you think but, we should put a bed down so people can yeah, see? Yeah, pull one down, us? pull one down. It's on struts, so you can just... So does this one go down yeah, first? Yeah, you can just pull that one down just okay. so they can see. Very easy, and then that other one will pull, so you got the whole L shape. Oops. That one actually goes down first, but oh, that's Oh, I all see right. now, I see. There's a little edge, There's but you can see, it. so you have L shape, and then this the whole thing will fold up as well and put a couch down here to give you a little more floor space. That is awesome. So when you look at this coach, so you got Tons of sleeping up here, right? Or if you want to make it into a little place to hang out, you can use it as the couch. Relax here with the Chase Lounge, which is awesome. Plenty of storage, residential refrigerator. So if you want to put this coach at the lake, what have you, a permanent campsite, you can do that. Huge pantry. It's bigger than the one at David's house, I'm sure. <laughs> it is. We just got a new one, and that's big. I wasn't going to say anything, but it is bigger than the one we got at our now house. Now look at this. I'm 6'3". I can stand in here. I'll show you how much hair I have. I don't even really need the skylight, but it gives you a little extra head clearance. This will come off the wall. 
and you don't have to worry about if I'm turning the curtain sticking to me or anything like that. Right. It's huge. It's awesome. Full size bathroom, sink gonna, around the corner here. Show us that. What it uh, looks like for a six foot three to sit on that. No, I'm not no? going to. Okay. I'm going to pass on that. All right. We appreciate it. All right. So now one thing back here. So in the master bedroom, okay? So you have your separate entry to the master, okay? It will come with a patio screen door, which goes on there. Um, window on each side, so you can get cross ventilation. Uh -huh. More storage back here, look at that. A little closet. Okay, so you're gonna get plenty of room. Now, when you're thinking about this unit right here, you're probably thinking 40,000 bucks. Yeah. I mean, this coach right here with the sale price, let me just pull it up so I don't make a mistake. I've been known to well, do that. Well, if you that. make a mistake, it should be at the bottom of the screen. Just right, right, right. The, so what the sale price today is gonna to be just under 23,000 bucks. You're gonna be able to get into this coach wow. with good credit for just a couple hundred bucks a month. That's amazing. A couple hundred dollars a month. You're getting almost a 40 footer. Power awning, Versa lounge, patio door, fireplace. I mean, it's just, it's an awesome floor plan. I mean, with all the bells and whistles, ducted AC, ducted heat. I mean, you can sleep, what, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, you, 10 people in this coach. Easily. Right. Yeah. I mean, everyone's got kids. They take fr friends, what have you. It's just awesome. What's your favorite part, Kelly, about this RV? This specific RV? I think I like part? this virtual lounge because when I'm sitting on the couch at home, I like to be, yeah. and it's just perfect. The TV's right here. Right. You just, yeah. This is awesome. Then, yeah. in the morning, you want to use the dinette. All you do is you just lift up on this. You can see it's movable. Uh -huh. And it just slides in over here. Turn it around, face it that way, then you have the dinette. That's fantastic. I mean, this is awesome. For 20, what'd you say, 23? Yeah, just under 23 grand. Just under 23. Yeah, with or the sale over, we got going on today. Just under 23. Day. Just under. I don't know, either way. Uh, 23 is definitely over 20. Um, you know, he's making fun of my small refrigerator, but doesn't realize <laughs> that 23 comes after 20. Hey, that's all right. Hey, <laughs> call us up. Another thing real quick while I got everyone here looking in at this Wildwood. Call us in the office here. 877-877-4494. We can give you an exact price to the penny on this coach. You're going to get free prep. Okay, so we're going to go through the coach, test everything. If you live in Ohio, we'll bring it to your door if you want us to for free. Yep. No charge to you. Um, we can get all the financing, get all that stuff squared away today, lock you in on a great price and get you taken care great. of. We also want you to chat with us. Let us know right now where you're, you're, you're watching from. We want to say hey to you guys as much as possible. Uh, we really appreciate you guys checking in, letting us know that you're watching. Ask us questions throughout the day. We will answer everything we can. We got a lot to do. Uh, you, how often do you RV? How often do I? Well, when I'm not here, I try to do it uh -huh. on the weekends, but my kids are in sports, so. Okay, so that takes probably a but lot. But this is time. the nice thing about this right now with everything kind of going on. I mean, everyone that we've seen, we've seen an influx in sales just because you're sleeping in your bed. You know how you wipe everything down. You don't have to worry about hotels, yep. cruise ships, things like that. I mean, it's just been awesome. Even like this, I know a couple of the guys in the office have just put a, a bigger unit like this on a permanent lot. They're just going to on the weekends, hey, buzz up the road a couple hours, right. put this on a permanent lot, it's a little getaway vacation. Love it. It's your bed, it's your property, everything, you own it. There's just enough room right here for a dance party. Look at that. Oh, yeah. Look at that. I mean, I'll let you start, but, so, and I'll leave. I was, I was a break dancer back in the day. I was awful, but I was a break <laughs> dancer. Actually, I won Best Michael Jackson Dancer in seventh grade. Let's see it. Yeah, well, now, here's the deal. Up until maybe a year ago, I thought, wow, I must have been really good, but then I thought, Maybe it was a uh, uh, like a sympathy vote, and or a joke that they wanted to keep yes, moving on. Yes, that could be it. Yeah, and that only that realization only came in like last year that maybe they voted for me best Michael Jackson dancer as a joke. Right. So one other thing I was just thinking about with this big area right here, because <laughs> like, I don't really want to see you dance, but I know a lot of times people have like pack and plays with young kids. This is a perfect spot right here with this big open area. A lot of times there's too crammed up. This gives you, I mean, for this coach, I mean, it's just awesome. And then when this is up, this is give you some floor place here, floor yeah. place for uh, board games, what have you. I mean, you're going to have plenty of room in here. Um, they do the nice Furion Greystone and rather the uh, oven here, glass cooktops, so extra countertop space, double basin sink, residential pull-out faucet. It looks good. like someone's got a question here, yeah, maybe. Yeah, there's David. David's Hi. back. I was just going to say, if you guys look through, we've got about every state right now already watching the show, so that's pretty cool. That's awesome. fantastic. I'm all saying hi to you guys, so if you'd say hi back, we'd appreciate it. Hey, guys, all appreciate right. you tuning in. Another thing, I mentioned delivery in Ohio is free. We, that means we, we can deliver it all over the country as well. So we just sent one to California the other day. 
don't feel like you got to come here if your if your state may still be on lockdown or whatever, and you want us to bring it to your house. We can do that as well. So just let us know, and we can figure that all into the deal. And so you don't have to pay out of pocket or anything. You may not know about. At the end of the day, whoever buys an RV, mm -hmm. we're drawing for a free delivery. Awesome. I'm pretty sure, unless they've changed that. Uh, either way, it'll yeah. come out of your pocket. <laughs> That's what I'm wondering. If all this free stuff we gave away. <laughs> Would I make a lot more money? Somebody tell me if I would make a lot more money if I didn't give as much stuff away. They're not answering. No. No. Uh, you want to go back outside? Yeah, we'll go out okay. here and just take just a quick look. Um, again, all power on in. Outside speakers, you can see that. Gas electric water heater. Power stabilizer jacks. I mean, this thing's turnkey. You're not going to have to do any work once you get to the campground. Hit a button, run the jacks down. Hit a button, run the awning out. Hit a button, run the slides out. Hey, Everything's Kelly, taken quick. care of for you. Sorry, uh, David's back. Yeah, sure. Some confusion on the price on the screen. We have one uh, price, and you're saying a different price. They want to know which one is right. The one I said is right. What just under twenty-three thousand. Okay, and the, so the price on the screen is a is a, a incorrect, right? Yeah, because we had to switch out a unit, so that was the that's why there was a discrepancy there. Thank but you. just give us a call, and we can dial it down to the exact penny for you. Um, but it's going to be just under twenty-three thousand. Right out about a couple hundred bucks a month. Tell, tell them why we had to switch it out. We had to switch it out? I don't know. Why did we have to switch it out? <laughs> because the other one sold. The other one sold. Oh, that's right. You guys mentioned that when I showed yeah, up today. Been, they were hunting around for it this morning, and I'm like, it, it should be out there. A it's, lot of the RVs we're going to show today sold this week. Yeah, they're all People so, are buying. So, literally, if you see something you like, call us. Well, and yeah, and that's what I was just getting ready to say. So I bet you we've changed the lineup around, I don't know, 30 times in 30 uh, days just because the units keep selling, which is an awesome thing. But, and again, call us and we can, the prices that we should have on there should be to the penny, but give us a call and we can break it down for you a little more in detail. And the nice thing too is, is we're gonna tell you all the, if we have any freight charges or we have any documentation fees, title fees, you're gonna get all that in writing. So you're okay. gonna see, hey, when you get here, that's the price you pay. So we don't hide anything. We're going to prep the trailer for you, put a battery on it for you. You're going to have access to our nationwide service network for free, over 2,500 service centers. If you're from Ohio, you're going to have our Buckeye service guarantee free of charge to you. Um, again, we go above and beyond to make sure you're taken care of. And if you're in Ohio, again, you don't want to make it out, we can deliver it to your house. In any other state, we can do it as well. So just let us know. We'd love to hear from you We're going to talk about that eventually today quite yeah. a bit. But if you have any questions, uh, a lot of this is answered on the website. You can go to the website and get a lot of this stuff to it. Of course, like Kelly said, you can call anytime and we'll answer the questions for you. Uh, we're, the palm tree is back. Real? This one is, I don't know. Hold on. I can't, I'm, I don't know. I can't, I don't know how to tell if they're real or not but we are selling more of these today. We'll have a flash sale going on later. It's gonna be a good day. We've got all kinds of fun stuff planned. I mentioned at the top of the hour, if you tuned in late, my wife and I had a chance to go and yeah. camp. Like for the first time we ever really camped. Had a blast. I just took my camera, we shot all kinds of fun stuff in the, in the RV, learning how to do it. So if you're thinking about buying an RV and wanna know what it's like, you live vicariously through my wife and I over, uh, over a couple days. So you'll see those throughout the day, they were fun. And we got more, we got a lot more trailers to do. Oh, one thing I do want to show you too is up here on the front, you're going to see it does have the Furion solar prep charge. So if you want to set a little solar panel, say if you want to run it off the battery, a lot of times this unit will be at a permanent campground, but if the power goes out, you can still run lights and things like that off of the battery. Great. That'll allow you to charge that. And you're going to see here plenty of storage underneath, which you can access from the inside as well, which makes it really Set nice. under the bed, I'm assuming. Yep, yeah. yep, underneath the bed in the front. Um, but again, very sweet floor plan. Versa Lounge is awesome. Just plenty of features, plenty of sleeping area. It's just a great floor. For the money, I mean, you can't, you can't go wrong. I mean, you're going to spend, what, 150 a night probably at a hotel. Easy, easily. 100, yeah. 150. To get a hotel this nice? Absolutely. I mean, you got two, no, you forget two nights. A, a hotel comes with bed bugs at no charge. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, bed bugs. They throw those in, I hear. Anyway, so you're going to be say, two nights in a hotel. I little masseuses as you're laying in bed. Don't do that because then I'll be itching the rest of the day. <laughs> I know, it's kind of grossing me out. But we appreciate it. And again, if you have any questions at all, call us up. I mean, we'd love to hear from you. Type a message on here on Facebook, what have you. We'll answer those for you as well. You know what? I think we're going to give you a chance to call in now because I'm going to head right over there and we're going to do our very first big giveaway. I'll see you over there.
<laughs> Sorry. I was in my own little world there. So let's talk about our prize sponsors real fast. I'm going to throw this up on the screen so you can get a look at them. Uh, there they are. Uh, check those out. Those are just, uh, is that all the prize? I feel like we got a lot of prizes to give away. I'm not even sure if they're all up there. You see, I don't know, 12 or so up there. We've got a lot more than that to give away today. The first thing we're giving away is a $500 gift card to the parts department here at RV Wholesalers. We have taken the registrations. Everybody who registered, that was your entry into this. Uh, we have randomly selected somebody, and that person is being handed to me right now. It is... Oh, do we have the... Do we have... We have graphic? Oh, that's... Hey, by the way, that's Tim talking in the background. You guys remember Tim. Just turned 50. Uh, here we go. Let's, let's see who is our winner. Boom. The winner was that person. Did I, did, oh, there it is right there. <laughs> Lane Blake. Lane Blake is our winner of the $500 gift card. So call us right now at 937-649. Nope, I'm sorry. Oh, uh, what is this? That's the winner? So who was I just announcing? One of our staff. That's one of the staff? <laughs> you hand <laughs> I'm going <laughs> to... I'm going to read, I'm going to read whatever you hand me. So our st whoever the staff is, <laughs> you did not win that. I'm sorry. He's in there spending it already. No, our winner is Steve Levine from Florida. Uh, we've got your information. We will get hold of you. Congratulations, Steve. Or you can get hold of us. Comment below. Steve, if you're out there, let us know how excited you are that you took that from Lane Blake. Uh, we got the prize phone over here. Uh, later, we will we'll do like the first callers. We'll give stuff away, the first caller. So make sure you register, and then you call us on this phone when we tell you to, and you'll win a bunch of prizes. I'm staring at a lot of prizes right now, and uh, it's going to be a good day. A lot of you are going to win a lot of very good stuff. Uh, so, Tim, please don't just hand me random names throughout the rest of the day. I'm, I'll give away too much stuff. <laughs> you you want to step in and say hi? Well, let's do it right off the bat. You've, you've worked hey, hard. Guys. There's Tim making this, stuff, making this stuff happen. One day we have ahead. Yeah, as long as he doesn't hand me <laughs> random names. We'll make it <laughs> Why didn't you stop me as I'm reading the name that obviously didn't win? You're just standing there looking at me like, David's an idiot. Uh, so we're going to get back into the next trailer. Are we about ready for that? Are they ready for me over there? Yeah. All right, let's head over to the next trailer. Let's roll right into it. All right, so do you, know, do you know Lane, Lane Blake? Lane Blake? Yeah. Huh. I guess he works here. Where's Lane Blake? <laughs> I just tried to give him a $500 gift card on accident. Uh, so hopefully, hopefully Where was it to? I mean, I'm maybe the, five, I'm the, him. Give, the, the parts department here. Oh, okay. So Lane here's what happened. I'm waiting for a name to be handed to me to announce the winner, yeah. and Tim hands me a paper with Lane's name on it. So I just read it, assuming that's the guy that won, and Tim's just looking at me. Then they hand me another <laughs> name. I'm like, who's this? They're like, that's the winner. Lane is somebody who works here. You ever think maybe Tim's just toying with you? Oh, that's very possible. Yeah. That is very possible. Well, hey, listen to this real quick. Before okay. we start on this Rockwood, I just ran inside just to make sure I didn't mess up on another price like okay. I did on the Wildwood. Right. Um, sorry about that, by the way. And that one actually already sold. It's so, sold already? It's sold. Now, now listen, if you like that Wildwood, we have several more in order. We can get you into it. But listen, if you guys like any of these units that we have, call in, get the credit app process started. That way we can get you approved. Because we, we want you to know your payments and all that stuff before you actually put down the deposit. Or if you know, hey, I have excellent credit, call in, put a deposit on it. We can put a deposit on it. That'll put the unit in your name. And again, like those Wildwoods, we have several already coming in. Well, I think we have 10 or 15 just of that floor plan coming in. Call us up. We can tell you when it'll be here, and we can get all that stuff squared away for you. But again, we just want to make sure that everyone can take advantage of this sale right. at these prices. I mean, it's, just, it's something you don't want to miss. Hey, well, Kelly, can you give them the phone number? And also, we've had several people ask, do we take trade-ins? Yes, we do take trades. Um, we'll just run you through just a quick questionnaire asking about the unit, things like that. Maybe get a couple pictures, and then we can get you a price same day. We can get you a price today, get everything squared away. And our toll-free number is 
877-4494. You can call us anytime. I mean, the phone's been ringing off the hook. I just ran inside, like I said, and it, everyone's on the phone. They said, well, that one just sold. Uh -huh. Luckily, it was at the, the higher price, so we didn't lose thousands, <laughs> but yeah. No, the- uh, The real price. You right, the real but price. just give us a call, and Did again- Did Lane Blake buy it? I don't know, probably. <laughs> And if they sold it to themselves, maybe. That, that's good. <laughs> you bought it. They're like, wait, we don't want to sell that. Let's just buy it ourselves. Uh, you know, you talk about people buying like as quickly as that went. Sure. The, the, the weekend that we went, my wife and I went and stayed at that campground, mm -hmm. a lot of people were there for the very first time. As a matter of fact, you'll see in a lot of the videos, you hear people power washing their RV that they're getting yep. back to. People are jumping back into it. And just being around a lot of folks that were camping for the very first time in a while, just, you could just... Feel oh. the joy. I, this is the, well, this is the only word I can come and up that's, with. And that's like right now, I mean, there's a lot of people, first time buyers, right? Uh -huh. Because, I mean, they before they've always done cruises for vacations or they right. went down to Disney World and stayed at the hotel or whatever. We've noticed just a large amount of first time people just because, man, they don't, they want to sleep in their own bed. They right. want to touch their own refrigerator handle. Yep. They want to. So, I mean, that's kind of been just something that's kind of cool because, I mean, they're trying something for the very first time. And, and even if you wanted, at our prices, I'm telling you, you can resell the unit in two years if you want to upgrade. I had a person the other day, they said, hey, we're going to start out with this small one, uh -huh. see if we like it, and then we're going to upgrade in a year or two if we like it. Nice. That's no problem. That's I mean, because you're not, when you purchase from us, you're not purchasing an MSRP. I mean, we're thousands under MSRP, so you're not going to have to find someone else to pay you MSRP for that unit a year from now when you go to resell it. Cool. So, I mean, it makes life easy for you. Great. Uh, should we... Get inside? Yeah, you're gonna love this coach. This okay. is a Rockwood by Forest River. This is an 2898KS. KS. And this is an ultralight. So this is gonna be under 10,000 pounds, okay? So most half tons are gonna be able to pull this coach. And again, if you're wondering, hey, can my truck pull this? Call us up. We have people inside, the specialists, they can help you out. This is all fiberglass, aluminum framing, foam block insulation. You have the solid steps which I want to show you that. You don't have to worry about them bending and stuff like that. I Whoa. mean, these are all solid. And this is a rear living coach. Look at this refrigerator. Residential. This one absolutely is bigger than the one we just bought. It's wider. Ours is, I don't know why people care how big my refrigerator is, but this is a big refrigerator. Pull out freezer, just like you're at home, right? You have the bar here. And the nice thing of it is, you can look over the living room, which come back here and check this thing out. TV will go on the back wall, fireplace below, just like just like your home, just like you would want your house to be if you designed it. TV up here, fireplace below, theater seating. Look at all these couches. Mm -hmm. The cool thing of it is opposing slides. So this opens up this living area. We have three couples in here. We can all sit across from each other. We're not sitting on the same side trying to talk to people. Opens it up. I mean, and, and honestly, I mean, with the construction on a Wildwood, Second to none, right? And at this price, I think this one was under $300 a month. Wow. Just That's over $37,000 for a fiberglass, aluminum frame, foam block insulation, solid surface countertops, residential refrigerator. I mean, that you you can't, this is a crazy this deal. Is, this is an impressive. And Kelly, does the TV come with it? On a Rockwood, I believe it does come with the TV, yes. We just take them out, so like when you come here on the weekends, you don't take one home with you. Right, right. right I, I, actually, I took three of them with me we're, when I left last time. We're sure you're bringing it back. Yeah, yeah you're yeah, just borrowing it. Yeah, yeah. Right. yeah. Uh, real quick, some folks are asking, how do I register yeah. for the giveaways? And also, people are asking, like, is there going to be a Class A? Is there going to be a Rockwood Roof? We got, like, every base covered, we promise. Yep. Uh, we'll try to put up a schedule a little bit later. Mm. Uh, people are also asking why I called in to get the right, you know, Sales is doing sales, so sometimes they don't have all the information. But okay. if you post your questions in here, we'll get right to you. But cool. Again, how do they register? So you go to rvwholesalers.com. You can register there. It's like on the home page, I believe. Uh, virtual RV show. I'm sorry, virtualrvshow.com is where you want to register. Uh, but you register there, and you'll you'll be in for uh, the draw. Some of the drawings. Some of the drawings are just going to be uh, random calling, calling in. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Uh, but yeah, definitely get registered. Also. Um, uh, Tim, you just told me something else. Oh, there's a schedule there that, that oh, is, where the is subject okay. to change. Because yeah, we, sometimes we run a little behind. Yeah, yeah. And real quick, James says he's going to buy a Cardinal Luxury 370 FLX in June. Buy it now. Might want to do it today. Yeah. The only reason <laughs> I say that is if you 
Hey, if you want a camper and you know you're gonna want it in June, let me just tell you this. I had a customer the other day, didn't want to pull the trigger, they want to talk, whatever, decide if that's what they wanted. The unit sold, now they're getting it at the end of August. Okay, wow. Hey, one I mean, last thing real quick. Um, we have some folks that are actually here. Yeah. Sandra and, uh, and Bryant Richardson. They've yeah. uh, come a very long distance to pick up their RV. They're actually here today, so we might give them a shout-out. They're actually watching. but uh, Great. They actually got to do a virtual walkthrough with their salesperson. That's something else awesome. you can explain to yeah. them. And that's how they bought their RV. Yeah, so let me explain that just real quick. So FaceTime. We could take a video, what have you. I know a lot of the people, just because, I mean, it's still kind of people are a little bit edgy just as far as yeah, what they're hearing on TV and things like that. If you don't want to make it, again, we can deliver. But if you actually want to see the unit like this, but we can actually go to your exact unit that you want to buy, your VIN, the whole nine yards, do a FaceTime video with you so you can see, hey, can you show me what's in that cabinet? Hey, can you show me how big the sink is? And again, this is stainless steel sink in the Rockwoods. Uh, residential pull-out sprayers here. Um, very, very nice, but we can do that with you. Just call us up, because I know some people, either at work or they're putting in extra hours right now yeah. or they can't leave their state yet or whatever. Call us up, we can do a video with you. Um, that's no issue at all. But again, come up here and I just I love pan, this high table, by yeah, the way. Yeah, pan down at this right here. I want everyone just to look at this floor plan. Why don't you go before me. And a Rockwood Ultralight, under 40 grand, so just over 37,000 bucks, under $300 a month. Look at this, all hardwood cabinets, power awnings, power jacks, ceiling fans, solid surface countertops. I mean, it's unbelievable. Come in here into the bathroom, just wanted to have you take just a peek in there and you can actually go from the bathroom into the master, it has a wardrobe slide out, which is very, very cool. So you have that whole slide right there slides out and that's gonna be just your closet, okay? So again, very, very nice. Rockwood kind of thinks of all the, all the things that you might need. It is prepped for a second AC, so if you're, if you're down in Texas or Arizona and you're like, I gotta have a second AC, we can oh. put it on for you, no issue. I so, assume the window is back there. That's nope. more. So the, full, the, the wardrobe will actually slide out which kind of keeps this coach light in the uh -huh. front, so half tones can pull it so the pin weight doesn't get heavy. Okay. So you don't do a full deep slide. So I mean, clothes aren't gonna weigh too much. Um, hard pocket door shuts off there, all hard doors. So I mean, there's no curtains. Rockwood doesn't skimp on anything. And again, we'd love to be able to take care of you if you're wondering, hey, is this something that I can get approved for? Call us up, 877-877-4494. At least talk to one of the finance specialists, get a credit application in, and then if you say, hey, I want to talk to the wife, get the credit app in, we can get you approved, and then we can call you back with payments. We're going to be doing this till probably 11 o'clock tonight. Yeah. We can get you payments, and then you can make a good decision. Hey, is this something that we think we can afford? Yeah. Before you just jump into it, we want to make sure, and again, if this is a little more than you want to spend or you want something a little bigger, well, we got 350 units out there, all different sizes, all different makes. I mean, we will be showing Class A's, we'll be showing hybrids. We're gonna be showing all kinds of stuff today. So, but this Rockwood, I mean, for what you're getting. You say right around 300 a month? Yeah, right wow. around $300 a month. When you think about all fiberglass, aluminum framing, foam block insulation, they do studs all over, not as needed. Okay. They do them on center. So, I mean, this coach is gonna be, this is gonna last you a long time. Great. Day, night shades, cloth shades. Hard valance is going across. These will make into beds, these couches will. Fireplace, I mean, what doesn't this have? This, this right here has the amenities of a $70,000 fifth wheel. Wow. I mean, that refrigerator is in a $70,000 fifth wheel. Really? That fireplace is in a $70,000 fifth wheel. And you can pull this with a half ton under 40 grand. It's amazing. It's amazing. an awesome, it's an awesome deal. Um, and you're going to get our service. It's got the Wi-Fi Ranger. You're going to have our Buckeye service guarantee if you're from Ohio. Um, and again, we can deliver to your house if you don't want to leave. Ohio's free of charge right now. Um, we can do, we think we're running a special maybe on a delivery out of state as well yeah. later in the show that you had mentioned. Yep. Um, so plenty of features. Um, you're going to see here all ball bearing drawer guides as well. Full extension so you can get all the way in there. Done one just opens like this. Opens all the way up. One piece of linoleum all the way through. Very, very nice. Right. We'll all go right. out here and just take one more quick look take at the outside. A quick look and then get to our next. We're going to roll right into the next one after we, uh, after we look at this. You going with me for the next one? Yep. Cool. 
frameless windows, look at this. All frameless windows, keeps the clean look. Um, LED light strip, slam latch, baggage doors. Again, they have all the nice features. I mean, there's, they do everything right. They try to make it easy. Everything's, it's just awesome. Perfect, perfect. Well, all right. And so again, thanks for everyone tuning in. And if you have messages, send them in on the Facebook, comment. on YouTube, yep. call in. We'll answer any questions you have. If we don't answer because the phones are going crazy, just leave a message and we'll call you right back. And we sold that one we were just in yep. before this one. See how quickly we can get this one sold. And again, call if it's out. something that you like, do a nap, put a deposit on it. Call in if you have more questions that I'm not answering. If you want to know exact length, exact weights, things like that, we can break all that down for you. Right. I believe we have a toy hauler out here to go to. Awesome. We'll head out there. All right. So the toy hauler, obviously, we came uh, out of, David and I came out of a toy hauler earlier. We're actually going to look at that one here soon. Yeah. But this is a different one. We weren't in this one. This one I walked through earlier and, and uh, was surprised. I'll tell you once we get in there what I was surprised by. You don't want to tell me now? Well, yeah, oh. I will tell you. So I'm walking through here, yeah. and I realized I thought it stopped at the bathroom. Yeah. I thought, like, that's going to be the bed. It's going to break down yep. once you get the, the, the toy out of here. And I thought that was it. And then when I got in the bathroom, there's a door that leads to a, a bedroom up front. I had no idea it was that big. Well, and this is what's... It's like it gets bigger as you get inside it. Right. Well, and when you think about... This is a toy hauler, right? So this uh -huh. is a Wildwood FSX. Now, one thing I will start off by saying is... This one is in fiberglass. We can get any FSX in the corrugated aluminum as well. I think the, the fiberglass exterior is like adds an additional $595. So if you want to add that, we can do that. Or some people are like, hey, I'm going to try to bring your price down a little bit, get it in aluminum. We can do that for you as well. But this is a toy hauler. Now they do make these in just bunk models, mom and pop models, the Wildwood FSXs. They're just, I mean, these things are awesome. I mean, for what you're getting, I mean, you're still getting all power on him, uh -huh. LED light strip. You're still getting the ramp door patio, the solid steps. I mean, for what you're getting in this coach, you wouldn't even believe the price. I mean, you're 18,000 bucks. Wow. $165 a month for a toy hauler? Yeah, it's crazy. And, hey, if you say, hey, I don't need fiberglass, I'm good roughing it, I would go with aluminum sides. Save another save, 600 bucks save, off. Save you more money. Look at this. This I mean, is great. You, I love the screen here with no. the patio right on the outside. Well, and think about this. A lot of people are like, well, I don't have toys. Okay. Could you imagine having this backed up to the pond at the campground? Yeah. Sit back here. You got the couches. Those will both fold up, by the way, so you can pull something in, golf cart, what have you. Um, day night or the night shades here. You can see here. It pulls down. Very, very easy to use. Uh, the sink over here. Full-size refrigerator, so they're not going to skimp there. Freezer on top, fridge on the bottom, fireplace. Under 20 grand? Yeah. Are you kidding and, me? And again, here's where I thought it ended here, and then I saw the door that led to... Right, and you're getting a full private, so it's not a, hey, you got to use the bathroom while you're in the shower type deal. Which, although, that is a lot easier and more convenient. Right, right. And this is the 260 RT, and the X is the platinum exterior, which is the fiberglass. Okay. But full size bed up front, so it's not something that's just jammed in the corner. You're getting the full size bed, and again, it's not it's full profile up top. I mean, I can stand in here. About six seven. Yeah, maybe. probably about six seven. Yeah. Full walkable roof for maintenance. Okay. And again, a lot of times people are wanting to first toy hauler. Do you want to go out and spend seventy thousand? Probably not. No. It's no different than... We gotta, hey, you got to have money. You got to pay for the toys. Right. Yeah. Well, and it's no different than it's your first trailer and you just want to camp and you don't have toys. Right. Well, if you had a four-wheeler or side-by-side -side and you want to bring it in here... I, I love that you pointed under, that out. You don't have it, to have a toy to buy this. Consider it a, a deck mobile. I mean, I love that. Well, I mean, could you imagine if you had young kids? I mean, you, you have an area back there where you don't have to worry about them falling out uh -huh. or anything like you, that. You know where you see a ton of these, too, is uh, tailgating. Right. People oh, yeah. love to tailgate out of these, especially with the with the back patio. Right. I've actually seen people at a state park. They had a waterfront lot. They were fishing right off the back That's what patio. I just told him. Back this up to a pond. Yeah, uh -huh. that's awesome. I mean, that'd be perfect. So let me okay, ask Bob this. wanted to know real quick, what kind of toys can I put in here? Um, it's going to just depend. Legos, I mean, yeah. Slinkies. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Definitely four-wheelers, oh, golf wow. carts, side-by-sides, gators. I don't want to go with the exact dimensions, but you can kind of see here, when all this folds up, I mean, you're going to have 
almost six feet across. Now I know the dimensions on each brand is a little bit different, mm -hmm. but if you ever want to know, I mean, what I've had people, one of some of my sales reps, they'll actually come out here, do a FaceTime video, put the tape measure so you can exactly see it. And then you can measure your side by side, wheelbase, what have you, the length of it. But I mean, you're going to have, you, I mean, I, I drive a Mazda three. You could fit that. I don't know as far as wide, you could definitely fit that in here. Yeah, I mean, I mean this is plenty of room. Well, and the, and the cool thing, too, is a lot of times the toy haulers have an open concept for the garage, which this kind of is. It doesn't have a separate garage, but still your bathroom and your bedroom are still separate. And I'm not saying put your car in here. I was just trying to tell right. you how much room. Hey, I'm Kelly, Pamela wants to know where we are located. Lunch. And we've had a couple questions about how much is delivery in Ohio. You touched on it yep. earlier, but. So it's pretty expensive in Ohio just because there's like surcharges and stuff. Now actually we'll do it for free. So if you live anywhere in Ohio, we'll deliver it to you for free, okay? And we're in Lakeview, which is about an hour northwest of Columbus, uh, about an hour north of Dayton. Um, we're on State Route 33, um, just, just east of Interstate 75. Um, but anywhere in Ohio, again, I know some people are still a little bit hesitant to kind of get outside. If you are, Call us, we'll deliver it right to yeah, your we'll, house. we'll bring it right to you. All 50 states. I mean, I had a picture of the driver sent me the other day. The guy picked it up in his pajamas. <laughs> so, I mean, you right in your driveway. Well, and we do, uh, just for people at home to know, if you want to see an RV, you can't come here. You don't want to come here. You, you don't want to leave home yet. That's fine. Call us up. We can do a virtual walkthrough. Yeah. Well, FaceTime, what I was just whatever. saying, too, is a lot of times people are like, well, I need to know how big the cabinets are. I had one of our sales reps the other day did a FaceTime, took a tape measure, and showed him, had another guy video on it, showed him this. Hey, how far is this from the ground? Showing him the cabinet size. So we can give you everything that you would want. Right I, from we the we once helped home. a woman, she had a her great grandmother's chili pan and wanted to know if it would fit in a cabinet. Right. That was that was a prerequisite. We were <laughs> yeah. able to show her that it would. Ron wants to know what the towing weight of this unit is. The towing weight is going to be just over 5,000 pounds, 5,155 pounds. That's what it weighed when it left the manufacturer. So, I mean, you're going to pull this with any half ton. Yeah, easy. Some SUVs. Someone just asked, could I pull it with a Jeep Grand Cherokee? Jeep Grand Cherokee, I think those pull 5,000, but I know sometimes you can get those with the Hemi and they pull right, a little bit more. Right, with the bigger more. motor. Right. So, just call in. One of the specialists can help you out. They, if you, As long as you know the motor that's in it, Maybe need a gear ratio, but they'll be able to tell you exactly what you can tell. Last one, and I'll shut up. We have the uh, they, another person asked where are we located. We're Lake in Ohio, View, Ohio, Lakeview, Ohio. We're also in Dodge City, Texas. Yep. Yeah. But we are in Ohio for right this now. show. Yeah, right now we're in, in Ohio. Uh, now one other thing, take a look right down here. D rings. In this price point. Most, you're, you're not typically getting D-rings that are bolted into the floor. Okay. With, with this right here, so you can tie down, make sure your bike, what have you, doesn't fall over. And again, I mean, look at this. You're getting a full ramp door patio, has the cables that hold it up. Now that's how that works if you can't see. Those cables just latch on right down there. So obviously once you, when you're running your bikes or your golf carts, that'll full lay down. Uh -huh. that, that'll move out of the way. But um, these will get out of the way. But look at this. I mean, you could sit three or four people on each side, play cards, eat dinner, what have you. Plenty of room in here. And I mean, there's three adults in here right now. Plenty I mean, we're almost within our six foot distance. Exactly. He did sneeze on me earlier. That's yeah. why I'm giving him a hard time. I do that all the time. It was before, even before this <laughs> all went down. Let me ask you real quick yep. and we'll get to something I know a lot of you are waiting for. Uh, the, what about the floors, like cleaning in here, if you bring in a muddy yep so uh, the nice thing about it is this is a linoleum now it's one piece so what i have a lot of people do and i've had some people that do like a tough deck installed over top i mean you can do that if you want but in a toy hauler i mean you can just sweep it out then use like a little wet jet clean it out and it's going to be good are you well ready for three questions three three questions do the, do boom, the boom, opposing boom. sofas make into a bed yep what yep. is the overall length and will you please show the outside storage Outside storage, that will make into a bed, yep. So this table, so if you look, just real quick, see that rail right there? The rail right there? This TV, or the TV, this, this <laughs> table will collapse. I've been hanging around you two, long, see? Um, but that'll collapse. And I know nothing cushion. about RVs, but I know that's not a TV. Right, see that cushion right there? That'll go right in the middle. Or what I like to do is move the two bottom ones and put these on the edge. That way you can kind of use one as a pillow because it is tapered just a fuzz. Yeah. 
Um, that was the first question. The second question is going to be about 26 feet uh, box, okay? And I'm going to show you right up here on the front. Again, all power awning, stabilizer jacks. They do one on each corner so you can sturdy the coach up. Full size spare. Now, if you look, full pass through storage. And it's finished off nice and neat so you're not seeing a whole bunch of different stuff in there. Looks like you can access from uh, yep, inside. The bed. Too. Yep. Yeah. So you can get in yep. if you got some whatever you have in there and you want to get it in. Again, the Furion solar prep as well. So you can set a portable solar panel. A lot of times people will take this to the desert, what have you. Um, gives you an extra option there to keep it if you don't want to run the generator, what have you. Cool. But again, give us a call. We'd love to love to hear from you guys. And again, all we need, just do the credit app. We can get you pre-approved before the banks start closing and get you taken care of. Cool. Get on Facebook as well. Show us a like, a comment. We'll get right back to you. We have people on there monitoring that as well. Subscribe to the Facebook page or the, the YouTube page. There's all kinds of stuff you can do to get involved and get, awesome. get connected. Uh, so it's time. You guys, I know you loved them last time. They are back covering a classic by the boss. Give it up for Trailer Swift.
love for Trailer Swift. It makes me so angry when I see good musicians because it makes me feel like I, I could have done something a lot cooler than what I do. Right. Yeah. They crush it. They are they are fantastic. Yeah, they're cool awesome. thing is we uh, we ask them questions. We'll we'll get to know them a little better this time. You know what would be cool is if maybe later we were to have Trailer Swift T-shirts, but that's probably never gonna happen. Let's talk about this. All right, perfect. So this is an XLR Nitro. Okay. Now just real quick, I'm gonna just give you a little bit of background here on the XLR. For one, it's the hottest selling toy hauler in the country right now. I think I was able just to get a couple here for the show. I mean, I just, they're constantly selling out. But the Nitro is going to be their fifth wheel line. Now, they also have the XLR Hyperlite, which is a trailer. They have the Boost, which is an aluminum-sided trailer. And then they have a Micro Boost, which is an aluminum-sided smaller trailer. So this one here is the Nitro. This is going to be a fifth wheel. Um, all the bells and whistles. Power awning, fiberglass exterior, six-point leveling, so three on each side. You're going to be able to see that. Um, has a four entry step, so a lot of times if you're a little bit older and you don't want to step all the way up, they give you that fourth step. So you can see that. Now this one is the 28 DK5, okay? With the sale price we got going on today for a fifth wheel toy hauler, under 50,000 bucks. I think you're coming in just over, let me see it, make sure I don't mess it up, just over 46 grand. About 350 bucks a month. <laughs> yep, 350 that is, that is bucks insane. a month. insane. Now listen, 17 feet, six inches from the garage door right up here to the countertop or the front of the entry door. So if you're wanting to know, hey, how many four wheelers? 17 feet, six inches to the countertop, then you're gonna run. So this slide out's gonna come in about I don't know, just under three feet. So it's gonna slide in just a fuzz. But I mean, you're still gonna have plenty of room. This is eight feet wide. D-rings are bolted into the floor. It's just an awesome floor plan. These beds, so let's look here. This will go up and down. These will fold out, make into a bed. So you can sit across. These tables come out, they just lift right up. Very awesome floor plan. I'm telling you right now, XLR is the hottest toy hauler in the country. I mean, we can't keep them in stock. Really? I've had, yesterday, so we had a few spots for XLR in the show today, and I'm like, we only have one trailer in stock. What am I gonna do? <laughs> right. So we scrambled, they sent us a couple, and we have several others coming. I mean, they've been great. taking great care of us, so if you're, and stay tuned. So if a lot of people are wanting a toy hauler, but they don't want a fifth wheel. We mm -hmm. got some trailers coming, we and hey, 46,000 out of the budget. We have some for 20,000. We just showed you Wildwood under 20,000, but you can get into an XLR. Again, all different floor plans, all different sizes. I think we're even gonna show you a front kitchen toy hauler in this show later today. This is the one that David and I came out of at the beginning of the show. So me What's and David- What's that little black mark right there? Yeah, He's yeah. Chirping that's, the tire. That's why I, 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 got, I got excited. Yeah, well, you, usually he <laughs> falls asleep at the wheel. That's <laughs> well, I, I had to wake him up a couple times <laughs> yeah. before they dropped the door. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> we made it, we're here and we're rolling. Hey, Kelly, we, yeah. we need to do a serious note real quick. Yeah. We've, we've got this question several times. Yeah. Why don't you sell Grand Design? Uh, you want to you handle or you want me to handle Go ahead. My throat's getting sore. Just, just being uh, incredibly honest with folks, okay? We study uh, not only quality, we study price, right? We study the management team. Um, a lot of people don't like to do business with dealers that sell very affordable. And the reason is their dealer body likes to overcharge. Uh, just try, I'm trying to be kind of kind uh -huh. of friendly, but uh, Grand Design's one of those uh, manufacturers. When they fired up, they were not going to sign any internet dealers, which also means uh, any dealers that sell affordable. Uh, the other thing is, is that we have a nationwide service network that nobody else has, and dealers complain about that. We do things in Ohio that no one even thinks about doing. Dealers complain about that, and uh, Grand Design doesn't like those things. Uh, neither does Jayco. The other thing that we watched, though, is Grand Design was just bought two years ago. Yep. And uh, part of part of it was purchased by um, Thor, but the other part was Investment purchased group. by a, what was it? Investment group. Yeah, by a, a, a capital, equity, what do you call it? Equity, equity firm. firm. Mm -hmm. uh, every time a company gets bought, things go real cheap for a while. Uh, warranty is not covered as much. Things are cheapened. and Trying we stay that cash. Right. And just being honest, we stay away from them completely. So, you know, the stuff that we carry... Um, great quality, warranty is great behind it, parts are great behind it, they pay the bills, 
They Who's take better at covering customers. warranty than Forest River? No one. That's just a fact. And and we sell some other lines, but Forest River just takes care of people. They, they do the right thing. Well, so, you know, hopefully that helps you guys. If you're looking at Grand Design or Jayco, why don't you guys have them? If we don't have them, uh, and, and don't take this wrong, but if we don't have it, you should think twice about wow. buying it. Okay? So you've done a lot of research for people oh, before they can even look into them. We do tons and tons of research, and, and we continue to research them every year because if they start to do the right thing, uh-huh. we will pick them up. Okay. You know, we, and we get a lot of interest. We have a lot of manufacturer's costs. Like, we're about to sell 300 this month. We'll be the first dealer in the history of the RV industry to sell 300 in a month. Wow. You know, so we get, we wow. get a lot of... A lot of manufacturers are, are back sniffing around because they want part of that. But again, we got to make sure they're doing the right thing. Right. All right, I'm done, guys. Okay. Thank you. All right, so let me just show you just one quick, a few nice things about this. So if you look in this coach, how bright it is in here. They have the lighter colored cabinets on top, darker on the bottom, huge windows, right? So we're sitting in here. We've got a few lights on. Again, all LED lighting throughout. Sit right across from the TV, speakers, has the couches that you can take inside, outside. They are movable. I mean, you can't, with the 17 feet, 6 inch garage. This TV setup looks good, too. Oh, I yeah. Like the, I mean, yeah. it looks, I mean, it just looks awesome. It looks like something in your house. Then come around here and look at the kitchen. Furion, solid surface countertops, stainless steel sink, one basin, okay? You have the stainless steel big residential microwave and the nice thing too is this is a flush mount so you can get the extra storage space there and they just do everything right i mean the, the quality and the construction second to none when it comes to toy haulers what is this down pull here? out drawer, drawer? Okay. yeah yeah but they finish it off so it looks like it's part of the actual range right. i mean it's just it's awesome come up in here it does have the solar on board, so you can get that. So if, you, if you're a person that likes to take it off the grid, you don't want to be running the generator all the time, they can do a go power solar panel right up front. Come up here and check this out. This Ooh, is, let's show this door real fast. It's a nice door. It looks like a barn door. That's I want you to take a look awesome. at this front cap. Look at this. Big window in the front. Yeah. Now, when, just remember that, because later in the show, you're going to see a front kitchen. Uh-huh. That's going to have the same window. It just looks awesome. Okay. But again, I'm 6'3", and I can stand all the way in the front of this unit. Okay? It is back for a TV here, full-size bed, has power on both sides of the bed, reading lights on both sides, all LED lighting. More it storage. is going to have the wardrobe slide out to keep the pen weight down a little bit, um, but it still gives you the extra storage. Um, central vac, you can see that right there. You can just sweep right into the area. Um, AC is going to be ducted throughout the ceiling. Heat's going to be ducted throughout the floor. Um, has the MCD shades. Um, but yeah, this is an awesome floor plan. Um, especially under 50000 Under 50000 bucks, 300 and some dollars a month. I mean, you, you can't go wrong. And again, if this isn't the exact floor plan, some people are, they definitely got to have a separate garage. No issues. We can get you that in an XLR. So if you like the way that this coach looks, you like the quality, you like the construction, again, all fiberglass exterior, aluminum framing, foam block insulation, enclosed underbelly. I mean, it's just awesome. One piece. And they use the light, which keeps it bright in the coach, which did is we, very, very nice. Did we show this, the shower? This might be the biggest shower I've Take seen. Take a look at a, that shower. A, it's it's massive. Yet. That's, that's a, I, I think that's the biggest one I've seen yet. That's. Oh yeah, and it's got a seat in there as well. Yeah. So you can fall asleep in there. Yeah. One piece too. Right. That's yeah, good. that's awesome. And, and again, this is a fifth wheel toy hauler, $355 a month with the sale we got going on today. Or a deck mobile, remember? Toy hauler or deck mobile. Yeah, that's right. Toys. I, I just, I, and should I patent that name, deck mobile? Yeah. Okay. You might want to buy that website. All right, deckmobile.com. Somebody get that for me. <laughs> yes, real quick. quick. But no, this is just a great floor plan. And again, if you don't see in this coach what you want, you're like, I got to have a separate garage. We have those. Okay. Or I want a travel trailer and I want to spend half of this money. We have those. So give us a call. And again, you're getting our nationwide service network for free. Over 2,500 service centers throughout the U.S. and Canada. So if you have an issue with your coach and you're down in Florida, we can get you taken care of. Cool. Or if you're saying, hey, I'm not ready to make a trip out from New York to come pick up my coach. We'll deliver it to you. Or if you say, hey, I'm in Ohio and 
I don't really want to drive up there to do a walkthrough. I don't, it's only a couple hours. We'll deliver it to your house. Walk out and get it in your pajamas. You deliver to all 50 states. All 50 states. Yeah. We do Ohio for free. Right. Awesome. So that's awesome. And, and the delivery to any state is very affordable. And don't feel like you got to pay it out of pocket. And another thing I had a customer ask me the other day from California, they want to cut down on some of the shipping costs. We can deliver it partial way. So if you want to meet us in Colorado or you want to meet us in Good. Texas or what have you, we can get you taken care of there as well. So let me ask what might be a stupid question. Let's say yep. these are folded up and you have a vehicle in here that's this high. Yep. Can you only can you lower this to you whatever can raise height or lower you want? This and you can actually take this off. Okay. Just pull that pin right there. Uh -huh. This whole bed will lift off. It's oh, okay. pretty light. Well, yeah. So what I was asking is, does it have to be at a certain level before you can lay on it, or can you? Keep oh, it you up can lay on it anywhere you, you want. Okay. Yep. It's all chain driven. Now you can see right in here, like this one's set. So this top bed oh, see, won't yeah. go down that far. Okay. So there's a little block in there, right. so you can kind of adjust that if you'd like. Um, but again, all the D rings in the floor, just a phenomenal unit. Yeah. And I do like the light color. The light color makes it feel room. Well, and a lot of people don't really notice that, but they're like, man, this coach is bright. Yeah. Well, when everything up here is light, I mean, they're just doing an awesome job. The right. lighter countertops, but then it gives you the residential look, and a lot of the kitchens now are doing the dark mm -hmm. on the bottom, all hidden hinges, full extension ball bearing drawer guides. The, the backsplash may be my favorite yet. Oh, yeah, look, and it's it's 3D. I mean, yeah. it's it's legit. It's good. Residential pull-out uh, faucet. This is very, very nice. Yeah. But again, we'd love to hear you guys' messages, comments, if you have questions, or if you want a little more detail or a lot more detail, call us at 877-877-4494. We have a ton of reps in there answering the phone. If you want to get pre-approved, go ahead and do that now before the, the banks start slimming down. Um, but we'll be working all night tonight. We'll probably be here until midnight or so. So call us as quick as you can. That way we can get you locked in, get you pre-approved. Hey, Kelly, uh, yeah. does it come with a generator was the question. And then folks were asking, how long does it take to get approved, roughly? So, I mean, a lot of approval just depends on credit. But if you have pretty decent credit, I mean, I'll have you approved in 10 minutes. Yeah, so wow. they're not going to be on the phone, though, for an hour. Oh, no, you can do the credit app in 5 to 10 minutes. We'll call you back. Or if you want to hang on the line, we'll have you approved in 5, 10 more minutes. Yeah, and, you know, last show, guys, we sold so many. What, what we... <laughs> Uh, you know, one person said, well, you're talking about selling a lot more on this show. Yeah, we are, because at the last show, a lot of people got upset with us, you know, because they missed out on units, missed out on deals, missed out on prices. So we're hoping to kind of like say, hey, maybe cost now, yeah. you know, because the, the, the phones go crazy and people sometimes get We got a lot upset. of folks watching. A yeah. A whole lot of people It's amazing. Watching. It really is. Well, I mean, I think the numbers are five times the amount of people that tuned in last time, which is awesome. And we hope everyone enjoys it and we'll oh, yeah. answer all the questions. Generator, we can get it with or without a generator. So just let us know which route you would want to go. And, and last can, thing, can you go over the uh, nationwide service network real quick? Yep. So when you purchase from us, you're going to have free and instant access to our nationwide service network. Now, what that's going to give you is, is basically access to over 2,500 places that we've worked with in the past to get our customers taken care of. Okay. We have a full team that does nothing but advocate for our customers. So if you're in Wisconsin and your air conditioner quits and you need it fixed because you're on a two week hunting or fishing trip or whatever, you call us up, a few of the girls will find out what zip code you're in mm -hmm. and they'll look that up and find the nearest place to you in our network that we've worked with. Right. And then they'll make the appointment with them to get you taken care of that way your trip's not ruined. That's Free amazing. to you free to you yeah that's at no charge you get that when you purchase the unit from us and then that's they talk about free of my, uh, uh peace of mind you right. know that's that's nice well to know and that the you last get thing you like want that. i mean a lot of times people don't think about it but if you have i don't know how much let's say you get two weeks of vacation a year yeah and you have a trip plan it's going to take up 10 days of that vacation do you want it to be ruined with no hot water because your water heater quit <laughs> right no ac and it's yeah. you're in florida and it's in july Yep. No, you don't want it to be run. You have 10 days that you're using of your 14 for the year. Yep. You want it to be perfect. And that's what we, I mean, I've had a customer one time, this has been years ago, go from Canada down to Florida, the water heater quit. Well, his wife, like mine and yours, was upset. Yeah. So we got him taken care of the same day he didn't lose any hot water. So you never, you never leave them stranded. Nope. That's good.
That's good. That's impressive. And that's going to be free to you. I mean, you have instant access to our nationwide service network. And then also, too, I mean, we can get you service contracts and things like that if that's something that you guys are interested in. Because I know a lot of times people, you're going to get basically kind of a limited 12 months from the manufacturer. We can go above and beyond that as well. Great. So. All right. Um, get you taken care of. Anything else with this one? Not that there's much more we can... I, I, mean, we, I think. I mean, a lot everything. of times people, some of the coaches are 10, 12-foot garages, and they're wanting to know, hey, I want to put four quads in here. Mm -hmm. Well, 17 feet, 6 inches. I mean, that's... That's legit. It's a so, lot of space. But yeah, I mean, let us know if you have any questions. We'd love to hear from you guys. Message us, Facebook, YouTube, um, call in. Again, our number is 877-877-4494. We'd love to hear from you guys. Cool. And we got nice TVs. People have the TVs and the RVs. It's fun to ob obviously watch stuff on the TV, yeah. which means you need a satellite. Most likely the best thing to, uh, to hook up to the TV. We're going to do a flash sale here in just a minute. we got a video for you. Check this out, and we'll be back with a flash sale. All right, guys, we, uh, we're going to give something away, and then we're going to do a flash sale. It's right there, the Dish Playmaker. Now, I uh, got some information from the folks at Dish. Here's the cool thing, just a couple things I remember. Uh, if, if, you, uh, if you're interested in getting Dish and signing up for Dish service, it's month to month. You don't have to sign a contract. That's awesome. If you have Dish in your home, they can connect this to it as far as billing, so you just have one bill. You can cancel it, like, like not cancel it, but you can shut it off when you need to. If you're, if you're only going camping for a while and you need to shut it off for a while, you can do that. Uh, this sounds like this will take care of you. But we're going to give away one right now, and it's going to be to our first caller. The prize number is 937-649-5970. I'm sure it's probably on the screen or will be. It's 937-649-5970. We have the phone right over here. We haven't practiced with the phone yet. We had trouble with the phone last time. We're going to see how it goes this time. Uh, you want to remind me, Tim? Just pick it up and go for it. All right. Let's get there. And then hit, hit, uh, it's, it's the dial tone. <laughs> we, we probably should have looked at this before we, we rolled. All right. Now pick it up. Okay. Oh, there we, hello? Hello, who's this? Frank, uh, are you interested in a dish satellite system? Sure. All right. Well, it's yours, buddy. That is yours. Awesome. You just won. Awesome. Um, you're our first person that we can actually hear you online too. Last year we can we can or last month we couldn't hear anybody. Folks are hearing you and the excitement in your voice. So I need you to get real excited for me right now, Frank. All right. There we go. That's what I, that's what I was looking for. All right. All right. Well, Frank. Congratulations. We're going to get your information offline. I'll, I'll hand you over to Tim. He'll get everything we need from you to All get right. this to you. Sound good? Okay. Thanks for yeah, watching, Frank. Okay. Hey, by the way, where are you calling from? I'm calling from Connecticut. Connecticut. Uh, Connecticut. How long yeah. have you been a camper? Um, I haven't, actually. I'm looking to retire and get involved with uh, camping and RVing. Yep. I love it. I love it. Well, then you're in the right place. We've got all day to show you all kinds of RVs that I'm sure you're going to love. So have fun. I'm we watching. We got you great. We got you started with the uh, satellite, and uh, you'll be good to go once you get your RV. All right. All right. H hang on the line, Frank. Okay. Thanks. All right. So there you go. Frank has just won the satellite system, and he, like a lot of you, are probably just considering buying an RV. And let me tell you, my wife and I, I mentioned this earlier in the show, went camping for really, really the first time. 
a couple weeks ago just to shoot footage of what it's like to camp for new people. Uh, so for a lot of you that have never camped before, you'll get to see just sneak peeks of what that looks like. But it, it was a blast. It was a great time. So a lot of you are watching. Frank gets his head start with a satellite from DISH. We are going to do a flash sale on this right now as soon as I get the information on how much the how much it's going for. Tim is busy. We make Tim do a lot of stuff around here. On, on the comments, on, on uh, YouTube and Facebook, just, just shoot some love to Tim. He needs to hear it. He's working hard behind the scenes, as are all the guys. We'll get footage of all of them working hard. But Tim, a lot of times he's faking the busyness, but a lot of times he does stay busy. What's that, Tim? 250 bucks. That includes shipping. So $250. We have uh, the, the uh, what number do they want to call? We have the number for you to call. It is the parts department number, which is 937-843-2424. 937-843-2424. Also, you can email them at parts at rvwholesalers.com. Uh, chances are the phones will probably be busy. We've got a lot of people watching. If you get a voicemail, leave a message with your information. We'll make sure you get this. Again, you can also email us at parts at rvwholesalers.com to get in on this flash sale, $250. Again, if you want to, go to Dish's website. You can see all the good deals they have as far as uh, uh, not being under a contract. If that, if that freaks you out, being under a contract, you can go month to month. If you have Dish TV or if you have Dish Satellite right now, they can tie it all into one bill, just make it easy for you. So that's the way to go. $250 flash sale going on now. Again, that number is 937-843-2424. Let's go hit another trailer. How's it going, big man? How you doing? I try. I'm glad we didn't get that on camera. Let me show you. I'll show you anyways. I don't care. I tried to squeak through here to get here on time. This whole quarantine thing has not been good here. I had to suck in. I got stuck. Tim and David both pushing to get me through that little slot. But I made it. I'm here. What's going on? Same old, same old, man. Yeah. Selling campers. You know how it goes. Right. No, you don't. I, I no, don't. You don't. I, I, I do a little bit just from last month. Last month. There you go. Them. Fair enough. Just I, making you sure. You know what? I'm gonna try and sell one later. What do you think about that? I think that you're gonna have great success half past never. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that, the, the challenge is on. I'm the challenge sell, is I'm on. Selling RV today. Make sure we buy it right here. He's going for it. So, <laughs> first, first camp forever. That's right. So, what do we got? Yeah, so right now we're standing in front of a big Solaire, okay? Um, this Solaire is gonna be a total of three slides, okay? Um, it's kind of that couples coach, okay, to where you don't really have any bunks. Bunks invite people to stay with you. Yeah. So if you're uh, out camping by yourself or with your you know, wife, with your husband, or said significant other, then at that point, you know, the slides are going to open up in there, and then the bedroom opens up as well. But cool. outside, guys, is pretty standard in terms of that. Now, on the, on the Solaris, you do have a high-gloss fiberglass exterior. Okay, this is super important because uh, it's got kind of like a shine to it. You know, some, not all campers have that shine. A lot of them kind of like, like a matte style to them, right? But mm -hmm. with these guys, it's got that high-gloss exterior to it. Um, you do have automatic stabilizer jacks, power tongue jack up front there. Open it up here. What is this? This is going to be the inside where the washer and dryer combo is, okay? Okay. So this one basically has a stackable washer and dryer in it, but if the washer and dryer isn't there, you got a lot of storage up underneath. Gotcha. Okay, so gotcha. just kind of a heads up on that one. And then also up front here, big important thing is that fiberglass front cap, okay? It's a full front cap, and that's most important because basically you got rocks kicking up and stuff like that, but nonetheless, that thing right there is not breaking anytime soon. I was say, is that the first? Is this the first one we've seen with that? I don't. Remember yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. So basically, this is gonna have like a little rough style to it, so you don't have any bugs or anything like that mm -hmm. sticking to it. But like I said, that right there, it's not breaking. It's good. Okay, that's not breaking. But kind of going inside here. And real fast. Yeah, I'm, go, go. I'm, so all of these have, it's a number and then some letters. Yeah. I'm gonna let you know throughout the day what they stand for. This is a 316 RLTS. That is a 316 really long toe sleeves. That's yes, what that stands really for. long so, toe sleeves on this one. We'll jump in. Not short ones, though, to be mistaken, correct? What's that? Not short toe sleeves, though. No, no, the long really, ones. Really, the really long, long ones. Really long ones. RLTS. Fair enough. So inside, you're going to see this is kind of like a homey feel to it, okay? Um, it's kind of got that touch of modern to it where lighter interior colors. Um, Solaire's doing this really good job of staying on top of the new trends that are out. 
Um, they're, you know, they got solid surface countertops throughout. A lot of people compare it to Rockwood. Rockwood's a really solid trailer too. This feels different than any other trailer I've been in so far. It's because we're in it because it's quality. Yeah. <laughs> you're, you're standing in quality right now. So price point on them, they're pretty expensive, but um, nonetheless, you are standing in you know a quality size okay. camper. Well, I think the openness that there's not a separation between the living right. room and the, the dining room or the kitchen. Right, right, this right. So like the sales price on this year at 33052, and then okay. you're talking about mm, 255 a month. Wow. Most people though, get this, most people are selling it for 54828. So you're selling it for $21,000 cheaper? Than what most people will. Because when you step into this camper, you think quality, uh -huh. you know what I yeah. mean? And when you step in it, and if you don't know any better, I pay 50, you know, I right. pay 50 for it. I mean, <laughs> his, qual his quality. To, you know what we need to do in the next couple of them? You need to quiz me and what I think. I on would, how much this yeah. is, how much you'd pay for this? Yeah. How much would you pay for this one? But probably seventy five thousand. Yeah, that's about right. <laughs> <laughs> this, is a, this is nice. This right. is. I know I say that with everyone I walk into, and they, they it's true. They all are very nice. I love this this island. I love. It's just. Yeah, and so like, let's just say for instance, you do have people coming over. I said outside. This is the couples coach to where you keep people. But they away. will sleep in their car. They will sleep in their car. Yes. But in just in case you do love who comes with you, uh -huh. this is gonna fold out into a queen size bed. Okay. Okay. You do have two recliners here, and a lot of people love that freestanding table and chairs. Okay. So you don't have the oh, yeah. booth, but you do have freestanding table and chairs. They kind of move around, but on the inside, it's all tethered together, so that way nothing's falling over. Right. Right. Okay. So, uh, pretty cool setup. Like we said, solid surface countertops throughout here. Also storage okay biggest problem that people make when they buy campers is they buy too small okay that's okay. when you see people average that someone owns a camper is 3.6 years okay okay so the reason they switch most of the time sooner than that is because they bought something too small doesn't have enough storage doesn't fit what they need they're mostly kind of i guess closed off because of their tow vehicle gotcha. so that's basically what people will do is they'll buy something too small for them then they'll upgrade in a couple years instead of getting the right tow vehicle first and foremost. But cool. um, then you got, obviously, it's not the biggest fridge, but you do see it is a fairly large fridge for travel trailers, uh -huh. okay? We'll be showing some that don't have as big a fridge as this one. Um, this one, I believe, is a 10.3 cubic foot. This where, looks about the same yeah. size as the one that my wife and I stayed in. Yeah, it is. We had plenty of room. Yeah, in there. absolutely. Yep, it sure is. So the, the Puma and the um, Solera are both made by Palomino. They both put in the same fridges. Okay. A lot of Forest River products put those in too. So basically, Palomino and Forest River products have those huge fridges in them. Gotcha. Cool. Yeah. As we kind of swing around here into the Master, um, you do see that it's kind of got the privacy from mom and pop, right? So you have the uh, huge slide out uh -huh. in here, and then this is gonna be that washer and dryer stackable that we talked about here. So you can see, gotcha. opens all the way up on it, right? Not a lot of travel trailers can you do that get this floor plan. I know of four that we sell um, that have a floor plan like this. Um, the only one that Rockwood doesn't allow for a washer and dryer. So you okay. have Rockwood, Solaire, Puma, and um, there's one more in the Heritage Glen line. Okay. Okay. So. All three of those guys, basically, all four of those guys have this similar floor plan with the opposing slides and the bedroom slide, but not all of them have washer and dryer. That's so a king, right? That is a king. So there does uh, kings inside their uh, campers as well. And then you are going to have space. some storage wow. space on the sliding glass walls that lock into place. So That's fantastic. Super cool on the inside of here over well, overall and uh, where mm -hmm. everything's going. And this may be the most space I've had in a bath bedroom, bedroom so far. Yeah. <laughs> Easy for you to say. Uh, <laughs> yeah. A lot hey, of Lane. Them. Yes, sir. Oh. Kathleen would like to know what is the overall length and what is the dry weight for towing? So overall length and dry weight for towing on this guy. So off the top of my head, I'll let you guys kind of look into the bathroom there as I do some minor research here. Um, it, this one basically has the 8,000 dry weight on it. Okay, so it's a half ton towable unit. Um, if you do have a three quarter ton, I wouldn't um, say no against it. Um, I mean, you'd probably be pushing most half tons, but nonetheless, uh, you can be pulling it at the half ton towable. Uh, overall length on this is going to be anywhere between 36 and 37 foot, if I were to guess off the top of my head. Um, but if you do have any questions, you can always call me after this. Um, you can call my personal number, 937-843-2074. Uh, we'll be more than happy to answer any particular questions that we may have on this unit so or any of the other ones out there. Just look at the big old shower in here. Another yeah, it's a fairly shower. large shower. Yeah. No doubt about that. Yeah. Uh, wow. This... I hope that it comes across like how roomy these things are. Right. You know, a lot of times you watch something on TV and you, you can't get the full idea of how 
big something is, there is a lot of room in this one. Well, I mean, and to kind of put it into perspective, I'm 6'2". Uh -huh. Okay, and so I know a lot of people ask, like, hey, how tall is the inside, right? That's not something that people typically measure, but you can find it out. But for, I guess, the viewers out there and things like that, you know, I'm 6'2", and I probably got about another mm, three, four inches. Cool. And Great. so kind of a cool little setup on this one as well. Um, this one has a skylight on it, but other than that, I mean, what you see is what you get. High quality unit, uh, amazing price on it as well. Look at that. And a little shade for you as well. <laughs> nice. Uh, I asked this earlier with Kelly, what's your favorite thing about this this RV? So favorite thing about this RV right here is that it meets just about anybody's, I guess, necessities. When okay. they are looking for, if it's a couple, that's looking for a trailer that they can stay in extended period of time or short little trips parking in one spot. I mean, there's a lot of, this is a very versatile unit, right? And that's why it's probably one of the number one floor plans in travel trailers for couples coaches, okay? okay. Because you do have a bedroom slide. Yeah. You're not crammed in the bedroom, but you also have slides and a little entertainment room for when it's raining outside and things like that. Or right. let's just be honest, if it's hot outside, yeah. you know, you want to get inside yeah, exactly. kind of thing. Um, but you also still have your kitchen table for your cards and stuff like that as you're camping. 33,000. 33,000. 21,000 mm -hmm. under leading competitors. competitors. Yep. That's crazy. It absolutely is. And, that's crazy. Um, you know, that's what uh, Palomino has been doing a great job of supplying us with campers, but we are running out. Okay. Yeah. Um, we are getting down to a uh, limited amount, so uh, stock is very limited at this time. That's across the nation, though. Okay. You know, we've been ordering this whole time through the uh, through this little crisis that people have been going through. Mm -hmm. We've been going through. Um, we've been ordering through it. We've been picking up people's units. We've never laid off anybody. We've been doing everything in our power to make sure that we stay strong. Yeah. That's why we still have stock. You know what I mean? Everybody else is still, you know, I mean, crap. There's still people up in, uh, you know, eastern uh, eastern part of the states. They're still shut down. They can't travel. That's yeah. why we deliver. Yeah. Okay, so by it's no good. means do you have to come pick up from us, but we do deliver. Is that my wife? Did she find me again? <laughs> uh, it's probably my wife. <laughs> uh, all right, so uh, when you buy, a lot of people are going to be buying today, mm -hmm. so, so jump on it as well, soon and as be, possible. Well, and be very patient with us, okay? I know a lot of people are getting frustrated and have got frustrated in the past last time we did this because, hey, Lane was on the, Lane was on the show and I couldn't talk to him. Well, I mean... Granted, yeah. I'm sorry, but yeah. at the yeah. same time, you know, I do want to help as many people as I can. Right. That's why we do have teams set up. Um, we have three total teams over there, so we're going to make sure everybody gets taken care of as quickly as possible. But So, Lane, I teased earlier that I didn't know you, but were you listening earlier when you won the $500? I won the $500? Yeah. How did we I win thought, the $500? So here's, the here's the deal. We were giving away the $500 gift Okay, card, okay. And I, I didn't know your last name. I yeah. just knew your lane. Yeah. So Tim hands me paper because I told Tim, hand me the paper of the winner because they drew from the registration. So he hands me a piece of paper with some numbers on it, and with real small, it had your name. Uh-huh. And I read it off. <laughs> and uh, they said, that's not, that's not the winner. That's, that's an employee. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So unfortunately, you didn't win. But I looked stupid, thanks to well, Tim. Well, in that situation, like, I'd, you know, I'll probably go back at the company. I'll probably, you know, do a countersuit for yeah, that, yeah, obviously. You so you get Pay your, more money in legal bills and all that. I will get my five, you know, probably <laughs> something like that, though. Uh, but yeah, no, um, like I said, guys, super busy today. Um, but we definitely do want to make sure everybody gets taken care of as quick as possible. Right. Always feel free to call in Perfect. anytime. And when you buy an RV from RV wholesalers, you get a bucket. Something I learned while I was camping with, uh, with the folks. Do we have something before we go to this video? Oh, yeah. No, okay, absolutely. Yeah, so basically, one last thing here, guys. Um, always feel free to follow us on YouTube, Facebook. Um, hit that like button, subscribe. Um, follow us on Facebook. We are, you know, like I said, we're building that base up. Uh, got a lot of followers out there, but we're uh, still climbing. Cool. So Perfect. appreciate the love. So, uh, yeah, what I was saying is when you buy an RV, I learned when I went camping with the folks from RV wholesalers that they give you a bucket with stuff in it. Check this out. Cool. All right, here's... All right, here's a pretty cool thing. When you buy a, an RV from RV wholesalers, they give you like a starter kit. So uh, let's take a look to see what's inside. Some toilet paper, a couple starter rolls. And they give you these wheel chocks. They come in here so that your trailer doesn't roll away. They give you a hose. I've talked about this in one of the videos and why it's important to get a hose like this and not just a garden hose. They give you a bio pouch. No idea what that is. And a sewer hose. Loop. Loop. 
Listen to this. Luke, I am your father. Hope this one wasn't used. Oh, but here's the cool thing. All right. So you guys know me. I'm your friend. I'm David. I'm your friend. Uh, so let's get very real for a second. Sometimes in a trailer, there's times when you have to use the restroom and you need a little privacy. And by privacy, you can, you can hear things throughout the trailer if you're in the bathroom and maybe things aren't going well. Uh, so what you can do is get yourself one of these. with you I got a lot of weird looks uh, for some reason try to get out there alone by myself and people watching it got weird <laughs> uh, our very first motorhome yes class a motor home. mobile home last time mobile home motor home fun of me. motor coach uh, I mean I've heard it all yeah. so we all know what we're talking about when it comes to this one and can we mention that every there are a lot of people watching my my kid who is 20 uh, texted me while we were in that last one and said to buy the one that I was in right yeah, now. Yeah, yeah. But he, I think he, I feel like he's jumping in too soon. We've got a lot of the issues. Oh, I mean, he didn't even see the motorhome. I right. mean, I right. think he should buy the motorhome. <laughs> I'll buy both of them. Why not? Let's yeah, we just gift it all, right? You sell yourself a motorhome. One of those things. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Do I get commissioned if I sell myself a motorhome? As long as you sell it over invoice cost okay. to yourself, then you'll get paid Great. a little small So if I sell it for 100000 I make whatever... Yeah, like let's just say that it's like at ninety nine thousand, and you sell for a hundred, then you get paid like a hundred dollars. So okay. you came out net profit of minus nine hundred dollars. Thank you very much. <laughs> That's why I just host stuff. I don't sell anything. But Fair I am enough. later. I'm telling you, I'm gonna sell something. You think I'm crazy? I'm gonna sell something. Let's talk about this. Yeah. So basically, this is a Class A motorhome. Um, this is gonna be gas. We do not sell the diesel pushers here. Um, although um, they are nice units, we still are able to sell these class A motorhomes that are still just as nice with features that a lot of people like in those big diesel pushers. So a lot of people love kind of what we do. We do have an outside kitchen underneath our Buckeye Service Guarantee sticker here. If you don't, if you're not aware about the Buckeye Service Guarantee, ask your local or ask your, um, ask your sales consultant about that. So that way they can make sure you get taken care of. But just kind of swinging around on the outside. Um, we do still have your awning up over top here. This, spe this special place right here, guys, they call this the mother-in-law suite, okay? <laughs> Because it's right up underneath, mother-in-law suite. And it locks from the outside. And it locks from the outside. Perfect. That's why they call it the mother-in-law suite. But you can see how big that is, right? Now, what I do know a lot of people will do as well is they'll fill this guy right here up full of ice. I was now just, it's your cooler. I, when you said fill it up, I figured that's what you're going to say. Yeah, fill it up yeah. with ice. That's what a lot of people will do. Um, it's well insulated throughout. Um, and also, you got to watch your head there, man. There's a drain here, so you can't fill it up with ice. Yeah, it absolutely, out. and it'll still drain out. So kind of a cool little setup right there. Um, on the back side, you will be able to get, um, you will be able to tow on the back side, tow your, you know, extra vehicle or whatever else you'll be towing back here. Um, I've actually seen people even put, you know, a, a rack or something that you can put a, you know, bike on or something like that. So just depends on what you need to tow, but it does have the, you know, can hitch you back tow there. another RV on the back of an RV if it's light enough? Okay, if Love it's light it. enough. Love it. <laughs> That's kind of the main question there. As long as it's light enough, you can tow it. That's where I'd put my mother-in-law because I'm a good son-in-law. Well. That's because you're great, so. <laughs> but as we kind of step in here, um, the thing that FR3 does is they incorporate things in their motor home that higher dollar people include there as well, okay? okay. And keep their price down, all right? Uh -huh. Price-wise on this guy, let me get my handy-dandy cheat, cheat sheet out here. <laughs> oh, language! <laughs> language, There's language. children watching. There's children watching. Uh, we're going to be at 87, 823 on this particular coach. Okay. Leading competitor, 144, 484. What? Yeah, no, look, it's right here. It says it right there. Leading competitor. Okay, so then tell us, real quick, tell us how that's even possible. So it's possible because MSRP on this thing is sky high, right? Okay. And, and people will say, they'll throw out this incredible discount of, hey, I'm giving you five grand off, uh -huh. 10 grand off. Let's just even get crazy 20 grand off. 
MSRP is maybe like 165. Uh -huh. And so they're giving you this great deal of 20 grand off, but they're only dropping it down to like 140. Yeah. You know, whereas we are not going off of MSRP. You won't see us throw this MSRP price out there and say, hey, we're giving you a $100,000 discount off MSRP or something yeah, yeah. like that. You know what I mean? Um, so we just don't do that. You know, the way we do it was we're straightforward. We're honest with what we do. If you want to know MSRP pricing and things like that, by all means, you can ask us. Um, mm -hmm. But it's kind of an irrelevant feature because we don't base our pricing off MSRP. So um, kind of a setup there. But on this motorhome, you are going to see we do have some extension for our cabinets, oh, wow. right? Cabinets that stick out here, sticks out here with storage up underneath. Throughout this whole little setup here, you do have storage underneath that as well. Mm -hmm. um, and then the countertop covers here too, okay? Now, this is kind of a cool setup that not a lot of Class A gas uh, motorhomes allow for their people to drive with the bunk down. Okay. Right? So, basically, the reason being is because this thing comes down too far to where this is now being hit. You don't have room as you're sitting in the driver's seat, okay. right? And so, FR3 does this great job of having enough room up top and enough room right here to where you guys are actually able to, I guess, sleep here without having to kind of turn over everything. Now, both are going to be swivel chairs and up front there. It does have a pop-up desk to where you can wow. uh, have things, you know, kind of play on your computer or whatever uh -huh. it needs to be as it kind of goes through. Now, the one really cool thing here, and I'll kind of show you, and I wish I, wish I could tell you to get up here because this is like the wake-up button, right? So you have your grandkids up here, and as they're, you know, sleeping and it's time to get up, basically all they do is they push the button right here, and this is the wake-up button. <laughs> and as you can see, it dumps people it out of bed as they're bed. kind of going through and going to bed. But as this is kind of going up, you can kind of start to see a little mirror pops up on here, okay? Oh, yeah, yeah. And they call that the watch out mirror, okay? Nobody calls it that, but I call it that, okay? okay? And the reason being because as you're sitting in the driver's seat, you slam on the brakes, you can see in the mirror this kid come flying, watch out, and you grab him. Nice. So you look kind of really cool when you do something like That's that, good. but endanger your children at the same time. So <laughs> watch out for what you're doing. <laughs> um, behind you, we do have, um, they do uh, kick out. So you got your foot rest that kick out here, okay? Not recliners, but this is a pretty deep couch, so you're not necessarily out of the woods on this one. Okay. Hey, Lane. Yeah. Uh, Nancy would like to see some Class Cs. I yeah. told her that uh, you'd give your email address, and you could either, either do a virtual one or you could send her a walkthrough of one. Could you give everybody your email address and your phone number, please? Yeah, absolutely. So my personal phone number, 937-843-2074, or you can email me directly at L. Wisner, and I'll spell that W-I-S-N-E-R at RVWholesalers.com. So that reaches out directly to me, and I can get you taken care of, get you some Class C motor. So homes. wait a minute. Your last name's Wisner. Yeah, my last I name's Wisner. I assumed it was Blake. Lane Blake won the $500 Yeah, gift no. Card. You didn't win it, so I never no even, reason to... No reason to sue. You no know, reason to sue. Yeah. No reason to get frustrated, because I never won it for, to begin with. Oh, and now I'm learning. Now Tim just told me... Now Tim's telling me in the ear, that's two people, Blake and Lane. Oh. So do you know a Blake? I know a so Blake. So you and Blake have to split the $500 gift card. Oh, okay. That's. Do I get to talk to Tim, too? Uh, you Here. can talk to Tim all you want. Here, Tim. Tim, what do you have to say to Tim. Lane? Oh, he told me to stop that. Okay. <laughs> Sorry, Tim. <laughs> but um, swinging around, guys, this is going to be a gas electric refrigerator, 18 cubic foot. Um, not a lot of people, a lot of people, I'll tell you, they'll ask about the, um, ice trays. They'll say ice maker. So, you know, do I want an ice maker in my coach? Yeah, I'll get you an ice maker. 66 cents. There you go. <laughs> 66 cents. And that's the number one warranty problem in coaches and refrigerators is that ice maker goes bad. Okay. So instead of going through the hassle of now you have your on-demand ice and all this other stuff, why won't we quit being lazy here for about 30 seconds? Fill up our water, make our own ice, and then at that point and we don't have a problem down the, down the road. Exactly. And you've got the whole, the whole ice tank in the back that you were talking exactly about the ice tank kind of back yeah. there in the back. Um, I'll kind of let you guys step back there into the very far back. You're gonna have a queen size bed back there uh, hey, Lane, with the why, slide out. While they're looking at that, folks are asking how many seat belts. Yes. Yeah, and also, uh, is there electric by the stove? There is. I'm looking at it right now. It's up underneath. The uh, television set, there's an outlet so we'll about. try to show you here in a minute on camera as well. Yeah, and then in terms of seat belts, we're going to have two on the dinette, two on the reclinings, um, on the reclining or the kick up on the bottoms here um, for the uh, sofa, and then you have um, two up front, so a total of six. Can you get this outlet? Yeah, can we get this outlet right up underneath here? They did want to see where the outlet was located here on that coach. So that would be your electric next to your stove that uh, folks have been asking about. 
You're going to break it. Yeah, <laughs> I'm always afraid. Yeah, I haven't no. broken anything yet well, that I know of. Let's find some wood here. We're going to knock on the <laughs> wood right. here for now, right? <laughs> no, this, but, is, this is nice. Yeah, but overall, I mean, um, motorhomes, they're great if you are traveling a lot. Um, keep in mind, you do, do obviously still have to get your you know routine checkups like you would on your car. So mm -hmm. I kind of keep that in mind as you guys are looking for you know motorhomes or you're going either motorhome or fifth wheel or travel trailer, what you're kind of deciding between. Just keep in mind what extra stuff we'll have to go into buying a motorhome, a fifth wheel, or a travel trailer. Great. Kind of a cool little setup on it. Cool. I like the, uh, I like the, the cup holders back yeah. there. Yeah, it's a 60, little things like yeah, that no, it, and the thing is that's 76 cents, okay? So yeah. 76 <laughs> cents now puts cup holders in here and now people are happy, okay? Right. FR3 does this great job of they take uh, customers' requests and then try to incorporate them. Obviously, it if it doesn't have like, you know, a substantial effect on the pricing of the coach or anything like that. Uh -huh. This one does have washer and dryer in it already. Um, as we stand, it's a combo unit instead of a stackable washer and dryer. Um, and kind where of is a that? Setup. Yeah, it's actually in here. You probably walked right by it, didn't even see it. Yeah, probably not. One of those deals. But as awesome. you kind of step into here, washer and dryer combo unit in this yeah. one. Okay. Yeah, I checked out that one, saw storage, I thought closet i thought this was just another closet oh yeah no, no yeah so they put the uh, uh washer and dryer in there if you don't put it in there obviously you have more storage right. so that is an option on all these guys um, but the only option really in fr3 line is whether or not you want to go with whether or not you want to go with a washer and dryer combo unit okay perfect all right so before we go to the next one because we're going to shift right to the next rv perfect and we mentioned this last time on the show tell me the difference between getting a motor coach and having uh, an rv that you're pulling what are what are the highlights for both of them yeah so highlights to both of them um motor homes are great because you just get in and go mm -hmm. right um there's really nothing i have to do to this camper right now to go camping yeah okay whereas with travel trailers or fifth wheels i have to get my truck ready mm -hmm. i have to load up all my stuff unless of course you have it loaded beforehand right you do have to back up into it, hook it together. Usually it does take two people unless you got that really cool camera on the back of it. Right. But nonetheless, um, and then at that point, you're camping. You put it on, you go camping. Then when you get to the site, this one, you back into the site, put your stabilizer jacks down, it's done. Right. That one, you have to back into the site, put the stabilizer, uh, stabilizer jacks down, unhook, and then you're done. Right. So just an extra step. But travel shows in fifth wheels, now you have a vehicle to drive around in. Motorhomes, unless you buy, you know, a $20,000 car to tow behind it and another $5,000 little uh, towed hitch or whatever it's called to pull the extra car. Gotcha. You don't have a, you know, car to drive when you get there. So uh, you're packing everything back up and then putting it all back out and then packing it all back up. And it's just a long drawn out process if you don't have that extra towed car. So there are pros for both. Definitely. Pros for both, cons for both. Um, there's no right or wrong. It's just what your style of camping is. Great. That's really all it boils down to. Cool. Looks like hey, Lane, back. folks are uh, asking, you know, I want to see a Class C or I want to see a Rockwood Rue. Or, uh, tell them where our, the name of our uh, YouTube page. They can go there and check those yeah, out Yeah, well. absolutely, guys. So you can always go to our YouTube page. We have a ton of walkthrough videos on our YouTube page if it isn't already on there, okay? Now, let's just say it's not on our YouTube page. It's not being shown today. Just give me a call, okay? I'll go out, get a, get a video for you, or I'll send you a link to a 3D walkthrough, or whatever it boils down to. But... Again, personal number, 937-843-2074, or you can just email me, Lane or L. Wisner at rvwholesalers.com, and that's W-I-S-N-E-R, so Great. at RV Wholesalers, guys. So, right. like I said, if we don't have it, we'll get it for you guys. Let's head out here and find out what's going on outside. Talking to Mike and David. What's going on, guys? What's happening, brother? It feels good out here. That that fan feels good. It's stuffy yeah. today, but nice. It's, we're yeah. not going to complain about the heat yet. It's not raining like it was yeah. last time. Exactly. So what's going on out here? You know, a lot of people are asking about service. Uh, a lot of people are asking about our nationwide service network, and Mike and I just wanted to talk a minute about it. When we started the business, uh, actually about 24 years ago, uh, all we did at first was repair work. Mike's the guy that can fix anything. I'm the guy that can hand that guy tools. <laughs> uh, so we started out just fixing trailers. Uh, People appreciated the fact that we didn't leave until the job was done. They also appreciated how we charged. You know, we followed the uh, flat rate manual in the industry. If you don't know what that is, they have a, a book that tells us exactly what to charge. We didn't overcharge people. And long story short, people started asking us to sell them RVs, which kind of floored us because we were in college. You know, who, wants, who wants to buy an RV from a college kid? Well, we started out in college. Uh, became school teachers, both of us. Uh, did that for a while. Obviously, school teachers don't make enough money. 
shout out to all you school teachers, you need a raise. Yeah, really. Uh, we had our summers off, uh, which is a plus, but we didn't have much to do, so we started working on RVs, uh, got pretty good at it, I thought. Uh, and then people talked us into selling. And, you know, 24 years later, here we are. Wow. Well, and this right here is what people ask about, right? Why, why do you have a nationwide service network no one else does? Simple. First trailer we sold, uh, sold it online. Uh, the first trailer we sold online, sold Iowa. Okay. Right? And it's like, all right, we're known for our service. How do we take care of a guy in Iowa? Yeah. We saw another one the very same day to Texas. It's like, wait a minute. What are we doing, right? And I, I never will forget our dad gets off. He was a, a factory guy. He gets off work and asks and, and ask us, you guys are famous for service. That's why people want to buy from you. How are you going to take care of these folks? Ugh. <laughs> and, you know, the one of us had the idea of uh, exactly this, right? Let's find someone in the town where everybody lives that we sell to and get them hooked up to do service work for our customers. Now, you fast forward 22 years later, mm -hmm. right, and we have this nationwide service network. We have people everywhere. We've never had a customer not get taken right. care Today, of. Right. Today, there has not been never. a customer not get taken care of. Wow. Every no, and, you, time. and and we kind of laugh about some of these other things, like uh, all the big chain stores, right? When it's got over 150 stores, they have delivery now uh -huh. because of COVID-19. Welcome to the party. We had delivery since forever. day one. Yeah. You know what I mean? Uh, nationwide service. We've had it since day How many one. Partners? Oh gosh, we're over 2,500. Yeah, wow. at least at least 2,500. Yeah. Okay. I mean, it's it's. It's, it's just a crazy number of people that do an incredible job. Right. And, and they have to meet certain standards. You know, if a customer complains about a repair uh, or it was done under warranty and they said that the person asked them to also pay something, they're not in the network anymore. You know, it's, uh, wow. for us, it's, it's ethics, it's morals, it's doing business the right way. But if you wonder where that came from, that's where it came from. You'll see a couple of our competitors have this beautiful map, uh -huh. the same exact one, and some of this wording. Uh, but unfortunately, they don't have the network, but, you know, uh, we do, and they kind of like to knock that name off. Well, I mentioned peace of mind earlier, and it sounds like with each RV, folks get peace of mind. Yeah, that's, that's so. the most important thing. You know, we tell people, uh, this should be fun, uh -huh. right? You, you should buy a camper to camp. You shouldn't buy a camper to have it sit in an RV dealership somewhere waiting. Uh, the average last summer was 13 weeks. Wow. People waited on repairs. And just like that, we've, you know, we've come up with a system here where you come in, we look at your RV or send us pictures, we figure out what's wrong, we, we order the parts, you go camp, mm -hmm. right? Uh, if it's something serious, you cannot camp with your camper. For example, air conditioner goes out, it's just too darn hot, you need an air conditioner, we give you another RV to use. Okay. We, we give a free loaner. Nobody's doing that in the no, industry. No, nobody does no, that in the industry. Nobody's even close to that in yeah. the industry. But again, you know, you, you just camp for the first time. Uh -huh. you, you don't buy an RV so it can sit at a dealer's lot. You buy an RV so you can do all the fun stuff that you right. did right. last week. We had a blast. Including getting to hang out with me, That's which right. I'm sure was like Saturday night. all tingly and wonderful. Yeah. <laughs> it, was, it, was, it was a good time. You'll see more videos. We had a blast. Uh, I'm going to bring Josh in. Josh, come on in. How's it going? Good. How are you, sir? Welcome good, back. Good to see you back. Yeah, nice you been hitting you. the gym? Huh? You been hitting the gym? Yeah, can you tell? Yeah. He didn't ask us that. The gym. No, that sounded like, that sound like sarcasm. <laughs> Josh, who are you related to here? Yeah, uh, yeah. this yeah. one not by choice, but by, by fault. So, yeah. Yes, sir. <laughs> so uh, what are you doing here? Well, I'm going to do a couple walkthrough videos here. But as far as my position, is that what you're uh, saying? So yeah. they got me in sales right now. I wish I would have been here a lot longer. Uh, I ran the service department for a little while. So I've, I've had a little bit of all uh, all the experience, if you will. So Great. Yes, sir. So you want to head over right now to the next Let's one? Let's do it. I think we got the Zinger pulled up right now. Is um, it outside or is yep, this one out here? I believe it's, outside. Outside. Right. believe it's the one outside. Right, thanks, guys. Right. Thanks, guys. So, uh, I mean, how, how, proud of you are you, how proud are you to work for a company that... Uh, looks out for their customers like that. That's, it's awesome, man. Uh, so impressive. again, I mean, just the things like, I mean, we see all of the holes in the manufacturers, like warranty, all of these things. And right. uh, to be one of the only guys out there that offers the things that we do. I, I mean, when you sell the same products as everybody else, what makes you different? You yeah, know what I mean? That's, so that's that's, that's the good. avenue that we went to is, is taking care of you after the sale. A lot of our customers and reviews can attest to that. Um, just, uh, just, it's just awesome, man. Right. It makes my job easier and that's that's what I love about it's it. It's gotta so, feel good too for to sure. know that you're taking care of folks. Yeah, there, there's a guy in here uh, his name's Mitch. He's been with us for a, a lot in the sales a lot longer than I have. Uh -huh. uh, he's seeing second generation uh, family members come back and buy from us. I, wow. I can't wait to get to that point, you know. So uh, it's it's just awesome. It That's really good. is. But so guys, right behind us, we got the Zinger. This is the 320 FB. Uh, we're gonna uh, you know just kind of gander around here real FB. quick. Show you. 
Facebook FB? buddies. Facebook buddies. That that could be the That's the correct the for. correct standings there. I'm gonna for... tell you what all the letters stand for. There it's you go. <laughs> you almost got them memorized now, don't yeah. you? Yeah. <laughs> so uh, yeah, see an outside kitchen. A lot of people are really liking the idea of having a, a both entry doors now. I believe this one's gonna go into the bathroom. That way, if you got guests over, they don't have to go all the way through your trailer. That's smart. Uh, you know, track up mud, anything like that. So easier to clean. Uh, all all electric appliances, are awning, your stabilizer jacks, your your uh, power tongue jack, everything's all power and 12 volt on this thing, so really easy to use. So you're, you're ready to get inside, aren't you? I, I, I love Let's do it. Things. Let's do it, it's, man. It's crazy how we saw so many last time and I'm still seeing brand new sure. features and, well, and we had layouts. Well, we had to spice it up a little bit this time around. Yeah. So and we got all the accent lights and everything on here, guys. So um, this is without a doubt one of the most you know, popular floor plans, if you will. Uh, a couple changes, the ins you usually see the bunk room in the back. This one's gonna be up front. So uh, just a, a couple little, uh, you know, switches there. But overall, uh, you know, very, very comfortable coach, very comfortable living. This will fold down into a bed. This will fold out to a bed just in case the, the kids bring any friends or something like that over. So, um, but yeah, so um, yeah, let's, let's uh, take a gander back here. I noticed we got a, a bedroom slide. This is starting to get very popular, Dave. Uh, just gives you more room. You can change back here, you know, instead uh -huh. of instead of uh, fighting your, your your spouse in the bathroom, if right. you will. So, um, give you a lot more room here. This all fold in. You see the king bed and the slides. So, plenty of uh, of room, especially if you're one like myself that likes to sleep with their pets and stuff like that, right. or or if their pets like to sleep with you, I should say. <laughs> so, but yeah. And there's the bathroom. You talk about the second yeah, door coming so, into the bathroom. So the yeah. only space they're walking through in your house. is Correct. Right there. Just this right here. Just quick entry to the bathroom. It's just easier. It's nicer yeah. that way. So. If you're like me, like to keep your things nice and clean, that's that's going to be an advantage for you. So, lots of lots of storage, uh, storage underneath everything. Um, what we got here again? Damn. Oh, let, right here. Okay. There we go. <laughs> All electric refrigerator. You'll, you're going to see a lot of people going to that now. It's it's a lot easier. You get a much uh, larger refrigerator going to the electric instead of the gas electric. And mm -hmm. um, but yeah, all of the new uh, uh, appliances. Uh, you got the Greystone range and the and the cooktop there. It's a blue lighting everywhere. That's kind of nice, isn't it? It was really cool. I actually, I think I point that out at some point in one of the videos my wife and I shot. It's I'm fascinated by the blue. Yeah, light. it's just cool. Anything you know? shiny for sure. Just cool. Something different. Oh, it's you know? up here too. Yep. <laughs> that's that's sweet. Yep. I'm telling you, man, it's like a club up in here. Here's something you're starting to see now too. USB chargers everywhere. Yeah. That, I I just think that's cool. A lot of I mean, whether you got a tablet, whether it's it's just something to keep the kids entertained on a mm -hmm. rainy day. Uh, chargers everywhere. It's just it's just cool little things like that that make camping more enjoyable when the uh, certain scenarios don't necessarily allow you to be outside. Right. So, uh, but. you know, we talked about my wife and I camping a while back and uh, a couple weeks ago. We had friends come out and they brought their kids and we had a TV mm -hmm. that we never turned on. It was nice to just be away. As much as I, lo I love TV, but it was nice not to turn it on and just enjoy. Uh, hanging out and camping and uh, you talk about bring it up because you talk about the IFB or the IFB the uh, USB yeah. this is an IFB yeah. that's a USB uh, the kids that came out they wanted they wanted to stay on there they didn't care about camping as much as staying on their sure. USB and they plugged in and, and stayed out of our hair for the sure whole time. yeah I, it's, it's as much for for the adults as it is for the kids yeah. uh, some some places you're going to go to are going to have a lot more um adventurous things to do you know right. but but some places just a nice quiet spot have a fire hang out with the family yep. and do do whatever you'd like to do and it's better than sitting at home right even if you're going to do the same stuff so yeah um, but yeah so kids room is going to be up here guys wow, um, big bunks a little bit different configuration here so this is this is what i was saying it's just uh you don't necessarily see this too often here this is basically a, a two queen size beds is what you yeah. have so whether it's smaller, uh, you know, children or younger adults, uh, e either way, it's going to be very comfortable for you. Lots of storage and everything. Yeah, I, mean, I don't think I've seen bunks again. Every time I walk into it's one something of these different, RVs, right? I see something new, and I think this is the first queen size bunks I've seen. Right. <laughs> wow. It's yeah. just something different. Yep. So. Um, but yeah, uh, well, I don't know where Dave went to. I don't know if we had any questions or not. Maybe we should. Uh, not hearing anything. Not hearing anything. We, uh, okay, I just want to make I've sure. Asked, something I've asked. Uh, the other guys I've walked through with in this RV, what would be your favorite feature in well, this one here? I would say for sure the kids room, J yeah. just because, you know, like you said, you do not see the two, the queen bunks uh, right. on, on multiple floor plans. A lot of them are, uh, you might have like a little right angle um, 
uh, you know, type of situation where you'll have, you know, two sleeping spaces at a right angle and then one under underneath. This is just cool. Uh, this is something that even uh, multiple couples could stay in. Yeah, you know, absolutely. you go to go to a, a concert or something. You you can you can house a lot uh, uh, more grown adult on something like this or, yeah. or or a couple, if you will. So. I, yeah. I'm telling you, I think my favorite feature is just that simple blue light. Right. It's, I know there's something cool about that. It's almost like you're a bug, Dave. It's just drawing you to it, right? <laughs> Does it zap me if I get close to it? I don't want to touch. <laughs> I don't like being shocked. Yeah, no, this is this is nice. This is very nice. And again, roomier than what it may be coming across on on the internet. But yeah, this is this is nice. Sure. I don't know. I'm not sure what's next. And, uh, yeah, we must not have questions right now. I do, yeah. Well, I mean, as, as long as uh, uh, no one's got we're particular questions. Yeah, I, I, I assume that they are. But if you guys do have any questions, feel free to call in. Uh, phones are ringing off the hook right now. So even if you don't get through to someone, don't get uh, uh, you know upset or distressed or anything. We'll call you right back. Leave, leave some voicemails on the sales department, and we'll get you taken yeah, care of. Good, so because the phones will be busy. Yeah. We've got a lot of people. We sold a lot of RVs last month. Well, with, with little to no advertisement. Yeah. What we have, like 6,000 members at once? Yeah. Now we're over 40. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, crazy what a little bit of advertisement and time right. was, is going to do for us. And we're, we're expecting to at least double the, the uh, ability that we had last time. I so, love it. it's, yeah, it's going to be great. Yeah. So. And it's, it's fun. We hope you guys are having a blast also. Sure. Again, uh, there's plenty of room underneath to comment. We want to hear from you. We've got people mm -hmm. watching those. I know it's on my phone. Anytime we take a break, I get in and check to see what folks are saying. Mm -hmm. Looks like you're having a good time. We are having a blast. I know we got a lot of uh, very cool things coming up, including more from Trailer Swift. Now, here's a cool thing. I told you guys earlier that we got a chance. Have you Trailer Swift? They yeah. are incredible. We, we we got it playing on the on the uh, live on, in, on the in inside the, in on the, the yeah. on the uh, not monitor but the uh, projector. You there you on go. The wall yep, there. yep. Very cool. Uh, we, we get it's like live tickets. So yeah, that's <laughs> right. So as as big as they were last time, I thought we got to get to know them a little better. So I had a chance to. Uh, speak with Paul, the uh, lead singer for Trailer Swift, and mm -hmm. ask him. Uh, the first question I asked him was, you know, you guys came together as a band, Trailer Swift, for the RV show, and I asked if they had ever worked together and how long they've known each other. This is what he had to say. Check it out. Question one, uh, hey guys, you became a band specifically for the virtual RV show. Have you all worked together before? So here comes my answer on that. Man, that's a great question. The answer is yes and no. Um, how is it both? I'll tell you. Well, I've known Jeffrey Scott uh, for a, a little while here, a couple years now, and uh, we've had a chance to work together on the road with Low Cash, uh, doing some radio tours on acoustic shows, some full band shows where he subbed for me and... Um, uh, we've also gotten to do some trade shows together for Paul Reed Smith Guitars, as well as uh, doing some songwriting uh, down here in Nashville. So we've, we've gotten to have a good uh, relationship through music and a good Christian brotherhood as well. Uh, what you might find interesting is I have never met Lester on drums or Mike on bass. Uh, this virtual RV show did bring us all together. And, uh, man, I look forward to, to hugging those guys next when we actually get a chance to uh, to meet face-to-face -face and, and, and say hey. Um, Jeff, on the other hand, has worked with Lester and Mike uh, with uh, at church and uh, Mike through David Cook and things like that, too. So they already kind of knew each other. Uh, I'm the I'm the new guy uh, among amongst all these awesome uh, musicians, but uh, it's been a real pleasure and very thankful for something like Virtual RV to bring uh, great musicians and people together for uh, for a great time here.
leave at that swimming hole It's nice and cold But can you find arms underneath But the boys' hearts still skip a beat When them girls shimmy off Them old cut arms And it's Trailer Swift. These guys are amazing. All right, Josh, what about this one? So, the 37 bar. Bar. Bar stand. I'm going to you, know, you know what bar stands for? Bar yet? stands for bar. Okay, good, good. Period. We, we got that figured out then. So, uh, guys, Elk Ridge 37 BAR bar. Uh, uh, we're going to show you why uh, here in just a second. So, uh, you'll notice the uh, Texas size pass through storage. A lot of manufacturers Great. call it that there. So, uh, all your control panels and everything are going to be conveniently located on the inside. Outside speakers, electric awning, six-point hydraulic level up. That's a big ticket item right there. Uh, you notice the uh, solid steps. You're starting to see that more commonly in the RV industry now. So uh, very cool stuff there. Um, I wanted to show you on the back real quick. They're, uh, they're starting to put receivers here on a lot of the fifth wheels uh, and travel trailers, actually, um, just in case you needed to take behind a, a little uh, golf cart with you or something like that. Uh, you, know, uh, you know, obviously check your state requirements. Some states allow that, some do not, but just, just uh, again, another cool little item there for you. So cool. you wanna see the inside, see why yeah, it's called the, the, the bar? This is a pretty unique floor plan here, guys. Wow, they even turn on the air conditioner for us oh, in yeah, here. This, one feels good. this is good. This is nice. So, uh, very cool little seating arrangement here, guys. Uh, entertainment. You see two entertainment centers actually. So they give you kind of a, a half kitchen here, so to speak, and then your full kitchens over here. Very uh, unique floor plan. Very awesome here. Um, there are uh, uh, you know other color options. Uh, I know some of you ladies there watching. You might not like the the cream color. They do offer uh, different colors and stuff okay. there. So you know how that do can you, be. Do you so. hear that a lot? Oh, I do. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> if you're going to spend this kind of money, you may as well you be happy get what with you it. Want. You know so. Yep. Um, obviously, it does come with a TV. That one was just removed and put in our part store because this is a stock unit. So, um, but yeah, uh, upgraded refrigerator, all the stainless appliance uh, or stainless steel appliances. I'm sorry. Um, even even cool little things like these uh, these little light fixtures like uh -huh. I just uh, you know again kind of the next step above if you will so and the, the two like sink areas you got the kitchen obviously and then like it's the it's different right yeah. I mean again this is a, a very unique floor plan here uh, I don't know too many people out there making something like this right now um, but yeah very I mean, it really is a bar it's I yeah, mean that's a it's, that's I like mean a this is you can you get two hangout spots two kitchens if you will uh, I, I don't know if you've seen this or not but a little wine cooler you got down here 
just just cool cabinetry galore um just yeah just just a neat little floor plan so wow and plenty of sleeping and um so coming up here a little bit i mean like seriously how many different floor plans can you can you come up with so we're seeing something different every single time right exactly i mean there i i would say the sky would be the limit at uh -huh. that point dave but um what i do notice is a lot of people they'll take a very popular floor plan and they'll just mimic it okay you know so regardless of all of the brands out there of all the manufacturers and stuff there's still um a, uh, i would say about 10 or 15 identical floor plans that everyone makes and they just put their own spin on it whether that's colors and options or or maybe some higher end furniture or something like that gotcha. um but all in all you know it's it, it, if you don't find what you're looking for um on on someone else's lot take a look at ours we probably have the same thing that's called something else you okay. know what i mean so right. um but yeah so we'll okay, show you the you bathroom here Looks like it's going to be a three pane, so it'll just slide there. Plenty of leg room. We'll have a, um, whenever we get to this part here, we've got a king bed, uh, walk in closet to an extent here, huge closet, washer and dryer. I'll let you get past me, Drew, so they can, the people at home can see this here. Storage galore. So just get, get an idea. Uh, Dave, what do you think of this one, man? This is nice. This, <laughs> this uh, we've seen a couple of these with the extra room up front here. This, what is this, a slide? Yeah. A slide, a slide bed, is mm -hmm. what they call it. That, I, I've and heard I, it referred to as the east and, and west bed, right? Because okay. you know, normally it would go with the length of the trailer. Right. So again, plenty of, uh, of walking room in here, but get changed, whatever you'd like to. Yeah. I mean, it's just nice to have you know feel a little bit more like home when you're away so. it's a big old closet it's a big right closet right too. i was gonna say i mean that's just part of it you got the other part there too so yeah uh you have plenty of room there washer dryer hook up everything like that for you Great. so very cool room for your tv yep you gotta yeah. have a tv for sure you never know when it's gonna rain that's right that's right again i i'm really fascinated by this <laughs> by the bar especially with the tv above so you got a tv in the bedroom you uh -huh. have a tv here and then a tv here but to have like the bar set up, like it's like a sports bar. You got sure. the TV above the bar, so you can sit here and watch TV. Serve your friends. Yeah, That's, yeah, absolutely. This is great. Do we, uh, you know, the total on this one? I know it's probably at the bottom of the they, screen. They got it wrote down, and I, I have seen them going across. The, if I had them all memorized, my yeah. head wouldn't fit through the door, That's Dave. I'm, point. I'm being honest with you guys. But if you guys do have any questions on this particular model or any of them that we're showing you, I know a lot of people don't have time to sit and watch the, the whole uh, show or, or anything. But any questions, anything that you might have missed, give us a call, okay? That's 877 877 again, 4494. Uh, you can reach me personally at Extension 1000 or just dial the, the sales number at the dial tone someone will be in touch with you okay so and i'm gonna say out of all of the rvs we've seen so far this has been my favorite at least feature oh for because sure because of the the separated yep I'm, i don't know if i can if i if that's getting across or not but i'm really impressed <laughs> with this one this one is sweet i love it um when's the last time you went camping it has been two years. I really? Used, I used to race some cars and stuff. We'd camp out at the track. So uh -huh. uh, other than, well, no, sorry, I lied to you. We went, uh, we went um, uh, side by side. You know, we, we went right. rode the side by sides yesterday, or not yesterday, shit. Uh, last <laughs> last year in, okay. in uh, Indiana, about July. So gotcha. I, I just don't get away from this place uh, as much as I'd like to. Yeah, but you guys work hard here. It's, I, it, I have learned that. Sales doesn't sleep, and I try not to either. Any, you know what I mean? So well, <laughs> and the way you guys take care of customers. Sure. I mean, it says a lot that you're here as much as you are. To Absolutely. Take care, take care of the customers that you know have spent as great a deal as you get with rv wholesalers mm -hmm. it's still it's still money that people are spending absolutely and, and uh i mean if you're if you're putting that guys. trust in me to give me you know 44 however much you know thousands of dollars this thing is mm -hmm. I, I i need to earn your trust and whether that's taking a call in the evening uh whether that's stepping away from the dinner table and helping you out that's yeah. that's what we're here for but not it's not just us in the sales room guys we have a dedicated warranty department Th those those ladies and gentlemen those are the ones that make this place truly great right because uh, uh, that's all they do all day long they're helping our customers whether it's getting them into a place or getting them parts or service or just taking care of the bills that those are the guys that really you know work behind the scenes to make our jobs a lot easier so shout out to them thank you very much for Absolutely. all that you do but um but yeah i can't take all that credit i wish i could <laughs> <laughs> so yeah well uh we are going to uh go in and i've got something i want to sell you guys we're going to have a flash sale and give some more stuff away cool. i think you're going to be pretty stoked about this 
Um, actually, I'm hearing that there's somebody out here that we're going to interview from that came in from North Carolina. You want to go out with me? Sure. Talk to him? Yeah. All right. Let's go. Let's go talk to him. All right. Where are we headed? Right here. Any questions on this one, Dave? Yeah, they want to know if there's uh, any more. Oh, you're gonna have them come in. All right. Any more? We're gonna bring them in here. If and, my uh, mic's still on, then we'll uh, address that Ask here in a second. Ask what they're doing. Coming clear up from Dave, North uh, Carolina. Dave, just, just real quick. Yeah. Uh, so we had a couple questions on the Oak Ridge here. Uh, additional sleeping arrangements. So, uh, guys, the, the couch in the back does fold out. And as you've seen, I mean, th there's not really a big island in this one since they give you the bar. So you have plenty of room for an air mattress if you needed to. But this is more what I'd refer to as a uh, a couple's trailer that would be entertaining guests. You know, right. I mean, okay. this it, when you put this thing on your lot, expect all your friends and, and family to come and hang out in yours because you got the best layout. So. And I meant to say, this as we walked in is this the biggest one we've seen so far so far i think uh i'd say other than that toy hauler okay. that one that one had some link to it as yeah, well so yeah. but, but yes sir it's a monster it, it just just uh, keep tuned we got plenty of them more on the way i think we got what 110 to go through got, something like little, that yeah, i mean it's crazy so we appreciate you guys tuning in today and uh i, I guess we're going to talk yeah, to these guys some friends in. come on came in guys up. how you doing hello, hello. hey guys you guys came up from north carolina yes is that right why did you come up clear to Ohio from North Carolina today? Oh, here we go. <laughs> um, we actually have went looking at um, some on last Saturday in Raleigh, North Carolina. We were heading to Ashland, and we ended up was like, oh, well, here's some right here, my husband said. So we went there, and we actually put our money down on it. It was supposed to be picking up today. Really? But I just wasn't satisfied. I uh -huh. never truly at peace, so I kept looking, and we ended up came to your site, and I was like, fell in love, and we ended up took that loss, and we drove down last night. I wow. thought um, Arthur helped us and did you a lot. You guys drove down last night. We drove oh, last man. night at six thirty, and um, Arthur he did the live with us, Facetime. I said, can you do Facetime with us live? And he did. He pulled everything out, and I was like, I told my husband, I was like, hey, I take the loss. I was like, hey, <laughs> yeah. it's That's mortgage. Awesome. I was like, it'd be our month mortgage that we took the loss <laughs> on. Um, so we ended up, drove down, got here about 2.53 last night, checked in at the Holiday Inn, and we decided to spend a day with you all. Awesome. Love it. Well, thanks for coming. I didn't even ask, I should have asked your names. I didn't even ask your name. What is your Sandra name? Sandra and Dave. Deontay. All right. It's Sandra and Deontay. Deontay. Well, we appreciate you guys coming down. Do you know uh, what, what model you got? We got the Puma. Okay. 2020. See, I stayed in a Puma with my uh, wife just two weekends ago and loved it. Because yes. we aren't, are we? As of now, we we haven't stayed in RVs very much, so we went out and hung out, and the Puma was nice. It is. Is yeah. this is this going to be your guys' first purchase? Have you owned a couple before? Well, we have one um, that I bought a couple years ago. Um, never used it. Mm -hmm. um, it was just a small one room open. I was comfortable mm -hmm. after I got it. So it's been in the back of my office ever since. <laughs> right. So I just said this time I want what I want. There, there you go. go. Well, I think you made the right choice. Yes. Made the right choice. Wonderful lunch, everything. Y'all got to come out. Phenomenal. <laughs> See that? I mean, that's, I, We've the been only... four. We still sitting here. We don't think we're going nowhere. We're just going to sit. <laughs> and, and we're not even paying them, but I do want to give you guys something. Uh, can you hold this for me, Jim? I sure can. So you've seen these shirts. We're going to talk about these in a minute. Trailer Swift. We had Trailer yes. Swift shirts made up. That's the band that's been playing all day long. So we have shirts for you guys, Thank um, you. and I'll talk more about them in there. But thanks for hanging out with us. Stay as long as you want. <laughs> Enjoy your trailer. Check in every once in a while. Let us know how it's going, how much you love them. And, uh, yeah, let's head in there. I'll talk more about these trailers, these trailer Swift Come shirts. We're we'll talking about trailers all day. All right, thanks, guys. See you. Thank you. Thanks. Thank we'll you. see you guys. All right, guys, so uh, you guys loved Trailer Swift. You absolutely loved it. How could you not? Those guys are incredible. Again, you'll learn more about them as we go throughout the day. But we decided we got to make up the, the tour shirts, and that's what we did. We've got the Trailer Swift. I mean, look at that logo. That's just, it's, it's quality. The shirt is like the, the nice material. You know what I'm talking about when you get a shirt on the back. It's got the Trailer Swift All-American RV Tour. I'll show you up close what it looks like. And actually they have the Quarren Tour in there because of what happened. So what we have, this is pretty clever. On the back of these, on the back we have all the cities that they were supposed to hit, supposed to hit. Again, 
they came together for the RV show. But these are all popular places to stay in an RV. And it's crossed out. It says 2020 concert dates, and it just says your living room May 28th. We've got as many of these as you guys need. Here's the deal. I'm going to give away five right now. We'll do this off. I probably won't be able to. I'll, I'll take the first caller, but then the next four callers will get a free shirt sent to you. And then uh, after that, we're going to do a flash sale. 25 bucks for the shirt. That includes shipping and handling. But you got to have these. Limited as far as uh, uh, the run. We're not going to do any more the next time. This is it. So you got to get this. 937-843-2424. Uh, or parts at rvwholesalers.com is the website you can go to and let them know and buy one there. Let them know that you, you want one. Um, so right now, the prizes for the prizes, 937-649-5970. That's the prize number. Call right now. I'm going to pick up the first line and find out who's our first person to win the, uh, win the very first shirt. Hello? Nope. Hold on, guys. Here we go. Hello? Hello. I'm going to pretend like I'm talking to somebody. <laughs> yeah. No, unfortunately, I'm married. <laughs> Hello? Are you there? Yes. Hey, who's this? Hello? This is Kim. Kim. Kim, did you see the did you see these trailer Swift shirts where we just got in? Yes. Yes. It's it's pretty sharp, they look right? Awesome. They are awesome. What mm -hmm. do you think about the band? I um, well, today was the first time I heard of them. They sound great. Yeah, they are they are incredible. And again, we're gonna get to know more about them. But uh, guess what? You're the very first. You're the very first recipient outside of this uh, RV wholesalers to get a trailer Swift shirt. So we will send that off to you. Congratulations. Yay. Um, we really appreciate you watching. Have you been watching all day, or just happened to tune in at the right time? Um, I've been watching off and on all day, um, right. in between everything else I'm doing, but yeah, thank you. Love it. Well, thanks for watching. Uh, keep watching and, and, uh, maybe, maybe we can get you into an RV today. Who knows? Definitely. <laughs> all right, Kim, stay on the line. We'll get your information from you. Okay, thanks. All right, bye-bye. So, again, the next four callers after her real quick, we'll take those. You'll get your free Trailer Swift shirt, but don't let, don't let today go by without getting your Trailer Swift shirt. Again, uh, Everybody's going to talk about these. You're going to, it's going to be a, a conversation, conversation starter. People are like, who's Trailer Swift? You can tell them that it's a, it's a band that, uh, that you know personally because you've seen them, hung out with them live online. Uh, yeah, so again, call 937-843-2424. That's the, that's the line to get this stuff. Uh, anything we do a flash sale on, that is the phone number, parts at rvwholesalers.com. You can send an email, let them know what you want, and we'll get stuff sent out to you. I believe I'm going to head over to the next RV. I'll meet you there. All right, we're back. We're back. This quick little segments. We got to get over here quick. How you doing? Good. Mitch. Good. Mitch. Everybody, this is Mitch. Again, everybody here is at least six foot three. How tall are you, Mitch? Six five. You know what's good though that when you're walking through these, everybody knows you're tall, and there's still plenty of headroom in these things. Well, all my all my hair's going. That's that's what's yeah. happened, right? <laughs> <laughs> so that's what it is. Just rubbed against the top and and uh, disappeared. Is that what happened? Yeah, that's yeah. exactly okay. what happened. That's fair. <laughs> all right. So uh, what do we got here? So what we got today? It's a Sandpiper C class, okay? Um, and basically what it is, it's for like you know a heavier half ton, three quarter ton type of truck, um, uh -huh. smaller um, than your tr traditional Sandpiper. They make bigger ones too. So. Uh, what we're going to do, we're going to look at a bunkhouse today. This unit, what's unique about this unit is um, John Madius, my rep over at Sandpiper's uh -huh. brother, actually came up with the idea this is the floor plan he wanted, and they built it for him. Okay. Right? And it's, it's turned out really, really well. It's two full baths, bunkhouse, so we'll go through it with you. Awesome. Uh, it. You want to go through the outside or the yeah, inside yeah, first? Whatever you want. It's totally yeah, up to you. Yeah, no problem. So um, as we'll move up, you'll just see, first off, we'll just look at the front end. I mean, that's really, you still got the nice higher full fiberglass front cap, okay? Just like the regular sandpipers do, which are bigger. Uh -huh. um, they do full fiberglass, um, power awning. Uh, let's move around here. You'll see that 
they're solid steps are huge. Um, they do have auto leveling too. Okay. Okay. Um, it's got a little outside fridge, which is really nice too. So um, aluminum wheels. I mean, it's it's a higher end unit for, for a very good price point unit. Okay. So um, want to go on the inside? Yeah, I've got to point out, out though, again, we got, I know, I know what these letters stand for, 3330BH, that's uh, 3330 Booger House, another <laughs> name for nose. So just in case you're wondering. <laughs> uh, ooh, yeah, it feels good in here. They got the air on, the fan on. Yeah, well, it's just super nice. As you can tell, when you come in here, you just fill the room, yeah. right? You still got a nice room. It does come with a TV. We just store them inside so they don't get stolen. Um, they use residential fridges, okay? Um, so, you know, you've still got full fridge. I want to show them a picture of that. Top freezer, full fridge. So they're using all the bigger stuff, not the, not the smaller, you know, six cubic um, that a lot of them are using as well. Fireplace comes with the unit. Uh, you'll notice they've got the nicer countertops that run down. Um, they do do an undermount sink, okay, which is all one, one big sink with stainless steel. And then they do a pull-out sprayer there too. So those, those are big, just nicer, nicer features that a lot, of, a lot of manufacturers don't do out there. They do give you a residential microwave, um, three burner cooktop with a glass top. So you can tell this model is awesome because you got a lot of counter space. Yeah. Yeah, there is, that is a lot of counter space. Yeah, counters, cabinets, I mean, you just got everything. So uh, they do a boot dinette. That couch goes out into a uh, trifold sofa, so you can sleep two adults on that very easily, okay. too. So um, ceiling fan up top. Oh, this is nice. Yeah, two, like I said, two full baths. Let's move to the back, because that's one of the coolest things about this model. Wow. So you'll notice, so this goes down to a double bed, so you can still hang out. Still hang out down here. You got USB ports, plugins, and stuff to hang out. You can put a TV here, bunk above. So basically, this goes basically down to a double bed. You've got a single bunk above, and then you've got a nice big loft up there that too. Is, that so is cool. get up there, Steve. Just call me Steve. <laughs> yeah, wrong name. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Still better than what my wife calls me most of the time. You want me to get all the way up there? Check it out. Yeah, I'm going to. Now it's obviously there's a there's a tight fit. As far as uh, adults go, yeah, but it's oh, that's nice. It's actually kind of nice. <laughs> Ooh, and that I can feel the air right there. That feels. You might have to take the rest of this uh, RV by yourself, and I'll just hang out up here for a while. I kind of like it up here. It's pretty cool, isn't it? Yeah, nice this place for the kids. So Plenty. Kids. How many kids do you think we can put up there? Uh, depending on how if they're if they're shorter, you can put them widthwise and get. About 23 of them up here, I feel. <laughs> you might have to stack a couple, but sure, why not? If you're traveling with 23 kids, uh, you got to find another hobby. Yeah, uh, yeah, for sure. No, this is good. While he's coming down, I'll show you another cool spot here. This <laughs> is this is half, this is the other Make full sure bath. Make sure you can't see me fall in the background as I <laughs> as I step down off the ladder. So you got a full bath here. All right, you got a toilet, sink, medicine cabinet, full full bath. Um, and then we'll move up to the front and show you the main bedroom and then as well as we'll go through the, uh, the other full bath up top as well. So everybody's got their own spot. You fall yet? No, I good. I made it. <laughs> I made it. That, there's a lot of, a lot of storage in this unit. Model, model's a super nice unit for, for the size too. So it's a smaller fifth wheel compared to a lot of them. Okay. okay so that's why, you know, on the back, it's a little tighter up top there for the kids. Um, but for, you know, that's what, for kids, it'll be it's, fine for adults. Yeah, it's but it's still kind of cool. I kind of liked it. I kind of liked it. It was, it's kind of, it's kind of cool. Yep. Yeah. We'll go check out the top front yeah. after you. All right. Oh, this is one with two bathrooms. Yep. So I just showed them the other bathroom. This will be the main bedroom. Okay. And this has two entries. So you can get into the bathroom from the hallway mm -hmm. and then also through here. Right so. Here. You've got nightstands. So a lot of people have sleep app machines. This is perfect. You can set them there. They've got 110 plugins there, USB ports there. So you could still have plenty of space there. And a lot of people get claustrophobic. So with this, see how they brought this up and give you openness? Uh -huh. Now most of them bring, bring the cabinet down here because it's hanging. Right. Well, you've got a wardrobe slide right there for all your hanging. Okay, yeah, here. Yep, there you go. Yeah, it's great. So you got all wardrobe and that goes all the way into the bathroom. So you've got plenty of extra storage up here. Um, I've got good head clearance up here. I'm 6'5". I'm yeah. still not totally hitting my head on the ceiling. Right. So, um, 
Yeah, so, we, so and you're actually back where it's starting to come down a little bit. So up here you'd have even more room. It's right. Yeah. Exactly. Yep. Yeah. Little pocket door. Um, you want to open the bathroom there, and we'll show them. Say hi to them. Hey. hey. This is. It's awesome. This is crazy. It's a big old mirror. It's the biggest mirror I think I've seen so far. It's, it's ridiculous the the little things I'm fascinated by. Um, more storage, of course, is connected. This is part of the slide, right? Yep, that, yep. Yeah. That goes all the way, all the way through. They use a nicer glass glass shower here. Okay. You got plenty of space around your sink to have, you know, put toothbrush, you know, any any little things like medicine and stuff like yeah. that. You got that. Um, more of a residential, you know what I mean? Like even the faucet on the inside that'll pull out. That's okay. a nicer residential type material too. Uh, they do. They got the fan up top to pull air in and out. Yep. Um, which is on a on a switch right here too, okay. so you can do all that from there as well. It's a Good. nice unit, isn't it? Yeah, this is awesome. For the size, you can get a lot of people in here, and basically even like couples. You know, a lot of a lot of couples. You know, two of them will stay up. You know, one couple upstairs, the one couple in the back. They got their own bathrooms and everything else. It's just overall, it's a nice nice layout for yeah. that part too. Wow. And I am really, I am. This is one that I'm really shocked with how much. Maybe because all the storage is just right here, but it seems like there's a whole lot of storage yep. in, in this, especially this kitchen area right here. Well, and I've been here 15 years. I mean, the uh, sandpiper I know really well. We've, we've carried it forever. Mm -hmm. um, nice unit. They, yeah. they do high end. You don't have a lot of problems with them. Forest River is an excellent manufacturer to deal for, too. Yeah. Um, if you ever got warranty stuff, they take care of their customers. So, uh, But yeah, this is definitely a higher end unit at a, a lower end price point, too. Okay. So, What is the price? You got a price uh, pr yeah, price point is uh, with the discounts and stuff's going on, it's $38,927. Um, you know, rough estimate on payment, depending on your credit, around 300 bucks. And you know, most manufacturers or other competitors out there selling this thing 50, 60, 65 grand. So that's crazy. Um, it's, it's a great time with, with the extra incentives going on right now. Great yeah. time to pick it up. I know so. a lot of people are getting back to RVing right now. Uh, so this is a good time. It's mostly a good time to buy just because with everybody buying, I hear that the, uh, the, the supplies are limited. Yeah. So it's probably best to jump on right now. Oh, it's huge because, I mean, a lot of manufacturers, you're out two and a half, three months right now. Mm -hmm. um, we've ran into that a lot. Uh, if we got to order something, we'll order it for you. But, yeah, as far as stock goes, if you're looking at a stock and you want to start camping right away, you need to jump on right now because okay. they're. I've never seen it. In 15 years I've been here, I've never seen it this crazy as far as uh, how quickly our inventory was depleted. Wow. So. Well, I know. They talked about how... Uh, a lot of the RVs that we had set up to show today mm -hmm. sold before we got to today. They did. And actually, yeah. the first RV that we went through sold uh, by the time we walked out of it. That's I believe crazy. it. crazy. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's, and I've been running that, and then we're selling. So then we've got a lot on order, but we're selling off with all those too. So um, just as soon as you can, take advantage of it. Take advantage of the sale today, especially because they got the extra incentives running. Um, and you know we'll we'll still order one if we don't have it. We'll order it for them. You'll wait a little bit longer, but what's well, a few months to for something you're going to keep for a lifetime? You right. know what I mean? Right. Love it. Anything else you want to show us about this one? No, these are the, those are the big things I wanted to really point out. Just you know how how you compact it is. Two full baths with the bunkhouse is huge. Yeah. I had mentioned that uh, people are getting back into RVing. It's because my wife and I had a chance to RV just a couple weeks ago. First time ever, like oh, really? legit, just me and her. And I wanted to know what it was like. I wanted to know what what to experience. And when we got there, I was kind of showed quickly how to hook up water and the electrical. And this is what happened. I actually made it. Check this out. Cool. Perfect. Thanks, man. Yeah. Sorry for... So uh, I may be sharing some tips with you that they've shared with me. One thing they mentioned, uh, and I'm t when I talk they, I'm talking about the folks at RV Wholesalers. Like I said, this is all new to me, and they kind of just sent me out on my own with, with uh, Berthy. Um, but they said to bring a tool, like a small tool bag. So I've got mine. I have such necessities as a um, small roll of deck, duct tape, another roll of duct tape, also have some yellow twine. You never know when you're gonna need yellow twine. There's a spoon. I always use a spoon uh, to do stuff like that. And uh, one more 
piece of duct tape. And then of course the bag can be used to carry things in or cover things. I should probably find a better, I'm gonna make a call and see if they can bring me a small toolbox. Okay, so uh, I found out that we gotta hook up water. <laughs> First you need a uh, water hose. It's a little better than like a regular garden hose. This is lined so it doesn't mess with your water. Something like that, we'll talk more about it uh, during the show. But uh, inside here you have a, like a, a gasket. We have more gaskets. They say to always have more gaskets just because you can lose those pretty quickly. And then we also have these things, these little filters that will control the water pressure. But even better than, than those little filters are these. These are uh, water regulators. And we'll be selling these today, I believe. Uh, maybe in a flash sale, I'm not 100% sure. But uh, you put this on the end, you plug this in, you plug that into the camper, I think. Let's go find out if it works. Okay, so I found our water right here next to the electrical box. <laughs> Terrifying. So this obviously goes on here. So far, so good. Like I said, this is the regulator that will keep, uh, keep the water pressure so it doesn't blow out anything in the RV. Okay. So this end here. We put on the RV somehow. neighbors for a couple days okay the water's turned on now i can figure out the gas <laughs> I mean, you may want to stand back Murphy. i'm fine you're fine you want to move the car we can go together <laughs> two tanks which is cool um one newbie problem i guess people have again i'm learning with you is that people will turn on both tanks and you don't want to turn on both tanks to go through the gas pretty fast the cool thing about having two tanks is you turn on one and then when that one's gone, you got this reserve tank, so you have time to think, oh, I need to make sure I fill this other one before this one's out. You know, we've all been there grilling with one tank and the gas goes out and you're halfway through grilling your hamburger and you have to stop and go get more uh, gas. So that's what two of them are for. This one is turned on now. We'll go inside and try to turn on the stove. I may lose my eyebrows. I'm gonna be honest with you. <laughs> Listening to a little John party, but I turned it down because I'm not sure if We'll be allowed to play his music in the background. Okay, so here's what we've got. The stove, look at that. Look at those cool lights. That's so sweet. This is the center one right here. So I'm gonna turn that on high, uh, like that. And then here's the little spark. All right, let me try this one first. <laughs> What's this? Well, oh, that's a stove. Oh, did you see it? <laughs> it scared me. Yeah, it scared you. I peed a little. So there you go. Let that burn for a little bit. This is again. What I've been told. Let that burn for a little bit. Then we're going to turn this one on over here. Maybe I started to. <laughs> I, mean, I was dancing, not jumping for my life. And then, uh, let's do this last one. Look, I don't know why I clap after every time. This nerves. Gas is gas is flowing. Stove is working. Or the what's this what's the top called? Stove. Stove. Bottom's the oven. This mm -hmm. is the stove. And there's the stove. That's the oven. Or the oven, I mean. I'm gonna let them burn for a little bit just to get out any gas air. <laughs> Your knowledge is very overwhelming. Thank you. It's warm.
You're making fun of me, but your eyes get big when I turn it up, too. It's because I'm watching your eyes get big. Oh. Off. 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 There you go. Look. Still got my eyebrows. Can you see them? Yeah, they need fixed. What do you mean they need fixed? They need trimmed up. The... So gas is on. Water's on. Electricity is on. Music's playing. It's not going to be long before we'll be eating. You ready to eat? Mm-hmm. how to hook up water and electricity and I didn't get electrocuted <laughs> or I and I also didn't catch myself on fire uh, I, I really am a little more manly than what it comes across I really don't jump at fire like that but uh I made it so uh, what do we got here well everybody's been asking about a, a smaller unit we've been doing a lot of bigger units today so uh, here here's where we at um, this is a Winnebago micro mini 2108 DS okay dirty, dirty socks <laughs> Dirty socks, you got it. Under 3,000 pounds, okay? So um, this, a lot of people are looking for this. You know, smaller SUVs. Mm -hmm. um, everybody's, got, you know, a lot of times, most, like a lot of smaller vehicles are rated at 3,500. Here's their perfect option, okay? okay? Um, I want to start up front because I really like the new front end that they've done yeah. to it. So let's, sure. let's start over there and I'll show you that. What you'll see here, you've got a full one-piece fiberglass, real aggressive front end, all right? Uh -huh. Um, they've got three-year structure warranty from, from Winnebago. Uh, they uh, basically a full fiberglass, aluminum frame unit, got a power front jack. They use nice slam. This is going to be like a, about, as, about as high as end you're going to find in a travel trailer in a smaller unit. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, one thing that they do is they, they've got basically three options. Okay. They use a lot, lot thicker gel coat. They've got the paint, the white, white exterior. This is white. You can get, um, there's a couple other options like a, like a grayish color. Um, and then almost like a, um, like a beige champagne color. So you've got a couple options to choose from on your exterior if you, if you wanted to order one. So, um, let's move over here real fast. I gotta yeah. tell you a true yeah. story. Uh, just last week, my wife and I were at Tim Hortons and they do that roll up to win on the cup. Yep. And I'm sitting across from her and she's like, she gets excited. And she's like, we just won an RV. <laughs> I'm like, are you, are you serious? We won an RV? She's like, yeah, look. And she turned around and showed me. I said, hunt, that says win a bagel. <laughs> <laughs> okay, what's going on here? How many, please, please keep watching. Don't, don't leave. I won't do any more of those stupid jokes. My wife is probably texting me right now. Telling me to shut up. That didn't really happen. You notice how this unit sits a little bit higher? It's, it's basically, you can use this off-road too. Okay. They use beefier tires, all right? Aluminum rims. Uh, you got propane quick disconnect. Um, look at all the storage too that they got in there. Uh, you got aluminum framing in there too. So everything's high quality that they're putting on their units. Um, power awning, LED lights, outside speakers. Those are big things, you know, water heater and everything. But yeah, let's, let's go on the inside. I want to show you something really cool about this, how, how they utilize the space. All right, so you'll notice you've got your dinette, right? Your uh -huh. booth dinette, uh, but you also got a sofa, okay? Well, with the Murphy bed, uh, a lot of people probably haven't seen how this works. You can utilize this when you're not using the bed. You can sit here, you sit here, so you can entertain on a shorter unit. And then all you do is you flip this down, all right? And this just this will come over. You can just basically flip that. Well, let's see how they got it here. You got, oh. well, there was this little switch here. Basically what happens is this will come <laughs> down. I think I've got it, got it uh, hung up on that oh, side yeah. over there. So basically what will happen is that, that bed will come down over top, and then you can utilize that for, for your sleeping area mm -hmm. too. So. You know what, this real quick, let's point this out real fast. Something I learned, and again, we I got another video of this later. Uh, something like this where this isn't coming down, which is no big deal, mm -hmm. but you guys have the, what is it, the PPI? Is that what it's called? Where uh, you guys... Uh, PDI, pre-delivery pre inspection. Okay, and what we do is, is we just, we go through the complete unit, okay? So what we're gonna do is, once a unit comes in, um, like I get the question all the time, hey Mitch, if I come over and look at the unit today, um, which I encourage you, if you guys feel safe right now, come on over, We'd take a look, to, we'd love to have we you here. We'd love for you to come out. 
We love it. Um, you can wear masks, not wear masks. I mean, whatever you guys are comfortable with, we'll, that's how we'll do it. Um, but as far as the PDI goes, like somebody else come in and say, man, I really would like to take it today. It's hard for us to do that because our guys are going to go through all the systems, okay? They're going to wash it, clean it, check everything. You know, that, a lot of times that's going to take a half a day to a day. Yeah. So it's hard to be able to get somebody out in and out the same day because I want to have the time to make sure that everything's good You've when they leave. Checklist on the iPad that you go through all of these yep. points of inspection. That's correct. Yeah. So I just yep. brought, I thought of that as you, as you couldn't get, the, I'm sure it's no big deal, but that would be something that would be taken care of before they got to their place because of the PDI. Yep. Hey, Mitch, real quick. People are asking uh, comfort tech package, explorer package, and a three-year structural warranty. Mm -hmm. Can you hit any of that for them real quick? Well, standard. Um, that's the nicest thing about Winnebago is um, all their packages are standard. I think the only real options is exterior color and if you wanted to go with, like, a, a bigger air conditioner. Other than that, all the packages, you can't buy one without it. So makes it simple. You don't have a lot of options to choose from, and it also gives you a great resale down the road because now you don't have a, a unit out here that's missing 27 mm -hmm. options because there's only two options up front. So gotcha. makes it simple and easy for everybody. But great questions. I appreciate that. Um, moving on, yeah, we'll, we'll show them how, how you get nice counter space. Yes. They got the countertop extension. Give you a little space there. Under mount stainless steel sink. Uh, they utilize, like a lot of manufacturers are doing, they put a glass top so that you can utilize that for space and then this flips, you know, twice when you go to um, use it for your three burners and everything. Which that was an awesome video watching you learn how to, how to light this too. You did a nice job with that. Oh, yeah. It was, <laughs> hey, Mitch, there's Mary there's wants no to... hair from here down because of the... <laughs> Mary <laughs> wants to call and buy this trailer from you. How does she get a hold of you when you're done? Yep, just call me, 937-937. Um, uh, 843 4380. Just call me directly. Um, I also have two assistants that work with me, uh, Cass and Matthew. If I'm on the phone, um, just have them grab me uh, as soon as I get off and, and we'll, we'll help you out. We work as a team so that you can always get a hold of somebody. Uh, we're very, very busy. So I always, that's why we decided to go to teams so that somebody can always get, get to you right away mm -hmm. and we'll, we'd love to help you. What is, I appreciate what is her it. name, David? Mary. Mary. Mary, you got to buy this. This is, is adorable the right word? This is, this is. A it's, fun little camper. Man, it's Kelsey perfect. wants to know what's the interior height. So how tall are you, Mitch? Well, I'm six five, so I'm and right at the top. You've got space. Yeah, you're close. So let's call it six five. Uh, possibly uh, yeah, I'm six, six three, yep. and I got lots of. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, gr great question. Um, I, I really them no, they call this. I call this mom and pops type of unit, right? Yeah. yeah. So a couples coach, right? Right. What a lot of people are always like. Well, what about grandkids? Well, the nice thing about this is this goes down to a bed. Yep. So you can sleep, you know, obviously two, three grandkids, depending on their sizes, obviously. So don't be, you know, a lot of people want to jump into bunks, especially uh, older couples that have grandchildren, and they, they think, well, the grandchildren are going to come all the time. Mm -hmm. Well, sometimes they do, sometimes they don't. But now when they, when they don't come, you still got... It's not wasting You, you didn't waste all that bunk space in, into your, into your unit that point. you're not using. That's so a very good point. It's a good thing to think about. It comes with the TV. Um, let me slide the slide over here, show you this real quick. So you've got uh, your phone, right? If you've got wireless on your phone, just put that on. As you can see, it just lit up. That's a wireless charger oh, wow. for your cell phones. So that's pretty cool. Nice little area right there. You've got spots around yeah. the bed you can utilize. Um, like again, I told you TV will be is stored inside, but it comes with the unit. And then this is all Bluetooth. It's called the uh, Connects. And you can, you can play your CDs, DVDs. It's got all your inputs, outputs. It controls your speakers outside, inside. Um, so it's all one centrally located spot right there, too. So this slide out will slide into. So, you know, basically this you know, gives you that nice floor space and everything there. They do use gas and electric um, refrigerators. So if you, like a lot of manufacturers use a 110 fridge now, mm -hmm. which runs off a converter. They don't last near as long as like a propane would. So if you're doing a lot of dry camping, this is a nice option to have. Okay. So, um, awesome bathroom. Again, real quick, tell folks what dry camping is. I learned last time, but for people who are tuning in for the first time. Great question. Uh, dry camping is actually when, uh, so you're going somewhere and you don't have hookups. Okay, like electrical hookup. Mm -hmm. um, that's what they call dry camping because you don't have a 30 amp power cord to plug in. So you're going to run a lot off a of 12 volt, off of solar. If you decide to do solar, they make different solar panels. It's a solar prep unit. Um, and then you're going to run most of your unit right off a of 12 volt. And that, that, that's essentially dry camping in itself. No, no power there. Cool. Um, good, good, good yeah, you want to you show yeah, them that? Yeah, absolutely. 
So you got a nice big bathroom back here, okay? We flip that light on here. So look how wide that shower is, right? So it's got a nice big shower. That comes out sort of like on an angle too, so it gives you a lot of room to be able to, you know, wash yourself off by utilizing this space. Got a nice toilet with plenty of leg room. And then um, I'll jump out real quick and then you can show them the stainless steel sink and the extra cabinet sitting right back there too. Do you know the price? This off the top yeah. of your head again. I think it's on. It's on. It should be on the screen. But yep, absolutely. So, so this one with the sale price going on today, this one's twenty two one forty one. Um, I mean, rough estimate again. Always depends on credit. It's going to be right around two hundred bucks a month. <laughs> <That's awesome. laughs> As you can see, competitors pricing is right around thirty to thirty six grand. That's so crazy. With the sales, man, it's it's always like last sale. I think we sold thirty five to forty units total uh -huh. uh, in the, in one day, right. and then we sold another probably 35 to 40 the next couple of days mm -hmm. from, from the sale. Um, but, you know, it's, it's just it's a great time to pick it up. I mean, you don't get, like, in the car industry, there's always different rebates and stuff. When they do these sales like this, it don't only happens a couple times a year. So that's why it's so important to take advantage of stuff, you know, uh, of, of the one-day sale. It's a, it's a, that's why we're here all day. Okay. Just, just trying to fill all the orders, so. So Mary, Mary's out there. She wants to get hold of you. I'd love to help you, Mary. Yeah. I appreciate it, too. And um, give me a call, and, and we'll, we'll get everything taken care of uh, when we get everything finished Buy up here. Buy this, Mary. This is fun. <laughs> this is fun. I'm rooting for you, Mary. Uh, yeah. And what, what can you pull this with? What's the smallest smallest vehicle you could pull this with? Well, um... I mean, there's a lot of, a lot of smaller... Like, like a Honda... Even like a Honda um, CRV. Uh -huh. um, they've got... Well, a lot of those are, are 3,500. Yeah. So a lot of smaller vehicles can pull this unit. Okay. Um, SUVs. So we can help you with that too. So a lot of people will know, you know, what they can tow, and then there's a lot of people that don't don't know. So call us. We can try to look that up, or just call your your um, your car manufacturer, and they can tell you your exact towing capacity Great. too. It's good. We'll tip. help you. It's a good tip. All right. Well, let's head over here. Sure. Let's get over to the uh, the next one. We're gonna walk through together. So here, here's what I was thinking on this one. I mean, I, I think you've, you've done enough of them. Now you think you could probably do this one yourself? <laughs> yeah, that's funny. Hey, yeah. Mary, Mary's waiting on me. Are you going you you to try and get a hold of Mary? Yeah. Are you serious? Yeah. You want me to walk through this by myself? I, th I think you can do it. Can I sell it? You can sell it. I can sell you this? You can sell it. Hey, call, give me a call, Mary. I told you. You call him, Mary, but I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to sell it. I don't know if you guys are messing with me, but I'm going to sell this. I need the paperwork that they hand other people. I'm going to talk about this. Uh, this, uh, what is this? Is this, the... this is the wild. This is the wildwood light. Um, as you'll see here, it's the uh, typical uh, rectangular shape. This one comes with, uh, I believe, four tires. There's two on this side. I'm assuming there's two on the other side. It also has uh, a power awning with lights on it. I'm learning that. Uh, some windows. Uh, this is the two, uh, 261 BHL. That's the big, hunky, extra large. Um, that's, uh, I think that was Dave's name when he, when he danced. Uh, so let's, let's take a look inside here and see what we got inside here. Uh, so, okay, what you got here is a lot of space. <laughs> I'm winging it, folks. They, they put me alone in an RV. I'm going to sell this thing. So let's, let's take a look. Let's discover it together. Let's go this way. Let's work from the back to the front. This uh, bunkhouse, that might be what the BH stands for. Bunkhouse. So you've got a bunk here, a bunk there. You can probably fit two kids up here, two kids up here. Again, unless they're this tall, if they're this tall, you put them uh, width-wise. You got the, the uh, well, you know what this is for. Nice size shower, the, uh, the other stuff in here. You got the sink outside, which I think is kind of nice. Somebody can be in the shower taking care of that while you're getting ready out here. So you got the wife is in here. You're out here getting ready or vice versa. This is a, this is what we call a refrigerator. It's a good size refrigerator. Uh, you put stuff you want frozen up here, stuff you just want refrigerated down there. That's how a refrigerator works. This uh, probably does stuff. This moves, so I'm sure you can do something with this. That's awesome. We've got, I'm going to set that paper there on the ground for just a second. Over here, we've got, I am fascinated by this right here. I can play with this thing all day. 
So uh, I think it, it probably comes with this. This is a brand new, this is a 2020, I do know that. We've got the uh, microwave up here. That's where you will microwave food. And uh, lots of storage underneath here, under here. We've got the stove. Again, we got the glass top so you get extra space here. Looks like some speakers here, some storage space under here. This probably does something fancy, I'm assuming. They, everything, every one of these RVs does fancy stuff. And then you got your bed back here. This, I believe, looks like a queen size. You've got your outlets plus your USB ports over here. Some more space here. Again, uh, a lot of the guys have talked about the um, sleep apnea machines. Plenty of room for that. You need some privacy? Boom, look at this. Well, I'm not going to do it. You get privacy. Not necessarily soundproof, so keep that in mind. We have uh, your fire extinguishers, and uh, I'm, I'm, <laughs> I'm six foot. I might be 5'11". I think I'm shrinking now that I'm getting older, but plenty of room here. There's probably, this is probably 6'5", six, 6'6", six, six to the top. So there you go. So here's the deal. This is the paperwork I just got from them. This, the, the sale price for this, or yeah, the sale price for this is $23,400. That's how much this costs. This is what you get. If you're going to, if you're going to trust me to sell stuff, I'm going $23,400 or best offer. Let me tell you what I'm going to do. Nobody's, I'm talking, I'm talking to people for a second. I'm going to go or best offer. So here's what's going to happen. They're out there. They can't hear me. 23,400 or best offer starting at $10,000. That's what's going on for two hours. I'm starting at $10,000. I got a number here I want you to call. 937-649-9666. I'm gonna say that again. 937-649-9666. Starting at $10,000, that's the lowest I can go. But Start calling now and place your bid. I'm looking for the best offer. They want me to sell it for $23,400. I'm starting at $10,000. The phone is going to be busy. The phone is going to be busy. People are going to be calling, uh, but somebody's going to get a very good deal on this because they put me in charge. They teased me earlier that I wouldn't be able to, I wouldn't be able to sell um, an RV. I, I think I can. I think I can sell this one here. So start calling now. Again, that number is 937 Six four nine nine six sixty six sleeps five. It's twenty nine feet long, forty three, uh, four thousand three hundred fifty pounds. You got the solid step entrance, uh, double over double bunk. That's what that is up there. Lightweight, guys. Come on, make me look good. They think I'm just here to talk in front of the camera. Make me look good. Start calling now. I'm gonna tell that number one more time. It's just you and me. Nobody else. Nobody else is in here, right? It's just you and me in here just us in here they can't they can't they don't know what's going on right now starting at ten thousand dollars call in and start bidding somebody's gonna get a deal we're gonna go until five o'clock i'll go till five o'clock don't don't tell them what i've done here because they might not ever let me come back but i want to get somebody a very good deal let's get busy let's do this nothing's going on in here guys we're just talking about the uh the uh the rv here the big hunky extra large the band name yeah uh oh speaking of that that would be a good band name big hunky extra large which reminds me i had a chance to ask the guys uh i told them that the name trailer swift was brilliant and i came up with it it's a brilliant name but i asked the guys if they had thought of any other names that would be great and they had quite a few check this out <laughs> This is about the name Trailer Swift is pretty brilliant, if I do say so myself. Were there any other band names in the running? So here we go. Band names. Of course we had some ideas coming into this. You know, um, you know, I personally might have thought mine were the best, but uh for example, I came up I came up with some of these following, and you know, I'd I'd like people to comment on what they think their their favorites were on all this because you know again I, I thought I had some pretty good ones um, when I, but when I started touring actually I started in an RV 
I didn't have a tour bus. So I kind of know some RV terms. I want to see how smart your listeners are out there. And uh, let's, let's have them vote on what the names that, you know, they think are great. I mean, you know, my name's Paul Scott. Jeff is Jeffrey Scott. So, of course, it made sense to have the traveling Scotsman. That was one. Um, you know, our bus meets at a Walmart. Uh, when, when we go on tour with Low Cash, we actually meet up at a, at a Walmart before we head on out. And I'm sure your RV uh, people out there would appreciate if there was a band named the Wally Docks. Another one. Blackwater Revival. Come on. <laughs> it doesn't have a Blackwater tank. That's, I'm just, you know. Uh, and my personal favorite, the uh, Stinky Slinkies. If you've ever emptied out your tanks, you know exactly what I'm talking about. I think that's a fun name. You know, Jeff had a couple he wanted me to share uh, from him and some of the other guys that they had. Uh, they they had uh, Kingpin and the Fifth Wheels. Not bad. The Generators. Kind of like that. And last but not least, the Triple Toes. I know some of you out there have done some triple towing. I have personally done some triple towing myself. And, uh, you know, it's pretty good. But, Dave, yeah, we, we, we got to admit, Trailer Swift probably probably the the most swift band name uh <laughs> and the best one uh, that we got out of the bunch so we we went with you man and uh we appreciate you getting that one out there for us uh I, and again if you guys have a different band name out there for maybe the next time we do this put that in the comments or vote for all of my band names i mean vote for the best band names out there for you and uh and we'll be sure to make sure that you guys uh get some credit and have some fun with this Yeah. 
Hi hey guys, another great salesman here, and this guy. Um, <laughs> I don't know if you know what I just did, but uh, no, let's hear about it. I'm in the middle of selling this here Wildwood. Really? Yeah, sells for twenty three thousand five hundred, right around there. That's I'm how much you got? Go, no, even better. I'm letting it go for no less than ten thousand. I got people bidding right now. Right now, it's at twelve thousand five hundred. Probably your so, last day selling then, huh? Probably so. At that price. Probably will not be allowed back. But no. <laughs> somebody's gonna get a deal. Well, let me can I, let me read them that number again because I want to prove that I can sell stuff even if I have to sell it way way low. The number is nine three seven six four nine nine six six six. So you're like Santa Claus. I am. I am. More than a, yeah. maybe a sales rep. Don't don't tell don't tell the higher ups what I've done because I'm starting to think it might have been a very bad idea. <laughs> Somebody's gonna be very happy for it. Well, awesome. If you got a place where I can stay after you buy it? I may need that because I've. At least the storage down. compartment, maybe. That's right. That's right. Yeah. All right. So what do we got here? So this is an XLR Hyperlite. Uh -huh. Okay. Now this is a very cool floor plan. This is the 3310, which is going to be a front kitchen and a toy hauler. So separate garage, which we'll go in and take a look here in just a minute, but just an awesome floor plan. You won't see anything like it out there. And again, they do that nice front cap. I think I was talking earlier about a nitro, had that nice window in the front. Same thing on the Hyperlite um, by Forest River. And again, I mentioned this earlier. XLR is just flying off the shelf. I think we've already sold six or seven of them just today of this brand. So give us a call. I mean, as quick as you can, let's get you pre-approved. Um, take advantage of these awesome deals because they're not going to last forever. And I mean, we can only have so many units. We just put in another huge order the other day. Um, but give us a call. We'd love to get you pre-approved. And now this XLR, we'll go ahead and take a look at it here in just a second. Yeah. Uh, XLT. Xylophone Lion Teeth. Yep. That's what that stands for. You crush it. So, no less than you very much. Wow. Look at this. <laughs> Front kitchen. Look at all this countertop space. That's crazy. I love it, this kitchen. And it's just like in your house, right? In front of the window doing the dishes. Uh -huh. Have your husband doing the dishes, what have you. But as far as like... If you have people over, you can have them come in. I know when people set up, they got all the different dishes. You can come through, get what you want. But the countertop space in this coach is just amazing. Yeah. I mean, that, I it's like this. awesome. Kind of the uh, hidden refrigerator, whatever you call the. Oh, yeah, the wood look. Yeah. Makes it look just like a part of the cabinet. Um, the residential stove, Furion, the high point microwave, um, stainless steel sink, solid surface countertops. For what you get in these XLRs, again, I mean, it's just. It's top of the line. I mean, you're not going to find this construction, the quality, the price, the features, the benefits, and the look. I mean, they just look phenomenal. I mean, yeah. bright, the floor makes it looks good. You got the nice couch over here, which will recline in the slide out. So you have one slide out here. Now, this is the cool part. So you can sit here, you're right across from the television, fireplace, you have the central vac there, you push down with your foot, sweep in the stuff, and right in here, you're gonna have the bathroom, so take a look at that. Again, full glass shower, so you don't have the curtain sticking to you. It's just an awesome deal. Um, now, most of the time in a toy hauler, everything's pretty much traditional. So you have the bed up front, you have the living room, kitchen in the middle, the bed, the bathroom separates the garage. So most of the time in traditional unit, we're gonna go into the garage right now. And this coach right here, you get a full bed slide. Check wow. this out. Yeah. You don't get this much space in a fifth wheel non toy hauler bedroom. I mean, this is just amazing. They got the barn look in here, just kind of sets it off, gives it a good look. The posing windows, and then also a window at the foot of the bed and at the head, so it gives good cross ventilation to keep the coach cool for you. Now, um, this one is haunted, I'm assuming. That's yeah, did you that see that? Yeah. And then in here, posing slides in here as well, which you probably didn't even notice. That's what opens no, it I up. Didn't. Yeah. So you have a slide out on that side. Slide out on this side, just opens up the bedroom, gives you plenty of room. Also, gives you plenty of room to come to the back. Then you have a big <laughs> patio. So if you want to separate the garage, you can do that. Let me make sure there wasn't glass there. That would have been embarrassing. Yes, chip your tooth. Yeah. 
So this one does have the tough decking, um, has the beds that go up and down, has the patio in the back. Just, I mean, this floor plan is just killer. I mean, and it's what the nice thing about it is it's unique. You still get a nice trailer feel. A lot of times some toy haulers just feel like you're just kind of in a cargo trailer. I mean, this feels residential. Yeah. Um, plenty of sleeping area. You got the beds here, so this will come down, sleep two. This will fold over, make into a full size bed there, two there, two in the master. And, and again, I mean, at the prices we're selling these things at, let me just look here. I think you can probably get into this for just under 300 a month. I think it's on sale for just over 37,000, all fiberglass. You're getting our nationwide service network, you're getting our Buckeye service guarantee. If you want us to deliver it to you, we can. I mean, there's just a ton of nice features that you're getting. It's going to be turnkey for you. You're not going to have anything to worry about. Did you give the weight? Um, I didn't give the weight. Yeah, we've got some requests for weight. And then, uh, Dave, I, I hate to tell you this because I'm afraid it's going to go to your head, but uh -huh. uh, Gary Edwards would like to have you as his salesperson. So. See that? You guys should hire me. I can sell every one of these. Of course, <laughs> when you sell it and you sell it at half, at half price, less than half price, People are going to buy. But thank you, Gary. Come on out. I'll, I'll try to sell you something if I'm around. I appreciate that. See, people like me. Uh, yeah, this is this is very roomy. Again, they keep calling them toy haulers. This is a deck mobile. You don't have to have a toy to buy one of these. That back is like a, just a big open patio. If you don't have a toy to put in there, just buy one of these to have a, a, a patio attached to your or deck attached to your toy hauler. Just ran out. Just checked the weight. So I had it. As it came from the factory, it's just under 10,000 pounds. You got to check the weight. You went out like this. <laughs> yeah, just, uh, just checked it about... real quick. Um, so 99 and change. Now, what can you pull that with? Some half tons, three quarter ton. Now, what a lot of times people are doing with these toy haulers with that big patio in the back, uh -huh. take it to the Buckeyes games. Probably not Michigan games, but maybe Buckeyes games for sure. Is there extra room Are you from Michigan? for tissues? No, if there's extra room for tissues for the Michigan fans. Uh, I think right the there in that door with okay. the bathroom. Okay, yeah. Um, but no, sorry. Oh, right. we're, okay. hey, we're, we'll we'll give you a good Michigan. deal if you're from Michigan too. Um, but no, a lot of people use these for tailgating. Back this up. People can hang out, relax. You're going to have the um, awning here. And even a lot of times people go to the tail, just tailgate, they don't even go in the game. Right. Put the TV outside underneath the awning, you got the patio have, deck, it's have awesome. Is that deck out there for the TV? Uh, it should, yeah, have a okay. TV on the outside, but I mean, it's just, the thing, don't look at, a lot of times people are always like, well, I don't really have toys, I don't, I don't have well, a four-wheeler. That's four what you saying while you were outside weighing the thing. Side by side and all that. I mean, back it up to the pond, take it to the Buckeyes game, whatever you like to do, golf carts, and the nice thing about it is with all that room back there, it's like a second living room. Yeah. I mean, I've had people Absolutely. take these toy haulers. Hey, me and you work in the oil field. We don't want to sleep in the same bed. Uh -huh. You sleep in the back. When you have your separate area, we'll sleep in here. Right. We can split the split the cost of it. But yeah, I mean, it's what you're getting. And like I, did, I keep saying this, this, if you're looking right now, you wouldn't think this is a toy hauler. No. A lot of toy haulers look like cargo trailers. This looks like a nice front front kitchen trailer, yep. fifth wheel, the nice big window in the front. I mean, and for the money, I mean, you can't really, you can't go wrong. Yeah, that's good. And a lot of times people don't want to use their bed with a fifth wheel. I mean, you can still, this, you're pulling it with the tongue, you're, you're going to get a nice, nice value too, and especially the quality and construction. And again, right now, XLR is the, it's hot. It's the way to go. Yeah. Hey, okay. Kelly, Diana wanted to know, uh, can we see the top bed come down? I know we've got some folks asking, are they allowed to come visit us today? And finally, uh, how do they follow us on Facebook, and what's our YouTube channel called? Now you're quizzing me with stuff I don't know. <laughs> um, well, one of the questions was, can folks come out today? And absolutely, come on out today and, and hang out with us and, and uh, watch us have some fun selling some RVs. That was the first question. So, yeah, come on out to... Uh, to Lakeview, Ohio. I don't think they got it plugged in. Hang on, it's not plugged in. Actually. So the bottom one will go up. You can see that there. I oh, think so they got the up. top one pinned, but it'll come down. They did, a lot of times they'll leave these pinned up, just so if you look right here, there's see that block right there. Oh, okay. Just in case, because a lot of times what'll happen is, is if you, if you know you're gonna be pulling it in, 
Well, you're typically gonna have that pinned up before then when you pull it out, then you can unpin it, then move it down. It's all power, everything's gotcha. electric. Now, a lot of times people won't need to use the top bed, so you can actually just pull it out and just pull these pins right here, and it's it very light, I mean, it just lifts right out of there. Great. So, um, very easy to use. Now, as far as our um, Facebook, YouTube, go on there, like us, follow us. Um, you'll see different promotions, things like that. But yeah, like you were mentioning, we, I think we have four or five couples out just browsing the inventory right now. Um, so if you do want to slide over, let us know and we can get you squared away yep. there. Um, yeah. And then you're going to get all the sale pricing and all that stuff too. So just let us know and we can get you, get you fixed up. Or if you want to call ahead of time, let us know you're coming. I mean, we can go out and open the unit if you have a specific one you want to look at, make sure it's opened up and ready for you. Um, but yeah, we'd love to see you guys come out today or get online, message us, call in. We can get you taken care of. Perfect. Anything else? I think that's it. They're calling me for the next one. Awesome. All right. Thank Appreciate you, sir. Appreciate you guys' time. We'll head back out here. Uh, I'm, I'm wondering about how much we've sold this for. I think Alexis right now is at 13000 for this beast. 13000 I'm looking for my best offer by 5 o'clock for this $23,000 RV. We toured it just a second ago. The number again is nine something. There's nine more numbers after that. Hold on a second. 937-649-9666. Call and bid something higher than 13000 right now because right now Alexis has it at $13,000. Brand new 2020. Did you hear what I did? I'm like one of the best salesmen of all time. I got this going. Quit a job or? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I'm not sure how long they'd keep me. I went really low on this one. So uh, we're going to look at another one? Yeah, so I'm going to take you over and look at a Columbus Compass Series, a 329 DVC, the nice luxury fifth wheel. Okay. Nice mom and pop. Oh, so it's the fifth wheel, so it's a big one? Oh, it's a big one. Okay. So let's go over and so take a look. So the, the big RVs can mm -hmm. still be called mom and pops? Yeah. So okay. this is kind of like a rear living, so it has no bunks or anything in it, so perfect for gotcha. um, just... No order couple or somebody without any children okay. just want to get out and camp. Great. Oh, yeah. It's huge. Oh, yeah. So this is uh, still a brand new uh, 2020 Columbus Compass. Um, so again, you're still going to get your more right steps with this. And Columbus made a nice little touch. They even put their logo right here at the oh, end look of the at steps, that. Which, look is, at that. which is really nice. That's nice. It's cut out. That's, yeah, that's actually <laughs> pretty nice. Yeah. Um, you get this nice uh, cream exterior on this. Um, and then I believe there's even an option for a white, which is you know, pretty cool. But if you won't mind, let's take a look inside. Let's go. And this is the F329 uh, yep. DVC. The three David's very chill. <laughs> I can go with that. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, you walk in. Uh, you oh, got a, look at those. Sorry, look at those cabinets. That's nice. Very, very nice. Tons of cabinetry, overhead cabinetry with the uh, pull-out sofa. Um, you even get lights under here. Um, okay. so, so these ones, just with the switch right there. We found it, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how to turn on lights. And then, so on this side of the uh, couch, you get a nice little end table. Uh, you didn't get one on here. They try to make it so you can get a nice bigger okay. uh, sofa, especially if you do have guests. This even pulls out to a queen bed. Um, you still get your furnace, um, um, but your uh, fireplace, which will actually heat the unit so you don't have to use a furnace. Okay. So it takes a nice chill out. Um, you get a nice big TV here with a uh, nice big storage uh, behind it. Mm -hmm. um, so if you just pull this little lib there, swing out. If you do long-term camping, maybe uh, six months out of the year, just put a safe back there, because yeah. who's going to look behind a TV? Good. Or a small child. Or a small child. <laughs> uh, residential um, refrigerator with your kitchen island. A lot of ladies love this nice big island, just because look at all this extra counter space right here next to your sink. So if the dishes get overflown, with your nice farm, deep farmer sink right there. You got it. Yeah. That's, and, that's a lot of space. Tons of space. I think this is the biggest island I've seen in an RV so far. Yeah, it, it, it's nice and big. And then right here, it's another big plus. You get your nice huge pantry. Oh wow! Uh, yeah, with pull-out drawers. So you get a total of three of those guys. So just a bunch, high bunch of stuff. With um, and then with your kitchen uh, table, you do get two fold-up chairs with that. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, okay. And then that actually has an extra leaf to it, so you can actually extend that table out if you do have uh, people come over. Very cool. 
you can see we got yeah, this is nice. The, the even the uh, paper towel rack there. <laughs> yeah, nice little touch. So Columbus, like I said, is luxury. Uh -huh. So you're gonna get this nice little t uh, finishes with it. Right. Uh, even with the ceiling fan right above, you're not gonna see that a whole lot in, in, oh, a, yeah. in a fifth wheel either. <laughs> <laughs> and um, again, these are these are nice. Nice glass windows. Yeah. So, ooh, and here's another cool thing. This is a tire monitoring system, okay? okay? So it is standard in all Columbuses. So this will even go up to one more vehicle. You put this little thing in your truck, checks the pressure of your tires on the trailer, and then say you maybe have a boat uh -huh. you want to haul to. Just hook that up to the boat, and wow. there you go. Okay, and it comes standard. Standard, not an extra. Good. But let's take a look up at this bathroom, which sells this trailer as well. Okay. If you walk through here, oh, yeah. you just we'll walk right through. on in. Just gonna come through and let you go first. Perfect. So all of us can actually fit in this bathroom. <laughs> you can come on. <laughs> Sorry. We're juggling the camera shot. Double vanity. Oh yeah, it's the first one of these. I think I think the first one we've seen with a double vanity. And then a nice big shower, even with a seat. Yeah. So let me get up in here and bring the camera guy in so he can take a look too. Yeah, get on in there. <laughs> Nice, comfortable, tons of space. So with maybe with taller um, guys and gals, no mm. issues here. Yeah. More, lots of space in here. Lots for... of space, nice deep um, linen closet too. Yeah. And then we go back here into the master. Man, it's crazy how much room you get out of these things. <laughs> Huge queen, uh, king bed, okay. Big closet space. Mm -hmm. Take a look at that. You can washer and dryer prep, so you can't put a washer and dryer in here. Yeah. And then you got an even nice closet space right behind here, David. So with people with lots of um, clothes, especially with the women, right there. Take a look at all that, guys. A lot of room in there. And then you got a pocket door for the privacy of the bedroom with a mirror, which is pretty cool. And it's just locked over here. Well, she's a little stiff. The PDI. The PD, PDI would take care of that. PDI takes care of all that stuff. So a cool thing with that is we make sure everything's taken care of before it leaves. So it's brand yeah. spanking new, no issues. If you guys come pick up, we'll give you a free walkthrough. We'll we teach you everything. Cool. Very cool. This is nice. I love that you got the air conditioners on and it's you came warmer here. than it was last time we did this. Oh, yes. So. Whisper quiet ACs too, so you can't really hear that AC, can you? No, uh-uh. Uh, I just saw so, it blowing on me back there. That's the it, only reason I knew. It is a nice, it's whisper quiet, so it's a nice little finish with these, because a lot of people want to have their AC on, but they have to blare their TV. I yeah. Mean, so this pits, that's a nice little uh, touch there. Very cool. Big old refrigerator. Huge. Yeah. <laughs> this, is, this is nice. This is a nice one. What's the total on this one? So this was sale price today, guys. We're going to be looking about $44,189. Okay. And what's crazy, our competitors are actually listing this model right at seventy three. Come on. Are you I can be $30,000 cheaper yeah. and give you the best service in the nation guaranteed. Wow. Yeah. And it, again, we'll be talking about that service later, but you guys really go over and above to take care of your We're your the only customers. ones you do because we put customers before profit. Yeah. I mean, I don't want to take your money and run. I want to make sure you're satisfied because if you're satisfied, we're satisfied here. Good. Love it. Anything else you want to show us? That is about it with this unit. The payment would be about 340 bucks with this guy. Got powered chairs there. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like I'm at the movie theater. The TV right there. Come on. I'd never, I'd never leave. This is... <laughs> This is man. See, I've got a, I've got a, I've got to buy me an RV. I've yeah. got, I've got to jump in. He can't be the only one out. I know, I know. <laughs> I feel like everybody's buying. I got to make it happen soon. I know my wife loved it when we went out a couple weeks ago. So, all right. Well, if that's it, I'm gonna head back and talk to Perfect. Mike real fast. Uh, again, jump on these now because these are stuff selling quick. Yeah, it, cool. it, we sold probably over 20 units, you know, so far, yeah. and I. I had to hurry up and rush out here because I was in the middle of the deal. And, but we'll meet Perfect. up here in a few minutes. We're going to take a look at a travel trailer next. Sounds good. All right, come on with me. I'm going to go hang out with Mike for a minute. We talked to Mike a little earlier today about how he and David uh, kind of started the company 23 years ago. Um, so we come back here and hang out at the campfire. Oh, hey, Mike. 
Oh, I have no idea. Are we, uh, are we on? Are we good? I think I can't remember if we had a transition there. Are we still on? <laughs> Should be on. Oh, this is, this is not, the fire feels great. Yeah, that's what we needed. It's only 83 out, I yeah. think, so we need yeah. a fire. Uh -huh. Maybe a hot bowl of soup. Oh, yeah. I'd go, for, I'd go for something right now. So let's talk real fast. First of all, real quick, tell us, I mean, tell us who you are. You mentioned earlier, but people may be tuning in. How are you involved with RV Wholesale? Uh, I'm one of the owners here at RVW. Uh, I know you've met my brother, David. He takes up a lot of oxygen, so he, <laughs> he gets on here and talks a lot. But, uh -huh. uh, no, we've been doing it together for 23, 24 years now. Yeah. Uh, we talked a little earlier about service. That's that's a huge thing for us here, uh, just taking care of customers. Uh, but our secondary, or not secondary, but our, our other big deal is our faith. Yeah, and I was going to bring that up. Uh, uh, like me, your faith is very important to you. Very important. And uh, I, I think it's awesome that you take time just to share with people your your heart, which is is very genuine because you're you're very real. I've learned that over the past. Uh, I try to be. To know you guys, yeah. Yeah, I don't have uh, time to be something to every person. It, right. This is what you get. Mm -hmm. uh, love it or hate it. This is what you're going to get. Right. Right. Uh, but one thing mm -hmm. we try to do, David, is so we're do this uh, one next for every Mike. customer that comes here to pick up, does their paperwork here. I try my best to sit down and talk with all of them, and we witnessed every customer that comes through the door. Yeah. You yeah. know, so that's that's a big part of what we do here. Uh, and I think it's a secret to our success. Mm -hmm. I would agree completely. You know, it's uh, pricing is one thing, service is another, but uh, put God in the equation and, and things just go well. I know? would agree 100%. It, it seems obvious yeah. things are going well for you guys. Very well. And to take something like, like an RV virtual show and actually share your heart and share your faith with somebody, I mean, let's be honest. A lot of people might be thrown off a bit by it. Which I think so. Which I, I, that's uh, fair. I get it. A lot of people... You know, as, as we go through the comments, uh -huh. you know, one, one thing I've been doing all day is trying to answer uh, the YouTube comments uh -huh. and the uh, Facebook comments as best we can keep up. It's right. hard to keep up, but uh, sure. we'll Perfect. have some negative comments about it. Uh, hang That's tight. Good. We'll get to another RV if this <laughs> yeah. isn't your thing. But, uh, you know, unfortunately, and, and, and the reason I try to do this with people is we're not guaranteed tomorrow, brother. No. I mean, we're just not. I've learned that uh, way too often. Recently. You know, you seem healthy. I, I, I feel healthy. I feel great. But when it's our time, it's our time, mm -hmm. and we're just not guaranteed tomorrow. Yep. I know that's not a, a nice thing to think about. We'd like to believe we're here till we're 85 or 90, but uh, read the obituaries. Yeah. A lot of people a little bit younger than, you know, 30s, 40s, 50s, yeah. 60s. And now with this stuff going on today, uh, there's there's some uh, you know some anxious people out there. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So uh, so why don't you tell us how to take care of that? Yeah. Not only to take I mean, care of because I, I hate for or for yeah, people to hear that. this and think oh they're just trying to it's fire insurance is what they call it a lot of times. But man, my my so life with one. with Christ so I've got a little brick there is abundant and and joyful and it's it's a life that I'm I'm proud to live. I think what some people miss, uh, especially like in a time like this where, you know, when, when bad stuff happens, a lot of times we turn to God, mm -hmm. okay? Uh, my kids can turn to the neighbor guy, and he might help them out, yeah. but I'm their father. Right. I'm going to take care. I, I'm passionate about taking care of my children. Uh -huh. Once we accept Jesus Christ, once we're truly a child of God, that's when it, that prayer really, I believe, works more. Right. You know, I, I believe God still hears our prayer, mm -hmm. but he works for his children more than he does a, a stranger, so to speak. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I mean, l let me go through it real quick. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, if you don't know Christ, uh, it's very simple. The Bible calls salvation a gift. I mean, this, this card can be a gift to you, but you have to accept it, Okay. I'm just going to go down through a couple things. There's a couple questions that you should, you should think about, and then there's a few verses that I want to read. Uh, please, if you don't know Christ, follow along. This isn't going to make you a Catholic or a Baptist or a Methodist. I don't care about that stuff. I want to know that at the end of the day, you, got a relationship. you know who God is. You have a relationship with him. And if you don't make I know this doesn't sound great, but if you don't make it to the end of the day, you know where you're going, mm -hmm. and that's heaven if you've accepted Jesus Christ. Right. Um, 
the first question I normally ask people is just, what are your spiritual beliefs? And, and what I mean by that is just, what do you think about God? You know, who is he to you? What, what comes to your mind when you think about God? Uh, the next question is to you, who is Jesus? On that first question, a lot of people say, well, I'm a Christian or I go to church. That's great. That's a great mm-hmm. start. Right. Uh, some people say, I believe in God. Uh, again, a great start. Uh, but just saying you're a Christian, not everybody understands what that really means. Uh, to you, who is Jesus means to you personally, who's Jesus Christ? Uh, again, not everybody understands where we're going. Uh, do you believe in a heaven and a hell? That's a biggie. A lot of people think, well, I don't believe in hell because if God's a loving God, why would he have a hell? Mm -hmm. Uh, It's our choice to go to heaven or hell. It's not God's choice. He wants us to choose him. If you read the Bible, you you see that. I mean, I I believe God's desperate for us to choose him. Uh, The last question, if you, uh, let's say you believe that you'll go to heaven, okay, when you're, you believe in a heaven, and if I said, you know, where would you go today, David, if you died, and you say a heaven, uh, the last question, this is the biggie, this is the toughie, you die today, Zoom, you're up to heaven, you're face-to-face with God, and he says, David, why would I let you into my heaven? Yeah. What would you say? Yeah. Uh, 70% of the time, what I get is people saying, I think I've been a pretty good person. I think <laughs> I've done enough. They'll even do the scale thing. You know, I, I think the goods outweighed the bad. Uh, what I try to do is I'm going to go through a few verses for you here. I try to take those people to Ephesians 2, 8, and 9, where it says, By grace you are saved through faith. This is not from yourself, but it's God's gift, not by works so that no one can boast. Now think of what that means or what, what God's trying to say to you as I read that, but let me break it down for you. By grace or God's power, you can be saved uh, through faith because we have to believe he's real, right? Yeah, yeah. Uh, but it's not from ourselves. It's not from works. It's God's gift. So all the good things that you do, all the good things I try to do, uh, those are awesome, but those don't get us to heaven. Right. Okay. Uh, and, it, and it says why right at the end of the verse. It says so that no one can boast. So when you and I are sitting in heaven one day and I go, Man, I was, I was so much better than you. I, I did this, 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 and this. That doesn't matter. Right. It's, it's what, it's only God's power got me to heaven. Uh, the next verse would be Romans 3.23. For all have sinned and fall short of the glory of God. I believe that means all of us have sinned. Mm-hmm. Okay? Everybody, me, you, we've all sinned. Right. Uh, probably every day, brother, if we're honest. I stole, I've already stolen the TV from one of these RVs. I know, we got it back. Okay. Yeah, don't worry about it. I didn't know if you guys saw that or not. Uh, The next verse would be Romans 6.23. It says, so if if we agree we're all sinners, Romans 6.23 says the the payment of that sin is death, which means hell. Uh, But the gift of God, there's that gift of God again, is eternal life through Christ Jesus. So the payment of our sin, we deserve to go to hell. But, that's a great place for a but, <laughs> if we accept Jesus Christ as our Savior, we can go to heaven. Yeah. Okay, when the Bible says eternal life, it's talking about heaven. Uh, the last verse, Romans 10, 9 and 10. If you confess with your mouth that Jesus is Lord and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead. So just what we, what we celebrate at Easter, right? Mm-hmm. Christ died on that cross. We put him in a tomb. He, he rose three days later. He's in heaven today. If you believe all that, you'll be saved. Yeah. Uh, with the heart one believes, resulting in righteousness. With the mouth one confesses, resulting in salvation. Now, anybody that's watching, if you just want to know today 100%, hey, I'm going to heaven. Again, it doesn't mean that all of a sudden you're Catholic or Baptist. or It doesn't mean any of that. Or even perfect. You're, you're absolutely yeah. not going to be perfect. Right. Uh, I make mistakes every day. Well, and that's a problem. You think a lot of people have to get their life right before they come to Christ, and that will never happen. No, it'll never happen. No. No. uh, But seriously, guys, if you want to know today without a shadow of a doubt that you're going to heaven, uh, say this simple prayer with me. I'll say it. You repeat it. Uh, Listen, I don't care if you're in your car, if you're in your house, or you're you're at at work listening to us. Uh, If you need to say it quietly, say it quietly. Say it to yourself. Uh, But here we go. Heavenly Father, I have sinned against you. 
I want forgiveness for all my sins. I believe that Jesus died on the cross for me and rose again. Father, I give you my life to do with as you wish. I want Jesus Christ to come into my life and into my heart. This I ask in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Dave, I believe anybody that said that is saved, and I believe if they, whether they pass today or 50 years from now, they're going to heaven. Yep, I agree completely. Uh, if you said that prayer and you want to drop us a note or contact us, we'd love to know about it. Appreciate your time. Guys, we're going to throw it to Trailer Swift. They got a song called The Lion and the Lamb that's unreal. Check this out.
Give it up for Taylor, Taylor, not Taylor, Trailer Swift. I gotta be careful. Trailer <laughs> Swift, you play an instrument at all? I, I don't. Neither do I. I play the radio fairly, fairly well. See, when I was in high school, I sung, but that's about uh, yeah. what I can do. I actually, I actually sang in a in a rock and roll band in the mid '90s, only because I looked like a rock. I had no joke, no exaggeration. I had hair to hear really? when I met my wife in the early '90s, and they had me sing for the band, and I was awful, <laughs> just awful. But I looked like a rock star, so they had me sing. I guess that's all. I, I really, every time I see fantastic musicians like that, I wish, I wish I could play something, <laughs> and I can't. I'm a loser. See, when I had hair below my shoulders, everybody called me Justin Bieber, and I was like, yeah. no way. But I, I, I'm Blake, so. I always say I'm Blake Shelton, but I'm way better looking. So <laughs> <laughs> I, I hold that true. Some people may not, but. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> All right, well, let's talk about this, uh, this yes, RV here. So I got a uh, 23BHHL. This is a Heritage Glen Hyperlite. So it's one of the smaller guys with a Heritage Glen series. Uh, this does have bunks, so kid friendly. Uh -huh. um, which makes this unit really nice, says David, is this outside kitchen, okay? Mm -hmm. So you do get your sink, you get a prep table, some extra counter space. Now, you wonder why this is clear out here, because it goes actually slides right back in. Right. So you just pull this little tab here, and it just goes right back in. And it locks in there, you bring it right back out, and just lock it back in. That's nice. And then a bottle opener for dad's medicine cabinet. So I thought that was pretty convenient. <laughs> yeah, that's good. <laughs> uh, nice little refrigerator here to hold us a few other stuff. Uh, this unit does have manual jacks, so crank, the Walt drill, always prefer that. So, And then right behind the unit, you have a spare tire, and you also have a rack. Let me pull that down, put a generator on there, maybe some coolers or uh -huh. bikes. Yeah. Um, and then it even has that uh, swing-out grill uh, arm as well. Is that an option, or does the grill come with so it? So the grill does come with it. Uh, this is an option. Uh, and so... People usually go that way anyways. Okay. It's always nice to have a little extra storage. Yeah, yeah. And backup camera prepped. Yep. Let's take Sweet. a look on the inside. Let's go inside. Real fast while we're going yes. inside, I need to give an update. I believe it's Julian. Mm -hmm. Julian right now has the RV. Julian. Julian. Juliana. Juliana. I'm getting <laughs> it. Uh, has the RV right now for 13300 If you don't know, right now at the phone number, uh, let me see here. We got two people going back and forth right now, Alexis and Juliana. Uh, 937 649 9666. I have a, a Wildwood X Lite 261 BHXL that's going. It's, it's, 23, it's a $23,000 RV. I, I asked for the best offer, and right now we're at 13.3. So it's going between Alexis, Alexa. <laughs> and Juliana going back and forth. Right now it's 13.3. And David, we kept that up front if you want to show it to them again when you're done. Okay, yeah, I'll, I'll show you that. For those of you tuning in, we got an amazing deal going on because I am an incredible salesperson, we just found out. <laughs> <laughs> um, as we walk right on in here, David, we do have your corner bunks, okay, with your teddy bear mattress, so it's pretty comfortable. Uh, ladder to get to the top bunk, and a little curtain for some, for some privacy. Uh -huh. um, as we walked in, we also passed um, mom's favorite thing, which is a big walk-in pantry. Oh, wow. Look at that. <laughs> and then right here is your bathroom right off the bunks, okay? So tons of space in there. So you got your nice little stand-up shower, toilet, some counter space with your sink, and a linen closet. Seems like a lot of space in there, too. I And this is something that people may take for granted is the extra space. Yeah. Uh, small, I mean, how much, just think about how much stuff you set on the counter from a toothbrush to just other stuff while yep. you're getting ready. It's nice to have this extra space. It, very nice. Uh, the really cool thing at Wildwood in itself, which is Heritage Glen also is part of Wildwood, is the herringbone floors, uh -huh. okay? Uh, so everybody loves this nice feature because people get kind of bored with the wood look. So just the standard planks, this puts a nice little touch to it, which this really sells the Wildwoods in general. Okay. It's just this floor. Um, another big plus is your U-shaped dinette. The whole family can sit around this and enjoy themselves. Maybe it's a rainy day mm -hmm. and you just need to around play cards or Monopoly. Everybody can fit, be comfortable. Yeah. Awesome. Guess, that's right in front of the entertainment center. I like okay. that too with the fireplace. So again, that's actually going to heat the unit. And the table can come out, so you can sit here and watch TV without necessarily- You can, and then that even goes down into a bed. Okay. 
So an extra sleeping space there. You even get storage under um, your dinette too. Awesome. Right behind you is your nice 12 volt refrigerator. Yep. So it's going to be your typical six cubic foot, eight cubic foot, tons of space. You can put a few gallons of milk in there. And then a nice little feature that a lot of RVs come with, and Wildwood and Hendrick is part of that, is this nice little LED lighting across the stove. Mm -hmm. A lot of people like that. It just puts a nice little touch to it. I, I love it. We showed a video <laughs> earlier of me getting excited over those blue lights. It's very, I mean, like I said, people love them. Uh -huh. and it's just the little things. Yeah. <laughs> yep. Nice little skylight to bring it nice so claustrophobic inside the unit. Nice deep sink with even a roll up. Um, sink cover. So put your vegetables on there, rinse them off, and just roll it up off the side yeah. of the bed, off yep. the side of the counter. You walk into the master with your uh, queen bed. Okay, so you get nice little storage uh, wardrobe closets on each side of the bed. Mm -hmm. um, you even get cupboards above the bed, and you even get a little two-person light. So maybe sh the wife wants to read a book or the husband then. Is it, the other oh, one's to sleep. Yeah. And then hey, you can get Blake, little, Yes. If I can interrupt you, Kathleen just asked the dimensions of the shower appears to be three and a half by four foot. Yep. Um, and then right behind these guys, you get little cubbies back here, as yeah, you I can noticed see, that. with plug ins. Perfect for people who have CPAPs. You kind of want to keep it hidden or, mm. or whatnot, maybe uh, cell phones. Just put it right back there, you get the plug ins and everything so it's not clear out in the open. Right. Uh, you get a nice Mike, little pocket door, too. Sorry, Mike Ware wants to know the weight of the unit. So the weight of this unit, let's see here. So the weight of this unit is going to be um, about 6,000 pounds. So it can be pulled by an SUV. Wow. That's shocking. Uh, sale price of this unit as well is going to be $23,507. That's crazy. That, it, that... Guys, nobody can beat our price. Nobody can beat our service. There's well, no excuse the, not to buy from us. And, and the Heritage Glen is so popular, it's yes. insane. We cannot, we literally, we cannot keep them in stock. Really? It was kind of funny. We talked to the factory two weeks ago. We're like, look, we need production. Uh -huh. And uh, <laughs> the guy that runs it's like, you're getting 33%. Wow. <laughs> You know how many dealers we have? And it's like, okay, thank you. Yeah. I'm going to hang up now quietly. <laughs> and then I called him right back and I said, could we still get a little more production, please? <laughs> Guys, uh, I got people in here every day asking about Heritage Glen fifth wheels, uh, especially bunks. Okay. They, the 370BL is very, very popular. It's a mid-bunk fifth wheel. Uh-huh. I can't keep them. Really? And if we order it, that's, it doesn't make it to the lot. Let's, I mean, seriously, let's talk about, okay, let's get real and talk about the price for a second. $23,000. Mm -hmm. How much is that a month? Roughly? So roughly, we're going to be looking at 210 bucks For a bunk up front, you've got a decent-sized bathroom, you got the you got the kitchen, you got a microwave, you got a stove. That's, I, I feel like you guys have got to be losing money. I'm not saying that because yes. we're trying to sell stuff, but. I'm not losing money, and here's why, David. Uh-huh. I'm not here to hurt my customers. I love to save money. Ask my wife. Yeah. I'm a penny pincher, and I want that same for my customers. That's impressive. Guys, I don't want to inflate the price like other dealers do. Uh -huh. I don't know why they. I know why they do it because they want more money. But guys, like I said in the last trailer, I put customers before profit. Yeah. If you're good. satisfied, we're satisfied here at RV Wholesalers. And I feel like. If somebody wants to test that out, they can call and just ask yeah. questions and get a feeling. Yeah. I, I have, just for instance, David, I have customers say, well, I got people over here that think you can beat your price. I say, please try uh -huh. because they can't. Right. Coming to the final dollar, I'm always beating it. Wow. That's awesome. I, I've learned just from I, how long have I known you guys for maybe a couple months now, yeah. a, a little bit before the last RV show. And, and you can tell. I mean, you can tell. And I just... I have no reason other than they've brought me in to host this to lie about it. You can tell that you guys care about the customer. Yeah. You can't. Guys, I mean, we're really so passionate about what we do here. Uh -huh. I mean, there are other dealers. I don't understand how other dealers are in business, to be honest with you, because they can they take your money and run. They don't have no service, mm -hmm. which just blows my mind, period. Right. And, I mean, the way we do things, like I said, I don't know why no, everybody doesn't buy from us. Yeah. I mean, yeah. You need to. Well, and the other thing is you, you've heard the saying before, do what you love and you'll never work a day in your life. Yeah. Everybody I've, I've talked to and hung out with here seem to love 
what they do. So this is, I worked in a factory, I have an EMT card, I have a fire card. Mm -hmm. This is the greatest job I have ever had in my yeah. life. First and you're not so, just saying so, that because David's standing right no, there, because like, he just walked in. I, I absolutely love it here. Yeah. My wife, you know, she says, you know, I really don't need you work on the weekends. I say, why? I love helping people. Uh -huh. So, and I love working here to help people save money. Well, it's nice that, it's nice that your wife wants you around. There's times when my <laughs> wife will tell me, hey, can't, is there anything you can do on the weekend? So, yeah, I'm very my my wife says, can you find like another job? <laughs> <laughs> Seven days a week, two shifts would be nice. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. We got people uh, commenting? Yeah, a couple questions. Someone asked, can you do a generator? I said, yes. There's a beautiful rack on the back. Yeah, we here. mentioned that. Yeah. Yep. What most people do is just put the portable generator on there. They're yep. quiet. You know, you don't have to worry so, about carbon monoxide, anything else. Yeah, we do the Furman generators here. Uh, uh, very, very quiet. Um, we can do the, the three-piece set, which will run you know, more than enough for this unit. Okay. It's about $18, $99, $99. So that's yeah. three piece set. And somebody asked, uh, John asked, what do we charge uh, for shipping? John, if you call us, we can give you yep. uh, an exact you know, quote. I know the answer to that shipping. if they're in Ohio. Uh, if they're in Ohio, it's? Absolutely nothing. Absolutely Free absolutely delivery nothing. in Ohio. Yep. And I mentioned earlier that somebody's going to win free delivery at the end of the night. If you've bought an RV today, mm -hmm. all those names are going to go into a drawing and we're going to pick somebody to win a free delivery. So, and no, we're not going to pick someone from Ohio. <laughs> See, I didn't know that. Congratulations. <laughs> yeah. Guys, we have this wonderful thing here that nobody else offers is our Buckeye service guarantee. Uh -huh. So we kind of mentioned it there with the free delivery. Yeah. That's part of it. Um, we are kind of blowing the minds of people with three-day exchange program from the state of Ohio. If you don't like your unit, if the wife is making you the husband sleep in it because she hates it, uh -huh. bring it back. We are going to put you in something new. Okay. okay, guys, um, discounts in the parts store, free shipping in the parts store. Um, if something traumatic happens to the unit, okay, and it needs to be back back for service, and it's deemed inoperable, and we're going to give you a loaner to camp in for free. Cool. A uh, couple other questions real quick. Marsha said, I joined late. I uh, wish you would have started later. Marsha, good news. The whole thing will be put on YouTube for you to yep. enjoy. Yep. So you're not going to miss a thing. Pamela asked, how many brands of RVs do you so uh, the, uh, a bunch. <laughs> a lot. Uh, if you go to our website, rvwholesalers.com, you'll see there's probably 50 plus easy. And then we had one other question. Do you do deals on Keystone Sprinter Limited? Uh, yes, we do. Give us a call, 877-877-4494. And John just said, I would love the free delivery because I live in Colorado. <laughs> yeah. So yeah. make sure you're signed up, John. Yeah, Sounds yeah, good. John, give me a call. First thing you have to do, John, is buy an RV. Yeah, and we're. Uh, I'm going to go get an update for you on the auction. Yeah. But last okay. I heard, thirteen three. And then Kelly wanted me to remind everybody. Kelly was the guy. The guy you guys saw first. Mm -hmm. uh, get those credit apps in. They're processing nicely and get pre-approved. Yep. So when your trailer pops up, you can uh, grab it right away. That's yep. good. Okay, that, let's talk about that. So people yeah. that may not be interested or may not have an RV picked out, just considering buying mm -hmm. it, right. they can go ahead and and uh, get their credit check and stuff now. Yeah, and it, 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 it takes five minutes, and then the guys can even tell you, this is roughly what you can afford. Okay. You know, this is the payment. And it even gives you some time to budget, because they can give you a neighborhood. Yep. And, it, you know, then when you see something you like, you're quick, you're, you're, you're ready to move. That's a very good and idea. you won't so miss out on it. Yeah, so take a minute and... Uh, fill out that credit application and, and at least get the ball rolling. You don't have to buy anything, but you can still get that. That's, that's good. I'm glad yeah, we brought yeah, that exactly. up. And someone just asked, do we carry Grand Design? We actually um, hit that earlier. That earlier. Uh, we do not carry Grand Design. Uh, they're not comfortable with dealers selling uh, as affordable as we do. Also, they are recently purchased by uh, a manufacturer and also a private equity group. When a company gets purchased, we normally stay away from them for about five years because the way the companies get their money back is, is by, a bit. right, they, okay. they, they build them a little cheaper. They don't cover as much on warranty. And private equity groups really scare us because they're only in it for profits. Yep. That's it. They really don't care if the customers are happy. Yeah. And in the RV industry, we need customers to be happy. That's right. You know, we and do. I feel like yours are. Yeah. Well, we certainly try. Yeah. Any other questions? Thoughts there? Comments? Guys. I think that's, well, here, uh, Trish asks, I'm in Oregon. Can I still buy? Yes, Trish, yes. you can. Uh, she's looking for a 30 to 34-foot bunkhouse. Guys, just give us a call. A lot of people are asking, um, you know, about very specific floor plans and stuff. Call us. We've got over 20 people sitting in a room right now answering the phone. Glad to help you. You know, very knowledgeable. They'll take great care of you. 
Blake will be back inside yeah. here shortly. It may take a minute to get through with yeah. many people. But yeah, yeah, don't don't freak yeah. out if it's busy. Extension Just keep one thousand trying. guys gonna hit me directly. Yeah. Uh, all uh, right. Well, then if that's all for now, uh, Dave, while you're on 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 the uh, screen, thanks for letting my wife and I come out and stay in an RV. We stayed in an RV. I've mentioned this almost every hour for folks tuning in for the very first time. It's like the first time we'd stayed in an RV, and we had a blast. But I took my camera with me, and we learned as we went. Yeah. And I actually learned about surge protectors, and so did my wife. So uh, here's what we found out. You need to get yourself. Hey, a... move that camera back a little bit. You did too close. Well, no, a little bit more. There you go. You know what this does, Berthy? Protect surges. No. I don't know. No, it doesn't protect surges. Ooh. Somebody just ran over themselves with a lawnmower <laughs> outside. That's terrible. No, it surges. No, it doesn't. <laughs> <laughs> the thing is, I really don't know much about anything. But that's okay. They know that. <laughs> I was gonna is say, it, what are you it, doing, John Travolta? Is that sexier? This protects your RV against surges, not protects surges. Folks, we're learning this together. Uh, but you plug it into this, you protect your car, or your, you protect your RV. Not your car. <laughs> you plug your RV into this, plug this into the power source, and you protect your RV. You can't even see your head, and you're shaking your head in agreement with me. Mm -hmm. I can see my head. <laughs> this one you plug in outside, which is fine if if you're feeling lucky. A lot of times these can be stolen. So you can also get you one that actually fits inside your RV, but make sure you have a surge protector. You want to be protected from surges. I don't understand. How can not some how can somebody not want to be on on film or camera or TV. I love it. She does not like to be in front of people. Uh, but here's what we've got. Right now, I'm gonna give away this surge protector, this 30 watt uh, surge protector. 30 amp. <laughs> I'm learning, I told you in that video. I'm not, I'm not faking it, I'm not pretending like I know things, because I don't. Uh, but we're gonna give this away, this 30 watt. 30 watt, no, 30 amp. <laughs> I've already forgotten. This 30 amp surge protector goes to our first caller, and then we're gonna do a flash sale with our 30 amp and our 50 amp. Uh, and I'll tell you those prices soon. Let's go to the line. We got somebody. This person is about to win a 30 amp surge protector. Hello? I've got nobody. <laughs> We're so bad with. There, hello? 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 Hey, who's this? It's Rob. Is it Rod? R O D? Rob. R O B. R O. R-O-V. R-O-V? R-O-B. R-O-B, like Rob, like the normal name, not Rob. Nobody's called yeah, Rob. Yeah. Why, would I, why would I think you said V? That was, I'm, it's been a long day, Rob. Rob. Um, <laughs> guess what? You just won the 30 amp surge protector. Can you see it on your screen there? 30 watt. That is awesome. That is, and not only is it awesome, but it's yours. Uh, so you get that. Congratulations. I'm hoping you have an RV. I do. Good. And good. I need a surge protector. And you need a surge protector. Would now you yeah. have one. It's being shipped to you. Congratulations. How long have you been watching today? Uh, well, I shouldn't admit this, but I started watching while I was at work. <laughs> <laughs> do are you are you away from work now or are you still watching at work? Yeah. I actually am uh, I'm at home now and I'm playing it on my phone at home. Are you at home because work let you go because you're watching yeah. virtual <laughs> RV shows? <laughs> I'm not going to make anything. <laughs> <laughs> well, listen, congratulations. Um, uh, enjoy your surge protector, the, the safety or the, the, the peace of mind knowing that your, your RV is free of surges now. <laughs> Does it sound yeah, like I know what I'm talking about? Am I fooling you at all, Rob? Or is uh, it Rob? Rob, well, maybe it's Ralph. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, listen, I'm going to hand you to Tim. Congratulations. He'll get your info, and we'll get this out to you. 
Awesome. Thank you. All right. Have a great day. Thank you. You too. So let's do, you know what, let's do another giveaway real quick. I'll talk about the, you know, while he's getting into the information, let me tell you what I got here. I've got the 30 amp and the 50 amp. These are going for, the 30 amp is 107.99. The 50 amp is 133.99. That includes shipping and handling. So 107.99, 133.99. That number to call is 937-843. 2424. I'll tell you again, 937-843-2424. It may be busy. You may go to voicemail. If you go to voicemail, just leave your information. We'll make sure you get what you need. Let us know which one you want. And then uh, you can also go to email parts at rvwholesalers.com. Tim is off the phone from getting information. So we're going to give away this real quick. Just a ground blanket. This is lined on the backside so it doesn't get wet. You can have picnics. You can do whatever. Just hang out in the yard, outside the RV. Uh, but this is a very nice little ground blanket. Normally, this is about probably about $5,000, um, but we're letting it go for, <laughs> for a giveaway. Hello. Hey, yeah, I'm taking the giveaway. Yeah, who is this? <laughs> Sally Wolfgang. Sally? Yep. Sally, do you know, have you been watching? Do you, I'm going to hold this behind my back. Do you know what you won just now? Yeah, surge protector. No, the surge protector just went. You're a little, oh. but you did win something else. Second. Oh, I thought he was given a second, third protector. Oh, uh, actually, it's a, it's a ground blanket. Oh, okay. It's a ground blanket. So it's still free. It's not a surge protector, but it's still free for you. Okay. Uh, okay. How long how long have you been watching all day, Sally? Uh, off and on in between chores, yes. Great. So where are you, where are you watching from? Um, Ottsville, Pennsylvania, which is an hour north of Philadelphia. Okay. Very cool. Well, we appreciate you watching. Congratulations on winning the ground blanket. Enjoy it. Okay. And uh, I'm going to hand you off to Tim. He's going to get your information from me so we can get this to you. Okay, thanks. All right, take care, Sally. You too. Okay. All right. Sally just won this. Again, surge protectors are uh, uh, flash sale right now, 107.99 for the 30 amp and 50, uh, 133.99 for the 50 amp. I'm going to go show you something. Let's go. Come with me. Oh, here we go. Come with me. We're going to uh, do something here. This is something, if you're just tuning in, you may not know this is going on. We're going to walk over. I believe it's over here. I had a chance earlier to prove my skills as a salesperson because I feel like I feel like some of the guys around here are like, okay, he's just the guy in front of the camera. I can sell. I can sell. So this right here is the... Wildwood light. This is one I walked through by myself. They've locked it up. They won't let me go back in. I think this is the one I sold. Is this the one I sold? Nobody's around here. So here's here's the deal. It goes for twenty three thousand five hundred. So just under twenty four thousand. What it sells for? I'm looking for the best offer. I'm looking for my best offer right now. I think we've got like a, a, a battle going between two people. Lex, no, a couple of people. Alexa and Juliana, I believe are the two names. Uh, the phone number though is 937-649-9666. I'm not sure what it's at right now, but it's, uh, it's right around 13,300 of what it's going for. This is 2020, brand new, and I'm selling it for the best offer until five o'clock, which is five o'clock Eastern time, which is 3.54 here. You got an hour and six minutes to get in on this. So if you're tuning in right now, no joke, we've got a 2020, Wildwood L-I-T, L-I-T-E, that's light. I don't know why I spelled it out. I was gonna tell you these letters here and these numbers here. You can look this up online, RV wholesalers and type 261BHXL. Uh, you can get all the information on this, but it's nice inside and it's going for the best offer. Right now it's like 13.3. Again, I shouldn't put that away. Let me read that number off to you one more time and then we're gonna look at another trailer. The number is 937 Six four nine ninety six sixty six. So if you're if you've been considering getting into an RV, this is the one that might be for you. Jump in this one because it's going very cheap. We're gonna head back over to the, uh, the RV that we had set up, ready to go through. I'm not sure which one it is. Hey, how you doing? How you doing? A new guy. <laughs> Fresh blood. Where are we going? What is your first? Of all, what is your name? My name's Arthur. Arthur. Arthur's gonna take us through this one. Yep, this Puma. Puma right Let's here. do it. Uh, so first, before we get started, because I know everyone's going to ask, 
Dry weight on this guy is 9,748 pounds. The GVWR is 11,522, and this guy is 41 feet 11 inches. All right. And this is so. This is one I've learned this. This is more like one that you would take and park, right? Yeah, I just this know is, because it's not yep, very this, aerodynamic. In the yeah, front. this is what's known as a park model destination trailer. Okay. Uh, basically, you want to get these guys, and these are more for permanent campsites. Okay. Um, while these guys can travel, the sliding glass door is the major issue that you know makes it a little unwieldy. You get a stone that comes off the road at a weird angle, right. you got a shattered door. Okay. Okay. Awesome. So this is one that people live in, maybe not year round, but maybe during the winter time if they set it down in Florida or whatever, I'm assuming. Actually, a lot of people live in these full time. Really? Okay. Uh, the park models are a lot more residential than your other campers. Gotcha. I, <laughs> I wish you guys could smell these things. I love the smell of a new RV. <laughs> it smells good in here. And it feels good. The air conditioning is kicked on. And that's another thing I actually wanted to point out. Um, Ducting that you guys have seen through all these, these, this is really important. This is what makes the AC not as loud. A lot of customers will complain about the ACs being too loud, especially in the lit or in the bedroom area. Uh -huh. uh, with this ducting, it takes away a lot of that noise. Okay. Um, it's a lot better for you. Good. All right, so uh, we'll see. We should start back here in the in the bedroom. Mm -hmm. And the uh, we got a half oh, bath back yeah. here. Yeah. So this is one with two bathrooms again, mm -hmm. or a bath and a half. All right. So in here, you got your queen size bed, storage up underneath the bed here as well. Plenty of storage, it's also pass through, so you'll have access from the outside as well. Perfect. And as you can see, a lot of, a lot of counter space, a lot of storage in here. You've got a double, uh, a double van, not double vanity, but a double dresser in here, multiple drawers, plenty of storage in this guy. That, that one's a little tight, doesn't want to come out right now. So, plenty of storage in the bedroom here for everyone. Uh, there's also a uh, uh, rod up in here, so if you wanted to hang clothes, jackets, anything like that, you do have that option. Cool. Looks like you can set a chair in here for a little office with the desk Absolutely, there. it's exactly what this is for. So if you wanted to use this as a workspace, uh, if you've got kids that uh, camp with you and they want to do homework, they can do that all right here. Great. Then you've also got the half bath back here. Um, you know, keeps the, uh, keeps the people in the camper separated. Mm -hmm. uh, these guys back here, they've got their own bathroom. People up front there, they've got their own. Uh, so, you know, you're not fighting over who gets to use the bathroom. We also pointed out earlier, it's nice to have the second door so that if you have friends over, or even you, if you're outside getting soaking wet in the pond or the, the, the lake, you come in this door and just go right there to the bathroom as opposed to tra tracing through the, the RV. Absolutely. It's and nice. you can even get into this one uh, with this slide in. Uh, the bed, the door will hit the bed when you open it, but you can absolutely get in here, get into the bathroom okay. so it's easily accessible with all the slides closed. Nice. That's good. That's good. Uh, sounds like it's good planning on the builder's part. Absolutely. Yeah. Uh, it's really uh, it's really good thing they do for folks that are traveling across country, you know? You mm -hmm. can't always stop or you can go into a rest area. Sometimes you got to pull over, you got to use the commode that you've got available. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's a good point. Uh, this is nice. Is that a re what we, they've been calling a residential yep, refrigerator? Yep, this is a residential refrigerator. Uh, it should be a 110. Um, that means it's going to run primarily off of, or only off of shore power. So this will not be powered as you're going down the road. Um, you can't run it just off your 12 volt. You have to be plugged in for this refrigerator to work. But okay. hence the destination trailer. This thing shouldn't even be moved from your camp spot, really. Gotcha. Oh, that's yeah, that's a good point. I forgot that we were actually in one of those. Uh, the stove looks nice. Yep. Uh, four burner stove. Uh, Full propane. Uh, you got your igniters over here. These are self igniting. You can oh, hear yeah, it right there. It. Yep. Um, pretty decent oven space in these guys. Now, one thing I'm sure all you guys know, your RVs, you get very limited space in the oven. So when you get something like this, you can actually cook a home cooked meal on one of these. Uh huh. Not instead of just, you know, a sheet of cookies or something like that. And then you've also got a little extra storage down here for pans and whatnot. Nice. Nice. What is, what is this brand? Is this a Puma? Yes, this okay. is a Palomino Puma. My wife and I, when we stayed a couple weeks ago, it was a Puma that we stayed in. Mm -hmm. And it was nice. We had a blast. Well, Puma is a great brand. Um, you know, if you're looking for something that's not going to break the bank but still offers amazing quality, Puma is definitely the way to go. Okay. Nice bath. So what do we have up here? So this is a second bedroom. Mm-hmm. 
Well, this is actually the master bedroom. The one we were at up front there, that is the secondary bedroom. Okay. That's where the guests would sleep or the kids, however, whatever your situation is. Right. Um, so as you can see in here, uh, same style bed, still has the access underneath. Uh, this one is passed through as well. You can access it from the outside. What are in those boxes? Is that oh, something that comes? Yeah, these are actually two director's chairs. Um, it's supposed to be a surprise technically, but we offer these to all our customers when they purchase with us. A little gift from us to you. Say thank you for your business and that we appreciate you. Good. And as you can see in here, uh, you got a much bigger wardrobe than you had in the set in the rear bedroom. Mm -hmm. uh, you still have your rod going away the cross, so you can use it as straight up storage. You can hang your clothes in there, whatever is going to meet your needs. And then over here, you've got a secondary closet that also has washer dryer prep in there. So you'd be able to put a stackable washer and dryer in there. Uh, you know, if you guys uh, didn't want to use laundry masks, things like that. There's extra storage in there as well. So it can be something other than a washer and dryer closet. Great. It's perfect. Anything else? A nice little, that's a nice little yeah, dresser uh, there. Yep, nice little dresser at the foot of the bed. You know, hold your socks, pants, shirts, whatever you got. Spot for a TV. That's always Absolutely. important. Absolutely. Uh, manufacturer will always mark the backer um, right here. It's about a, mm, I would say probably a one, one and a half foot, cubic foot, uh, a space there for the backer and you got your hookups up over head there great perfect all right anything else um, i think we've covered a lot of the major features in this yeah this is this is nice this reminds me of the i don't the one we stayed in wasn't a park model mm -hmm. but it was it was nice it was like a lot like this one this is very much like the same type of layout mm -hmm. so i remember the tv being right here as we walked in yeah and again it was it was a blast and one thing that really separates these trailers from the one that you have, mm -hmm. um, these guys have options to go tankless. So you can direct plumb uh, okay. into your sewage tank, things like that. So again, okay. destination park model. Okay, perfect. All right, well, uh, if folks are thinking about buying. We've got uh, a couple guys sitting in the back of the place at the park. It's gonna look real, guys, like <laughs> the palm trees. It's it's not real but it looks good uh but they're hanging out and they're going to talk about financing and warranties and all that kind of stuff a lot some very real questions that folks have so we'll throw it back to those guys right now by the campfire campfire is what it is mm -hmm. the park the campfire are they good to go yeah it's not connecting okay thanks man yeah no problem thanks a lot Mm -hmm. They're in the back. No. <laughs> They're on. They're on. He's How do you know when to go? He'll tell us. What? How do you know when to go? Hey guys, this is uh, Dallas and Josh here. Uh, we're gonna go over a couple of things as far as finance and, and service contracts and warranty and stuff like mm -hmm. that. Uh, so first wanted to talk to you, let you guys know uh, during the show, keep on calling in. We're getting a lot of credit applications, getting a ton of calls in, just keep calling us. Mm -hmm. uh, as Josh knows, we're trying to field as many calls as we can, but it's been absolutely crazy. Uh, we got credit apps overflowing, so just keep them coming, we'll get to you. Um, if you're if you're not getting to us, just leave us a message. We will get with you. And just keep trying. So, mm -hmm. um, Josh, did you want to talk any about any about uh, warranty, service contracts, anything like that? For sure. So, just to kind of start off, guys, like uh, you know, just to tag along with what Dallas said, things have been crazy. Don't stop calling in. We've uh, we we will get back to you. Me and Dallas just needed a little break here, so yep. uh, we just want to kind of give you some tips and tricks while they're setting up the new RV. So, um, keep hearing uh, you know from my customers things about forever warranties and why we don't carry them. So, I thought that'd be a good place to start. Yeah. Uh, guys, to, to sum it up, a forever warranty is a forever, well, it's a lifetime of payments is what it is. A, 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 a lifetime warranty is a lifetime of payments, okay? So um, to kind of explain what I mean here, and any dealer that offers this, you, you put my words in, in your mouth and, and kind of figure it out yourself if, you, if you'd like to. But um, long story short, they will require you, that dealership that you buy it from, they will require you to come back to that location once a year, okay, um, to get your trailer inspected, okay? Now, before you guys 
get your trailer inspected, they ask for money, okay? Uh, you, you have to have that appointment. Now, if you, here's, here's the kicker. If you miss the appointment, you no longer have forever warranty. That's it's right. out, it's void at that point. So long story short, uh, once they take a look at your trailer, asking for money. Once they find things that's a, that are wrong with the trailer, they're asking for money. Long story short, why, I mean, it's it's as good as the, the piece of paper that it's printed on. That's why it's typically not a cost. That's right. It's something that's given to you to make you feel a little bit better. Uh, why else would they ask you to buy their service contract mm -hmm. if a forever warranty is all you needed, right? right. So uh, I, I just wanted to kind of say that. I know you got some tips and tricks sure. for, for actual financing, and that's mm -hmm. that's what you do around here yep. anyway. So I'll, uh, I'll, I'll hand it over to you guys. But if really you got good. any questions, yeah, give us a call. My extension 1,000 if there's anything I can help you with and uh, but just just keep calling guys we'll get back to you okay yeah appreciate it Josh that's good information there so I want to talk to you guys a little bit about finance how that works when you when you buy anything you finance through a dealership uh, as you know by dealing with us uh, uh, we're actually going to give you a finance discount not everybody does mm -hmm. okay that dealer is still getting paid so they're still getting paid when you finance through them okay so they're making more money on, on the overall deal so we feel it's it's only right that you guys get a little piece of the money. Mm -hmm. So that's kind of why we do offer the finance discount like we do. Um, one thing you always want to think about is is that you can make whatever payment you want. You know, obviously you want to try to get the best rate, try mm -hmm. to get the best term, things like that. But you can make whatever payment you want. True. All right. So one of the biggest things that we recommend is try to take the longest term possible with RV loans. Um, you can keep your payment down real low. Mm -hmm. um, you can pay the loan off as you see fit. Um, like, like we always ask, all we ask is you keep the loan open a year. If you want to pay it down, you want to kind of do whatever you want, more than welcome to do it. Mm -hmm. uh, but, but all we ask is you just keep that loan open a year. Uh, longer term, generally, for great credit, uh, means a little bit better rate. So take the little bit longer term, keep the payment small, um, then you build yourself in a savings plan. It's one of the biggest, biggest tips that you can get with buying uh, a camper, especially RV loans in, in general. Also. A lot of uh, recreational vehicle loans, at least the ones we deal with, mm -hmm. are tax write-offs, okay? So ask your CPA about that. That's going to help you out uh, throughout the long run, calculating some of that interest and, and getting, getting some of that to come back to you. So that's some of the biggest stuff. Um, anything you would add to that, Josh? Well, just to tag along, so, you know, I... I um to, to, to go along with, with the customer's perspective, you know, they're trying to get the best interest rate. Mm -hmm. An RV, I, I, as I'm sure you understand, a lot of our or a lot of our customers, they like to compare it to the car they just bought, right? right? right. It's more comparable to the mortgage, right? I, I just I just got into uh, my first house. Um, I wanted the 15-year note because, to, in in my mind, having a loan open for 30 years, that that keeps you up at night, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah. But the doing the the processing the seeing the payment in the interest rate of what the 30-year note was it was a no-brainer mm -hmm. they give me such a better interest rate that that's the way you go sure. same with rvs you get the longer note but i make a 15-year payment though i got the longer note i get the better interest rate and anything that you put down over top of your payment goes directly to the principal and it's then recalculated at the end of that it's a simple interest loan that's, right. that's what we're getting right. at so right. if your payment's 200 bucks you put down 250 bucks that 50 dollars goes straight to the principal so you're going to pay it off sooner and still get Get the better interest rate so um, just uh, just little tips and tricks you're not every dealer wants you to know that because that reserve money goes into their pocket right. and instead of yours so uh, again I mean even cash buyers cash buyers like to take advantage of that because we get money from the banks mm -hmm. we give it to you keep the loan open for a year pay it off that's all you got to do so uh, but yeah long story short just little tips and tricks for you guys uh, that's one, that's one of the biggest things mm -hmm. I think with you know, we get people to call on occasion and say, hey, I just want to pay cash. Like, sure. and, I, and, and you hear the term, I know you've heard it, cash is king. Yeah. You know, we've all heard that. They're right. Cash is king. Mm -hmm. But guess what? When you got the cash, you got the means and the ability to do what you want. So keep the loan open a year, pay mm -hmm. it off. You're getting the big finance discount. Why not? Yeah. Why not take advantage of the bank's money as opposed to having to use in your own? You can your your money can be working for you in other areas. Absolutely, so that's one thing I highly recommend. So. Absolutely. Anything else you would you would add, Josh? Or? I would say that that pretty much. Again, if you guys have any questions, please do not hesitate to call. Phones are blowing up. We've yep. already pushed out. Uh, I mean, a lot of pieces today. Uh, you guys are taking advantage of the sale prices and everything. That's awesome. We want to we want to help you. We're going to be here for a lot more time we today. Are, we uh, are. It's, we're only putting a dent in it so far. So long story short, you need anything, give us a holler. We want to be able to help you. And um, and as like I said, if you don't get to us right away, voicemail, we'll call you right back. So yep, 877-877-4494. My extension 316. Josh, yours is? Uh, 1,000. We'll get you to me. So. Yep. All right. Perfect, guys. Thank you. Thank you guys very much. Yep.
gör. Özgür şu. All right, guys, it's just going to be me with you today. We're going to let uh, Dave get some food in his belly. He's been out here working all morning. So I wanted to kind of give you a look here. This is the Wildcat 384 MB. Uh, Mrs. Roberts, if you're watching, I'm doing this one for you. Uh, I know you guys are interested in this particular model, so I wanted to show you a little bit more in depth. And anyone else that's interested in this model, I'm going to give you a little bit more thorough walkthrough on this thing. So uh, we'll just kind of open some stuff up as we go get a pass-through storage in here guys you got the lights your your cable hookups um, i mean just yeah storage galore if you got any pets a little uh, leash here that's pretty cool you start to see those on some higher end fifth wheels and your toy haulers and stuff so um what, what do we got behind here i like these magnets these are really nice so a full kitchen pull this out for you here you get the nice capital grill. These will fold out so the wind doesn't take out the flame here. Very nice cooktop. Prep space uh, or a little spot to put like a magic bullet or a coffee pot or something like that. A uh, little fridge here for you. You got your propane line and everything. That's a quick connect, so it'll give you all of that stuff. So, um, oh, and so we have the uh, the six point auto leveling on this one, guys. You can kind of see we got uh, stability in front and behind the axles. Solid step here for the entry. So let's go take a look inside. All right. So guys, uh, rear living concept. This one does have a middle bunk and a loft. I'm going to get to that in just a second. So, uh, but you just notice in the um, uh, Wildcat, a little bit higher quality for still your mid-level RV here. Uh, awesome recliners, theater seating, if you will. These are going to have the, uh, the cable ejection there. So pull that up. Still have storage and cup holders. Um, entertainment center, so you're right in front of that. And if you are entertaining additional guests, this will be a trifold sofa. So, um, you know, not, not like your average futon that you might see in something like this. So, uh, you got your solid, uh, I'm sorry, your stainless steel appliances here. Really big microwave. And uh, let's see here. I wanted to show you guys the fridge too. There we go. The fridge and freezer. Plenty of space for you there. And guys, just, I mean, just looking around, plenty of cabinetry and everything. Um, these will open up. These have a very good bit of depth in them. Uh, pull out drawers pretty much everywhere. Uh, they're, they're nice and tight just for when you're in transit mode. They're not going to fly open on you. So, um, and uh, I, as you've been seeing here, the fireplaces are getting very popular as well. Uh, a lot of people think they're just for show. I mean, they do put out 5,000 BTUs of heat, so it would warm an area like this with no problem. And yeah, you wouldn't have to waste your propane and stuff like that. So, um, but yeah, uh, table and chairs in this model. We got, we got Dave Durnell sitting at one of those enjoying himself. Feel good to sit down, Dave? It does, and now you know how much weight it can hold. There you go. <laughs> Any particular questions coming up on this one yeah, yet? Yeah, uh, we got a weird one from a Puma. Okay. So I want to know, can you take the front tongue off of a Puma? Park on, trailer. On, uh, so I do believe that that would be a special request, okay, guys? Um, if you don't mind, just we have so many products. If I had them all memorized, my head wouldn't fit through the yeah. door. So um, just give us a call. I know the Wildwoods for sure do have the detachable tongue. It is an option. It's like a $250 option. So for those campsites that may not, uh, you know, fit that trailer, or if you wanted to skirt around it, that would be an awesome way to do that. So then we had the question, do you carry Rockwood, Mini Lights, Geo Pro, Ultralight? That's one of our best sellers, ain't yep, it, Dave? That's yep. <laughs> probably our number one seller. Yeah. And then do we also carry Winnebago's? We do. We do, yeah. And then we had another question, do you have the Coachman Spirit? We do not, because yeah. Coachman does... Uh, like we've named some other companies, they do not like dealers that sell affordably. Mm -hmm. Just being honest, their dealers get irritated if they can't make uh, huge margins, so they don't yep. like to do business More with, profit. Yep. with dealers that sell affordably. So, yep. I mean, the nicest way I can say it uh, is shame on you, Coachman, and shame on you, <laughs> sure. you know, well, some of the, the other companies, yeah. but... 
And there, there's other products I can mention too that we've just had a very uh, difficult time getting our customers taken care of after the sale. You know, um, if I got a customer out in North Dakota and the factory sends me parts and I got to send him parts and it's the wrong one four right. times, it, who do you think that customer is going to be upset with? Yeah, and then, not, then not the we, factory. We just can't do business with that factory yeah, anymore. No, there's there's no point. If, if 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 we sell you a trailer and I can't take care of you, there was no reason to earn your business. There exactly. Just wasn't, so uh, someone else wanted to see the fridge one more one time. more time. Yep. Yeah. Like I said, I got a uh, a uh, special couple, Mr. And Mrs. Roberts that sh that are hopefully watching this, they're very interested in this model. So that is I, huge. I wanted to make sure we were a little bit uh, more in depth, but yes, yeah, that is really nice. That's that's very nice size, and it has an ice maker. Mm -hmm. Wow, I went wow. eleven years without an ice maker <laughs> in my house. <laughs> Once you get one, you you're not yeah, going back, I, I are you? I should have moved into an RV. <laughs> Any other uh, questions? Well, people are wanting to know what can you tow this wildcat with? Sure. So, um, I mean, average uh, dry weight, I, I, I'll have to get the exact specs, and you guys can look at those there too. Um, but I know she's right there around 10. So we would um, expect that you would come with at least an F-250, whether that be gas or diesel. So three-quarter ton. Three-quarter ton would be would be plenty for this model. Now, they do make shorter wildcats. Okay, again, this was the, uh, it's going to have the middle bunk. We're going to get to that in just a second. So a little more length, a little bit more weight, um, but still three-quarter ton would do this perfect one last thing is there any more light you can turn on above the, oh, the I'm, oven or I'm the, sure there is. because so. people want to see that we've had two requests to see the black the back splash there we go well, this is not, you, you start to see all of the people doing the herringbone flooring, or, yeah. you know, flooring the tile. That's very trendy right now. So that's uh, actually I, very I really nice. Do like, it's not your typical uh, peel on or, or your stick oh, really? on either. Yep, yeah, that's, a, nice. that's a one piece. So it's and not solid peel surface on countertops. Yes, sir. Of course. Yeah, I tell you, I, the, the Wildcats were one of the very first trailers oh, your father sold. and I sold, yep. and it's amazing how they've how far they've come. Yeah. It's beautiful. Absolutely. Well, guys, keep the questions coming. Josh knows what he's doing. We'll keep answering them for yeah. you. Yeah. Uh, obviously, there's more more kitchen lights, too. We, we must have just opened this one up a little quicker, but uh, let's see if I can find those. Nope, that's probably why they're not turned on, because the light is somewhere else. Anyway, we'll, get, we'll I want to show you the, the uh, bunk room real quick, guys. So uh, in this one here, if you have children or even smaller adults here, would be a great place for them. Uh, a lot of people even use this as a little office area. You can remove the couch, and that's one of my what one of my customers did. Is this is his uh, dedicated office here? A really nice yeah, couch. This will all fold down and everything. Kind of give you. Oh, we'll have to remove right. these cushions first. Yeah. So this will. So you got a, a bed up top, and you got a bed down here. This will all fold out into what I believe would be a trifold sofa. So, and it's going to take up the whole room, so I'm not going to demonstrate at all, but I mean, just to give you an idea, a very comfortable sleeping position here. Uh, and then this will fold down and you can put these as little headrests if you wanted to. So very, very cool. Still plenty of storage and workspace if you needed to. Uh, prep for a TV, USB ports on the sides here. I'm going to put this back up so you can get a little closer look. There we go. So you got the USB ports and the television, everything. Um, get, why don't you step this way here too, so I, we can show them the loft. Hey this Josh, why you show them the loft? Do we take trade-ins? Is a question. Yes, of course we take trade-ins, guys. We we entertain them, so just give us a call. Let us know what you have. We'll get you the best price on that, and we can get you an out-the-door number with all of that included. So. Uh, but you see here, guys, you got a uh, pretty, pretty comfortable mattress and everything. You got a little light, skylight and everything for them so they can breathe. And it is ducted for air conditioner as well. So uh, have everything there. Um, all of your, uh, so this right here is basically going to control the trailer. So you can do your leveling and your lights and everything off of that. Um, and the next, obviously, would be the bathroom. Very nice shower, plenty of cabinetry in here for your linens and everything, plenty of leg room, all that good stuff that I know you guys are going to be looking for. Uh, and last but not least, the master bedroom. So uh, king bed in here, okay. Um, it is going to be on a slide out, so we have additional walking space. And then check this little, well, I say little, I shouldn't say little. Check out this huge closet. I'll show you that half. And I'll show you the other here. They're going to be mad that I touched the windows, but it's okay. Washer, dryer, prep in this one. Basically a walk-in closet, guys, and still have uh, plenty of cabinetry and everything as well. So 
but washer dryer prep, windows in the slides, everything. Uh, television can sit right here and it would plug in right there. USB chargers everywhere. Um, air conditioner in the bedroom. So it's going to give you pretty much everything you need. So uh, Dave, was there any more questions on this one? Yeah, uh, we had a question. Catherine wanted to know what kind of stove does it have? I just looked. It's fully gas and it is a Furion. Yeah. And then um, Pamela wanted to know how does the floor hold up to large dogs? Well, Pamela, I probably weigh a little more than your dog right <laughs> unfortunately probably a little more than three of your dogs and uh it holds up very very well you don't feel soft spots you don't feel a give right. awesome floor and then we had a great question um michelle's 01 can you get into the bathroom while traveling when the slides are in you can yes yes of, yeah, of that, course. that's so, one of the hot things about this one actually of well, that, and you can still access the fridge, too. So, right. I mean, once these slides are in, you still have plenty of walkway through the, uh, you know, towards the bedroom. Exactly. Even with the bed being in, you could still sleep in it as well. It's not going to, uh, you know, hinder your comfort, just your right. walking around abilities. Then so. we had a really good question. Uh, Renee wanted to know, for the, for the uh, Nationwide Service Network, uh -huh. where can I see who, my, who has authorized my area? We do not put that on the Internet. Because other dealers would simply steal it. Well, you see, the guy down the road did just a couple uh, <laughs> right. weeks ago. I right. mean, so that's that. When when you have something proprietary, and and we've been copied on every single thing that we've done. Well, there's the, 26 dealers we know of that use our name that in some way. Or another. Someone said earlier, RV yeah. Wholesalers Club. Come on, guys, right. let's be original. You know, yeah. uh, but but uh, we've seen people copy everything that we've done except how we treat customers after the sale. Other dealers, yeah. they're going to tell you, hey, uh, luckily for you, uh, let's let's use Florida for example. There's eight dealerships in florida that sell wildcat go to any one of right. them well rvs aren't like cars parts aren't down the street you have no. to get most of them i'd say 90 percent of parts well, from indiana you know this is a this was two years ago one of the factories that we dealt with shipped the wrong part 82 percent of the time right okay we got the right part all but eight now listen to this real close all but 18 percent of the time right we flipped that number on its head literally because we know how to order parts, and you can say, well, come on, every dealer has to know how to order. No, they don't. We take a picture of the part. We include every number we can Numbers, with the part. Mm, there's measurements. And we have our drivers even go over and pick up all of our parts. Mm -hmm. and then they're able to verify it's the correct part. Right. Uh, and other dealers just don't do that stuff. You know, it, just like uh, last Friday. They'll just call in, give you a VIN, yeah. whatever they get. That's L what they Last get. Friday, a, a dealer in Columbus, Ohio, was talking to one of our, our customers. The customer had called in. He had uh, broken a window, wanted to know how long it would take. We mm -hmm. told him, need you to stop in. We need to measure it, take pictures, yeah. so we can give it to the factory. He didn't like that answer. We told him it would probably take about three weeks. He mm -hmm. hated that answer. Right. He called a, a dealer in Columbus, and the dealer just flat lied to him. Oh, I pulled it up on, on uh, their website. I'm looking at it right now. I can have it in three days. Right. Unfortunately, not true. No. We end up ordering it for him. Uh, we've asked him to rush it. But, you know, dealers say a lot of things, but I can lie all I want. I still can't give you the window before three weeks. Sure. You know, Especially we know, with what's going on right now. Right. We know enough to know that they don't stock windows. No. That window is going to come from the window manufacturer, and we know how long it's going to take. If, so, they, if they did have any, they're going on their retail pieces. They're exactly. not going to be sitting they're, they're there for They're not pulling them off for, right. for parts. Exactly. And, not, you know, not, and, not right and guys, we're just we're not going to lie to you. We're going to tell you the truth. Uh, but go go back to the question. It was a great question. So how do I know who in my area can do the work? If you call us, okay, call in, ask for Lori and uh, warranty, and Lori can tell you who we have in your area mm -hmm. that can fix your unit, okay? Yeah. It's not a secret. We'll tell you before you buy. Mm -hmm. We can tell anyone anywhere in the country, even in Canada, exactly where you're going to go and, and who's going to fix your RV. So, And we're happy to share that. We just don't put it on the Internet. Yeah. Because it's taken us 22 years to build 2,500 plus places, we're not going to give it to our competitors. No, not at all. Yeah, we're, we're, we're just not going to do it. And, and to, so one thing to tag along to that, guys, uh, I, I know it feels great or, or, or the you know idea of having that service center up the road that can take care of my issues is a good feeling. But right. RVs don't break in your driveway, right? That's why we have a nationwide service network. Right. I may have people that can fix something small once you bring it back, but if something major happens, like an air conditioner going out and you're in the state of Florida, you're not going camping. That's a no, huge and, issue. and and that's what we always say to people: Do you camp next to your dealer? You're, yeah, you're you're not. Staying. You know, and they're like, "What? Do you camp next to your dealer? Because if you don't, how are they going to help you? Sure. You know, one thing we learned very early on was, again, like you said, people go on trips; they travel on these things. Mm -hmm. Uh, and you take when it's really hot out, someone loses their air conditioner. 
My wife's not camping. You guys aren't going to be happy. Flat. Now. She's not camping. Fighting. Right. No. So we need to be able to fix your air conditioner while you're on your trip, mm-hmm. not when you get back. Right. And, and you know, this isn't picking on other dealers, but their business plan is 80 years old, and here's what they do. You call them up and say, hey, I'm in Indian Lake State Park. My air conditioner's not working. What can you do? Bring when you're in. done with your trip, bring it in. Bring it in. And then you're going to take it when you're done with your trip. That doesn't help you during your trip. You're going to drop it off. And the average last year was 13 weeks. Mm -hmm. 13 weeks later, they're going to call you, and you come pick it up. Here's the problem with that. Number one, my trip was ruined. Number two, I just lost 13 weeks of camping. So you say, okay, how do you handle RV wholesalers? If we aren't by you, we send someone to you to fix your air conditioning. Okay? If you're local and you come here and the air conditioning's trashed, it cannot be fixed, we're going to give you another unit to use so you can continue your trip. Yeah, we, we just do things different for that reason. And, you know, Wildcat's awesome to deal with. Uh, Michelle said that, uh, great, she needs uh, she has a child with diabetes, unfortunately. We're sorry to hear that. She needs access to the bathroom and the refrigerator. This unit will, will do it. We got a couple others real quick. Uh, so many, Rob says Lori's awesome. Yes, she is. Yes, she Lori does an amazing job. She, she's, she's not necessarily in the forefront, but, I mean, no, she, she, she does everything behind the scenes yeah. that people don't, unfortunately, get to give her credit for. Exactly. She's, she's amazing. Yeah, she's, she's an awesome. angel. Someone else asked, is this a fifth wheel? Yes, it is. And then someone said, I'm looking for a fifth wheel with a bath and a half. Call us. We have them. Yeah. Not an issue. Josh would there love to help you when he's done. And the last one is um, what, again, so they, they must have missed the first one. What can I tow this with? Three-quarter ton is what would, we suggest. Would, would be preferred. This, yeah. this should uh, come in right in between eleven and 12,000 pounds. Um, should, again, I, I, I didn't bring my spec sheet with me, guys, so if you need for sure numbers, give us a call. But I would like and to see something of is really comfortable. I, I knew you'd say that. But I had to get up before I started. <laughs> before you started sleeping? Well, what good uh, deal, Judy want to know, do we carry Class A coaches? Yes, we do. Of course. And, uh, have, we, you know, have we shown ours, the one that we got online Yeah, yet? we've shown one already. And, you, okay. and, guys, we have a ton of coaches on our uh, YouTube page. Mm-hmm. Go look up our uh, RV Wholesalers page on YouTube. Uh, check it out. There's all kinds of – same thing we're doing now. Yep. Uh, there's a ton of them. And, you know – uh, a little bit thing. more in, in depth too, since yeah. we don't have a hundred of them when we do those. You know, we're just exactly. a little bit more in depth uh, training and stuff. So yeah. Well, and someone, you know, they keep asking why. Why do you spend so much time on service? Simple. That's the most important thing. Well, well, when you a- sell, anyone can sell an RV. When you sell the same products as everyone else, right. even though at a cheaper cost, what makes yep. you different? What makes what you justifies different? you coming from Texas and buying exactly. an RV? Exactly. You know, I've always I've always tried to explain to people that you buying an RV from us, it's the same as a marriage. Yeah. You know, uh, you, you, hopefully you look for something semi-special in marriage. <laughs> <laughs> maybe not all of us when yeah, you look maybe, at the current rate of divorce. Right, but, right, right. but, you know, hopefully you do. And, and what we like to tell people is, you know what, we're a family. Uh, we love our customers. We're going to take care of you. We're going to make sure you're taken care of. Last one, uh, Scott asked, we're financing a Class C right now. We are finding we can't finance a second RV to put on a piece of property. Are you guys able to do that? Uh, call us and ask for Dallas, Scott. If anyone can help you, Dallas can help yeah. you. All right, I think I think we got to roll to the next one. I, I believe it. Well, guys, thanks for tuning in, and uh, we'll see you on the next one. Smile. Is it me? I'm live. All right, it is. I am live. <laughs> uh, I'm here with Cass. We're gonna check out a new uh, a new RV. So. Uh, how long have you been with RV wholesalers? I've been here for four years. Okay. I can't remember. Did you did you walk through a trailer with me last time? I wasn't. I had a brand new baby boy, so I missed uh, the last well, one. Congratulations. Appreciate it. I was outnumbered in the household. Three daughters. So our so friends from North Carolina came up just to see us. Sorry, appreciate your business. Um. So, oh yeah. So congratulations. Appreciate it. Yeah. That's I was awesome. outnumbered in the household. I had three daughters, so finally got the boy. Nice. Hopefully it's a football player. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. That's awesome. What's his name? His name's Nash. All right. Everybody show love on comments to Cass. Appreciate and, uh, it. Nash. Uh, so this is okay. So then you know what you're doing here? You've been here four years. Absolutely. You know how to walk us through? Yep, absolutely. <laughs> I have faith in you. Total faith. <laughs> this is a uh, Rockwood Rue. Um, it's known as a hybrid camper because of your pop-outs here, the canvas pop-outs uh, where the master beds are at. Um, 60 by 80, heated mattresses on the inside there. Heated mattresses? Absolutely. Okay. Nice. Um, I, don't think, I don't know if we had those last time or not. I'm not sure. That's cool. Very cool. 
Maybe one. Maybe maybe we did have one. I well, did it's nice having that heated mattress inside the canvas, just to give you a little extra heat in right. there. Right. Right. Nice sense. and cozy. Great. You go inside. Absolutely. All right. This is a 25 foot camper, sleep six, 5,500 pounds. So you don't have to upgrade your tow vehicle or anything, unless you want to. Between me and you, you can do that if you want to get that by your wife. <laughs> All right, spacey. What was nice about it too, with how small this camper is, in my opinion, there's no shortage of storage in here. You have a full pantry right behind here. There we go. Full storage underneath the booth dinette, which will also break down into a sleeping spot. More storage down underneath the, the bed here. Dang, there really is a lot of storage. We get a lot of like um, hunters, hunters and fishermen that want to get this. Not okay. so much, you know. It's good for a family too if you have a small family. Right. Um, but it's nice if you're an outdoorsman. A lot of outdoorsmen will go with this feature because of the storage. It's not overly big for one or two people. Mm -hmm. um, Rockwood in general, I mean, fit and finish wise and quality, I think the Rockwood name really holds itself in the industry. It's Amish built, which. I think is a big thing that goes on set out there. Of all the campers that we have, um, I'm pretty sure Rockwood's the only one that's Amish built. So I think okay. that says something about it. So uh, I guess, I, I wonder if people like it because you also kind of get the feeling of camping in a right. tent. Yeah, absolutely. Right? Does that make sense? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, and I see back here, you can't, it might be, I guess you can get the camera back here, a room for a TV back there. So mm -hmm. if you shut it, you can still keep your, obviously have a TV yep. on the wall. And they find every little spot for, for storage, even right there above your head. Yeah. Yep. They find something. And here's the uh, bathroom. Fully enclosed shower, so you're not having a curtain. Spacious little bathroom. Get the, the fireplace in this one. Oh, yeah. And I really, I mentioned this earlier, I really like these refrigerators that are kind of blended in with the cabinets. Raised panel. Yeah. 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 Really dresses it up in here. This is the chocolate interior with American maple cabinets. You know what? It's, we had a chocolate one earlier that I taste nothing like chocolate, I'm going to be <laughs> honest with you. And you can, do, you can do chocolate or stone for the interior, and you can do American maple or slate wood cabinets. And yeah. um, this has the wood look floor also. You can get that in tile, a tile look floor if you want to. How much is this one? This one for today's sale is $23,182. Our competitors out there are selling this for over 39000 Wow. Um, you'd be looking right around a $210 payment, give or take, depending okay. on how you qualify there. Um, yeah, great coach, great name, great quality, fit and finish. Can't really go wrong with Rockwood. I say again, there really is a lot of room, like it right here in the center. Absolutely. Very spacious. Uh, this is, yeah, this is the same thing. This is a heated mattress. It's, it's awesome. <laughs> it's awesome. Yeah, you got everything you need, right in this little space. And two, what you say, two ten a month. Yep. That's what you're looking at. Yep. Can't go wrong. <coughs> you know, choking on my own spit. I just <laughs> ate. And I was getting ready to say, I get. How embarrassing is that? I can't even talk without choking on my own spit. Uh, we've been encouraging people to call in and if you're thinking about getting an RV because uh, you guys have sold so many this week that a lot of them that we were going to show today mm -hmm. sold before we could show them. Right. And uh, a lot of the places are, are like uh, running, out of, running out of RVs to send you. Mm -hmm. I mean, yep. because of all this stuff we've been going through. Absolutely. So make sure, definitely make sure you get on the phone and get an RV if you're considering it at all. I, uh, I, I, feel, I feel the presence of David around here. Oh, hey, what's going on? <laughs> I, I, I just knew, I just yeah, knew you were here. Know, it's that aura that I have. <laughs> uh, a couple questions real quick. Uh, Kim asked, are Rockwoods Amish built or just this model? No, they're Amish and uh, German Baptists in the factories. The German Baptists are gonna look quite Amish, but there's a little bit of a difference. Okay. Uh, but that's the vast majority of the staff. That's why they have such incredible quality and in just, just awesome units. And then we had a question, how well does the heating and cooling work in the tent part of the Rockwood Rue? Uh, Norma asked that. Norma, our, our biggest complaint is the heater's too hot, literally. And people will unzip the 
corners of their uh, tenons uh -huh. uh, to let some of the heat escape. So they, they do actually very, very, very right. well. And again, in case you missed it, the, the mattresses are heated. Mm -hmm. So Yeah, I mean, in the, uh, when it gets cold, they're very comfortable. But yeah. even when it's hot, they stay very, very comfortable. They, okay. uh, the, the air conditioners do a really nice job. Great. Yeah, I was going to say, even, I mean, just leaning in here, I, it's cool. We got the air conditioner running, and yep. it's actually cool in here. It's hot outside today, uh, and it feels good in here. So I feel like the air, I feel like a breeze coming in here. So it's not bad at all, at all. It's nice. I, I do. I kind of like. I want to sleep like in this with it with it raining. Right. I mean, it's got to be amazing. Yeah. Well, cool. All right. Anything else in this one? Not that I can think of. Um, we only have three left in stock. We had five. We sold two, so we have three left in stock can order it in for you. Um, obviously, if you're time sensitive, try to get in here um, on the phone or in here, get the ones that we have in stock so you're not waiting, you know, out a month or two or whatever it would be for ordering it. Um, three, three left in stock for today's sale, so take advantage of it, please. Appreciate your time. Absolutely. Pe people are buying. People are buying today. Absolutely. Um, let's, uh, let's step outside because I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do something. I'm going to do another giveaway here in a second. I want to show you exactly what I'm giving away. I'm gonna give away a palm tree. These, these, do you have one of these? <laughs> I don't. Dude, I, I picked one up. I came down here a couple weeks ago. My kids actually, when we came them. out camping, and I, I bought one. That's we got the seven footer, but we got the five footer and the seven footer. I'm gonna give one away, and then we're gonna do a flash sale on them. So I'll meet you over there. Cool. Thanks, sir. Thank you very much. <laughs> All right, so we're all giving right. away a five-foot palm tree again to the first caller. That prize number is nine three seven six four nine five nine seven zero. So the first person to call will get a palm tree. I actually, like I mentioned over there, I actually bought one for the house, and it looks fantastic out back. Uh, and then we're going to sell them. We're going to sell them uh, on a flash sale. Before I answer that phone, I see somebody on there. Before I answer that phone, uh, one thing. The RV, the RV that I have for sale right now, I think it's at thirteen thousand three hundred. We're looking to, uh, yeah, we're gonna, okay. I just told we're gonna walk through it after this. I'll show you and I'll, I'll catch you up to date on what's going on with that RV. Let's find out who our winner is. Let's see. Place your bets now if I can pick up this phone and do this right. Here we go. Hello. If you bet no, he cannot do it right, you win. Because I didn't get anybody. Oh, I gotta push that button. I keep forgetting to push that button. Hello? Hello. Hello, who's this? This is Gary. Hey, Gary, uh, are you interested in, in winning a free palm tree? Absolutely. You just did, man. You just won the palm tree. <laughs> I don't believe it. I've been trying to call not only today but the last time you had it never really? got through it, it, worked, it time. worked this time it worked this time it did it <laughs> and let me did. tell you they are awesome they're the cool thing is they're super easy to put together they really are super easy to put together uh it takes no time at all and then they look fantastic once they're lit up especially when it's dark out it looks great so uh where are you calling from gary i'm calling from north of chicago oh nice um you, you camp much do you camp at all we do. Um, we're in a process. We're going to be going full time RVing. Uh, yeah, after my wife retires at the end of this year. Oh, well, congratulations! And so we, we do, yeah, we don't have the RV yet. We're looking for a fifth wheel toy hauler, but we'll definitely be coming to, you know, RV wholesalers. Love it. Love hearing that. Maybe. All yes, right. Yes, you bet. Well. Uh, congratulations. Enjoy your palm tree. I'm going to hand you off to Tim. He'll get your information. But uh, hope to see you in here buying soon. Thank you much. All right. Take care, Gary. Here's Tim. I love giving stuff away. I love giving stuff away. So here's what we've got. Uh, flash sale. Boom. The five-foot palm tree and the seven-foot palm tree. The seven-foot looks like the five-foot, just two feet taller. <laughs> let, me take, let me give you the prices. The five-foot five palm tree is 90 bucks. The seven foot palm tree is 135. That includes shipping and handling. The number for uh, this flash sale is 
2424. Again, 937 843 2424. If you get voicemail, leave your information, let us know what you want, we'll make sure you get it. And then parts at rvwholesalers.com is the email that you can, uh, you can uh, get hold of us and let us know what you want. Let's go right now. I'm going to find somebody to walk with me. I need a camera on me. He's it. So we're going to walk over to this, this uh, RV that I'm trying to sell. Here's the deal. I, uh, I snuck into an RV earlier. Actually, I didn't sneak into an RV earlier. The salesperson I was with, I can't remember who it was, left me hanging and said, why don't you go tour this RV? So we're gonna it was Mitch. Mitch was the one. We're going to go tour the RV right now. How are we doing here? Are we good here? So come with me. This is the RV. So let me tell you what's going on. I told them I could sell an RV. I told them, I didn't tell them I could walk through an RV with them, but that's what ended up happening. Look how funny it is. When you get near people with a camera, people just scatter like geese. When you walk into a fly, uh, flock of geese and they all go everywhere. As soon as you walk in, they take off. Should we go talk to her? See if she runs? No, look. Look at the power I have. <laughs> Luckily, I'm used to women running from me like that. Uh, all right, so here's what we've got. The Wildwood Light. This is the one that I'm selling. Again, I'm new to the RV scene, so let me just tell you real quick. This is the, uh, uh, we got the traditional rectangle shape. This comes with four tires, one in front of the other and the back. Up here, we've got uh, a sink with a faucet on it. Water comes out from this end here. Ceiling, this one comes with a ceiling. That's always nice. We got some speakers, it looks like, in here. Lights that will turn on when, they're, when it's supposed to. And then back here, I got to show you for real, we have uh, bunks back here. Two decent sized bunks, double, double, double bunk, double, what's it called? Double, double bunk, double bunk. Uh, double, double bunk, something like that. And then the bathroom here, we've got the, uh, this is a cool thing about this. You got the shower, decent sized shower. We've got that. <laughs> And uh, the sink is outside, which I think is really nice because how often is somebody out here brushing the teeth while somebody is in the shower? You can't get to it if, if uh, everybody's all in one spot. So uh, decent size refrigerator. We've got the master bed back here. We've got the, the curtain to separate things. Here's the deal. They let me. They, trust, they trusted me to walk through this. I said I was going to sell it. This thing sells for a little under $24,000. A little under twenty-four thousand dollars. I said I was going to let it go for at ten thousand at least. I said ten thousand, and then I said uh, but twenty-three thousand or best offer. Right now, I think it's right around thirteen thousand three hundred. I have a phone number you can call nine three seven six four nine ninety-six sixty-six. Let me read that to you again. Make sure you get your pen ready to go. Nine three seven six four nine. 9666. You have until the top of the hour. Let me see how, how long that is on my phone here. So, oh, we're like 17 minutes away. Whoever has the highest bid in in 17 minutes will get this. Right now, I think it's like 13, 13 3 is where we're at. It's a 2020 brand new RV. Somebody's going to get a heck of a deal, but you got to get on that phone right now and bid. Uh, we're moving stuff around. That's what you hear people doing, yelling out there, telling people how to. Uh, back a back a trailer so uh that's it this is our this is the rv that i'm trying to sell we're gonna go in here and uh see the next rv one that's selling for the full price try not to get run over by this rv being backed in come on are we finding cass again it's cass oh tim tim how you doing? Good. How are you? All right. Is this the one Good we're going through? You. Sorry, I missed. Man, I missed your hand. Oh. We did. There we go. That <laughs> felt. That felt more manly that there time. There you go. Uh, so uh, we're gonna walk through this. Yeah, we're gonna look at the cameo. I'm excited about showing you guys the cameo. It's okay. A, it's a great unit for full-time living or even just your weekend getaway. It has all the amenities you'd ever need just to be able to stay there full-time if that's something you chose to do. But it's, it's as equal if you just go on weekend camping. Uh, Sorry. Oh, man. <laughs> Fascinated by the yeah. big storage Well, you can put your picnic table in here when you go. So we put it in the, in the pass-through storage here. It's huge. They uh -huh. have a huge pass-through storage, which is nice uh, for not having to store a bunch of stuff up in your living space. Okay. It, it'll help somebody with their clothes and everything else, like your chairs that you might need to take with you. A lot of times that stuff gets crammed under the beds, under storage. This, right. all the way through. It's there. Awesome. Yeah. Awesome. What's the little space up here? Is that just 
just more storage. This here is going to be your, your propane tanks and stuff oh, okay. like that. So you do have dual on each side. Right. So you'll have the dual tanks on this one. Okay. Um, this one is, it, you can camp all year round in this. So it's loaded with that. Um, if we come over here, you do got the big awning that comes out. But the cool thing about this one, they, a lot of times people don't have the awning in front of the front slide out. So okay. this one, you don't lose that. Okay. And it helps you with the, the continuous coverage out front, Great. where some of these on the front slides don't have all those. So this, saying, this one comes with that. Slide with a with an awning on it. Absolutely. Yeah. So dual axle, which is nice, upgraded tire system with the nice wheels that they've already added. Okay. Um, let's go inside. Oh yeah, let's check it out. Ooh, I see some lighting under the bar. Oh, here. these are cool. Yeah, these are really nice. Wow. Yeah, so this one actually has like a wet bar in it, which is kind of neat. You yeah. can sit at, yeah, good entertainment for you know couples that come over. We had just... one like this a little earlier, and I, I love it. It was one of my favorite features so far is having like the, the wet bar and the kitchen. Well, it's nice because it gives you added counter space where in a lot of these, you know, you you give away or take away something to get that extra counter space. And uh -huh. these, you don't have to worry about that. Right. Uh, they go above and beyond. And the quality is yeah. what I like. Yeah. That, that's a big thing to me is quality. Right. Uh, they have the actual residential refrigerator in this one, mm -hmm. so you don't have to make millions of trips to the grocery store when you're there, which is nice. Full-size fridge. Huge fridge. Humongous. It's bigger than the one at my house. Yeah, and it smells new. My yeah. <laughs> it smells new. Correct. <laughs> and I like this. Actually, we just bought a new refrigerator for our house. Yeah. This is kind of cool, these kind of middle Oh, yeah, doors. these are nifty. You can get a lot of freezer goods in here. So, yeah. and, and without it being all, you can't get in there and get it right. out and everything like that. But the cool thing about this is it's got it's got a good kid sprayer. So if they're, if they're, <laughs> they're misbehaving, yeah, yeah, I like how that works. But no, they do, they do a good job with putting extra amenities to go above and beyond. Make it feel like it's your home. Okay, yeah, and I feel like this might be the deepest and biggest sink It is, so, so let's look at that. They do a, this is like a farm style sink yeah. that they look at. But the cool thing about it is they, they haven't forgot you still need a place to put your dishes if you're washing dishes. Yeah. So a lot of times the customers will look at these full size sinks and they say, well, I like the, the size of it. But where do I have somewhere to put my dishes? They've right. already took care of that for you. You get your cutting board. But still, once again, like I said, all the added space, the counter spaces, and it doesn't take away from the room. In, in, not at all. In your no, not at all. No. Thomas Payne furniture, mm -hmm. which is... Is this the one with the, the massage? Yeah. Should we just sit and talk about this for a while? Yeah. I'm okay with that. Where's the... Uh... But these are nice. Heated seats is. as well. So that seats would be nice. Maybe not today. Not today. But they no. would be nice. These are nice. Comfortable. It's that yeah. nice soft leather feel. Is there something in here where we can p keep this the right uh, remote? Yep. Remote. Yeah. Channel guide. Yep. Anything you need. I don't know what you just hit, David, but the chair just turned blue underneath. Oh, the lights. Oh, yes. Oh, I'm fascinated by the blue lights, whether it's on the stove <laughs> or we had one earlier where it was above the slide. What's really cool is in the nighttime when yeah. you have those on and the kids look at it. It's like being in the club. It's <laughs> exactly what I said earlier. I said that earlier. You guys know that, yeah. Yeah, it's no, your own is, party house this, if you want yeah, it to be. So. This is good. I don't, Did you guys hit the price on this one yet? Not yet. Not yet. Okay. You want to do that now so we don't have to get yeah, up? Yeah, so the sale price today. The price before I tell them what I just found out. So we're, we're listing this one at the sale price today for $51,280. But even better than that, Mr. Darnell has some information for you on top of that. Yeah. Awesome. Wow. Money. So you're not paying tax on a thousand, you're not paying interest on a thousand. The price is already incredible when you see everything in it, but extra thousand off for the next hour. And our auction is almost up. We had some people asking what's the phone number? 937-649-966. Yep. We got they got what maybe ten minutes left? Yeah, I think it's yeah. going to the top of the hour. Five o'clock Eastern time. Yeah, it is four forty nine. Uh, uh, someone asked, can you change the color of the blue LED? No, that's standard in these. Standard. That is a standard color in these. Absolutely. With blue. Who doesn't like blue though? Blue yeah, it's an cool. awesome color. Yeah. It is a cool color. Is, is it going to be possible for me to walk through the other RVs without leaving this chair? Yeah, <laughs> I don't know if that's possible. Okay, that's good. I'm gonna, I'm gonna let you do your thing, Tim. This Absolutely. Is, so this is nice over here. A lot of times we don't have the storage for our canning goods and things, but they have went out of their way to make sure even going above and beyond with the rollout counters in there for you so you can actually get in there and you're not reaching back in there if you need to. Full size oven. You can put a turkey in there if you want to, roast chicken, whatever you need to do. Three cooker burn top. 
with your residential microwave. Still even more, we got some cabinet space on top. They really maximize the space in these units. That's what I really love about it. But they also go a little bit more, like the big TVs, the 50 inch TVs that they put in here. Not everybody puts the oversized TVs in these campers. These ones do. The wet bar is what I really like in here. You still got plenty of room in here. If you're in entertaining couples, you guys are playing cards, whatever you're doing, uh, this is a good location to entertain and, and have maybe your wine rack down here. If you can look in here, this is a perfect place uh, to put your wine or whatever it is that you might entertain with. This is a good location <laughs> to have. <laughs> Let's move into the bathroom and into the... <laughs> I, was, I almost dozed off. Holy moly. I got up a lot earlier than I planned. It's funny. I got to the point where I started dreaming about what you were talking about. I'm going to turn this off and get up because this, be, this could be bad. So moving into the uh, bathroom area, we got a humongous shower in these. They actually have somewhere where you can actually sit down, utilize the shower if you need to. That's really nice for all kinds of you know, people that have a hard time with disabilities, you have somewhere to sit down in there. You can actually get in there. There's room, you're not restrained. And I like the distance between, you know, the toilet area and your cabinet space. So you got some leg room in there. Uh -huh. Sometimes it just feels like it's so cramped in there. You don't have no leg room. This does a, they do an awesome job of providing space and you actually get an actual medicine cabinet, which is nice. Provide a whole vanity for you to get ready. Moving into the ba the bedroom area, got the huge closet, and this oh, yeah. one I, wow. is washer and dryer ready. Okay. So if you're doing any type of extended camping um, or anything like that, you don't have to worry about messing with the laundry mat uh, in your campsite. You can do it right here in your own location. That is by far the biggest the biggest closet we've had so far. Oh, these are, yeah, you can actually, and, and they do have places, and they got a shoe rack, which yeah. is nice. Wow. Oh yeah, these, they go out of their way to make sure you have everything you need as if you were at home. That's good. Yeah. King size bed with the overhead reading lights, and they do have a, a window that is ventilated so you can slide it open um, at the nighttime to get that nice cool breeze in here, uh, flow, and they have a, a window on the front here so you can get that crosswinds when you're laying in here. The best thing about it is the comfort of the fireplace in your bedroom. It's cozy at night on a chilly night but not freezing cold and you don't want to run a unit. This will knock off the knock off the chill for you just enough sometimes and, and it's nice to be able to just sit in here and relax on a long day maybe yeah. when you were out on the lake or or something yeah, like that. That's good. The price. She'd like to know if you would repeat the price please. Yes, uh, the price on this today is $51,280 but like Mr. Durnell said, Cameo has reached out to us. We got $1,000 off that right now for the, what was it, the next hour, yeah, sir? Yeah, for the next hour. The next hour. Jump and then that. Denise yeah. also asked, do we carry Grand Design? Uh, we covered that a couple times today, and uh, we'll, we, we're happy to go over it again. But Grand Design w uh, was recently purchased uh, partly by an RV company, partly by... Um, equity. Yeah, Capital Equity, equity Company. Uh, we stay away from companies once they're purchased for a while because they have to get that money back. But the other thing is Grand Design is not at all um, supportive of dealers that sell at affordable prices. Just just being honest. They, they mm -hmm. like their dealers to be able to overcharge. Mm -hmm. So, no, we do not sell them. And, again, remember, guys, that $1,000 is good for the next hour. And the auction's almost yeah, up. Yeah, I was just looking at the You want to hit that, David? It's almost yeah, up. We are about six minutes away from the auction being over. Right now, William has it at $15,500. That is a $23,500 wow. camper that he's got for fifteen five dollars wow. right now. We're going to the top of the hour. So we might, as we get closer, depending on where we are, we might do a... Uh, we might do a countdown to let you know that, okay, you've got, you got a, one that, minute yeah. to get in. But, man, how can you beat 15 you five for a brand new absolutely not. 2020? And the one thing I didn't talk about the bathroom that's really important, that even for new RVers that they don't think about when they're buying or purchasing a new RV, uh -huh. where are you going to put your towels and linen? Yeah. You know, not everybody provides that in your little bathroom areas in these, but they do, which is nice. It's a decent size too. A lot of them I see are, are nice, but they're a little, a little. They thinner. are, but in here you can get everything you need yeah. in here, and it doesn't take away because you still have your medicine cabinet over right. here, and countertop space, which oh, is yeah. important. Mm -hmm. yeah. 
and, and the outlets are all right here that you need. So anytime you need to hook in, if you need a blow dryer, mm -hmm. curling iron, whatever it might be that you need to do, uh, you got all that in here as well. Perfect. The lighting in here, they do a good job of keeping it light. And with all the windows, as you can see, great natural lighting in here all around. Uh, that's something that's important to some people to be able to have natural lighting so they're not always having to run their coach throughout the day. I got an update on the auction. I said 15.5. It's actually at 13.5 right now. Oh, wow. 13.5 right now for a brand new, that one right out there at the window. On it's, the Wildwood. Uh, it's a $23,000. Right now it's going for 13.5. And that's a bunkhouse. Yeah, 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 yeah. There's a bunk in the back. Yeah. The uh, four minutes, four fifty-six at five o'clock. The auction is over right now. I believe it's I believe it's William that has it at thirteen five. I would light that phone up right now again. Let me read that number off. It's uh, I mean, have you sold a brand new trailer for that cheap? No. <laughs> Ooh, I'm not sure they're ever going to invite me back because <laughs> I I I jumped in it. It's nine three seven. Six four nine nine six six six. You've got like four minutes, three and a half minutes to call and and get your bid in. Let me read that again. Let me read that again because I want to make sure you can guess. Nine three seven six four nine nine six six six. So one important feature about this unit, as nice as it is and all the space that it has, you can still you can still tow this with a three quarter ton vehicle. Okay. Which is which is nice when you're looking at fifth wheels, you know, not everybody wants to have to go out and purchase that big twenty five hundred diesel right. or, or no, something like that. This allows you to have uh, an economical size vehicle and still be able to tow it at mm -hmm. a three quarter ton truck. Great. So that's helpful that to know. So we have a customer that would like to see the TV again. Yeah. This TV Up right high. above the, the bar. Right, right above the TV. bar. And then we also have a location over here right that here. you can place a TV under the fire. Which has storage behind it. Absolutely. And then we it's had a request to see the flooring one more time. Yep. I didn't even see the flooring. The flooring's great. I it's really nice. I didn't even look at it. Yeah, really. It's, it's unique it's because they're beautiful. not all, it, it, it's different than a lot of the ones that you'll walk in and see very similar floor plant, flooring. Uh, they, they're a little bit uh, out of the ordinary and it, it goes above and beyond, like I say, and with everything else in this coach that they do, they, they kind of have the luxury feel in these oh, cameras. Oh, yeah, absolutely. And then we had uh, two ladies ask just to see me again on camera. So I don't blame there you them. Go. <laughs> there you go. I might have been lying about that. Uh, can we, we need to go outside real fast yeah. because we're getting close to this auction being over. I believe we have a timer on the screen. Right now, uh, the total is the, the, high, the high bid is what? 13... 13.5 right now. We've got just a couple minutes left. I'm not even sure how much time is left. Let's go over to that, that RV real quick. This is the one that's going. The number again is 937. <laughs> 937 64 96 66. 937 64 96 66. This says 458 at five o'clock. I'm that doing this line one too, Mr. closes Bruno. down, and whoever has the highest bid Sorry. gets this 2020 Wildwood Light. Brand new, obviously 2020, brand new. Brand new, full warranty. Full warranty. This, is, <coughs> I mean, this is an amazing deal for somebody. We're thir we're at 13.6. I guess the phone's ringing right now. It is 4.59. At 5 o'clock, this is over. Yeah, I feel like whoever's calling now is going to talk very slow to stay on the line until 5 o'clock. A, a few people are surprised. They didn't think, they didn't think we were going to let it go. Really? That they're, cheap, they're yeah. Yeah, I think they're shocked. That's what you get when you bring me in and, and tell me I can sell something. <laughs> you might lose money. <laughs> 13,601. Mazel G. Uh, right now. Is is uh, was the last to call, and I, I we got to be close now. I don't know. Let's go back in here where we can go to. Uh, I could call. Thirty eight seconds. Thirty eight seconds. And go back over here and officially close things off. The uh, under thirty seconds. We'll also get a shot. Let's get a shot of people working hard. They're the ones who are going to tell us when it's over. This guy's all working hard to make the virtual. Uh, virtual RV show work. Oh, we just got a call. This might be the last one. 
10 seconds. We're at 10 seconds. That first one was not. On Juliana. We're under five. Tim, you gonna call it? 13,602 dollars. <laughs> That you almost, who is that? What's the name? Juliana, Juliana just bought 18, a $23,000 RV, brand new, for almost half price from me. Juliana, you're welcome. I expect lots of love in the comment <clears throat> section. I made that happen for you. <laughs> that's, that's fantastic. So here's what we're gonna do, guys. Uh, I mentioned earlier, I mentioned every hour that my wife and I had a chance to go do some RV. Uh, by the way, congratulations, Ju Juliana. Um, but my wife and I had a chance to do some RVing two weekends ago. And you get to meet some very, very cool uh, people when you camp. Here's one of them that we met. Check this out. All right, here's a cool thing. Uh, I just found out, like, when you hang out at the RV park, you meet a lot of famous people. Check, check this out. It's uh, Hank the Frenchie. Did I get that right? Hank is Hank. This is Hank. Hank's dot world. <laughs> it's dot Hank's dot world. Now don't die. He, uh, he's got 41,000 followers on Instagram and he talks. Will, will you talk we'll for us? Him. We'll tell him. How you doing? We'll tell him. What? Whoa! <laughs> oh my God, that. That's the second time tonight I've peed a little. Hey. Hey. You did it. We'll tell him. Can you talk to me? We'll talk to him. We'll tell him. What do you got to say? What? What? Can you talk? Huh? <laughs> huh? What? Well, tell her. What did you tell her? <laughs> this is this is the best thing ever. Oh my goodness, that's a whole bunch of stuff. Anything else? <laughs> Thanks for hanging out with me. That's the best conversation I've had all day, and I was in the car with her for an hour and a half. <laughs> Is she making? It goes for me. Yeah. All right, nice meeting you. You shake my hand. No. <laughs> what do you think of Hank the Frenchie? He's got thousands and thousands of followers on Instagram, and I am now one of them. The dog is fantastic. Here's what we're going to do in honor of Hank. We're going to take this, and we're going to hide it in one of the RVs that we're, we'll be Let's looking at within right the next here. hour or so. It'll be it hidden in somewhere right. in an RV, maybe this much. I don't know. I'm going to mm -hmm. hand it off to somebody to have them hide it. When I see it, if I see it, I'm not even going to draw attention to it. But if you're the first caller, to let us know exactly where you see this dog, we're gonna win something. I'm not sure what it is, but a decent prize, you're gonna win something. So this, I'll throw it to Tim. Let me hand it to Tim. Tim's not, not that he's not athletic, but <laughs> I'll, I'll hand it to Tim. Uh, if you find that later, be the first person to call in <clears throat> the number, write this number down. Write this number, I should have these memorized. Write this number down, 937-649. 5970. Write that number down, have it next to your computer or your TV, wherever you're watching this. Have it ready to go for when you see that dog again somewhere in an RV. Hey! Long time no see. Yeah. You wanna you wanna <laughs> walk through this? Absolutely. Okay. So this is the Puma 32 BHQS. Uh, it's a number one selling bunkhouse um, in its class as far as a separate bunkhouse with an actual you know, slide out in the bunk room, a separation there for the kids. Um, you can sleep 12 people in this if you need to. Wow. Um, back in the back will be the bunks. You'll have your master up front with a queen bed slide here, so that really gives you more room in the master. We'll check that out when we go back in there. Um, some quick features here on the outside. LED lighting, of course, outside speakers, power awning. Uh, you have power jacks, stabilizer jacks, and power tongue jack with an outside kitchen out here. The Pretty sweet. Kitchen. Yeah, we had one on the RV we stayed in, and uh, we loved it. It was it was great. Man, it's it's really awesome just oh, cooking yeah. outside. Absolutely. Yeah, 
You'll see a video of that later, but uh, this is different than what we had. This is like the... Uh, That's the new griddle top. Okay. So you can do like the uh, Japanese steakhouses on oh, this. Oh, yeah. Oh, Flip yeah. the things around, stab yourself in the face. <laughs> if you can yeah. get talk your wife into doing that, I probably couldn't talk mine into <laughs> doing that, but... No, this is great. Um, so, yeah, it is, it is really nice to have this outside cleanup was super easy. Oh, yeah. When we didn't have anybody tracing through the, the camper because everybody just ate outside. It's just... It's real. It's just really nice having an outdoor, an outdoor kitchen. The refrigerator. Yeah. You can go inside. Absolutely. You even have a TV mount out here too. Um, if you're entertaining outside with your outside kitchen, there's a TV mount right there. Great. Oh. Mm, they got the air conditioner running again. Oh, it feels good. Yeah. And start back in here in the back. This is the bunkhouse area for the kiddos. Plenty of room for them. Yeah, absolutely. The uh, and this this couch breaks down to a sleeping spot yeah, as well. Yeah, yeah. that will break down to a sleeping spot. You can put this up if you're wanting to sit there, um, entertain and watch TV. There's a TV back oh, yeah, there board right there. So that's where the TV would go. A little TV with the uh, remote arm that spins around. So yeah. Can, yeah. Yeah. Perfect. I like this. Uh, I like the wall. I like the the design on there. Yeah. Very yeah. barn like. Really makes it pop in here. The contrast and colors. Yep. yep. All right. Let's head back out here. Fireplace. Fireplace. Love the fireplace. Absolutely. The entertainment's right where you're not having to you know, cock your head on a 45 or something to watch it. A lot right. of customers, they always say, why do they put that entertainment center all the way so over like here? A lot of times it's right, like yeah. it's right here yeah. where you have to, like you said, unless you're sitting diagonal, right. you have to really turn to see. That's that's good. Yep. That's good. Uh, the fireplace, we've also learned that the fireplace puts out heat. It does. We had that going on last, last month. And uh, I didn't think it would. And then one of them that we walked into, they had it turned on. And it, as soon as you walk in, you felt oh, the yeah. heat. Yeah. Yeah, but it's not so much just a, an aesthetic appearance. It does put off some heat for you. Right. Um, I like the, the texture of this, too. There's, I don't know. Well, I, obviously, you can't, you can't get that across. But there's a texture to this, mm -hmm. this top, I, I feel. Maybe my hands are just dirty. I'm not <laughs> sure. <laughs> Could be my hands are just dirty. This yeah. is always nice. Oh yeah, single basin sink, mm -hmm. stainless right. steel appliances. No curtain. What's that? I said no curtain again, oh, nice yeah. and closed yeah. shower for you. I don't know if I've, have I, are there trailers here, or RVs here that have the curtain? I don't know if I've seen the curtains yet. They, Maybe I have and just haven't paid attention. Yeah, there are, there okay. are some. Okay. Yeah, this is this is nice. You know, lock your kid in there. <laughs> Here, I'll let you sneak Pick out of there. Up. Back here's the master bed. With Whoa! The, that queen bed slide really makes it yeah spacious in here. Lots of room. Yeah, I like this. Another deep, a deep closet. Oh, yeah. Huge storage. Mm -hmm. Washer and dryer prep too, right behind me. Combo or stackable washer and dryer. Yeah, so if you had the combo, you saw a room above, they've got the rack yep. there to hang stuff and, and keep stuff in there. Yeah, full storage under the bed as well. Storage underneath the booth dinette in here that breaks down into a sleeping spot. Theater seating, storage under there as well. Oh yeah. I feel like all these campers do a great job of making storage in here. Yeah, I, I've noticed that in the one that we stayed in, there was all kinds of spaces I was finding that you could keep stuff right. and store stuff. Also, this is, I mean, that's even the little details like that. Mm -hmm. This is, that's nice. These campers are nicer than the apartment I had in college. <laughs> <laughs> that, you know, I, I'll be honest, that doesn't shock, shock me only because they are nice. Yeah, houses on wheels. Yeah. I mean, yeah completely houses on wheels have you seen that you've been here for four years have mm -hmm. you seen a change in the past four years is it 
do they change often? What's the, what's the craziest thing you've seen um, lately or since you've been here? Your like, floor plans will stay relatively the same. I mean, there's only so many ways to construct a bunkhouse. Yeah. You know, either your dinette's on one side or the other side. Your, your color choices will change. Um, but just the features that they put in these now, with your, you're getting residential refrigerators in a lot of them. Um, the decor, the trim work. I mean, when you step inside of this, if you didn't know you were in a camper, you, you probably wouldn't know. Right. I mean, you'd have no idea. You might think you're your in apartment some apartment or something. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. So before the residential, how big were the fridges beforehand? Were they just the... Six like and the, eight cubic foot. Okay, I mean, wow. little Dometic style refrigerators. Wow. So a lot of them now are 10, 12, 23 cubic foot. So wow. they really are making them houses on wheels. I mean, a lot of people full time in them as well. So it's not just so much... Um, you know, getting away for a weekend and, and sitting in a tent or something like that, you can actually yeah. live inside of these things Good. full time. Yeah. Um, this is the last one we have in stock as well. We don't have any more of this model in stock. Can yeah, order much, it in for you. How much is this one going uh, for? This one is going for today's sale at twenty six eight fifty six. Again, that's ridiculous. Competitors are selling at over forty four thousand dollars. Wow. And we're getting it to you just over 26. Probably be looking right around a $240 payment. Okay. Um, Man, that's, that seems, it seems like a mistake. It seems like you said the wrong price. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's crazy how, how shockingly affordable these are. Absolutely. You know? Absolutely. That's, yeah. It's great. More that's space the, here. That's the beauty of being a volume dealer. We just try to push as many out as we can. Yeah. I know a lot of people are buying today. It seems like the time to buy when we, sh we, we uh, went RVing a couple weekends ago, a lot of people were out for the very first time because mm -hmm. I'm trying to shoot videos and the, the couple next to us were awesome, but they're power washing their RV that they hadn't been in mm -hmm. all, all winter and they were ready to get back. And you, you could just tell people were ready to be back oh, camping. Yeah. So. We've had a lot of customers sending us pictures um, before they started opening stuff back up. They were camping in their driveways, saying, "You know, this pandemic's yeah. not going to keep us or slow us down." Yeah. So they're still. And out I get there it camping. completely. It's just fun being in one of these. Mm -hmm. I mean, if you had to stay in your in your uh, driveway, it still feels like a little oh, a yeah. little getaway. Absolutely, that's cool. All right, absolutely. I'll let you. Uh, anything else? No, uh, call in if you want to get this. Like I said, it's the last one in stock. You can reach us at 937-843-4380, extension 128. My name's Cass, and I can help you out. It could be yours. It could be yours <laughs> right now. Uh, Cass, I'll let you go check to make sure anybody's, if anybody's calling you for this. Will do. While we do that, we're going to throw to the band. I had a chance to ask Paul from the band, um, what's it like to create music like this? They're, they're creating music while not being together, and it's... I don't know, that seems weird to me, but they're making it happen, so I asked him what that's like. Can you give us a quick idea of what the process is to create such great music while separated like this? And uh, so here comes my answer. Well, that is definitely a unique scenario, but it's been a lot of fun to do. You know, like I like we mentioned before, getting to meet new people and uh, you know, get to extend our musicianship uh, across the internet. You know, uh, the first step is kind of selecting songs, making sure that. Uh, we're not boring anybody. This is an RV thing. This is about summertime. This is about getting out there and having fun. So we wanted to have um, summertime fun. We wanted to have family-friendly music. And uh, we're from Nashville, so it made sense to throw some country in there. We know we have some fans out there that love some classic rock, some 80s tunes, and uh, also some new country as well. So we try to throw a variety in there along with everything um, that we're doing. Um, it's a little interesting when you don't have a crowd uh, to play to. So, you know, there's a, there is a sing-along factor. If you guys want to sing along at home, that'd be great. Um, maybe get your kids around. You all make a little party out of it for you. We'd love to be singing along with you, but, you know, we're just kind of making it the best best as it can. From a technical side, uh, you know, we're all in four different places, so we're trying to make that happen, too. But uh, due to the wonders of technology, um, we're able to put a little click that goes in our ear at the tempo. We all hear that. Hit record on our iPhones, GoPros, however we're videotaping it. And, um, and, and get it done and send along. So it's a challenge. 
Uh, you know, we have to definitely work out the, the music ahead of time, the arrangements, how things are going to start and end and all of that. Normally in a, in a real band situation, you would be able to get in a room together, rehearse and work out your endings and beginnings and, and solos and, and all that good stuff. Um, didn't really have that luxury. So, uh, we kind of did some, some, uh, things on, in the arrangements where we tossed some notes back and forth, some audio notes. Hey, what do you think about this? Ending it this way, ending it that way, whatever, until we finally agreed on uh, what the song should do that would be best for this environment. Um, sometimes what you're going to do for one situation is exactly what you do for another situation. This is definitely not the kind of scenario where you want to um, jam band it out all you know for for 10 minutes on a song and and feed off of the crowd we got to kind of feed off each other and uh pick some endings and how we want to do this and and just just make it the best uh performance that we can do in this in kind of weird environment and uh you know hopefully we pull it off here today and uh and everyone enjoys and if you do enjoy please make sure you comment and uh you know Tell Jeff how good looking he is. He really that really helps his ego. He plays better if he knows in the comments over there, and uh, it just it, it helps him out a bit. We got to pick on each other. That's the only other thing, you know. When we're on the we're on the road and we're in a tour bus and all that sort of stuff, yeah, there's a lot of pranks, and I encourage you guys to have fun with safe pranks with your RVs as well. Uh, we certainly have tons of pranks on our bus, and uh, and and I have a lot of stories that I can't share. Um, but uh, you know, we just we like that we like to have fun with each other, and uh, I think that's what's great about touring. No matter how you do it, whether it's with a band on a bus or with your families and your RVs, it's all about having good times, good music, and um, and and making a, a great day out of it. So I hope you guys get to do that out there on the road, and we get to do that out there on the road real soon as well. Edge of the water, we were feeling all right. Back down a country road, the girls are always hot and the beer is ice cold. Cadillac, horns on the hood. My buddy Frankie had his dad hook him up good. Girls smile when we roll by, they hop in the back and we cruise to the riverside.
give it up for Taylor Swift. Uh, they're awesome. I love these smaller, smaller campers. Great couples unit right here. You even towable with a small SUV. You don't have say, to have a big old vehicle to tow this. This is overkill, right? 3,000 pounds, so most of your, oh yeah. Yeah. Most of your smaller SUVs will pull something like this, but the great thing about it, it, it doesn't cut back on any of the features. You can actually use this for what they call boondocking out there. That's a that's a term that we use in the industry. Uh -huh. uh, solar ready, so if you get out there, uh, plug in your solar panels right here, ready to rock and roll. Uh, Wi-Fi set up, Wi-Fi range finder. Pass-through storage on these little units like that is hard to find, but these have it. Magnet doors so you're not having to worry about the, the latches. Sometimes on these smaller units, you can't get into there and get that pass-through storage. They make sure you have that, which okay. is awesome, especially in these smaller units. Is that, is that an outdoor griddle? Is that is an outdoor griddle. So, so we have on the back here? Uh, yes, swings right around. The uh, They could have the uh, grill. You can hook up right here on the grill. You got your oh, LP okay. disconnect right here. Hooks right on here. That's what this little railing is for. Gotcha. So you can just snap it right, real easy. Take it right off, you can take it with you and drive down the road. Awesome. The other cool thing about these is I love the off-road package yeah, on these. Yeah, so cool. Yeah. Um, these are tires you put on your truck yeah, if you wanted to. They're really neat to look. Real quick, uh, going back to the last, we had somebody, I believe Mary maybe, was asking about the, the last one that we just walked through. She mm -hmm. asked if you could get to the bathroom when the sliders were in. And that one, we didn't point out, but the, one of the doors goes straight into the bathroom. Yes. So the slider can be closed. You can get mm -hmm. in front to the, out, to the bathroom from the outdoor. So, yeah. sorry, let's get back to this and these. No, yeah, that absolutely. just looks, that looks bad. Very cool. Yeah. But they don't take away, you know, you got, you still, you got your full access awning that comes all the way out. Uh, pretty much covers the whole coach. Uh, outside entertainment speakers readily available for you. So inside and out, you're going to have that surround sound feel uh, from the speaker system. Keyless entry, which is nice. If you're so, out and about, uh, the biggest thing is people lose their keys to the camper. This is so convenient. You don't have to be having places if you're going swimming at the beach or something like yep. that. You don't have to worry about losing your camper key coming back talking about I can't get in there and let me who do I call? What do I do? This is perfect for that. Uh, the upgraded steps. The, uh, I love these. It, you, you can adjust them at the at the footing. So if okay. you got a little un, unlevel flooring, let's top, take a spot in here. Look, take a look. Like I said, this is great. They still got the oversized beds in these That's, smaller units. Yeah, so you is have. That a, is, that a, is that a queen or a king? This is a queen. Okay. So they fit a queen size bed big, in these. Bigger, oh, it's yeah. humongous. Still got good overhead storage space if you need to. Uh, the, the windows pass through, so you get some good airflow. Uh -huh. But they still give you plenty of cabinet space in these Geo Pros. So you got your cabinet space up here for your cooking utensils if you need so, store or extra storage, whichever you prefer to utilize it as. Nice seating area for you guys to have your coffee in the morning or have a little bit of supper at night. Yep. Uh, if the bugs are bad, you can come right in here and you still got some window access and sit down and have your supper. You know what? You mentioned you mentioned bugs. I meant to shoot this video again. I'm just do, I'm trying to do tips a little bit throughout the thing because, again, for those of you just tuning in, my wife and I went camping for like really the first time a couple weeks ago. Mm -hmm. I learned things. One of the things I learned was that you need to keep that screen door shut. Absolutely, yes. Oh my gosh, it got bad. Like, it's <laughs> nice to have it open, but it's just the same to have it closed. It's a screen door. Oh, it's nice, but it, with this one, you have the air that's going to come. It's a full screen door, which yeah. gives you plenty of airflow th coming through the coach. Right. That's really helpful. And, and then with the windows in the back, out. it's just you have a good flow of air. The bugs through. were awful. I had to go around collecting bugs in the thing because I left the door open. And oh. we're at the lake. Oh. It was it was awful. So Absolutely. I learned to keep that 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 screen door shut. feels there good you. in here these it cool down great. so good it's just an, it's nice the yeah. air conditioners in here i love how they they over this the whole unit itself tv furion system outside and inside like I, I was telling you so it is wired for uh outside entertainment as well as the inside entertainment that you need uh, like i said you have your wi-fi you can bring your direct tv whatever you would like to do you can do that with this type of unit uh -huh. um, once again the price on this starting out you got it. <laughs> I don't know how to open the, the fridge. Refrigerator. There it is. This is a lock right here. That so when you're driving okay. down the road, it doesn't doesn't fly open. That's good. Absolutely. So what? Yeah. What is the what is the price on this? On this one is eighteen five eighty two. Wow. Uh, right. Wow. Uh, right. That's today for the sale. Got a full size 
stove in here with three top burner in these smaller units, which is nice to have. Some of them don't give you that option. You only have the two. Uh -huh. Rockwood provides you the, the three, but you also get your microwave in here. So they don't take away from anything, the conventional microwave. So let me add, I, I might not know what I'm talking about. Mm -hmm. We just got, yeah, so this is one of the nicer ones with a convection oven. That's, yes. Yeah, because I noticed this. 50% faster cooking in yeah. this. Um, you can cook actual chicken in there. Right. Rolls, you know, little pasta dishes. This is, you can utilize this for that, you, which is nice and grill, convenient. Grill, roast, yeah. You, yeah, you can do all kinds of things in these little ovens. These are nice. They are nice yeah. and convenient, especially so in these thinking, smaller units. You're thinking, well, I don't have a stove. You kind of, it's kind of close. Kind of do, pretty close. you know, at the big thing with the air fryers nowadays. This is very similar to being able to utilize that in a, in a similar fashion. Yeah, great. Still got some underneath cabinet storage in here. So they, they do maximize the storage space in these smaller units. Again, under here uh -huh. as well, you have plenty of storage in here. They don't take away from any of that at all in these units. Let's take a look at the pantry area. I don't know if we looked at that yet. But plenty of room for your for your dishes again, um, canned foods, juices, whatever you might need to put in there. So you're not just having boxes everywhere laying around and tripping over top of them. They've made it to where you can actually get in here and get around without having to trip over all of your luggage or whatever yeah. it is that you're bringing. Hey Tim, uh, Karen has a couple questions. One is, does this unit come with a solar panel? And the second question is, can you run the AC while driving because they have a pet? Karen, you'd have to have a generator on the back that you could run while you're going down the road. People do do it. Uh, I just said do do. Uh, people do it, but uh, again, you'd have to have a portable generator on the back that you could run while you're going down the road. Um, this is solar ready, though. Yeah, and it's solar ready. I don't believe this one has a panel, but they can add one. Correct? Yeah, it plugs in right out here. I, I, we had showed yeah, them, but no let's worries. go go ahead since she has a specific question about it, and I'll show her right now. And, and we actually sell those as well here, uh, right here in our store. We got a okay. full. I don't know if they've shown. We got a full store. We ship right to your driveway, your front door. Take it right there to you. Yeah. Right here again. You were asking. This is the solar prep area. So you just plug in right here, and that's kind of nice. You're not putting holes in your roof that way. Uh, in the industry, the less holes on the roof, the better, is what we always say. Not to take anything away from the solar panels that are put on the roof, but I just kind of prefer to be able to move, especially if you're boondocking like what a lot of people do with these, you can actually utilize those panels and move them around so that you can get the, the power that you need and it's just not in one central location. Cool. So that's helpful. Cool. Mm -hmm. Man, I, for $18,000, you this, can't beat it. This is, this is fun. Knowing oh. that you, if you've got an, uh, an SUV, which so many people have nowadays, they you do. hook this up and just go and just get away. Well, not only that, it, Rockwood is is known for their manufacturing and just how well built they are. Yeah. Uh, top of the line brand you're getting right here. No questions asked. Number one in resale value every year, it seems like, over and over again. You, you just can't go wrong with the brand Rockwood, in my opinion. I think they're the best campers on the market. And it's just, it's just cool looking. I, I know cool. part of it is the tires just make it look like a beefy little beast. It is. <laughs> this one this one has... a beefy little beast? I have, I'm a little awkward. The electric power jack is already built on there. They do a good job with their docking lights. It's got a really nice front cap on there, yeah. I think. This is really good. neat, sleek design on these smaller campers. Yeah. It's nice. It is nice. Um, all right, so here's the deal. We... Uh, we're on Facebook, Facebook Live right now. Mm -hmm. and you can only do Facebook Live for so long and then you have to switch to a different feed. Yeah. We actually have a video that'll explain what you need to do. You're not gonna lose anything if you're watching on Facebook Live. But we're gonna show you the video right now so you know exactly what to do. Uh, if you go back to your emails, there's a link in some of the emails you got after you registered that would explain also how to do it. But, but look at this video so you know what to do and we'll be back with you in just a second.
with Eric. We're going to talk about this RV here in just a minute. But before we do that, let me ask, this is for local folks around Ohio. Uh, do you want to be famous? Do you want to hang out with uh, maybe me for a little bit, but the folks here at RVW, we've got an opportunity for you to come down, hang out, do some camping, be on, be on camera, shoot some promotional stuff. It's going to be fun. So I've got a video for you to see, a video for you to watch. Yeah, just you know what? Just watch this, and we're gonna, we're gonna. Oh, they just watched it. Oh, so you, everything I just said, <laughs> it's about what the video you just watched. So get hold of us if you want to come down and be famous. Uh, so yeah, we I guess yeah, we they, did they walked into that one, didn't yeah, they? Yeah. 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 Well, uh, let's do let's I'm do learning. some walking. All right. Yeah. So here what we have is a 3870 M uh, FB from Bighorn. It's a Heartland product. Really great. This is actually one of my favorite units. Yeah. Now, huge. Yeah, very. So a couple of really cool things about this trailer is frameless windows. Very nice touch, very clean, looks good. Other things, you have your, uh, you have your level up, six point auto leveling system, right? And over here, you get a, you get a huge oh, basement. Geez. Now, if, uh, say, for example, you're taking out your mother-in-law and she's just getting a little bit too controlling uh -huh. over, over the TV, you know, you can just send her down here with her with their wine coolers. I, I feel like this would be plenty big enough for the mother-in-law over here. Possibly. Yeah. I, I guess it's all about how you pack it. <laughs> but over here also, I mean, you get one of, one of your uh, outdoor speakers. So off of your Bluetooth radio, you can, you can crank your music out here while you're sipping your beer next to your palm tree. Uh -huh. um, those are available in our, in our store. Go and check them out. Um, let's go and We actually got a flash sale going on. I think the flash sale is still going on with oh, these. Oh, okay. Yeah. I think it's 90 bucks for the five foot and 135 for the seven foot. Whoa! Again, lots of room. Very impressive trailer. So uh, a couple of things that you see in here is that you get your Thomas Payne collection uh, furniture. Now, when you're plugged into your shore power, you get uh, heated seats. Yeah. Right now, when uh, this is really going to take advantage, if you get the King of the Mountain package, uh, they come with the Thomas Paint furniture, vibrating massagers, I've heated one seats. I've a little earlier today. They're nice, it's aren't almost, they? They almost lost me. Yeah. I almost went out completely. <laughs> yeah, they'll they'll put you out real quick. Yeah. But uh, you know, all while you're just kind of sitting here, very home-like feel. And uh, you know, we we sell a ton of these trailers, and it's very obvious to see why. Um, fireplace. Uh, Bluetooth, Jensen, uh, uh, stereo, surround sound. You got, um, now in your kitchen area, you get your nice Furion cooktop. This is, uh, this is gonna be a nice feature that you find in a lot of high-end, um, a lot of high-end RVs. Uh -huh. So, um, you know, at the price point, I think we're around, I think we're around 60 to 70 on this one. Okay. Uh, for more questions, go ahead and give us a call. Um, and of course you get your big uh, stove. So mother-in-law wants to bake cookies right before you send her before, off to yeah. the, to well, the basement. Well, she bakes cookies, I'll let her stay. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> we, we might let her stay. Uh, solid countertops throughout the whole thing, right? This is a nice feature. You know, you don't get those kind of that cheaper feel. I mean, when you're in this thing, it feels quality. Yeah. Right? Yeah, it feels yeah. like I'm in an apartment, a nice yeah. apartment. Yeah, and of course, as you just may look around, I mean, there's just storage everywhere in this thing. Yeah. So um, you get a huge storage right here. And, um, you know, say, for example, you don't want to go all the way up through the bedroom to go to the bathroom. This actually has a one and a half bath. Good feature to have, and it's very tall people friendly, okay. if, uh, if you know what I mean. Typically, sometimes what I mean by that you got leg room right uh when when you know when you're taking care of your paperwork uh -huh. <laughs> so uh let's uh let's go and move forward up here in the bedroom you get more storage Lots of storage in there too yeah and you get more storage right here, here. Wow. this is very unique to a layout like uh like in, in the bighorn uh you don't typically see that in a fifth wheel up here in the bedroom we got a king bed a uh, big dresser this is a huge dresser um, where you don't typically get a lot of dresser space in one mm -hmm. of these things. So I feel like I'm in the way here. Look, people see that. Yeah, so you got oh, this huge dresser wow. here, also solid countertop up there. Um, windows along the side with an actual headboard. It's just a nice touch. Makes it feel a lot like home. And uh, looks like you found the bathroom. This is the best bathroom I've seen so far. Oh, yeah, yeah. 
It's a uh, double vanity. Of course, you still get a ton of storage. Uh, you get that huge panoramic. Well, she gets that big panoramic right, right. mirror, right? So she she has enough space for all of her makeup and stuff that you you know has to go. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So uh, with that, you know, you get this beautiful shower. Uh, you you may uh, we're in the garage right now, but this is a huge skylight over top, so you can go singing in the shower like you're in the Amazon over here. And it's just, uh, it's a really cool feel. Go and open that door up. That's oh, yeah. your washer and dryer prep. So uh, in here, you're gonna be able to fit a stackable washer and dryer, and you even get shelves that you can adjust uh, for height, you know, to put your uh, laundry detergent, uh, towels, things like that. It's a big, big cabinet. Yeah. Uh, really good feature in the big, in the big horn. And uh, moving up forward. This is... You get a huge walk-in closet. <laughs> Go and take a look at that. Yeah, jump in there. I'll, I'll back out and let you. So it's really nice because in a lot of these walk-in closets, you don't get that forward. You don't get that forward space of those shelves. Uh -huh. You know that's that's something that you're going to notice in a Heartland product because they really think about this kind of stuff. So it's um, you know again, nice feature. You cannot. You cannot stop talking about the nice features, and you're going to be the you're going to be the jealousy uh, culprit right. in the in the campground with this. This is one. great. This is a yeah. This is by far the biggest bathroom we've been in. Oh yeah, yeah. and we of saw course, a big shower earlier. That's the biggest we've seen, I think. Oh yeah, this is a this is a what would be called like a full size shower. It's a one piece design. Okay. So um, you know, a lot of people they do talk about getting into a one piece shower mm -hmm. because uh you know maybe a little bit of nerves about water getting up in the seams and things right. like that nonetheless one piece shower great feature this is great for super tall folks yes and as oh, and, 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 it, and it also continues on for your paperwork it's yeah. uh it's a uh, it's a very if, tall friendly if trailer. that is not enough space for when you take care of your paperwork you might be taking care of your paperwork in the wrong way yeah probably yeah yeah, yeah. so uh let's go and uh let's go ahead and take a walk back here I like these. Oh yeah, and uh, something that you may notice when you're closing those, uh -huh. they didn't slam. No, huh? No, this is a uh, anti-slam furniture. They've got nice strikers inside of it, so um, nothing in this in this in this trailer is right. going to slam. Uh, you got a nice TV backer TV up here. There. That's good. You know, yeah, yeah, really great trailer. This is a fantastic trailer. So it's uh, as you saw. Solid countertops throughout the whole thing. I, I usually like to come in here with the customer. I like to sit down in it. And uh, but uh, on the Thomas Payne furniture, it's never a good idea right. unless you plan on staying the night. Well, that's and, the thing. Uh, I'm telling you, I almost they almost lost me in the one trailer we did a couple minutes ago. Yeah. I I closed my eyes. I got up way too early today. And I started dreaming about <laughs> what uh, I think it was Tim. What Tim was talking about. I started dozing. Off. Yeah, and and it's just uh, you know with the theater seating, you get a lot of space. Even down there, that that cubby right there is a lot deeper than you'd ever anticipate. You know, so you got your charging ports. Uh -huh. You can keep a uh, you know uh, uh, recliner side book. You got your one ten port, two charging uh, USB ports. Uh, and of course, you have a decent sized cup holder for your tall boy. Yeah. You know, whenever you're uh, whenever Actually, you're stuck you get, inside you get, from the rain. You get two. Oh, that's dangerous. You sure holders. you want to sit down on that? <laughs> I know. I got you back up. <laughs> it started sucking me in. You almost yeah, lost it's, me again. Uh, but yes, they they are uh, power recline, um, and uh, it's uh, just really nice. It's really plush too. Yeah. Like it's soft. It's nice. Um, I want it, those for my house. Yes. I get the, yeah, you it's in my house. you definitely want that in your house. Um, there's a couple other uh, features outside. You want to head? Yeah, back let's out? go. Let's go check them out. All right. <clears throat> now, All right. moving up to the front, this is probably one of the biggest things about the Big Horn uh, is the front cap. Now, in the front cap, you'll see it has the tight turn technology. Okay. So this allows you to make an 88 degree turn. Wow. Very tight. Wow. And um, so with that, you know, it's very short bed friendly, very extended cab friendly. 
um, you know, to be able to make those tight turns. So say, for example, you already bought the trailer, uh -huh. you're not restricted to what kind of truck you can buy for this thing. Right. Okay. So that that's a, that's a big feature to have to make those tight turns. Some of these campgrounds, they're not getting they're not getting smaller they're or they're not get getting any bigger. Yeah. They're, you know, they're getting tighter. So that turning ability is just absolutely amazing. Um, with it, of course, you get two 30 pound uh, propane cylinders. Mm -hmm. uh, it's just a great rig to get out to get out and about and, and uh, you know, see the countryside. Yeah, love it. That's a nice one. Hey, David. You got anything How you for doing? Us? Yeah, uh, people are wanting to know with the Bighorn, is it considered four seasons? I said yes, as much as anything is four seasons. Yeah. Uh, and I just wanted to explain that because it's just too much to type. Okay. If, you, if you go 99.999% uh, .999 of the dealers are going to tell you that's a four season mm -hmm. rig. I'm going to tell you that there's really only two made. We carry one of them, it's a Redwood. Mm -hmm. But there's some things you can do to make this four seasons. But again, dealers are going to tell you it's four seasons. So technically, it is, but we would tell you there's some places you could go, Minnesota, Wisconsin, where you might have some issues. Okay. okay? So, yes yeah. and no. And what, what do you mean by four seasons? Uh, you that? could use it in the winter. Okay. It's usually what they so mean. So there's certain mm -hmm. things that you have to do? Right? Yeah, like a, uh, if you did a skirting uh -huh. around it uh, with some kind of insulation, you'd probably be all right. Okay. But, you know, to just set it like in North Dakota, South Dakota without any skirting, you know, it gets 20 below, you're going to have some issues. Gotcha. Now, uh, another feature that you can actually get on these, I believe, is the Yeti package. Yeah. Uh, so the Yeti package, it has the upgraded You're insulation. You're in real good shape and, with the Yeti Yes, package, uh, yeah. it's upgraded you still insulation need that values skirting. and things like that. The skirting yeah. helps out a ton. Oh, yeah. uh, you know, just nice canvas skirting, you okay. know. Uh, no, that, absolutely. Yeti package, is that Yeti, like the cooler Yeti, or is this something <laughs> totally different? I don't know if they're affiliated or not, to be honest. Okay. That's interesting. Now I want to know. I'll have to yeah, find I'm out. Yeah, I'm kind of curious. I, I, don't, I really don't think so, but it'd be a good homework assignment for us yeah. to try yeah. and figure out. Like. Definitely. And uh, we've had a few people say that they're having trouble getting through on the phones. Just keep calling. You know, a lot of people are calling. We're, we're yes. selling a lot of trailers. Uh, some people ask we're going to uh, have another trailer at auction off. I believe we are. I think at the end of the day, I think we've got a 2016 that I'm auctioning off. Okay, so used one this time. Yeah, yeah. What's people, that? it said be used one. Awesome. Yeah. People always ask, do we do we sell used? Yes, we do. And now I guess mm -hmm. you'll get see one. Yeah. Uh, and a lot of people are asking, what well, you know, could I see a Class C or could I see uh, a specific Rockwood or Heritage Glen or whatever? Uh, if it's not in our lineup, just call in. A salesperson can go out on the lot, find it, and can can give you a personal, personal walkthrough. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. don't don't yeah. be afraid to call in. Call in. They're they're happy to take care of you. Yeah, and a lot of us actually will, uh, you know, take you out on a lot if you have, uh, you know, similar telephone device or something like that. We can, uh, you know, scheduling. Of course, we can maybe even walk you through one personally, and um, you know that's just something. You know, at what we do out here for our customers, we know you're spending a lot of money and you want to see it. And we want we want you to see it too. So give us a call, talk to us. Yeah, and there, and nearby, uh, come on out. Oh, yeah. please, yeah, please come visit us. And you know, we're as uh, COVID compliant as people want to be. Mm. Oh yeah. Uh, if you want us to wear a mask, we'll we'll wear a mask. We can wear gloves, whatever makes you happy. Uh, and also, a lot of people don't want to come out. They don't want to leave home yet. Again, call salesperson will take you out, show you the unit right on the lot, and you can be sitting in your living room. But we're glad to do it. All right. Well, thanks, guys. I'm gonna head back to campfire and hang out. You're going to be back later? Yeah, I'll, I'll bring the beer. All right, sounds good. We're going to head back this way to the campfire. Tim's hanging out at the campfire. Oh, looks toasty back here. Oh, thank you. This so, is the uh, life. This is nice. What are we doing? Besides well, roasting? let me tell you about what happened while you were in the Bighorn. Okay. <laughs> so I, the prize phone started to ring. Okay. And uh, guess who was on there? Who was on there? Somebody that saw a dog a, inside the Bighorn. What? You're lying. The dog was in there? Yep. I missed it completely. So uh, guess what? She won. Oh, what'd she win? So I gave her the option. She could win this really, ex really high-end uh, faucet to replace hers. And well, I asked her, do you have a camper? And she said, yeah, actually, we're coming in uh, June to pick up one. We just bought it from you guys, so... That's um, awesome. But so uh, they wanted to go with this really cool bike rack. The so, jack? yeah, Lippert uh, LCI, this company, uh, donated some really cool stuff for us today. And this is a, a 
<laughs> the bike rack system. That, but look at it. It goes on the front. Look. Ha, check out my pointer. It goes on the front. <laughs> it goes, goes on the front of a trailer. I mean, I've never seen anything like it. But it's yeah, cool. it's great. So there you go. Congratulations. What was her name? I have it written down. <laughs> <laughs> well, congratulations. Uh, good eye. Good eye. I actually put that dog there. I wasn't sure if somebody would catch it. I tried. At first, we were just going to walk by it. If you missed it, it was hidden up by where the TV is in the bedroom in this last one. Uh, and it may have been super obvious. I'm not sure. But uh, uh, we're, I'm glad people are buying because how many people are... I feel bad for like those folks back there staying in oh, that Oh, I thing, know. That thing. Right there. That does not look fun. I mean, I haven't seen them all day. You know why? Because nobody's coming back to that. They're out looking at other people's RVs like these. <laughs> yeah. That's why I haven't seen them all day. It's uh, true. So, uh, so the campfire. Oh yeah, you yeah, were asking about, about that, and people were like, "Where do you get one of those?" Yeah. <laughs> so so we're the gonna... funny thing is, uh, I just brought this prop down from Cleveland, where I live. Uh -huh. <laughs> My wife let me borrow it. She has a company called IndoorCampfires.com. I swear. Your wife has a company called IndoorCampfires.com. Yeah. <laughs> Eric. <laughs> and so she actually sells these all over the place, mostly like. People in uh, states where they have fire bands, uh -huh. uh, they're buying them all the time because they like to sit around a fake campfire so that right. when the park patrol pulls up, they're like, hey. <laughs> and she's like, hey, you know, they're like ooh, <laughs> not even hot. So, uh, hot. Uh, yeah, but so anyways. That. Uh, so we're going to give one away. So okay. she's going to. Um, she Are we doing that. a flash sale on those or just giving one away? Yeah, they're, uh, they put up a sale just for us on IndoorCampfires.com. Okay, so uh, people can go there to so, get them. Yeah, so today, if you go there today, it's 85 instead of $99 um, nice. for a fake campfire. Okay, <laughs> and what does it say, that, say the website again? Uh, IndoorCampfires.com. So there'll be, there'll be a little video at the end of here. Um, but yeah, so... How are we giving it away? A caller? The yeah, let's... Way um, <laughs> yeah, the first caller... <laughs> that we pick up when we get back over there. So if you call we'll and get, get a, through, just hang on the free line for a second. Indoor campfire. Nice. It's great for winter, or you know, like when they have bands from camping. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like Ohio and <laughs> right. all these things. So. Oh. Anyways. And good what stuff. about the chairs? Are we doing some of the chairs? Yeah, let's do that too. Uh, flash sale on the chairs. Flash sale. Yep. Fifty-five you know bucks. How much? Fifty-five. Fifty-five right? a piece. Yep. That's good. And, these and are that's good with chairs. shipping. So. Right. 55 with shipping. And it, yeah, it's got the it's got little the table side. on the side. That's pretty cool. Oh, it's got s'mores over here. You want to eat some s'mores while we're here? Okay. I would love to, but my... <laughs> oh. Let me tell you what. You want, you want to get sure. personal? Uh, <laughs> my wife put me on Weight Watchers because uh, COVID-19, I've been eating way too much. She didn't put me on it, but I could see the way she looked at me. She, I could see the way she was looking at me. And, Don't give my wife any ideas. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm eating very little. I would love to have all the s'mores. I, I swear my wife didn't put me on Weight Watchers. You mentioned something about doing a uh, magic trick. Do we have time for that, or you want to do something, play on oh, that a little yeah. later? You do do magic, don't you? I, I do, do do magic. <laughs> uh, yeah, let's do it. We could try something. Here's what I'm going to do. I've got to go over here and get some cards. So if you're at home right now, I want you to do this in your house. Right now, go and find four playing cards. The only thing is they need to be four different playing cards. I'm going to do that right here. So you have a second to, to go do that. So quickly, right now, go find four playing cards. I'll get four for you. Okay, I'll thanks. grab four. Uh, you want to talk to them while I do that real fast? Yeah. So we've been uh, having a good time. Uh, I'm hiding out behind the scenes, so that's kind of nice. But uh, it was pretty late. It was last night we were watching uh, the head of our service department was in here power washing it one o'clock in the morning and uh so it's been a, been really cool to see a great team that's uh come around us to pull us off we actually got them all t-shirts on the back you'll you'll see them sometimes they say dream team and that's because uh i feel like we're at the indianapolis 500 these guys are zip 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 you know like setting everything up and it's, yeah. and it's really is cool so behind the scenes is impressive here people are moving <laughs> moving quickly so, uh, you want right. those uh, so this takes just a couple, uh, just a couple minutes. But uh, again, I'm I'm letting people grab cards. Now here's the deal. I, I don't think I mentioned this. You're gonna ruin these cards. So don't just use it, your best set. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Fine. And it, they don't even have to be playing cards. Technically, they could be uh, baseball cards. Just as long as all four of them are different. So uh, I'll give it another couple seconds for people to to uh, grab those. Again, you want to tell the website to to buy oh, okay, these eighty five dollars. Sure. Uh, IndoorCampfires.com, okay. and that's home and, for fake fires. <laughs> right, and it's it's this here. I mean, we can probably show the unit. Ah, hey, yo, did you get burnt? Oh, yeah, I burnt my hand on it. Um, Don't sue, please. 
<laughs> indoorcampfires.com. I'm coming for you. So a lot of, uh, she has these things in, uh, on cruise ships even. Really? Because they have like, these fake fires up uh -huh. on things like that. So, so that's, the, that's the piece right there. You just the metal throw, unit. throw some wood around it and it looks, looks really good. Looks good. I've actually, so no joke, I've seen bands have these on stage. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um, as, as like they're, they're set. So, all right, here we go. Hopefully you have the four playing cards. Here's what you can do. Take them and, yeah, you may have to set that down. You're going to take them like this, hold them in a packet. And I'm going to talk to Tim, just follow along. So hold them in a packet. And if you want to, go ahead and mix them up. Just, I mean, I don't know how I could stack the deck if you have them at home. But, uh, so now you're going to fold them in half like this and you're gonna crease it. You're putting a crease in those four cards. Like I said, you're gonna ruin these. So you're gonna crease those that way. You're gonna bend this back this way, and then this way. And all you're doing is, is creasing it, put that good crease in there so that you can rip them in half. So do that. Once you get that crease in there, rip them in half. Just hold one, one half in one hand and one half in the other hand. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's, you want me to get one of the ladies to do it for you, yeah, Tim? Yeah. <laughs> That's the athletic. <laughs> That's right. They are they are tough to they are tough to rip if you don't get them started right. All right, so when you do that, hold them like this, face down. You're gonna put one stack on top of the other. Doesn't matter, but go ahead and put one stack on top of the other. Okay. Uh, now you've got. We'll say this is your packet of cards. Cut that packet. So in other words, lift some cards off the top and just move them to, to the bottom. Good. Now you're gonna take the top three cards. One two, three, take the top three cards and put them somewhere in the middle of your packet. Just lose them in the middle somewhere. Good? That new top card, that new top card, take it and put it, don't, you don't even have to look at it, just take it and put it somewhere safe. I'm gonna put it in my pocket for the time being. Okay? So we'll put it there. Now here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna take the, uh, totally up to you, Tim. You at home, totally up to you. Take either the top one, two, or three cards, however many you want. Take the top one, two, or three, and move those to the middle. I'm going to do that. Move it to the. I'm taking two and moving to the middle. One, two, or three. Take them and move them to the middle. Good. Okay. Now we're going to. Uh, we've been a lot of us, most of us, all of us have been stuck in quarantine. So we're going to move cards for every day of the week. We've been stuck in quarantine. So let's do this. From the top to the bottom. Sunday to the bottom. Monday to the bottom. Tuesday. Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. It's all seven days, right? Uh, now, if you're with somebody, if you're with somebody, do this. If you're not with somebody, hold on for a second. If you're with somebody, take the top, uh, let's go top three cards. Give me your top three and switch them with the person. You take those, I'll take these. Take those new three cards, move them somewhere into the middle of your packet of cards. Lose them in the middle somewhere. Good? One more time, totally up to you. Take the top one, two, or three cards, move it to the middle. So I'm taking the top one card and moving it to the middle. Good? Here we go, Tim. We're now going to take the top card and move it to the bottom. Next top card, just get rid of it. Next top card, to the bottom. Next top card, get rid of it. Throw it in the fire. You throw it in the fire. Next top card, to the bottom. Next top card, into the fire. Next, next top, top card to the bottom. Next top card to the fire. Next top card to the bottom. Next top card to the fire. Next top card to the bottom. Next top card to the fire. You should have one card left, one half a card left. Remember the card you took out earlier? Grab that out of your safe spot. Ah, Let's see awesome. if it worked. Did it work? <laughs> <laughs> is that awesome? I hope it worked for you. Let us know that's in comments crazy. if that worked for you. Nice. Crazy. I wish I knew how that worked because that was awesome. <laughs> Dude, you're freaking me out. <laughs> <laughs> me too. I wish I knew. That was so amazing. Cool. Magical power. Two left hands. That's the secret. <laughs> What's All up right. next? Yeah, let's go see another trailer. Okay, let's go see another trailer right. again. Uh, indoorcampfire.com. And these are right now, the, uh, the flash, flash sale. sale price is $55 a piece. These are nice. Nice chairs. Congratulations to our winner. Uh, we'll be giving more stuff away soon. Where are we headed? We're going outside here, maybe? I never know. We have, we have trailers set up everywhere. Eric, you ready? Are we taking another tour? Yeah. 
Yeah. All right, back with Eric. This is the one we're doing now? Yeah. All right. So this one right here. Oh, the 25 LRLE. LRLE. Yeah, I've been waiting for this one. This is <laughs> probably the most popular. Oh, really? And most cost-effective toy hauler that is offered. Okay. Uh, with with what you get as far as standards, with what you can build in as options, it just kind of becomes a no-brainer. Um, I mean, you get your outdoor speakers and TV mount. You get um, you get your big 13-foot awning. Um, you get your nice steps, that's a nice feature. You know, a lot of people are actually going towards those. Me being a big guy, I really like those. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Cause I don't think I'm gonna flip the trailer over when I'm walking into it. Um, you know, a couple of other things about this, you know, it has it has your uh, uh, gas relief. So, you know, you don't get a buildup of, of gasoline smell okay. inside. You just crack those open, it'll point. get we it all vented out. out yet. That's um, so yeah, it's uh, that. That's if people were wondering, that's what that is. There's probably one towards the back on the other side. So when you open those up, it actually will draft through okay. and get all that, all those vapors out. So whenever you get inside, you're not punched in the face with it. That's good. Thank so uh, as you see over uh, behind the trailers, it's a tandem axle uh, bumper pull toy hauler. So this thing uh, comes in at a weight, I believe it's right about 5,000 pounds. Uh, very half ton towable, um, and uh, did you see the party deck? Yes, we have talked about that. As a matter of fact, and if you know this, I uh, I copyrighted the the uh, website deckmobile.com. Deckmobile.com. Because what we're That's thinking is, even if you don't have a, a toy to haul. You just buy this as a deck mobile, not a toy hauler. Oh yeah, right. So you get a deck, you get a, an outdoor deck. You don't need the toy if you don't have one, and it's still worth buying. You know, uh, it's kind of funny. Uh, you know, quick story with that. They uh, we have a, set, a pair of customers. They live up in Michigan, uh -huh. and they go down to the Grand Canyon every single year for right. uh, during the winter time. And what they do on their toy hauler, they don't have any toys whatsoever. Uh -huh. They'll back this thing up just like directly to the Grand Canyon, and they'll drop the patio, back it in, and, and they'll and the they'll Canyon. eat their blueberry pancakes watching the sun come up over the Grand Canyon. That's amazing. And they don't have toys whatsoever, but they bought the toy hauler for just that. for that. See, um, see, they, yeah. we just opened a bunch of ideas for the, folks that don't have toys, brand new options with this. Deck you would you would be surprised uh, the amount of things that people use a toy hauler for uh -huh. is absolutely insane. Okay. You know, I have a customer that uses the garage space for an aviary for parrots. Wow. Uh, it's a true story. That's awesome. Uh, I have a customer that takes his uh, antique toy collection all over the country to trade shows. Um, you know, it, there's a lot more purposes for a toy hauler other than putting ATVs, side-by-sides, bikes. Uh -huh. There's a whole lot of other things that you can put in there. That's, that's good. That's let's, go, let's go talk about the garage space inside. And that's it exactly. It's a garage, and a lot of a lot of folks at home they don't have their cars in their garage because they've got other stuff in there. So why wouldn't that right. be the same with a toy hauler? Right. You know, it's uh, a, a lot of the times whenever um, whenever somebody calls in, they're like, "I'm looking for a toy hauler," but you know, I don't have this much money to spend on, say, like a big fifth wheel toy hauler. Uh -huh. Well, we've got options for you. Yeah. I mean, this is a 12 foot seven inch garage in here, and from here. I'm talking about here, not here. Right. From here to here is about 67 inches. You could fit a small side by side in this garage. Yeah. So um, two seater, of course, but uh -huh. nonetheless, you could put a side by side in this garage and maybe, maybe, maybe put a dirt bike in back behind it. Wow. You know how it's all about how you pack it in. It's very utilitarian tra trailer that you can do a whole bunch with. Yeah. So. Um, with that, with, uh, saying with that, you got your storage space up here. Mm -hmm. You know, you can set, you know, toolkits, uh, anything you want up there. Um, the shelf uh, shelf is rated for a substantial amount of weight. I don't know what it is off the top okay. of my head, but it is rated for pretty substantial amount of weight. Now, these, uh, these will actually fold flat. And whenever you do that, you get um, two twin, around twin size beds. Okay. Or... Um, you can actually lower that Turn down. Turn table until. Yeah. So, a um, lot of space. Uh, you get your deep sink here in the kitchen. Uh, it's stainless steel. It's about, oh, 
what do you say that's about eight inches eight deep inches or so, yeah. yeah eight inch stainless steel deep sink nice feature you also get your detachable uh wash head uh -huh. you get your glass covered stove cooktop it's nice um, to give you more space yeah it really is and it just folds up you know real nice uh -huh. and you get your range hood with fan and light option right yeah. below your microwave nice can we talk about these real fast i, I yeah. figure like people may want to know like what do you do with these when you wait, when you need to bring a do they just fold up do you take them out yes so you can you can fold these up against the wall and i do believe they actually can come out completely okay. if you need that extra space now to fit a uh, you know a small side by side in here you would have to right right uh, so i just wondered how um, if you had maybe just a four wheeler or a motorcycle to bring in here yeah just pop them up now th this trailer is uh is uh, very, uh, you know, I, I, I was actually talking to my parents about what, uh -huh. about this trailer, and it was perfect for them. They want to get out. They want to take their motorcycle with them to Sturgis, and they're sick of roughing it on the ground out at Sturgis yeah. with all the hooligans. Right. So what they're, sense. you know, what they're doing is, uh, you know, I, uh, they expressed some interest in this trailer, and just, you know, they got more than enough space to put their bike, and they still have all this area yeah. where they can where they can still move about and not have to worry about bumping in the bike all day. I mean, day. you could bring, if you if you need to move that, you can move this to here. Yep. And still, well, obviously it'll be a little tighter, have a chair on either end, yep. and you still have plenty of room for this and have your bikes in there. So it's not like you lose a dinette area. No, a dining you area. really don't with the, and the table being mobile. If you wanted to get, if you wanted to collect the fresh air, move it out to the patio. Uh, now that patio yeah. is rated for, that door is rated for a thousand pounds in the patio configuration okay so i mean that's what that's almost that's that's like just more than three of me yeah on there yeah so like i mean and, and when we're on there i mean we're having a dance party right so um <laughs> well I, we need to see that dance party oh no, so it ain't uh, not it's happening? that's that's extra <laughs> okay yeah so <laughs> that's not included with the registration to the virtual rv show no no that's that's definitely extra <laughs> now uh here in the bathroom uh, also, very tall, friendly bathroom. You get your quarter shower. Now, with me being kind of a bigger guy, you know, my shoulders are really wide. When I walk through a trailer, uh -huh. that is always my concern. You know, if you even noticed, I didn't even have to kind of turn to the side to walk through the right. door frames. The doors are really wide. Nice feature. So, and when, we, when I get in the shower, for the tall folk, you get your skylight. Uh -huh. And that, I don't have to duck down like this to get under the shower right so it's a really nice feature it is a little bit of a step up but nonetheless it's very tall friendly um now um really cool feature that this has this is a uh, you can come in here and get this this is wired for solar using go power uh, a lot of people are uh have questions when it comes to solar mm -hmm. uh does it run your entire camper no it doesn't it's meant to keep a charge on your batteries okay so to have that feature in a in a toy hauler where you know you may be you want to have lights all night or mm -hmm. you want to have you know the radio or a, a small fan going all night you know this is going to make sure that your batteries stay charged throughout the day and through the night Good. so you don't have to worry about that um Back behind here, you get some you get some nice storage space behind the toilet. I'm gonna move forward so you can get that. And with all this, you know, we we do have a lot of extras. I, I don't know if we talked about our parts store at all. A little you bit. know, yeah. in our in our parts store, uh, in these you can get you know the Max Air upgraded fans. Always okay. a good option. Uh, they're they're relatively inexpensive. For how much air they move, I always really recommend them. How easy is, is how easy is it to put those in? Well, now I I would definitely recommend that you have the shop install okay. them. You know, we we do sell them and we do install them, uh, so that way you know all the labor and everything. If something were to go awry, yeah, you I know, wasn't it's sure if it was covered. like a snap in that. Would, yeah. Yeah. Okay. So uh, it, it's a little bit more extensive than snap in, but gotcha. if you have the option to do it, I would highly recommend the Max Air fans if it doesn't already come with it. Cool. from the factory right so up here in the bedroom if you want to go up here and uh get comfortable you get I will. oh yeah <laughs> oh, look at that how sexy is that 
It's great. <laughs> I, I think I think you might get a. You better watch out. Your wife's gonna see a wedding proposal or something. <laughs> so um, yeah, uh, cool feature. Uh, I know it's like the littlest thing ever, uh -huh. but the coolest thing I think is that's in these new trailers is these these lights. The individual lights. Now, uh, if you flip that switch up, oh yeah, um, you it's the. Oh, yeah. You can turn on one or the other, and that's through the whole trailer. There's one above the bat, above the above the toilet. Okay. There's there's several in the garage space. So if you're really wanted to conserve on energy, these lights are amazing. Yeah. You know. There's one up under here. Yeah, and there's one up under there. So you don't have to have all the lights on at the same time. Uh, really a cool. Uh, I know it's the smallest thing ever, but yeah. if you're talking about going camping for a long weekend. That energy really matters, especially okay. if you're not in a campground. See, that's good to know because it's something I wouldn't know. Yeah, exactly. Um, alongside the bed, you get a huge ward. Same over there. Uh -huh. Curtain rack. Uh, you got plenty of floor space inside of there. And you have your bedside to keep your water, right. uh, keep your phone. You have your outlet there and there. And you get your USB, USB plugins. Um, really, for the price point on this trailer, it's uh, it's a no-brainer, and I think if I'm not mistaken, take a look at it. Um, sale price on these seventeen five oh nine. You can roughly get around one hundred sixty on a payment with wow. uh, with approved credit. Um, so I mean, yeah, right. It's yeah. amazing. You know, you get all of this for seventeen five. That's that's nuts. <laughs> yeah, it's a lot. It's a yeah. lot of trailer for a little bit of buck. Wow. And it's nice. It was bad. Yeah. It was warm back in there because we don't have the windows open. Feels great out here. That yeah. breeze running through. Oh yeah, yeah, definitely. And and it's just nice when you get that. You get set out that table. You know, or even even better yet, I was thinking about getting one of those trees. Uh huh. One of the light up trees. Right. Set it out there. Tree. Get get some of our RVW fold out chairs. Uh huh. You sat in those. Yeah. Those are nice. nice. We got a, a yeah. flash sale going on. There. Fifty five bucks a chair. Oh yeah, and they're super light. Yeah. Uh, easy to carry, uh, so you set those up on the patio, uh, and that's that's where you're going to be drinking your tall boys. And just overlook the Grand Canyon. <laughs> overlook the Grand Canyon. Yeah. Yep. Or the campground, it. wherever uh, you're going. All right. Well, <laughs> thanks for uh, walking us through it. I had I, I mentioned. I'm sorry for the folks that have watched all day long. First of all, we appreciate it, but I have to yeah, let folks know yeah. that my wife and I went RVing for the first time really uh, about a week and a half ago. Not last weekend, but weekend before. And it was really cool. I got to sit down with a uh, RV expert and ask a few tips and questions from her. So uh, learn with me. Watch this. Hi everybody, David McCreary here with, look at this, world-renowned RV expert and specialist, Sophia. Sophia, we were hoping to get some tips from you. Number one, you tell us that it's important to remember to gas up the vehicles before you leave. Why? Why is that? Before you leave, you don't want to like accidentally run over something or... Yes, because a lot of times when you, when you run out of gas, you run over something. That makes total sense. What about taking a campsite power extension cord? Tell us how important that is. Um, just in case, like, if you lose your power, you want to save that just in case you really need that. Oh, okay. I also heard that it's important that if you back into a spot and your regular extension can't reach the power outlet, an extension cord would be good if the power is on the other side. Is there any truth to that? Okay. Or sometimes it might not be possible. Oh, that's absolutely confusing. Tell me about doing a walk around before you leave. So you've got your you got your RV, it's ready to go, you're ready to walk out the door, and they tell us we should walk around the RV just to check things out. What exactly are we looking for when we walk around the RV right before we leave? You just want to like know you just want to remember the place that you when you are gone when you're leaving like Right. Oh, okay, uh, but can you repeat that in English, please? You just want to, like, 
look around before you leave and you can like remember the place. And what what place are you talking pictures. about forgetting? Like if you're like looking around some like place like North Carolina the house you're staying in uh -huh. or like Virginia like when your friends yeah you're at Virginia or yeah. Florida that when you're what your friends what you're they're gonna marry or something like that. Uh -huh. You wanna like take you know, like walk around, remember the place. Okay. And like take pictures so you can remember the place like good. we did. Good, good. So I'm gonna be honest with you. I don't understand a word you're saying. Uh and what about tire pressure? Making sure there's uh good tire pressure. Tell me tell me a little bit about tire pressure. Just in case you like lose your tire, you wanna put extra like extra air in. Okay. So like it doesn't like you run out of air then you're like going slower like if i'm saying i'm going up north three hours away mm -hmm. in case if your tire pops or it runs out of air it'll take one more hour to get up there oh okay is that is that like a proven scientific equation mm -hmm. okay so if you're going if you're going three hours and your tire falls off it's actually going to take you four hours to get there if it pops, it's like if the air runs out. Mm. If the air runs out and there's only a little bit more, you want to put extra in just in case the tire pressure or the tire air gets like it like inflates. Out. You keep keep talking. I'm gonna take a nap while you while you explain this because this is boring me to death. This is interesting. Why is it important to deadbolt your doors as you're driving down the freeway? Just in case, if you like accidentally pull it open, uh -huh. you don't want to like fall out. Okay, so you're saying if you're illegally riding in the car, the RV, and, and you deadbolt so you don't fall out. Okay. How many fire extinguishers should you have in an RV this size? You should at least have two, just in case. It's actually the right answer. You have kitchen in the kitchen mm -hmm. and one just in case in the bathroom. What's going on in the bathroom that you need a fire extinguisher? I've also been told that you should have one for the outside of the RV. Is that true? That's true. Okay, so that would be three then. Mm -hmm. But you said two. I accidentally said two. I accidentally said two. I meant to say two and then one outside. I just forgot the outside one. Gotcha. And what are they called again? Fire? Extinction. Fire extinctions. I've been saying it wrong. I've been saying extinguisher. What do I know? Speaking of bathrooms, let's talk about sewer hoses and the rubber gloves. Why would you want heavy duty rubber gloves for the sewer hose? Um, of course, the sewer hose is the hose that takes the poop from the RV to you know, get rid of it. If you want to have gloves just in case if poop comes out of that hose, you want to have the gloves on just in case if it gets on your hand, you want to have those gloves just in case. So you, you get it on the gloves and then you, before you get in the car, wipe them off on your pants. Yep. You just keep the gloves on your finger, your fingers. If you have it, if you can, you can grab a napkin, keep it in the car mm -hmm. just in case you do that. So you gotta... Then you take the napkin, you wipe it, you wipe that, that dirtiness on that napkin. Then you can take the gloves off and start driving. Okay, good. And you you put the napkin back in the car? No. We're on? Oh, that's cool. Hey, did you know we were on? We're on? Are we on? <laughs> I, I'm watching delay on my phone. I was watching her. <laughs> How long have we been on? I think I was sitting here and I, I had a phone call from my son and I was like, oh, okay, I should probably take that. But you never know, right? You yeah. got to take that. And yeah. then you were on your phone. I was like, oh, yeah, we're oh, probably. And he's watching. actually going, oh. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, we've been on for a little bit, but nice. hey, whatever. I, did I pick my nose or anything while we were on? Do you, did anybody notice? Uh, I mean, I, I know I scratched my leg twice, okay. but does that count? <laughs> Ooh, welcome back. <laughs> All right, so what are we talking about? Yeah, so basically Rockwood, okay. Um, we talked a little bit earlier in the show about quality units and things like that. Rockwood and Solera are going to be the top of the line when you're talking about quality units. 
Um, this one's a real small one, okay, 2104. Um, super light. Um, you're talking probably right around 4,000 pounds, give or take. Okay. Um, and then super short too. Okay. 20 to 24 foot, depending on if you count the tongue or not. So uh, regardless though, a super light camper, dual axle. I know a lot of people ask for that. Um, the cool thing about Rockwood is you actually do have a spring assist lift on it. Okay. So basically what's going to happen is, is it's going up by itself, right? Uh -huh. So it really does help for older people who don't necessarily have the strength to bring that thing all the way up or all the way down. It does have a spring assist um, to where it'll help it get up and kind of go from there, okay? Yeah. Um, outside TV on this, Rockwood does come standard with an outside grill um, and also an outside uh, little table that you can put out here as well. So okay. kind of cool in terms of um, outside setup for uh, Rockwoods. Um, and then roof ladder on the back, spare tire on the back, and a little spot to put your black tank hose on the back side of oh, the bumper. this is for the grill here, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So basically, um, you got your LP disconnect right up under here, the quick connect. You do put it right here on the railing. And then on the other side goes your table. Great. Okay, so kind of cool how that works, but we'll get inside where the air conditioner's on as it is getting a little hot out here. Oh yeah, it feels good in here. Oh uh, yeah, definitely. So again, smaller unit, all right? Nothing that you're gonna bring the whole family in or anything like that, no bunks, no nothing like that. Um, but essentially you can convert this into a bed if you do have any family members with you or anything like that. Um, and then back behind me here, you're gonna have your refrigerator um, to where you got it opened up in that side. And then you do have back here deep storage on the back side as well, okay? Um, this is a gas electric refrigerator, okay? So if you did want to run gas or electric, uh, it will run off of that. Continue running as you're driving down the road and things on that nature. Um, you do have an extra little pantry behind you there. Um, pretty deep overall. If you open that up, you can see how deep oh, yeah. that is. Lots of storage on that one. Good. Yeah, and then, so, and then going into your bathroom. Um, you are going to have the shower miser in the bathroom, which basically recycles your um, cold water until it does get hot. And so at that point, you're running just strictly hot water when you're running through there. It's pretty impressive technology. Oh, yeah. Right? Super cool. Um, it's not something that all campers are putting in there, okay? okay. It's, it's not a cheap thing to put in campers, okay? Yeah, yeah. But nonetheless, Rockwood's doing it to do kind of that step above everybody else in terms of, um, I guess, bang for your buck. Right. You know what okay. I mean? So. Um, on all campers that we, not on all, I can't say that, but on most of the Rockwoods we bring in here, we do go 15 BTU air conditioner instead of the 13.5. Um, that is an additional option cost that we choose to do on ours. And then behind us here is basically that Murphy bed, okay? That's pretty much what everybody asks about um, when you get a smaller unit like this. Super simple and easy to uh, open up. Basically, we're just folding this down and we're unlocking the sides here, all right? You're doing it for real? Oh, it's already unlocked. Already unlocked on your side. Watch your hands. Yeah. Don't want to pinch. That goes down and locks into place. All right, so once it's down there, locks into place right here. All right, guys? And then basically we pull it to come up and we go right back up. All right, so super simple and easy. Lock her back into place. That's awesome. So that's essentially how you open up your bed. You did see on the back side, it did have that big front windshield. Now there is a little trick here that you know I learned as I was doing this on how to open these guys and shut these guys, right? A lot of people, when they open them up, it's easy, but when they go to shut them, they're sitting here and pushing, right? They're gonna uh -huh. push this down and in like that. I always found it super easy if I just grab the same pole handle, put my hand back here on the back side, and pull up on this pull one. Up. A little bit easier than messing around and you know pushing and shoving and all that kind of stuff. Right. Um, and then these guys also do have your kick up stance on the back side. So no, it doesn't recline, but it does kick up on the bottom side. So kind of a cool little setup on it. But There's space for your TV right up here. Yeah, cool. Yeah. So you basically your TV has got a uh, swivel mount style to it. Um, it does swivel to either side of which you wish to go. Um, that table is a freestanding table. You can take it anywhere and everywhere you need to go. If you want to take it outside, use it on the barbecue or something like that. That's kind of cool as well. Cool. Um, and then you do have a privacy curtain here too. If you ever do have, you know, friends and family with you, it goes right along the end of the bed allow for you to have a little bit more privacy when you're inside. I really do like these little models. Yeah, yeah, no, definitely. And, and they're easy on the trucks, okay? Um, and basically you can, um, you know, tow it over mountains and things like that. Uh, we had a lot of people that were asking, you know, hey, going through the Rockies, what kind of trailer should I get? Well, honestly, it depends on what kind of truck you have. You know, okay. I've got a one-ton um, diesel, uh -huh. and so I can pull just about anything pulling it through the, the mountains. But at the same time, if you're coming through with like a F-150 or something like that, you just got to watch what you put in your behind your truck. Yeah. So, I mean, that's what I can say in terms of like a question along those lines. But um, other than that, like I said, I, can, I can't stress enough the quality of Rockwood. Um, and I can't stress enough the fact that 
we're all in this industry right now losing campers. It's yeah. crazy. Um, just even in there right now, guys, we sold so many campers. We're just That's running it. out of stock. That's well, all people, it is. I mean, I, number one, I think this virtual RV show is a brilliant idea. Well, it's huge. Um, and I mean, you were here with us last time. So, yeah. I mean, um, you know, we were the very first people to do it successfully. Mm -hmm. um, we were also the first people to, um, you know, address the fact of, hey, we're going to run out of stock. You know, yeah. this whole place is going to open back up. You know, when it does open up, everybody's going to want to go camping uh -huh. because they're not going to want to stay on planes. And, 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 you know, not to get like, um, I guess, solemn or anything, but it's the same thing we saw after 9-11. Okay. Okay. Everybody was like, not getting on planes. I'm not dealing with terrorists. I'm not doing all this other stuff. But at the same time, they're like, look, I'm going to get back to the roots, you know, religion and family. Yeah. And so they went camping. They went this. They went that. But they didn't go on cruise ships. They didn't go on big vacations. They went camping, backyard camping, out in the woods, tent camping, and stuff like that. And that's what we're seeing again. That's great. You know, isolation in, I guess, numbers, but far enough away from each other and things uh -huh. like that. But it's, um, it's kind of crazy. You know, like I said, we're running out of stock right now. Um, so, I mean, you know, if you guys are out there still looking for a camper, a call. I mean, the worst thing that you're going to find out is I don't have it right now. Yeah, right. That's the worst thing that can possibly happen. And a lot of people get the misconception, too, of, we're pressure, 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 and that's not the case. Yeah, you mentioned that last time. Oh, yeah. You're not going to pressure anybody. That, to that, that's the very last thing that you'll catch, at least from anyone at this dealership, is straight pressure. Yeah. You know, we don't believe in pressure, and we're not pressure sales. We never had success doing it, so why start now, you know? We just want to make sure that anyone who is interested in getting a camper, you get it now or you're going to be waiting. I've got people right now that are waiting on campers that ordered them back in March, aren't getting them until July. Wow. So, I mean, let's do the math. Let's say we order one now. September, yeah, October. I mean, so the mass there. Now before they're the gone. mass there. It yeah. really is. Yeah. Hey, David. Hey, I wanted to announce we actually just uh, worked out a deal with Rockwood to get 150 more built quickly. Good, so good, good. So people should take advantage of that. Awesome. And also, uh, we had this question earlier. Someone asked, uh, "Are these all Amish built?" They're built by Amish and German Baptists. German Baptists are going to look. The same in uh, appearance, but a little different beliefs. But, right, right, right. Yeah, the so, units are all built by Amish and uh, yeah. German Baptists. Then uh, people are asking again for the weight on this one. So it's going to be right around 4,000 pounds. I can't tell you it's definitely 3,562 pounds. I mean, I don't know that off yeah. the top of my head. But again, anytime you have a question about anything anyone says here at any point, just call in, guys. All right, like I said, just because you call in to, let's say me, okay, let's say you called in to me. I'm not going to say, okay, great. Now, which credit card are you using for that deposit? No, we're going to talk about it, and we're going to make sure you guys are correct on the right camper. We've got a lot of questions before we just go to the sale. You and know we what also I mean? mentioned earlier that it's okay to go ahead and do the credit app right oh, now. Oh, my goodness. That's crazy. Yeah. Even if you don't know if you're going to buy or not. No, no, no. Smart. They're, they're yeah. so busy in there. That's a smart thing to do. Right. One more question. Norma asked, she's comparing this unit to the Geo Pro. Yeah. Does the Geo Pro have a full bathroom? And also... Um, what does the Rockwood Mini Light run, and do either have off-road tires? Yeah, so basically you're comparing the Rockwood Mini Light to the Rockwood Geo Pro. Okay, we saw a Geo Pro a few minutes ago on a few different trailers, right? Uh -huh. The Geo Pro is kind of that off-road single axle trailer. Okay, so they do have off-road tires on them. They do are um, they're a little bit smaller, a little bit lighter, um, but again, single axle. Okay, that's the biggest difference between them. Ceiling height's a little bit smaller. It does still have full-size bathrooms on particular floor plans, okay? Now, this one right here, since you are going double axle, torsion flex, um, uh, torsion flex axles as well, um, you know, four tires instead of two, higher ceilings. There's a lot of different things that are going to play into it, bigger slides. Um, this one right here, you are going to run it at 20803 roughly 190 bucks. But realistically, competitors are selling it for $34,954. It's crazy okay. You guys and again, realistic pricing. Okay. It's not like we're just going to throw, you know, an unrealistic number out there. Yeah, That's yeah. not who we are. You know, gotcha. we've never been that kind of company. We never will start being that kind of company. So okay. just kind of a, you know, a cool little gimmicks of, uh, of, of this trailer and how it operates. Again, call us anytime. Call me, call anybody. Just make sure we help you. Okay. But don't buy a trailer unless you talk to us first, because at the same time you buy a trailer from somebody, you don't know if they're telling you the truth and you don't know what you don't know right you never know you know what i mean so uh we're here for you guys um but at that point i mean what are we doing now where are we going so right now we're going to remind people number one that we've got the the chairs we talked about okay yeah yeah, yeah. flash sale chairs. flash sale Those, sales. flash sales still going on put the number at the bottom of the screen also we haven't mentioned for a while we've got these trailer swift shirts oh yeah these are not going to be available when we do the next well RV it's because show. we are the only ones who've done this that's right you know what i mean that's right trailer the, the, swift the back style. is fantastic you have the corn tour 
Uh, they're live <laughs> in your house. These guys are awesome. Uh, but I bring them up because we're going to get back into some music, but I had a, another chance to sit down with Paul and ask him about... What I asked him was, so what is the, what is the band's favorite decade of music, and why would you say the 80s? Because the 80s is the best decade of music. Here's what he had to say. If you had to pick a decade as the best decade of music, which would you pick? Why would you pick the 80s? Oh, wink. Um, uh, since we're not going to be able to answer that individually, maybe ask why Trailer Swift loves the 80s or something to that effect. Anyway, here's, here's my answer. Well, I can't disagree with that. The 80s offered something for everybody from rock legends like Journey to Aerosmith to the, the glam hair bands to country outlaws. And uh, who didn't love Michael Jackson's Thriller album and, and the video and what that did for MTV and all of that. There was so much just explosion on the scene in every genre of music. And it's really stood the test of time. You look at TV shows that have, uh, you know, taken Don't Stop Believing and done it with high school kids and uh, or, or go watch uh, The Voice or American Idol and a lot of 80s songs pop up. Lionel Richie's a judge. Um, so the 80s really had a landmark on music for a, for a lot of us. And, uh, you know, um, it, I think it just impacted a lot of people. It's fun. And I think that's uh, that's the main thing.
talking right. about Trailer Swift and, and uh, <laughs> just how good they are. Uh, this is another RV that I'm selling. This is a used 2016. Uh, Gray I'm, Wolf. Yep. Gray Wolf Limited, yeah. I don't know if you saw that. This is a this is a 26 RR. And what's the RR stand for? RR stands for Roadrunner. Obviously. Uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, Rusted Root for those uh, hippies out there watching. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's the name of the band. Is that the name of the band? I don't know. Yeah. Uh, this has a, a power awning. It's, I think it's power. Yep, Problem. so you got power awning, LED light strip underneath. See? You I'm got speakers on each side. Teaching him so much. He's oh learning so much over the next couple of days. You <laughs> don't know speakers. what I would do without you out here. <laughs> uh, if you notice, again, I'd like to point out this is, this is the traditional rectangular shape. <laughs> uh, four tires in the back. <laughs> four tires, a roof, and a floor. Yeah, if you look underneath, uh, it does have the bottom of the floor. <laughs> is there. And... Uh, What's on the back? Let's take a look at the back real fast. Yeah, no, absolutely. It's got it's a toy hauler, or this one, yeah, it's a toy hauler with reflectors. These come with, these come standard with the uh, the the vehicle. <laughs> Some standard. Uh, so let's go inside. Let me, let me, I can't wait to show you inside. What's what's going on in here? So if you see what we got going on here, we got whoa, that's. That's kicking some air out of there. <laughs> I'm only taking my breath away. Uh, so this is always nice. The camouflage sink. Like if that wasn't there, you wouldn't even know that was a sink. You think, why did somebody put a faucet on top of a counter? It's not. Look. Ta-da. Uh, put your mother-in-law in there. <laughs> Kidding. Sorry. Enough of the mother-in-law jokes. People it's are getting sick of funny. those. I love my mother-in-law. Her name's Evelyn, and she's awesome. Uh, place for a, a TV or uh, if you just have a picture that you really like, just tape it to that and you can move it around so you can look at your picture from time to time. Uh, this is where you would keep the toy if you would like to carry a toy, i.e. four-wheeler, uh, motorcycle, whatever. Uh, this is nice. This has been uh, custom made. This holds the back on. They moved the chair or the, the couch around so it gave you a back. But listen. Take two of them out like this. There you go. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I have no idea what I'm talking about. Yes. You're sitting back here and uh, things get crazy. There's a handle to hold on to right here. That comes standard <laughs> with this. If you need, if you're like, I wish there was a random strap just hanging around. There you go. Random I'm sure that's strap. used for something, but hold your TV on. If you have very little items like, that you like to display, we got a nice shelf right up here for very, if you, if you again, like pictures a, of family members, not mother-in-laws, but family members, if you, and you don't want to display them, lay them down like this and slide them in. They can't yell at you for not showing the pictures, but they're still on display, kinda. Uh, well, we got a stove here. This, you would turn this on with these knobs here, and a microwave. That is a microwave. If you've got very small jackets and shirts to hang, you can hang one right here. <laughs> but if you've got a little jacket, if, you, if, you, if you've got kids that are into Barbie dolls, it's a toy hauler, maybe your, toy, your toys are Barbie dolls. Or little to, bikes. Yes, you hook that on there. Uh, we've got the, the glass top. We've got the refrigerator. And we've got the bathroom. Oh my gosh, I forgot. We got, I think we probably have a, this is, this is nice. You can get in here this way. There you go. That's is a shower. There, is there enough room in that bathroom? There is. is enough look, room in that shower. I'm six foot seven, and uh, and if like I, if this if were to like hand. shut here. So really, what's going on back here, guys? Is the it's got two refrigerators. Okay, so obviously somebody did like a customization of it and things like that. Um, they did flip this couch sideways out here. So just in case you guys weren't familiar with what was going on on this backside, it's not typically like this but it is still a toy hauler, okay? Can easily be taken out of this backside. Um, but in terms of air conditioners running, furnace is running, refrigerators are both running. Um, obviously you got your stove cooktop, little um, spice cabinet back behind it. TV hookup above that where he was saying you put the little picture frames, that's actually gonna be the top of where you'd put like a dish receiver or something like that too. So um, just kind of a heads up on that, but I'm sure he wasn't aware that I was, you know, locked him in there, but. I'll get them out now and see what's kind of going on in here. 
Oh man, yeah. I can't get it open. Oh hey, yeah. welcome back, buddy. Joke's on you. I took a little nap. It's been a very long day. A fun day, but a very long day. Uh, we have, I'm assuming, either a bedroom or the, the dance hall. Well, here. this is your this is your show, man. I'm just here okay. to keep you company. I don't want you to get scared in here. So this is the, uh, you got space underneath there. I'm not going to tell you what you put there, but you can put whatever you want underneath there. We have, I don't know what this is here. I don't, I have no idea what that's for. Me either. <laughs> no idea. Extra that, little knickknack. Yeah. But uh, hey, so what are we doing with this trailer? They're calling us in the next one. Oh, yeah, we we got to do something to this. Okay. So, uh, let's talk about this. It's, uh. I'm going to start out at $10,000, $10,000 for this it's 2016, uh, $10,000. We have the auction number, which is 937-649-9666, 937-649-9666. Starting out at $10,000, call right now if you want to get yourself in this. Nice little toy. It is. It's nice. It's a nice oh, little yeah. toy. Oliver. They took great Come care on. of it. They did some customizations on there. Some people like them. Some people won't. Um, but nonetheless, it is going to be a toy hauler. I mean, it's ten grand. I mean, we're not talking like we're asking you know twenty, thirty thousand for it. It's it's a good off price the top for of your head. What if somebody were to uh, to finance it? What are you looking at monthly for ten thousand oh, dollars? I mean, something like probably one fifty or something like that. Okay. I mean, we're not talking about something extravagant right. by any means. Right. Um, you can't finance really anything less than ten. Uh, we run into problems at that point, okay. so um, we're not going to be looking at anything crazy or anything cool. like that. So sweet. So there you go. We uh, will give you a couple hours to take care of that and bid on that. Starting at ten thousand dollars, call right now. We're going to the next one. Yeah, over here. Let's red back back here. Let's see here. There's the gray wolf. Is it this one here? I'm Might as well just one. mark that one sold. Rockwood Mini Light. That one's probably sold at this point. Oh, Wildwood. Wildwood right here. All right, so the Wildwood, 32 BHDS. So basically, we're going to be looking at a bunkhouse model. Okay, bunkhouse meaning um, it does have the bunks back in the back okay. uh, used for uh, families. Um, it does have three bunks back there. has a little bit extra room if you want to do like, uh, you know, blow a mattress, if you want an extra bed or something like that. Mm -hmm. um, outside kitchen on this guy as well. Um, back here on the back side, um, questions all the time about what all is in the outside kitchen, guys. Obviously, we have the sink in the outside kitchen, uh, as well as the uh, swing around bumper grill, too. Okay, and so um, in terms of other things, um, obviously, power stabilizer jacks. Okay, it's huge. You know, um, a lot of our competitors and things like that don't have the power stabilizer jacks because it's a limited, um, I guess, option out there, right? Okay. That's something that we do. Our prices don't go sky high or anything like that. We charge factory cost for us to put it on there. So really cool little setup in terms of how we do business versus how others may do business, but um, kind of a cool deal. You got a 3.2 cubic foot refrigerator right there beside you instead of the real small 1.6 one. ones, um, as well as beverage holder on the side of it um, as yep. your uh, cool little setup there. And then obviously, I mean, we talked last time, you, I mean, you love the bathroom and door <laughs> I, straight I to love it. I love the screen door on the bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> Just in case you need a little a privacy. A little bit of privacy if you pull this shut. Still don't feel like that's enough <laughs> privacy. But. but obviously, if someone needs to go to the bathroom, they can walk directly in there. A lot of people are looking for this particular camper uh, because of the two-door entry. They don't want their kids running through their camper. Um, they don't want the uh, you know family members running through the camper. Just go to the bathroom, come back out. Yeah. It's really important. Like I know a lot of places got swimming pools and stuff like that. You don't want the little kids running through. I mean, I got two of my own, right? Uh -huh. um, you don't want them running through the whole camper to go to the bathroom. Soaking the floor. Soaking the floor along the whole way, plus right. all of the sand on their feet, and then running all the way back out yeah. as they get there. So that's that might cool be setup to it. the most brilliant idea. You know, yeah. In case you need a little bit more air in there, yeah. While you're taking care of business, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Yeah, obviously. <laughs> uh, but on the outside, guys, outside speakers, um, you do have the solid surface steps. We talked about the power stabilizer jacks. Um, this is nobody's suite. This is a really big storage area. Um, enough with the mother-in-law jokes. Not funny. And then up front here, we obviously have the power tongue jack. Option to go to 30-pound tanks up here with the fiberglass front cap and the three-force rock guard. So cool little setup on this yeah. one as well. Um, but swinging inside real quick, because um, obviously that's why we're here. See the inside of the camper. Oh, the lights are off. Little push buttons to turn the lights on, half all the way through the um, coach. All right, so 
uh, as you're going through the coach, guys, um, you can either do it that way or there is a switch up front that does turn them all off or all on. Okay, okay so kind of cool. Um, in terms of refrigerator, you do have the big 12 volt refrigerator. Okay, um, not all campers have that. Palomino and Wildwood are some of the main ones that do have that kind of camper um, uh, refrigerator. Plus, you do have storage. Okay, our wonderful plant that has seemed to get into every single video at this point. <laughs> Thank you guys in the staging department. We did have someone ask that. Really? Are our yeah. lilies jumping from plant to plant or do they come with the trailer? So, <laughs> um, <laughs> so these guys are doing a wonderful job. We do appreciate everything. It does they look do. good every time we walk every in. Every single with time. It. Yeah. And we do literally none of it. And uh, that's hats off to those guys. So, really cool thing that's going on here on the um, this is the Versa Lounge. Okay. Okay. And basically, you know, I got to like get myself worked in here because this is a process to do. This guy is going to fold out. Okay, guys, first and foremost. So, you do have one bed here. You could fold this one down into a bed. Now you have two separate beds. All right, they call it a Versa Lounge for a reason because it is very versatile. You can do a bunch of different things with it. This back pops off. All right, guys, now you can see how big your store or how big your area is here, right? So let's just say we leave this off, we drop this one down, and we drop this bed down. Now we have a whole slide out full of you know sleeping areas, right? Well, let's just say you wanna swing this around and go chase lounge now instead of the other way, okay? So this would essentially sit like so. This part would come up. Wow. And now we have a chase lounge. You know, that is gonna switch around. But yeah. regardless, you get the picture. I mean, uh -huh. the Versa Lounge has been one of the coolest things that Rock or that Wildwood has done at this point. Um, we have storage under each and every part of the Versa Lounge. Really cool setup though, man. I'm out of breath at this point. I feel like I yeah, need to turn it over to good. you. Well, turn it over to me just so I can give a preview of what's coming up. We got a motor, uh, motor coach coming up here very Perfect. soon. Motor home coming up. Uh, got a lot of people asking for those. Yeah, yeah, they're cool. I mean, they're they're super cool. They're very cool. Super cool. I mean, I haven't seen anything that's not cool yet. But well, yeah, you say everyone we stepped in is super cool. So yes. <laughs> <laughs> but as we come around here, guys, bathroom on this side right here, kind of open the door for that's you guys. we were right back outside. I didn't look at the. That's I mean, that's a decent sized shower too. Correct. Yep, decent sized shower. And again, it's nice that this isn't just a half bath here. Because if you come in from being muddy all day, playing Correct. out, getting sand, you jump right in the shower. Correct. You don't have to walk through. Absolutely. To find a, and then, the bathroom um, that has the shower. This is going to be basically your back bunk room. Okay, so you're talking about this bunk does go up. Uh -huh. This couch does fold down. We do have storage up top here or another bunk if need be. Yep. And obviously you do have plenty of room here as well if you didn't want to put a blow-up mattress. Little TV for the kiddos back here and storage back here as well. Yep. So. Super cool, convenient on how it goes. Um, windows all across the back in case you do need to get out for whatever reason. Um, but we do want to make sure that you understand that you are safe um, as that goes. You know goes. what, that's something we haven't mentioned about, or mentioned in either month that we've done this. Uh-huh. Is it it's possible to get out of those windows if you need to get out of Absolutely. this thing? Okay. Absolutely. Yeah, that's something I didn't even think about that. Yeah, you so it uh, very, very simple and easy to get out of. Actually, the window pushes out completely. Okay. Um, and then at that point, the screen's a little ripcord pull screen. So. Gotcha. Uh, pretty cool in terms of how that works. Um, fireplace on this guy. We don't bring it in with the TV. A lot of people ask that. Um, this is obviously um, kind of all of the features that you can have on this particular camper, okay? That rock, that Wildwood throws in on every single one of their camper. This whole thing here fits up to a 55-inch TV. We already talked about the uh, Versa Lounge style. You can see how big those windows are. I mean, we don't have that beautiful scenery like these guys do over here, but nonetheless, um, you can see how big those windows are. Slide out awning preps. You'd have the AM, FM radio, inside, outside, Bluetooth, um, fireplace, you know, storage on both sides. Little cup that doesn't come with it, but nonetheless. <laughs> and then as we swing in here, guys, just showing the inside of here, we do have um, two. Uh, we do have two little um, spots where a lot of people put like the CPAP hey, Lane, machines. Let uh -huh. me interrupt you for a second. Yes, please go. First off, Kim wanted to know what your name was. I told her it was Lane, so now she knows. Uh, Thanks, Kim. A couple one 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 gal asked about the weight of this one. Okay. Do you know it off the top of your head? Off the top of my head, I don't. Um, okay, I want to. So we can figure that out though. If you call me after. Um, and who'd you say that was? That's Norma. And Norma. Norma. Norma also wants to know. Uh, how does Wildwood compare to Rockwood quality? Wildwood versus Rockwood quality, guys. Um, you're talking about solid surface versus pressed wood. Um, the quality comparison's not there, but the, the price point's not there either. We're not talking about the same price point. We're not talking about the same quality point, okay? Uh, it'd be like me trying to compare a Cadillac to a Pinto or, uh, you know, trying to compare a, a Tesla versus my little um, Chevy uh, uh, Cavalier that I used to drive when I was 16. I mean, cool. 
the, the, the two are just not comparable. They yeah. really aren't um, price point wise or either way. Anyone tries to compare them, um, you know, they, it's just a load of load of crap. There's no yeah. reason to listen to stuff like that. But um, just kind of a heads up on that one. But um, back to this one right here, guys. Um, we do have um, USB charging stations on both sides, and then like I said, um, the the CPAP holes. So that way, you know, people are you know are using CPAPs as they're camping. Obviously, they don't want to, you know, pass out or have any kind of injury while they're sleeping. So um, they do are able to go with the CPAPs, as well as storage up over top and storage up underneath the bed. Okay. Another cool thing that not a lot of people think about is the fact that Wildwood has the gas struts on this. Okay. Uh -huh. Most campers in their price point don't have these gas struts. Okay. Right? So when you're sitting here trying to pick the bed up, you got the whole weight of the bed. You don't have any of the gas struts trying to pick it up or anything like that. And then Wildwood comes. Yeah, these are nice. Storage. I mean, we have some of these in, in the closet at our house. These are just nice oh, to yeah. have. Yeah. Well, and the thing is, is, you know, when, you know, we, I'll show you out here. There's an extra storage compartments out here um, that not a lot of people think about. When it's time to go camping, the biggest, most stressful part about it, and I can, you know, call my wife or just call me and I'll tell you what my wife says. But regardless, she tells me all the time. The most stressful part about camping is the preparation. So uh -huh. um, this is as simple as it is with these guys. You take this bin, I'm handing it to my son and telling him, hey, your mom put all your clothes, all your tools, all your you know toys, shoes, everything on your bed, go throw them in here and bring them back out. Yeah. And as I'm going through the camper, loading up everything else, now I have all the rest of this, I throw it in here, I shut it up and I'm done. Yeah, now I'm packed and the kids are packed and I don't have to worry about who's got what, where's, where is what and who lost what, you know what I mean? Yeah. Uh, like I said, the biggest stressful thing about camping is the packing. Yeah. So yeah. if you can uh, help uh, make that go quicker, obviously that's a better yeah, scenario. That's actually a brilliant idea. Oh uh, yeah, well, like I said, so Wildwood is very good for the fact that they put a lot of things in a camper that is gonna keep the price point down, mm -hmm. but compared to everybody else, they don't have it. Okay, right. so basically um, to sum that up, in other words, uh, Comparing it to everything else, they take campers and options from high up and bring them back down to these guys. All right, residential sprayer, extra storage, fireplace, big TV, Versa lounge, large uh, refrigerator. I mean, I can go on and on yeah. standing inside this thing, but nonetheless, that kind of gives you an idea of what is cool about Wildwood and why they're so cool and what they do. What's the price on this one? Price point on this guy, you want to take a guess? I'm going to guess way high because I want to say I... <laughs> I know I'm wrong. I know it's going to be way lower than this, but I would say thirty-five thousand. Thirty-five. So basically, price is twenty-three two forty-seven. Wow. Competitors, you're pretty close. Uh, Forty thousand one twenty. So. Wow. You're close. You're close. Okay. And we'll you're talking about uh, what, what did that say here? Let's see. That's a sandpiper, which we're going into next. Two ten. Two ten. Two hundred ten dollars a month. Two ten. So that's great. Kind of cool to have that set up. Yeah. That does. That's very cool. I want to give something away. Cool. Here Sounds like a plan away. to me. And maybe you can help me with what I'm giving away because again, <laughs> uh, Tim's, uh, can, Tim can help me too. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, yeah, this is actually from one of our sponsors, Kurt. Uh, appreciate those guys throwing in some things. This is a really cool thing. It doesn't look like much, but what uh -huh. it is is uh, a brake controller, all in one package, Bluetooth. So you have this app. Uh -huh. You put your put your phone in your um, in your truck, and uh, you can control your brake on the trailer from that, which. Uh, I remember when I first uh, started figuring out trailers, and uh, I was always scared of the sway when the sway started. I remember a friend told me that they were going over a bridge, and all of a sudden their trailer started swaying, and by the time they came off the other end, they were praying. Pro yeah, <laughs> probably a little rattled. <laughs> um, yeah. But what I learned is that you can quickly stop that if you just uh, push that button or slide that uh, little lever, apply the brakes on the trailer real quickly. As soon as you start to feel the sway in the truck, hit that, the brakes stop straightens your str right out immediately okay. so the scare is gone and uh so that's what this does so we're giving it away yeah we're gonna give it away first caller um we have someone over there somebody's, the over, there somebody's yeah. over there right we'll now we'll find out who so, it is um yeah go ahead and ring the prize line unless people and, are calling uh, in you don't know all right i'm assuming they're calling in right now yeah they memorized so, the prize line didn't yeah. they yeah did they put is the the number i the number, the number number's at the bottom on the screen, screen. Yeah. number's on the screen i'm sure yeah, just call it yeah, yeah. If you're looking now, you probably missed just, out. Yeah, just start with zero 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 one, and then just zero. work your way up. You'll eventually, up. Get, You'll the eventually get there. Yeah. See if you can get a, a name for the prize. We're gonna yeah, we're gonna find out who the uh, winner is of the Kurt Break uh, Bluetooth Kim, Break. We have controller. a winner. Her name is Kim Green. Kim Green. Congratulations. Is Kim this? Is it the same Kim that we were talking to earlier? Ken. Uh, Ken. Ken Green. Ken. Ken. Ken, Ken Green. My bad. 
Yes, fair enough. Sorry, Good sorry, job, Ken. Ken. Sorry, Ken. It's not Ken, it's Ken. So, yeah. Anyways, uh, so, take it away. All right. Thank you very much, Thank you, Ken. Kurt. Yep. Um, we, uh, did you just say thank you, Kurt? I'm talking about the donor. <laughs> oh, talk, I thought you, oh, yeah, I yeah. Thought you were reading that and then... <laughs> <laughs> you know, did they just call me Kurt? Yes, thank you to all our sponsors. Absolutely. And, uh, yeah, we definitely making... couldn't. It couldn't be possible without you guys. Right. I mean, uh, all the advertising, all of the, you know, backup that we had to do here, you know, feeding everybody. Um, everybody on the back of, you know, been doing all this stuff for us, too. There's a lot it of It makes it really make easy happen. for us to come out here and show this camper because of everybody else behind the scenes who are making it happen. So huge shout out to those guys and our sponsors. Cool. Uh, let's get into this one. Yeah, absolutely. So Sandpiper, guys, um, when you, people are looking for uh, bang for their buck in a uh, motorhome, or not a motorhome, a fifth wheel, guys, this is where I go. Okay, so Sandpiper's got solid surface countertops, quality interior. Um, when you're talking about the you know furniture and things like that, everything's just quality, okay? But you don't have that high price point, okay? Yeah. Because they're just run, you know, I can't say run the mill basic because they're not, but when they um, they do quality on the inside, they don't necessarily need all that fluff stuff that you see in like the big horns and things like that. Mm -hmm. Sandpiper keeps their price down while having the quality that people are really interested in. Solid yeah. surface countertops and hardwood um, hardwood uh, counters and things like that too. You do have six point auto leveling under here. Um, again, you push the button, it levels itself. Um, I know everybody always asks to see the inside of the um, pass through storage right there. Locked. It's locked up, So, but big pass through storage on that one too. So no big deal there. Um, you do have two-door entry on this one. The entrance back here on the back is going to be directly across from the bathroom. So just like in the last trailer, we talked about how important that was. You do get it in here so as well. This is a hallway, basically. This is essentially the, a hallway, the yeah. Bathroom and the bathroom is going to okay. be back there. So we'll leave the door open so you can see what we're talking about once we get inside. Cool. Um, but outside kitchen here, got the sink. Everybody asks about it. Sink here. Um, we do have the microwave. Again, um, 3.2 cubic foot refrigerator and swing around bumper grill. So pretty much your standard outside, but again, not everybody has your microwave out here. And this is kind of important. A lot of people don't think about this, but when I'm out camping with my family, I, you know, I've got two, kid, two, two boys, 12 and seven, uh -huh. okay? And they're not necessarily campers yet, okay? Right, so right. they're working on it, but they're not necessarily there yet. They do like their mac and cheese, Easy uh -huh. Mac. Yeah. Believe it or not, they love ramen. It's great okay. for me, yeah. right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> or is that great for me? But that's why the microwave is so important, okay? So I don't have to go inside, cook microwave, come back outside. Hot dogs and mac and cheese is our camping specialty, yeah. okay? Um, and then obviously popcorn too, right outside, as we're looking under the sky. It really is nice. Like, like I said, when we Super stayed, nice. my wife and I stayed a couple weeks ago, we cooked on the, uh, the outdoor grill. Yeah. And, and it, was a it was awesome. Oh, yeah. It, it definitely awesome. is. A lot of people... Um, love outdoor kitchens or don't use them. It's either a love-hate relationship. Okay. okay. You either use them all the time or you don't use them at all. Yeah. You just got to figure out which one's going to be right for you. Right. All right. So let's go inside, though. Again, this is going to be a super cool floor plan. This is the front kitchen in the Sandpiper. Uh, we have had quite a few people ask about it. Where is it at? When's it coming? Uh, we are here now. There it is. To kind of go through things, okay? So I'm going to come up here and kind of start up top here and work our way around, okay? So... Man, I tell you what, these flowers follow on us, man. <laughs> they really are. These guys are great. Every every single person that's out here helping, it, it just blows my mind. I don't think we gave them enough credit last time, so making sure to throw it even more. Again, before we get started, guys, feel free to subscribe, like us on Facebook, like this video that we're doing, guys. We do it for you. We don't do it for us. Making sure you guys are still seeing all these campers because you can't get out. So let us help you show these campers around, okay? First impressions, though, man. What do you? What do you, I mean? What are you thinking? The most counter space I've seen in a in an RV yet. Yeah. So in terms of front kitchens, guys, there are a few different ones out there. Right? Cameo's got a front kitchen. Sandpiper's got a front kitchen. Uh, Bighorn has a front kitchen. Columbus has a front kitchen. All of these places that people that we sell uh -huh. all have front kitchens. Yeah. But this one by far has the most counter space on the inside of it. Um, we do have the big refrigerator here. I'll kind of open this up so everybody I mean, can kind of see. I mean, that legitimately is bigger than my home refrigerator. Yeah, that's... But we're in a camper, guys. We're in a camper. Mm -hmm. I do have to remind myself that sometimes. Right. So we are <laughs> in a camper. <laughs> um, but then also, um, we do have a pantry onto the side. And you can see how deep that pantry is. I mean... Oh, wow. I just touched the bag. Jeez. All right. Yeah. So huge, deep pantry throughout here. Like I said. And so basically, with it being so deep... Um, and different um, holes and cubbies and things like that. 
we have plenty of storage up here too, okay? The reason that people change campers and trade off campers and things so quickly is because they buy too small or they don't have enough storage or anything like that. So buy what you need at the time, but questions? Yeah. Yep, Jennifer would like to know what is the weight on this fifth wheel? And I'm going to address, we had a question, Rebecca wants to know what's the difference if we buy from Ohio or Texas? Perfect. We live in New Mexico, so Texas is a little bit closer. Uh, it's a little more expensive to buy in Texas just because of the shipping, but it's still mm -hmm. way cheaper than any dealer in Texas would be. Um, right. And, of course, you can get service at our Texas location, or we can send you to one of our partners down there to get service. But, uh, again, a little bit cheaper in Ohio uh, just because it's a little more of a delivery fee to Texas. And then one last one I want to hit real quick while you're looking for that weight. Somebody asked, do you carry Jayco? We do not, and, you know, we've hit this a few times a day. Uh, definitely. Uh, but Jayco is a, another uh, company that was purchased. Uh, the company that purchased them is, is trying to make that $60 million back, and they're doing it quite quickly. Uh, so there's been a little slip in quality. And also Jayco, does, again, is a company that does not like to um, do business with dealers that sell affordably. Yeah. Uh, we're, just, we're, not a, we're not a fan favorite of other dealers. <laughs> Yeah. We, we sell too affordably, and our service is too good, so it kind of causes some issues. Yeah, yeah. Well, it sets a standard, you know, and no one exactly. else can hit that standard. Mm -hmm. You know, you have nothing to do but break them down. So right. that's why we have everybody gunning for us, trying to do what they can to tear us down. But, you know, we're... Well, we, we saw, we, after we did our first uh, virtual RV show, we saw three others pop up. Oh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> it was yeah. the craziest thing in the world. But uh, they, didn't have, they, they didn't have us, they didn't have David, and they didn't have uh, Trailer <laughs> Swift. Okay, do you have that weight for her real <laughs> of quick? Of course I do, absolutely. So you're looking at 12,764 pounds. I'm almost guaranteeing the next question is going to be, what kind of truck do we need to pull that if you don't already have it? Um, I would go three-quarter ton diesel, one ton gas, one ton diesel, um, all single axle, um, single wheel drive in the back. So if you want to go dually and you just have to do it I'm like, great i mean i'm gonna tell you not to but at that point i'm thinking overkill but you can do what you want at that point be safe um, yeah. in that style but um, again up top here um, we do have uh, another cool little feature here is going to be the little bit of a dinette okay so uh -huh. we don't have dinettes in this camper okay okay in the front kitchen there's not gonna be any dinettes because where's it gonna go right most dinettes would go right there mm -hmm. but now we just took out all that cabinet space I mean, you can look at all this counter space. This is the Chef Collection, um, you know, huge oven on the bottom side, too. I mean, that's a, you know, a standard oven down there. I mean, yeah. all these other ovens we're looking at are really small. Residential style um, set up here. But this is essentially how the dinette's going to be going, okay? You okay. have two chairs looking out over it. Let's be real, though. Most people have gone away from the sitting at a dining room table and eating. I mean, me and my family, we do it like once a week. Yeah. You know, yeah. that's because on Sundays we do sit each other down and say we need to do right. it, right? <laughs> that's just a tradition that we've started though, right? Uh -huh. And so, um, but that being said, um, we do go down here and this is essentially the entertainment area. So 47 inch fireplace going across the bottom, okay? What's that mean? Absolutely nothing. A lot of pretty lights, okay? That's all that means. <laughs> <laughs> um, but you do have Thomas Payne furniture on the inside. When I was talking about quality without like all of the, you know, fluff stuff, I call uh -huh. it, um, that's kind of what you're seeing, you know, on um, Bighorn, you have like up top here, guys, where you see like the spacer, right? Mm -hmm. This is just one solid piece of wood, right? It's not like got any kind of cool little gravings on it or anything like that, but that's where you all of this some... money's coming okay. from, you know what I mean? Up top here, I mean, this isn't, you know, smoothed off or anything like that or, you know, a fancy little decorative, you know, design on it. But that's where the money savings coming from, not because quality on the inside, but because of fluff stuff. Yeah. Right. Okay. You know, Columbus does this great thing where they put this big old globe that's been carved out of wood here. Super cool. Uh huh. They're also charging like five grand for it. Right. No, I'm kidding. But <laughs> they are charging you a lot uh -huh. for it. Um, just all the things that they do in general, from going to Sandpiper up to Columbus. So, just kind of a cool thing here. Both sides of these guys are gonna fold out into full queen size beds. So if you ever do have anyone that comes with you, yes, these are not inviting. This is hey. Come stay yeah. with me. Yeah. <laughs> but at the same time, if you did Nobody get in the situation. Nobody has they break down. Exactly. So if families are watching this and things like that, these don't do anything. They stay where they are. <laughs> <laughs> Here's our hallway. There's our hallway, guys. So we already talked about how the outside was back here. This is going to be the direct entrance into the bathroom there. I'll jump in here. Another decent size. Yeah. And you are going to see the washer and dryer in there, too. Yeah. So getting into right here. Oh, it slides. There you go. Washer and dryer hook up down here. 
Another decent sized shower too. Correct. Yeah, so the shower inside this, you do have a two piece shower um, with a little seat on the bottom. But the cool oh, thing is it. on the back side of this lip here, guys, it actually does come up the back side a little bit. So that way when water's running over it, you don't have any kind of like spills on the back side, okay? That's good. Um, and then uh, you do have your Curio uh, medicine cabinet in there. Um, but going into the uh, bedroom here, guys, um, this one right here is gonna be a two AC unit. Okay, we have AC up front here and an AC in there. This one's not gonna be ducted. That one in there will be ducted. Um, that's where essentially the ducts are running through um, the whole side of the camper. But this one right here just dumps right here. Okay, right here. so okay. Um, this is where everybody's sleeping at. You know, I personally like it colder in my, yep. you know, in my yep. house. But um, open this up, and we got like this alien-looking thing in here. Uh -huh. um, King Wi-Fi extender. That's what everybody talks about when they buy a sandpiper. People that are doing this in other campers, we're talking like hundred thousand dollars for that camper. Wow. But this one, obviously, we're not talking that. I wish I memorized these prices like <laughs> I do these campers, but 52727 price point, competitors 85, 840, monthly payments 405. I had to do a double check on yeah. that one. Wow. I saw 405 and I had to double check. <laughs> Was that a discount double check? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yep. Um, but on the inside here, guys, um, you are going to see, like I said, storage, 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 TV on the in the bedroom. I, I know a lot of people that use this for um, full time living. Okay. okay. And the reason I say that is because not because the manufacturers watching or the banks are watching or anything like that, because if anybody asks, I'll deny it. Right. Yeah. Even though it's happening live, I don't, I'll still <laughs> deny it. Um, but basically what happens is, you know, people get paid a per diem to find places to live. Uh -huh. They'll go on a three month contract and go to place to place to place. And then at that point, once they get to said places, then that's when per diem gets kicked in and they just use that to pay their monthly payment on their campers. Wow. So if my per diem for living living is a thousand dollars a month, this is four hundred five. Uh -huh. I'm putting six hundred dollars in my pocket every day, yeah, or every month, or I'm paying the camper off early. So kind of a cool setup on how things work. That's why we do a lot of traveling nurses, pipeliners, um, electricians, people that work on solar, you know, all that good stuff. So cool little setup, and I know a lot of people are looking at this sandpiper. Yeah, this is this is nice. And so these both, I mean, this is a little slide. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So basically, both of these guys are both coming in. The reason why this one's so small, though, is because that's the outside kitchen behind us. Oh, that's right. That's so right. So yeah. you got to figure out what are they going to hide that behind. And yeah. basically, they're hiding it behind um, the entertainment center in the bedroom. Yeah. I totally forgot. I thought it kind of looked weird on the outside. It's just a little <laughs> bit, bit stick. Yeah, yeah, that's how it works. Yeah. That's great. Uh, yeah. Anything, anything else? I'm, I'm not sure exactly what we're doing next. Uh, we're going right into the next one? Okay. Perfect, perfect, perfect. And then after this one, we've got a motor home coming up. Hey, Josh, up. you coming, bud? Is it this one here? Josh jumping in? Do that like tag team style? Yeah. Yes, All right. Sir. Dave, you're stuck with me again. All right, sounds good to me. Yes, sir. What is this called, a vibe? We are looking at the Vibe and uh, the model on this one, 34BH, going to have the bunkhouse in this one. So yeah. um, uh, we may as well take a look at the outside kitchen real quick yeah, while we're out here. Is that two refrigerators? Uh, it appears so. Yeah. That's a first for me too, Dave. So, <laughs> <laughs> so Yes, sir. Two refrigerators. Uh, well, you got the grill on the back there. Uh -huh. Yep, awesome. So that'll swing out. Yeah, well, you guys can cook everything, keep the greases and the smoke off the unit. Uh, television, obviously. So this is kind of like an entertainment and an outside kitchen. Yeah. So especially with underneath the uh, the door here, be able to uh, get out of the rain and stuff. Um, they're starting to do these spray ports too. Uh, you might be wondering where the sink is. These are real nice because it's a lot higher pressure than, than okay. what the sink faucet would be. And it has a, a retractable hose on it. So that way you can uh, not get everything wet in there. So. Gotcha. <laughs> but yes, sir. You guys want to see the inside? Let's go. After you, sir. Thank you, sir. All right. Anything stick out to you in here you'd like to talk about, Dave? So the first thing I saw were that I haven't seen two doors like this. Okay, okay. Now, side uh, by side. Let's see what's behind door number one here before I say anything. We just got a big old pantry okay. right here. So, that makes sense. Yep. Uh, usually, I mean, uh, obviously, usually drawers and stuff like that, but must give you a little bit more walking room on this. So uh -huh. plenty of storage here, guys. Um, uh, fully electric refrigerator. You're starting to see this style come off a little bit more uh, frequently in the RVs now. So fridge and your and your freezer there. 
Um, I like these two. A little, uh, so it kind of, you know, ties into each other, but you got your oven. Uh-huh. And then you got a Is little... A uh, drawer down there? Yeah. Okay. Keep all your pots and pans down there, right? Just didn't want you to think it was a double... They, they yeah. uh, threw a curveball at us on the double fridge, so... Right. Yeah, but now just storage <laughs> down there. We don't have two, uh, two uh, stoves in this one, so... Um, but yeah, let's check so, out the back room here. Oh, so there's a bunk room. Yeah, was, got the bunk, a bunk house. house. Yeah. These are cool here, the uh, cube sofa. So uh, obviously a sleeping arrangement, but somewhere to hang out too if it's raining. Mm -hmm. These uh, these flip up here. They lock into place oh, yeah. on you right here. There you go. So now it's a place for them to hang out while it's uh, either raining or at nighttime, you right. know. So, but still plenty of sleeping arrangements, room for a, a cot or a blow up mattress if needed. So. Pretty cool there. Um, plenty of storage here. Storage more. So and then uh, under you, this is the kitchen. The right? kitchen. Yeah. Yep. They use the dead space, if you will, for the uh, the huge kitchen. And I was wondering where the TV goes. Looks like it's going to be mounted somewhere up here. Yeah. You got all your connections right there. So um, and it's braced for a second air conditioner too. So is that what that is? Yep. If you needed to put one there, that's where it would go. So cool. Yes, sir. Yeah. All right. Let's take a look on the outside here, or what? Well, not the outside, but I like the, the pattern uh, living on room. the. Uh, I like that. Yeah. Uh, this will fold down into a sleeping arrangement. Uh, the the bed will obviously fold out. Put as big of a TV as you want on the on the wall behind you there. So yeah, lots of room for yes, a big sir. old TV. A big TV big enough that your neighbors can watch. Right. Yeah. <laughs> well, and you yeah, right. I mean, you kind of see uh, vibe as as uh, you know, kind of copying what Wildwood did with their Vista windows is uh -huh. what they're calling it. So a lot of room. You don't see your uh, your framing inside of the windows, so it yeah. doesn't protrude the view. And uh, my my favorite here, these blackout curtains. So. Uh, during the evening time, no one's going to be able to, now they can't watch the TV, right, so right. you can keep the game score to yourself instead of letting <laughs> everyone else see it, so, but yes, sir, so, yeah. uh, what, what, would you like to take a look at the, uh, yeah, the bathroom and the bedroom here? here? See what's going on? It's a new bathroom door, yeah. I haven't seen this bathroom bathroom or the I'm, shower door yeah i'm pretty fond of that it's pretty cool i've heard a yeah. lot of really good reviews on it um i've only heard a, a handful of customers have issues with their shower doors when uh when they're traveling but this uh -huh. definitely kind of eliminates the uh uh you know idea of it breaking or anything like that so yeah that's and, it, and it's kind of a little bit more privacy too they got a little pattern on there so yeah i kind of dig that yeah. you got lift well, up there you're gonna oh have he's to... stuck now you're going to have to take the rest there, of the show for me. I'm never coming out. There it goes. Here we go. It's going to be smart than the door. Yeah, this is, I really like that shower. Yeah. Shower curtain. Or shower door, shower curtain. Yeah. Uh, I like this feature too. So we're going to sardine in here though, but uh, plenty of walking room around the bedroom, right? Uh -huh. uh, so they, they definitely didn't skimp out on length here. So plenty of walking room. Um, you'll see some storage underneath here. They even give you totes and some other uh, cubbies there for stuff. Yep. Uh, and then here is the kicker for you, sir. This closet, I don't know if you can, we'll, we'll fit us all three in here, but this closet right here, typically you only have what right. you see, you know, um, as far as on the side of the bed. They, they uh, decided to fit us in an actual closet in here. So closet. I know the couples are going to love that. Leave your kids' stuff in the back and all your stuff can come in here. And yes, sir. Yeah. Perfect. These are nice. Yeah. What? Did, the door opened here. Oh, it's a little different there. Yeah. yeah. Okay. You gonna, I, you're going to lock us in here next. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, that's that's actually kind of brilliant the way that door opens. Yeah. It, I feel gonna, like it saves some room and makes it easier. To, yeah. For sure. That's good. Well, we better check just to make sure there's no questions on this one. And yeah. then uh, I think we're going to go over to a Class A motorhome next. Uh, yeah, know, they, they talked about that. I I'm know sure a lot of going, people have been wait, looking forward to that. So I don't know if we're going go. straight to that. Have we got something else beforehand? Yeah, yeah. But we'll we'll, we'll figure it out. Uh, I don't see David's over here chilling, so we must They're not hanging have any out, aren't they? <laughs> right on, yeah. Right off the bat. I know, let, me, let me check something Go real ahead. Fast. Go ahead. Um, this is. Uh, so here's what we're going to do. Come with me. We're going to try and get is it Angie yeah. on camera. Just while we're figuring out what's next. We don't know what's next. Yeah. Uh, can we talk to you ladies about something? We just want to know, like, if you're having a good time today, hanging out while we're doing the uh, the RV virtual, the virtual RV show. Yes. And earlier, you told me I might not.
on camera again. Yeah, but uh, but we did. Hey, do you know how? Let me ask you a question. Do you know how to? I know it's gonna be. You have to talk loud in this. Do you know how to measure the height? The best way to measure the height of an RV? No. Okay. Watch this video. You'll find out. Okay. Okay. All right, guys, hanging out with my buddy Ollie. You want to say hi? Hi. We're talking about how important it is to know the height of your RV. So look at our RV over there. How many feet high do you think that RV is? Very high. But how many feet? How many feet high? Four feet. About four feet high? Yeah, give or take. You don't really understand height, do you? Mm -mm. Didn't think so. So why do you think it's important, Ollie, to know the height of your RV? Because. Because why? Um. Do you even know anything about RVs? No. Huh. I may have picked the wrong co-host. You're really not much help, I'll be honest with you. All right, so here I am on top of the roof, and uh, it's a little scary up here, but it's the only place I can get away from Ollie to try and tell you exactly what I need to do. Um, what I'm gonna do, no, oh, good grief. No, Ollie, get, get down. What, are you crazy? Something I just found out about RVs, there are a lot of places in there where you can put a small child that's driving you crazy. Get on top of your RV and extend a two before straight out from the side like that, and then measure from the two before down to the ground, and that's how you get your exact height. Now, you'll also want to add in on the top anything like um, the satellite dish or your air conditioner or whatever else is up there. Make sure you add that in there and maybe actually throw in another couple inches or so because your tires can expand. After you get the height of what your vehicle actually is, make sure you write it down somewhere where it's easy to remember, like on the inside, maybe on the inside of your window here so that you can see it because you may be traveling down the freeway thinking, oh, I'm fine, my RV is 12 foot three inches high when it's actually 13 foot two inches and you just switched them up in your head and now you go under a bridge, it's too low and you got yourself a convertible RV. Nobody wants that. That is actually a pretty cool idea though, a convertible RV. I, I call rights to that. So again, make sure you get the right measurement of your RV and write them down and keep them somewhere where you can see them quickly. You can even write them down on the inside of your bill. It doesn't even matter. Another motor home. Yeah. Yeah. Before we do that, we're gonna put the the uh, number for the flash sale up on the screen. A lot of people have lost that number. It's on the should be on the screen right now. That's the number you call if you want to buy the chairs for 55 bucks. The Taylor the Trailer Swift shirts are 25 bucks. This is all uh, shipping and handling included. Mm -hmm. What else? The the palm trees. The five foot is ninety dollars. The seven foot is one thirty five. We've got a couple other things that we're doing flash sales on. But those will last until, as far as I know, those will last until people get through. We don't want to leave, cut anybody short. Um, is there something else? I think that might be it. That might be what we're talking about now. Mm -hmm. Let's talk about this motor coach. Oh, I know what I want to ask. I want, I want people commenting. Yeah, so while we're doing this, comment, because I meant to ask earlier when we showed Hank. Have you met Hank? The, the yes, dog? I have. The dog's crazy. The dog is <laughs> awesome. Anyways, uh, what pets do you travel with? Let us know. Give us the name of your pet, uh, what kind of pet. I'm looking for, I, I kind of like to find the craziest pet that somebody travels with. We talked sure. to, uh, I believe it was Eric earlier that said he's got a customer that uses his toy hauler as an aviary. 
Oh, really? In the back, so he's got all his parrots. I, right I, I had a customer pick up from me two years ago. He had a little pig in the back. Really? Yep. I want I want a pig, and my yep. wife won't let me have a pig. <laughs> I really want a pig. She's afraid I'll get a little pig like this right. before we know it. It's Yeah, which would still be cool. Imagine riding that from right. room to room in your house. <laughs> all right, let's talk about the motor coach. Well, guys, behind us is a 2021 Windsport 29M. Uh, we'll get to the inside here in just a second. I know a lot of people have been really... Looking forward to the motorhomes, a lot of, lot of yeah. motorhome prospectives out there. So uh, we want to kind of go through this one a little bit more thoroughly. There's a lot more features than what we've uh, been showing you. So, um, I, I mean, just kind of start off. Most of it you can see, you know, storage everywhere. Uh, these come with generators, obviously. Most motorhomes do as a standard. Um, we have the uh, dual pane windows on here in case you do go to colder or hotter climates. That's going to help with the insulation a little bit. Um, outside Entertainment Center, they, they've opened up this for us. I believe there's just storage under here behind you. This stays here. This isn't one that you bring from the outside right no this one just stays in here yep so uh sound bar and everything um you got the water heater you got the outside kitchen on this model that's uh uh here and there it's not it's not necessarily something you'll find on every motorhome is the outside kitchen so it's pretty cool that this one has one um all, all fiberglass and everything guys even the cat back here um these are, are rated to tow quite a bit of weight behind them. So uh, cars, smaller uh, trailers, anything like that to get to where you're going, be able to take all of your stuff with you. So uh, full full rear fiberglass cap. Uh, come with a backup camera or an observation camera, I should say, as uh -huh. a standard, which is cool. Uh, you got the generator tailpipe here and everything. So, uh, But yeah, a couple slide outs on this one. We already have the slide outs covered with the awnings, okay? So basically if you're parked underneath trees, any debris, anything like that, uh, it's going to sit on top of the awning and it's going to fall to the ground ground once it's off okay uh, a lot of people they I mean they wouldn't camp without them uh, for those of you that don't know what they are give us a call we'd love to explain those and why you need them uh, just to keep these seals you know alive and protected you don't want to go cutting into one of those because that's going to be a very uh, extensive repair so um, but uh, let's see if there's anything else worth mentioning around here sir there's water heater we may as well show them a picture of the front right yeah while we're here yes sir you got the uh, Ford V10 uh, uh, drivetrain and everything on this one. Huge window, plenty of uh, of um, vision on the road there. So I like those uh, those headlights. Yeah, pretty it's, cool, right? Yeah, it's pretty sweet. Well, I think we made them wait long enough. You want to yeah, see the inside? Yeah, let's go inside. You made right. me wait long enough. Let's do it. <laughs> you guys see the step here folds out on all its own. Oh, nice and cool in here, Dave. <laughs> yeah. Ooh, he warned us it's warm in here. <laughs> so, guys, uh, uh, shot of the cockpit. Um, yeah, sorry, Drew, uh, but shot of the cockpit, you do see that this folds down into a bed. It's on an electric, uh, uh, you know, drop-down system. So this will be a sleeping arrangement. We only have it halfway down right now just to show you that it's there. Um, but, uh, you know, once everything's in the upward position, a lot more headroom, of course, a lot more of a, a cockpit there to sit in and enjoy the trip. Still got all the plastic on the chairs and stuff. That'll come off when you buy it. But um, fold-out sofa, um, all of you know. Again, cabinetry everywhere. Solid surface countertops. Uh, these tables are pretty cool. This is a you, you've seen the one like in the Vibe where you remove the table, uh -huh. remove the legs. Uh, this thing you just you just kind of push a lever and it folds down. Oh wow! And now it makes a bed. So it's just a lot easier yeah. to to uh, make a, a sleeping arrangement there. So. Uh, television, you can control everything here with this little uh, convenient panel. Okay. Um, and whenever you get around here to this, take a look at that. So um, you just be able to control all of your systems and um, you know just just everything basically all right here at the touch of a button, which is pretty cool. You can wow, even start your nice. generator there if you wanted to. So yeah, that's impressive. Uh, really nice bath. You want to get in this bathroom too? Yeah, why not? <laughs> You've been trying out all the showers right. here. It's another. It's another uh, different. I'm not gonna shut all the way because I'll never get out again. <laughs> again, I these are—I mean, it's not like you're in a—you're in a—you're in an RV or you're in a motor home. So they—the although obviously it's smaller than the shower at home, it still—it still feels roomy enough oh, yeah. to do what you need to do. Yeah. And I always—I always tell people, I mean. How often do you take a shower? You know, a lot of people don't like the little corner showers. Well, still, if that if that floor plan is what you love, you might have to have those little yeah, yeah. Uh, inconveniences. But re, you know, you're in there 15 minutes a day. It's nothing right. crazy, right? right. So, um, but yeah, uh, so uh, gas electric refrigerator on this one, same stove that you've been seeing. Uh, Furion's pretty much taken over the uh, appliance industry. I feel like that's you know? the only name I've seen. They're, they've they've really made a, a name for themselves okay. the last couple of years. Furion, they do the backup cameras, the stoves, uh, a whole lot of appliance, even the microwave waves nowadays they're gotcha. doing doing a lot of the appliances so um i tell you what why don't we trade spots okay. i can let you guys see the bedroom real quick 
So it is on the uh, slide out, okay? So you're gonna have a little bit more room there, but um, you guys are gonna have the outside kitchen on the other side here, but uh, USB chargers, plenty of storage space for you. Hell, there, there's USB chargers on every wall I look at, actually, so. There's another table in here. Right. <laughs> Where I think, does that I go? I think that would be, uh, it go, it's gonna go right in the center. You oh, see, I the, see yeah, right I see in the, between yeah. the driver and the passenger okay. seat. So if you wanted to toss your cell phones or whatever on there, you'd be able to have that for you, so. Yeah. Yeah, these are still kind of in transit mode, so when, you know, they come to us from the factory, since we're kind of a touch-and-go dealership, not all the time can we get everything out and set it up properly, but it gives you the idea. Everything's going to come with it that you've seen on the showroom floor somewhere else that's cool. uh, asking $20,000 more for this thing. So, right, right. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> but, yeah, televisions everywhere, storage everywhere. Um, Looks like there's storage even behind this television. Uh, it most likely pops think, yeah. up. Yeah, that's kind of cool, isn't it? Yeah, that's a decent amount of storage back there. <laughs> I just happened to notice because I, I could see the, I the, the hinges, hinges up, up there. there. Yeah. 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 What do we got? We got two air conditioners on here, a couple fans in the bathroom and in the kitchen. So it's going to have everything you guys want and need. Um, uh, let's make sure there's no questions, obviously. Yeah, uh, we'll maybe step even just, and see just if yeah, send any questions. Maybe give the folks another little view. I know a lot of people have been waiting to see the motorhomes here. so. Yeah. They're nice. live like a rock star right yeah. inside of these <laughs> like the uh, brett michaels tour bus that's right that's right <laughs> i don't see uh i don't see david so i may not have questions right now how much did you know how much this is uh it will say on the bottom of the screen okay. uh, i do believe it's just a tad above 100 but okay. it should say right there on the screen uh, and guys with the sale price today uh even though it says they're at the bottom what we're selling this for we're still uh, they're you know, every hour Dave comes in there and he says, "Hey, uh, offer an additional uh, so and so on this product." We're, I mean, we're just, just, just call us. If we're close, just call us. We're not going to lose a deal over a couple bucks. So, cool. uh, if you guys are even remotely interested in this thing, give us a call. We'll get you taken care of. We'll give you the best price. So, people are buying because they're ready to get back into things. Well, sure. Campgrounds are opening. I had a chance to ask the guys in Trailer Swift, "What are you looking forward to now that things are starting to open back up?" And here's what they had to say. <laughs> Now that things are getting slowly getting back to normal, what are you most looking forward to getting back to? Here's my answer. Yeah, I mean, unfortunately, uh, most of the big tours have been called off for 2020. Um, Live Nation, who uh, with Low Cash, we do most of our booking through in uh, arenas and outdoor sheds and stuff like that, um, amphitheaters. Uh, those are done. They're not going to happen this year. That's that's a bummer. Um, but things are starting to open back up and do some creative ways of doing things. And maybe we can get some help from URV folks out there uh, to be creative as well. For example, Keith Urban just did a, a local show here at a drive-in movie theater and uh, they put the stage right under and the movie screen was like the big backdrop screen that you'd see if you went to an amphitheater or arena uh, kind of thing and performed right on the stage people drove their cars in their cars were six feet apart uh, which wasn't too different um, brought the sound in and they, they had a full-on concert um, I think it'd be really awesome to get these RV parks to maybe take an open field uh, let's bring a stage and a sound out there and everybody just bring their RVs or tents or whatever and, uh, and figure out how to, to do, do some creative things and, uh, and show these big companies that we love your amphitheaters. We love, we love your arenas, but uh, we love live music even more. We're going to figure out a way to get it done. Uh, here in Nashville right now, as far as like downtown Nashville, uh, we're, we're in what's called phase two. And um, basically that means uh, for musicians and live performances, you can you can have two people on stage, uh, nobody on a dance floor, and people have to stay 15 feet away from the band members. I guess we have, you know, more potentials of, you know, being, I don't know, it's six feet apart for everybody else. Why, why 15 feet away from musicians? I don't get it. But anyway, maybe you can answer that question. No, don't answer that question. 
Um, but you know, uh, what am I looking most forward to? It, it's the energy. Uh, that is one of the reasons I think any musician gets into it and pours their passion into it, uh, sacrifices, you know, everything that they, that they do to do this for a living is that there's just an energy and an exchange that really doesn't happen anywhere else. Uh, on stage, there's an energy and exchange between the musicians and between you and the crowd, there is, a, a, you know, when that crowd roars and, and they sing back the words to your songs and that sort of thing, um, uh, it, it, there's an exchange and an energy that is, it's people. It's people. And, and it's the reality of, of souls speaking to souls and you know it's it's kind of maybe cheesy to say but you know obviously people have heard music is a universal language and i think that it is because you don't you don't have to even understand the words to be able to understand what music creates and brings to an environment and uh man i i, I know that everybody myself included probably enjoyed the uh the covid eating and um and you know so there's lots of different ways to to celebrate and everything and and be fed whether it's physically or or through the internet and like things like this and all of that but we're not getting our our uh, our togetherness feeding that we're used to getting and i think that's you know one of the things that live music events do is um the 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 crowd you're around you know let's say you're around 15 20 thousand people or whatever um and you, you just can't get that everywhere and people go home and remember experiences yes we hope they remember the songs or the performance but i think more than anything uh the people on stage and the people out in the crowd remember the experience of that night and it carries on and uh as a musician one of the things i think that we're extremely blessed to be able to do when you do touring as a living is you're really um we're getting to live that 180 200 nights a year of that blessing of having 180 to 200 experiences a year of feeling what music does and and i miss that i do and uh and i think people who go to shows as fans miss that even though they may only have a couple concerts a year that they go to i think they're really gonna be back into things and loving uh live shows more than ever once they return
my name is Mitch Eilerman. Uh, Dave actually had to go get some food, so I'm gonna actually run through today a Nomad. Uh, the model's a 28 NQB. Um, first thing I wanna start with is front. What you'll notice, this is a lot different than what you're gonna see on your traditional toy haulers. Um, big thing is, uh, this is all aluminum, okay? This is more like a car hauler um, for those bigger side-by-sides. Uh, it's got an eight, eight inch beam versus a six inch beam. So it's gonna be a lot beefier. It's gonna hold a lot more. Um, it's more for your serious guys that are trying to get off road and everything too. So um, you'll notice you can get this. This has a, a silver with a black two tone. You can get this in a bunch of different colors. We'll go through that. If there's certain colors you want that this doesn't have, we can always order one exactly how you want it. Um, notice that it's got a power awning. It does have a, with an LED awning light strip, outside speakers. Um, let's go to the back and we'll show them how beefy the door is here. Lugs, you've got eight lugs versus six on a lot of them. Keep moving back here. Okay, so you've got a lot bigger height, okay? Um, with, with Nomad, they are specifically for you know, cars, side-by-sides, bigger vehicles. Uh, that's why they're so much more beefier. They're really nice to use. They've already got the big ramp door with the flip-down gate. We'll come up on in it. You notice you've already got the tie-downs uh, that where, where you can put a different attachments is already on here. So you've got tie-downs and, and the straps all the way through for tying things down. Um, they do a nice bunk above. I'm 6'5", and I still have clearance with this bed above me. So, and then this bed can always come out uh, to give you a full, bigger height if you need that, the extra height there as well. Um, you've got two sofas here, uh, which sit side by side. Uh, basically, you'll have a TV come with the unit, sits above. These sofas are nice to sit around and hang out. Um, and then the sofas will come together for a bed too. So you, essentially you've got a bed, top queen bed that'll sleep too, this will sleep too. And then as we move front, this will have a separate bedroom um, where you can also uh, sleep another two people in a separate room as well. So um, they do a microwave. So you've got a microwave down below. They do a, a lot of cool as far as their storage. These are all beefier too. This is all aluminum inside. Nice storage, nice little flip locks. So more, more of your traditional cargo, a lot different than anything else that we have on the lot. Actually, this is the only thing that we have like this on the lot. So um, they've got a cooktop right here, two burner cooktop. They do a one, one uh, big single bowl stainless steel sink with the residential sprayer. More storage all over. Gas and electric refrigerator does have a top top freezer, top fridge or bottom refrigerator. Keep moving back a little bit here. They do a, a lot of storage all the way through, so you can see that you've got it all all down below there and everything else. Notice the decking on the uh, flooring. It's all like you can spray it down with water. It's like a tough decking type of material. It's not going to be the cheaper linoleum that can rip and stuff. This is all made for to be pulling stuff on, dragging stuff in, um, so you're not ripping up your linoleum as well. Move on back here. We've got a separate shower and toilet inside, so it's got its own separate bathroom with with the accordion door that'll come come across to close up, and then you'll come in here and you'll have your full full bedroom. Okay, this is what I was talking about. The way they use the V front, it utilizes the whole space where most units are square fronts. This has got a V front, so you got a lot more space. You get basically gaining about two and a half foot of space. So that allows them to get the extra room in here. You've got a sink, you've got your uh, mirror, more storage underneath, more storage up top, and then full storage on this back side as well. And it does have AC, does have furnace. They do solid steps coming in and out on the unit. And the biggest, biggest thing, I, what I tell everybody and I take from, from Nomad in particular is just the construction. You know, if you want something that's gonna be, if you're gonna do a lot of off-road stuff, this is, this is a good option to have. If you've got, you know, side-by-sides or even cars and stuff like that, this is a good option to have because you can utilize everything throughout. So. 
Um, there are a lot of different options and combinations that you get. That's one thing unique about Nomad and what, that we like about them so much is it allows you to be flexible. Maybe you didn't want a bed here. Maybe you didn't want sofas here. They can do a lot of things that the, your other manufacturers aren't allowing you to do. It's pretty much, here's how we build them. That's the only way you can get it. They have a lot of flexibility on this product line. So let's, uh, let's go swing back outside real quick. I'll show you a couple more quick things on the outside and then uh, we'll be good to go. Coming back over here, you know, again, I wanted to point out they use a thicker gauge aluminum siding too than what a lot of your manufacturers are gonna do out there. Um, I don't know how much they went over the Buckeye service guarantee today, though um, that's one big thing. We got a couple things. We got our Buckeye service guarantee for our Ohio customers, and then we also have our nationwide service and warranty for, for everybody across the United States. Um, Buckeye service guarantee, um, basically you get free delivery in the state of Ohio for Ohio customers. Um, you got a three-day RV exchange, so you've got you know three days. You absolutely hate the unit. Uh, you can return it and switch it out into something different. And then also um, we do uh, free, free Ohio delivery. And then and last thing we do is um, free loaner RV. So if you've got a major, a major problem with the unit and let's say um, it's got to go into the shop or it's got to go back to the manufacturer, you're not going to have it for a long period of time, we'll give you a free loaner RV so that you're not missing trips and not missing half your camping season. So. Um, what we're going to do next is uh, we're going to break. They're going to do a quick video for you guys on service and warranty stuff. And then um, after that, we'll come back and I'm going to take you through a Winnebago. Thank you. So here at RV Wholesalers, there's uh, after you buy an RV, there's what they call the PDI, and that's the pre-delivery inspection. It's over a hundred point inspection where they, they look at your, uh, with an iPad, they look at your RV, they, they tour it, they make sure everything's running fine because a lot of times when you get it directly from uh, a dealership, there might be something that just needs tweaked, no big deal, but needs tweaked and, and they take care, of it, take care of it for you before you get the RV. Uh, so this weekend, I'm actually staying in an RV that's a brand new one, and there were a couple small issues, and I had to call these guys right here. And they came out and fixed the problem for me. Uh, turns out it wasn't the RV's problem, it was this idiot's problem. Uh, but they were right there taking care of things, and man, they are good. They are good. So you're in good hands when you buy from RV wholesalers. So I really did have a great time camping. My wife absolutely loved it. It's funny because, I mean, I think it was the first night we're there. She, she looks over at me and she goes, I think I might be an RV person. Uh, it was great. We had, we had fun. And uh, so thanks for helping me make that happen because it was, it was fun getting out there and actually learn a little bit so I know at least a little bit of what it's like to RV when I'm in here talking about these things. Uh, we want to thank Lippert real quick. They are one of our prize sponsors. They have uh, given us a couple things to give away. This smart jack, we're not giving away yet, but very soon we will be giving this away. It's an electronic jack, so it makes it a lot easier. It's 30, I think 3,500 pounds. Uh, so that's, that's good to put on the front of your RV and, and jack it up to where you need it. And then right now though, we're giving away also from Lippert this, uh, this. <laughs> I'll just call it this. And what it is, is I'm learning. Again, I'm still learning, yeah. you've seen the videos. I'm learning that you have to um, uh, clean out, like blow out the water hoses, especially at winter time. And the best way to do that is with this. This does it automatically for you. It, uh, you switch this on, it compresses air into the, the water system. So this is going to our very first caller. Second caller. Second caller, we're gonna do a second caller just because Tim wants, to tell some, wants me to tell somebody I'm sorry he didn't win. <sighs> and what's, what's awful is you're gonna hear this person's heartbreak. Hello? Hello? Hi. Oh, we're going for the second caller. And who is this? You're actually the first caller. All right. Uh, I'm what, Allison. What is, what is your name? Allison. Allison. Well, thank you, Allison. Keep trying later. Or call right back. And uh, we're going to be giving more stuff away. But Tim made me take the second caller, which will be the person right after oh. you. I'm so sorry, Allison. Oh, all right. Thanks. 
All right, thanks for watching. Bye. Bye-bye. So this next person not only wins this, but they break Allison's heart. I hope you feel good about yourself. Let's find out who it is. I feel bad, like, like you're my assistant or something, just handing me the phone. Hey, who's this? Uh, this is Charles Jim. Charlie? Yes. Bro. Charlie, you just won this. Can you see it? Yeah. This flow, it cleans out your water. It, it, it blows the air or through air blows air through your water system to clean it out uh, before like winter time. So it is yours. Yeah. Great, thank you very much. Yeah, not a problem. How long have you been a, a camper? Uh, well, I'm I'm actually kind of new to it. Okay, good. That's uh, we love hearing that. I love that. Glad there's I mean because there are people watching that have been camping for a while and then folks like you and me that are that are new to all this. Uh, so congratulations on this. Where are you calling from? Uh, actually, uh, out of Pataskala, Ohio. Dude, that's where I'm from. Really? Yeah, I grew up in Pataskala. I'm, I'm headed back there from Bell Fountain tonight. Well, I'll be darned. Yeah, I've lived there my entire life. How long have you lived there? Uh, we've been here since 2014. Okay, so, yeah. Yeah, I've been there since 1971. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Wow. Well, congrats. maybe I should just bring it to you tonight. That might be that a lot be easier fun. than shipping it to you. I might actually yeah. make that happen. Well, I'm going to hand the phone to Tim, and uh, he will uh, he will get your information. And, and seriously, I might just meet you at Kroger there in Pataskala. <laughs> okay, great. Thank All right, you. congratulations, Charlie. Here's Tim. All right, thanks. That's so awesome. From my hometown. Uh, so congratulations to Charlie. We're throwing it back to another RV. We have oh we have a bid on the I forgot we did the auction for the for the. Uh, the 2016. What is the 10,800 is the bid right now. I don't know. Do we have a name? It's somebody. Whoever it is has a name. 10,800. And I will give you uh, give you the times that when that auction goes off. But what it is, it's a 2016 toy hauler. Mary, right now, you've got the uh, toy hauler at 10,800. It's still open for anybody else to uh, to call in and bid. Like I said, it's a 2016. Uh, there's been some modifications that the, the previous owners made to it, but uh, it's in nice shape. It's nice. So as of right now, Mary, you're in the lead with 10,800. We've got that going on for another hour or so. I'm not sure exactly how long we're going to let that go. I will get that time and get it back to you. We're going to throw it back to somebody in a trailer, and then I will get back into a trailer very soon. But somebody's already there ready, ready to go. We'll find out who it is right now. Um, first off, my name is Mitch Eilerman. Uh, if you guys want to get a hold of me directly, you can reach me at 937-843-4380. Um, the actual office line, too, where you can reach anybody is one 877 877 4494 um, and then you can just ask for sales or hit the sales extension and it'll swing over so um, let's go ahead and start up front I want to show you show you one of the nicest things I like about Winnebago is you've got one piece cap okay it's got it's it's actually molded so it looks really aggressive um, not going to leak over time you notice how bright they use a high like the, the white paint um, which really uh, keeps from fading um, one thing a lot of customers don't think about is coloring, right? So the, in a lot of the industry, units are going to be darker, okay? Over time, especially customers in the south, um, white reflects. Dark colors are going to absorb, absorb your heat. So it's going to be a lot cooler of a unit and easier to keep cooled down for, for customers in the south. So something to really think about if you are down in the south or you're going to be in really hot areas, you might want to consider going with a white exterior. You can get this in two other exteriors, like a gray, grayish and a champagneish color. Um, but this, this is what comes standard. Um, nice thing about Winnebago is they really don't have many options. I mean, you can get a bigger air conditioner, a couple different paint schemes, and that's about it. So um, let's move over here. I'll take a kick you through some of the things. Again, when you're look, looking down the side of the unit, you can notice all, how, how bright it is. They use a thicker gel coat, um, got, the, got the white paint and everything. Um, they do use a power awning, okay? You've got a nice um, wider stance here. Uh, they've got outside speakers. 
Uh, this unit, they've got, they got a, a rough estimate as far as on payment. Obviously, always depends on credit score, debt to income, and everything else. It's going to be right around 220. Um, with the sale we've got running today, you're looking at 24177 uh, for this exact unit with the extra rebates and everything else that are coming. Um, a lot of the competitor competition's pricing is coming in, you know, anywhere from 37, 41 grand on the on the exact same unit. Um, only coming in on weight wise around 5,220, which is really good. They use aluminum steps, um, you know, instead of like a steel step, it's aluminum tread steps. Not going to rust over time. Um, easier, a little bit lighter to take in and out on the unit. Um, one big thing too with us is, you know, we've got service and warranty nationwide. So if you guys have problems with the unit um, locally here in Ohio, when it's traveling across the United States, we can get you taken care of anywhere throughout the country. Um, we've got a full-time staff. That's all they do all day long is just take care of customers. Um, they'll tell you exactly where to go. Uh, they'll help you set up the appointment, um, get everything submitted over to the manufacturer, get all your, your warranty claims approved and taken care of um, so that you're not out there trying to fight and try to find somewhere else to take care of it. So that's one of the biggest things in the RV industry that a lot of customers don't realize is service and warranty after the sale. Um, and that's one thing that we've mastered that no other dealer out there is even, even trying to do as far as taking care of customers nationwide versus that one little local area. Um, if you could, look us up on Facebook. Um, as my daughter always says and my son always says, um, you know, smash the like button uh, on YouTube, subscribe. We, we greatly appreciate it. It really helps us out, um, gets the word out there. Uh, RV wholesalers, you can look us up on either one. Um, let's, let's head on the inside. I'm going to show you some of the features and how they do things on the inside of the coach as well. Okay. So one thing um, we'll start, actually come on over here and I'm gonna start back here, one of, the, one of the neatest part of the unit. So this is a rear kitchen, okay? So you've got a uh, gas and electric refrigerator, okay? You've got a nice oh, L kitchen, I basically call it, rear kitchen, L kitchen. Uh, they do have the uh, wireless connection. So you can, if you got wireless on your cell phone, you can just set your cell phone on that and it'll wirelessly charge your phone. Um, this, they do do an undermount stainless steel sink. They've got the nicer countertops, undermount stainless steel sink. Um, I'm sure you, um, a lot of you have seen these today. You know, some people are probably wondering what, what are these things. Uh, basically, it gives you extra space, um, countertop space, but also with drying dishes. It's really nice to use. These things can roll up and get up out of the way. They just come in really handy as far as utilizing your space on your countertop and your sink and everything else. Um, Nice head clearance in here. I'm 6'5", so basically you get about 6'6", six, six, uh, clearance on your head. Um, most of your units out there, you'll notice, are really dark. Uh, they use a, a lighter cabinet on the inside throughout, uh, which really brightens it up, which is important when you've got a small space in a unit. Uh, I like how they utilize this area. You've still got your sofa, your dinette, and you're still in a short unit. Uh, that's a big plus uh, on, on this type of uh, floor plan and this type of size of a unit. Um, and it's nice, yeah, you know, if you got your family here, everybody can hang out. I mean, you could, you've got one, two, possibly three, easily four. You know, you've got six to seven people that can all hang out in the living area in a smaller unit, which is nice. TV locations uh, up top. So everybody can still see it's on a swivel bracket. You can turn it around and everything. Um, they got you know centrally located the connect system. Uh, so you got you can Bluetooth to it. You've got all your speakers inside and out, um, direct inputs and everything else. So um, if you want to come over here, I'll, I'll sweep back. Take a look at the floor. I really like the color of the floor. It mixes well with the cabinets. With the wood look flooring, it's not going to show a lot of dirt. Um, obviously when you go camping you, you're going to track in a lot of dust and stuff like that so it doesn't, doesn't show the dirt near as much. Um, move it over. Come over to the bathroom here. Let me go ahead and flip that on here. You've got a nice glass shower. Okay. So you've got a big, as you can see, it's really wide. They've used a stainless steel sink in here. Most competitors are using a plastic sink. They do use a stainless steel sink. You've got two entries, one from the hallway where we're at, and then you'll have another one over here in the bedroom. Uh, let me swing over here and I'll show you that. So 
So, middle of the night, you got to use the restroom. You don't have to go back out into your hallway. If you've got guests staying with you, you can just come right into to your uh, bathroom from, from your bedroom. Um, you'll notice up front here, this has got your queen bedroom. Now, a lot of manufacturers don't have a second entry on this size of unit. Swing around here and show them that you actually got a second entry to get into the unit too. So, it's safer. So, you know, if something happens, heaven forbid, you can get out of the unit easier. Um, and then also, if you got company, you can still come in and out of your unit and then uh, utilize, you know, as far as the, uh, where you don't have to wake everybody out else up front or bother them up in the, in the rear of the coach where everybody's sitting. Um, it just gives you a lot more access there. Um, also, when you're on the road, when that slide comes in, now you can still get to this bathroom by coming through the bedroom door and not have to run your slide out, out to, to be able to use the restroom. A lot of people ask me that question. It is nice to be able to do that too, um, where you don't, you may not be in a spot where you can run the slide out, out. Um, you know, there's pros and cons to everything. I mean, that's, that's a positive. I mean, you always got 12 volt where you can bring it out, your slide out too, but this is a lot more convenient. You don't ever have to mess with it. So um, let's move back out to the living room real quick. Again, again, so um, you've got the big things. This is one thing I wanted to show, show everybody too as far as their framing goes. Uh, NXG frame, it's the next generation RV frame. It's all American made. Um, they use, the, with, with the way that they do, it's, it's non-welded chassis, keeps your Winnebago safe and secure. So it's a lot better construction as far as the framework goes. If you look that up online, you can see a lot of details about that. That's one big thing that um, the Winnebago is doing that, that your other manufacturers out there aren't doing. So I just want to get, uh, just you know, have everybody take a look at that. Um, if you are considering Winnebago, really, really look at that because that's one big thing that, that is really nice to have on the unit. Frank, uh, you wanted to know if it, this had a, a ladder on the back of the unit. It does have a rear ladder. Uh, this is a full walk-on uh, roof as well, Frank, so um, you can utilize that as well. Uh, Patty, um, do we have one of these in a 21 foot? Um, I'll check my inventory. I mean, obviously on this type of layout, you're not going to have it in 21 foot. Um, this exact layout, because you can't fit everything in that in that one area, because this is a lot longer unit. That's why you got all this space in here. But if you're talking about another model, um, absolutely, I, I just have to check the inventory. Um, you can just give us a call. Again, just call me 937 eight four three four three eight zero i'll check a uh, which model you're looking for try to narrow one down see if i've got it in inventory currently if i don't i'll check the availability to get in it um, that's one, one thing with winnebago sometimes they may already have some stuff implemented in the system that we can grab pretty quick for you if i don't have it so um i appreciate everybody coming out i know um we're going to be here to at least 10 o'clock tonight um the rebates are the best I've seen them, you know, especially at this time of year. Usually you're not having big discounts and rebates at this time of the year because, uh, you know, the demand's there. So it's always supply and demand. Um, so you know, it's definitely a good time to take advantage of it. Uh, get out, camp with your family, uh, social distancing that's going on. This allows you to do that too um, the safest way. You know, a lot of people don't want to fly. They don't want to, you know, travel out of, out of the country, or use cruise boats. So everybody seems, I've never seen it this busy. Everybody seems to be jumping in on the market right now and, and really getting out with their family. And our is a great way to do that. So um, I appreciate everybody coming out and, and going through this model with me. And uh, we'll get you back here. And, and uh, thank you. Look forward to your calls. Oh, hey, I'm scratching my face. I just looked to see if we were, we were safe for me to scratch my face. We come back to this. Uh, so how are you hanging in there? Uh, it's been a long day. It but has a, been. But a good day. Yeah, yeah. Selling a lot of trailers. What time is it? We got a couple, of, and that's still another couple hours to go. Yeah. yeah. We are selling a bunch of, a bunch of trailers. What, uh, what do you think the secret to the success is? I think our, or our secret to our success has always been uh, our faith. Yeah. Uh, trusting God for everything we do, every move we make, every decision we make. Uh, we give him credit for every ideal that we get. Mm -hmm. 
And you know, I can see I can see that overflowing into the way you treat your customers. Uh, man, we try. Yeah, we really do. I, I won't tell you that we don't fail because everybody fails. Yeah. Uh, but we sure do try, and, and I, I think we genuinely care about them. Mm -hmm. uh, we even witnessed each customer as they come through. You know, as, after, after they do their paperwork, they do their walkthrough. When they buy a trailer, we witness to them. And, yeah. Uh, meet a lot of great Christian people, mm -hmm. uh, but people accept Christ in those seats every week too, which is just cool to be part of. Yeah, that's awesome. You're doing good things. So what do you mean? I mean, obviously I know, but why don't you tell folks what you mean by accepting Christ? Because some that even even today may not know exactly what that means or think it's it's bigger i don't want to say bigger than it is but it's it's so easy it's real easy the bible calls salvation a gift uh you know i, I witnessed to a couple one time and and they accepted okay and, and again that's awesome to be part of but the husband looked at the wife and he said i knew it was supposed to be easy wow see he had been told wow. his whole life that it's it's Jumping hard. through hoops. Right. And, you got to yeah. do all these things. You have to act a certain way. You have to do all, you know, it, it just isn't. Mm -hmm. It's it's understanding that Christ died on the cross, that we put him in a tomb. He rose from the dead three days later. If you, have, if you accept that, you understand that, you ask Christ to come into your life and into your heart, you're saved. Yeah. Uh, what saved means to me is uh, if I die today or I die when I'm 95, mm -hmm. I'm going to heaven. Yeah. Uh, if if we got a couple minutes here, we got, we got a couple minutes. It. You know, before we do that, yeah. can you can you tell me just so folks know when did you come to Christ? Is that uh, probably about age eight? Okay, that's like uh, me. I was I was very young. Yeah, and I think it's easy for a kid, easier than an adult yeah. my age or your age. Well, they say that if if somebody graduates high school without knowing Christ, chances are they never will. It, it's harder. Yeah, uh, you've seen more. You know, you know, I think you try to be smarter. Mm -hmm. You know, well, it can't be that easy. Right. There's right. got to be more to it. Yeah. Uh, and, and, and again, our, our country is uh, pulling away from God as fast as we can pull. <laughs> yeah. yeah. You know, I mean, we are, we are further away than we've ever been from Christ. Yeah. And uh, that's part of what, you know, a lot of the problems that you're seeing. Right. I that's agree our, completely. That's the solution. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So, yeah, we got a couple minutes. Let's, let's walk what through I, What I do, uh, it's just a system that I like. Better get my glasses on so I can see. <laughs> Uh, I'd like to ask people a few questions first. Uh, first one being, what are your spiritual beliefs? Uh, so as I go through these, think them through in your head a little bit. Uh, and all I mean by what are your spiritual beliefs, it normally gets people talking. Mm -hmm. uh, but do you believe in God? You know, let's, let's start there. Yeah. Uh, next question is to you, who is Jesus? Now we're getting a little more specific. Right. Uh, when people tell me, well, he's my Lord and Savior, I know we're good. Yeah. Yeah. You know, we don't have to go any further. We can change direction and start talking about Christ. Right. Uh, you know, and all the good things that he's done in our lives. Uh, do you believe in a heaven and a hell? That's a big question. Mm -hmm. uh, some people say no. Yeah. Uh, some people say yes. Uh, some people believe in heaven, but not a hell. Uh, if God was a loving God, he wouldn't have a hell. You know, and again, that's, unfortunately, that's contrary to what the Bible says. Right. The Bible actually talks more about hell than it does yeah, heaven. You're right. And I think it's just God's way of warning us. You know, here's here's what can happen. Mm -hmm. um, if you're of the belief that you'll go to heaven when you die, uh, my last question is the toughie, but it's it's the biggie. Mm -hmm. uh, say you you pass in two weeks, David, and you, you're face to face with God, and He says, "Why would I let you into my heaven? Right. What would you say?" Yeah. Uh, again, I. I, I if you have accepted Christ as your Savior, that's what you're going to say. Uh, but what I would say 70% of the people that I talk to, what they tell me is, you know, I think I've been a pretty good dude or mm -hmm. a pretty good girl, you know. And, and it's this you got to be a good girl, good boy thing that's just wrong. Right. Uh, I do believe we should be good people. We should take care of each other. We should take care of, the, you know, the Bible says the poor, the widowed, the elderly. Mm -hmm. Of course. But that isn't what gets us to heaven. Right. Okay. Uh, what I do then is I go through a few verses. And again, I hope if you, if you don't know Jesus Christ, please tune in. Give me, give me three more minutes of your life uh, to change your whole world. Uh, Ephesians 2, 8, 9 says, For by grace you are saved through faith. This is not of yourselves. It's God's gift. Not by works so that no one can boast. Uh, think that through for a moment and let me break it down for you 
uh, it says, by grace we are saved. So grace being God's power. Mm -hmm. That's the only way we can really be saved, not by our works, okay? Right. And it goes th to say through faith, because we have to believe God's real, right? Yeah. You probably haven't seen him yet. <clears throat> right. I haven't seen him yet. We know he's real. Yeah. Uh, but it says, but this is not from yourselves. It's God's gift, and it's not from works. So nothing that I do can get me to heaven. Right. And the reason is the last sentence in that verse, so that no one can boast. Yeah. So when we're all sitting around heaven one night, none of us can say, man, I was better than all you guys. Right. I right. was church every Sunday. I, <laughs> I always gave to the poor. I always, I always, I always. You kind of took God out of the equation. Yeah. It's only through God's power that we get to heaven. It's through his son. That's what that gift is. If you accept that, mm -hmm. every gift has to be accepted or it's not a gift, right. if that makes sense. Right. That makes sense. Uh, the next verse being Romans 3, 23, it says, For all have sinned and fall short of the glory of God. I believe we've all sinned, and we've all fall short of heaven, mm -hmm. right? Uh, the next one, Romans 6, 23, says, For the wages of sin is death or hell, uh, but the gift of God is eternal life through Christ Jesus our Lord. So if we agree we're a sinner, the payment of that sin is hell, but if we accept that precious gift that God offers us, we can go to heaven right. through Christ Jesus. So again, through Christ dying on the cross, we can go to heaven. Uh, the last verse, Romans 10, 9 and 10. If you confess with your mouth that Jesus is Lord and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you will be saved. It's that simple. Uh, with the heart one believes, resulting in righteousness. With the mouth one confesses, resulting in salvation. So confessing with your mouth, what all this really means is Telling God, listen, I'm, I'm a sinner. Yeah. Uh, I know I need you. I need your son in my heart right now. I need you in my life. Guys, that's, that's salvation. Uh, if you know you need Christ, if you know you need God in your life, all it is is a simple prayer. Just, again, asking, and he'll, he'll accept you. Uh, I'm going to say a simple prayer. If you repeat it after me, I'll say it in bits. Repeat it after me. Guys, you'll be saved. Uh, that's, this is where it all starts. Uh, and again, we mentioned earlier, a lot of people may put this off until they think they're good enough or they're perfect or they're to the point where God is like, okay, I can accept you now because you've cleaned up. Right, right. And it's and not that way. The, you'll never be acceptable. Right. The only way you're, you're acceptable is through Jesus Christ. I've seen a lot of broken, especially a lot of, I've, I've spoken at a lot of men's conferences, and I've seen a lot of broken men come to Christ yeah. in the worst moment of their life. Well, I think the other uh, thing that just isn't true is, is people say, you know, I, I'm just going to wait. Mm -hmm. uh, maybe, you know, I'll, I'll get around to it or on my deathbed or, yeah, man, when you're texting, going down the highway, which <laughs> I know we're not supposed to do, but we do. Right. And you look up and there's a semi grill 10 feet in front of you. You don't have time. You don't have time. It's just, we're, we're not guaranteed that last chance. Right. This could be the last chance. Yep. yep. Say this prayer with me. Uh, Heavenly Father, I have sinned against you. I want forgiveness for all my sins. I believe that Jesus died on the cross for me and rose again. Father, I give you my life to do with as you wish. I want Jesus Christ to come into my life and into my heart. This I ask in Jesus' name. Amen. Good. Guys, we believe if you said that, you were born again, you received salvation, you got saved. It's all three words for the same thing. Yeah. Uh, shoot us a quick email. Let us know that you accepted Christ tonight. We'd love to hear about it. Absolutely. Thanks for, uh, thanks for listening. Thanks for sharing. No, no it's important. problem. It's the most important yeah, thing we've done today. You know, we can sell all the RVs we, we want, but man, no, nothing beats what we just did or what you just did for us. No, no, at so. any time, any time. And I, I, have, I honestly have been at conferences, again, men's conferences, where I've seen big, burly men broken, bawling because they feel the power that they've, they've just Absolutely. Uh, in, in, encountered. So I love it. I love it. Good work. Uh, we're going to get back into another RV. I, I know they're out there waiting for me, so uh, I'll meet you out there. Hey, hey, 
See me running out there? Boy, oh my you've been gosh. busy, I, huh? I, I pulled something trying to jump over stuff. And Aww. it looked super cool, probably. Are you trying to get somebody to feel sorry for you? I am, I'm trying. I it's know. not gonna work. I don't know. Uh, so There's how this, you doing? I'm good, yeah. I'm good. You ready to do good. this again? Oh man. Yeah. Remember, I'm the part-timer, remember? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's all right, you nailed it last time. <laughs> nailed it, you still know more than I do, so. I don't know, I don't know. But together we share a brain. That's basically what we're saying. Ah. Uh, <laughs> no? Well, I don't know if you're who I want to share a brain with. <laughs> that's fair, just saying, just that's very saying. fair. Hey, all right. so, hey, I'm Carrie. Uh, welcome to our show. We are standing in front of the Cardinal Limited, the 402 FKLE uh, front kitchen. Um, this this coach is just, it's one of your very luxurious coaches. Nice. Okay, like and as, as we move in, you'll, you'll see that. Um, the dry weight on this is just over 12,000. Yeah. So really not that heavy for what it, for what it has. Okay. Um, two door, two entry doors, really nice there. Um, four slides. Um, this door here is actually going to go almost directly into the bathroom. Oh, yeah, we have another hallway. Um, so you don't have to really walk through the whole, you know, coach to get to where you want to be. Yeah. Um, and as we move inside, you're just going to see how amazing this coach really, really is. Awesome. Um, and really, again, it's just, it's big. It's a 41 foot, um, tons of luxury. This actually sleeps seven. Really? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So let's just, and here on the outside, you got a really nice, big pass-through storage. Um, as you can see, it, mm -hmm. it's, it's, it can fit a lot of things in there. Yeah. Um, so, and this, co this coach comes pretty much, um, some people will call it all weather. You know, okay. it's got your heated and enclosed underbellies, your 12 volt. Um, so it's for your extended travel. Great. Okay, Great. ready to go in? Yeah. Yeah, this is pretty yeah. exciting. All right. I'm pumped. Stairs, they, they, they fold inside the coach. Okay. Um, which, super nice there. Go into the kitchen, check out that kitchen. Yeah. So, if you feel like home when you're uh -huh. in here, right? Look, yeah. at, look at the windows that you're surrounded by. I love this window. I mean, it's the, the, the panoramic window is really nice. You can look inside this unit and see why people choose this camper. You know, choose this coach for their extended travel because uh -huh. you, you feel like you're at home. Yeah. Um, residential refrigerator. <laughs> it's, <laughs> it most, it's bigger than most of our refrigerators right. inside our homes, right? Um, and this one here actually does come with an ice maker as well. Yeah, and it's, it's, it's yeah. deep. I mean, it's, it's, very a, it's deep. a good size. Yeah, and like I said, you're actually, it's actually probably bigger than most of our refrigerators uh -huh. in our home. And, you know, I always struggle with the refrigerators. Um, so, yeah. And then you've got your ice maker down there as well. Freezer part of it. Great. So, residential microwave. Uh, believe this is 22 um, inch. So, okay. Nice, nice Good oven size. there. Notice the cabinetry. You know how it's just how it's done. Solid wood. Solid wood all around. Um, you know we talked about this the last time. Right. I don't know that you would do it in this camper though. No, probably not. <laughs> probably not. Probably not. <laughs> so very deep. Uh -huh. um, ca uh, cabinetry again, so you can pretty much store. We'll set that, we'll set that <sighs> we'll there. We'll just leave that there. As we come down here, again, you got opposing slides here in the living area. Really opens it up. Really opens it up. This here, you know, we, we put our TVs on our walls uh -huh. at home, right? Right. And when you see this TV in here, it just, it's pretty amazing. And I um, like the fact that it's recessed, so yes. you know it's yes. not sticking out, taking up space. Yep. And then you got your surround, you know, your surround sound in mm -hmm. here as well. Um, a rather larger fireplace yeah. than what you get in just your average. Which camera. again really puts off heat. Yeah. And it's not just decoration. Right. And yeah. both of these couches here do make out into beds. Okay. And and one thing uh, is very rare is that they don't really touch each other, so you actually get two full beds when these fold out. Wow. Yeah. And then, you, of course, you got your theater Thomas seating Payne. here. Thomas Payne collection. If you've been in many campers, this is by far the best yeah. furniture you can have inside a camper. So th that's why this is so luxurious. But have a seat in there. Oh, okay. Comfortable I'm gonna say, I might, you I'm might not might even, not. there's there's heat. I don't know if you want to turn the heat on. I kind of, 
But oh, I get. I found the. the you massage. found the. Yeah, he found the massage. So uh, yeah. Yeah. And it's. Don't it's get pausing. too comfortable because you <laughs> still have to work. I know. I have to. I don't want to. I wonder if I can get one of these put in my car. Oh. It's probably not. It's probably not safe. Probably. You know that kind of goes along with Mike and the texting thing. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Probably. Probably not a good idea. They might I see there's a USB on each yes, of these too. Yes. You got a USB. USB plug. Of course, because you know we we need that in today's oh yeah world. absolutely um, ceiling connected. fan uh huh which sitting there you could feel that right you know so it, it's a good good luxury to have yes. moving back here where the second door is you can come directly in here and go into the bathroom um, this is a big bathtub yeah that's you know um, you do have your seat over here um, nice deep sink. And again, you like know, the colors solid in there wood. Too, yeah. yeah, and you've got lots of storage in here as well. Um, places for all of your towels and everything you need on an everyday basis. Um, skylight above the shower. And you'll notice how everything gives you that, that marble look. Mm -hmm. Again, this so, is, I mean, obviously plenty of room. Nobody's going to. No. I hope nobody's going to. Which gonna is one of the biggest you know, things you hear. Often men will get into our campers and they'll stand in them. Yeah. You know, and their head is bumping, and that's right. pretty uncomfortable. Um, so you don't have that feel yeah. when you're in this bathroom. Yeah, so, that's, yeah, that's good. That's a good size bathroom. Yeah, and then as you go back into the bedroom, um, again, you got your TV up, uh -huh. dresser. You know, because women take over the closet. Yeah, so, oh yeah. So the men have women, to have the dresser areas, we get this. right? Yeah. And then over one, we get one of these. You get one. Yeah. If you're lucky. Yeah. But you can use the storage that's under the bed. <laughs> that's good. <laughs> so, <laughs> you use yeah. that pass through at the yeah. front. Right, right. Well, no, that's for other things. Like, okay. That's your doghouse. Oh, so I get, I get, yeah, that's that's right. That's you where know, I so. stay. That's why I keep my stuff there. I'm there most yeah. of the time anyway. Yeah, and you see the lights in the back. Now, this is your king size bed. Yeah. Um, big walk in closet with mm -hmm. more drawers yeah. for the woman, for the lady. <laughs> right. <laughs> I see, there's, so, is it another drawer yeah. over here? I see more. Yep. Yeah. Place for your shoes. Yeah. Um, yeah. And then over here, this is actually washer dryer hookup. Okay. Good. Put your stackables in there, and then you still have you have additional places to hang as well with more storage at the top. Mm -hmm. um, and you know the thing about this camper, what would you think something like this would cost? See, I I go way over. I'm at seventy thousand. Okay. Well, our price, guys, is just. Just fifty-two, just shy of fifty-three thousand. Fifty-two seven thirty-two, you can have wow. this camper for just as little as four hundred and five dollars a month. Wow. Now our our competitors, uh -huh. they're hitting around eighty-five thousand dollars for this camper, guys. So and I, see, so like when I hear eighty-five thousand, I think okay, that's that's probably about right. I've been going lower because I know these are lower than I actually think they are here, anyways. Right. Um, so maybe that's why people, when they go to uh, your competitors and they see eighty five thousand for this, um, that sounds right to me. And, you know it, what I'm and it sounds right to all of them because too, there's a guys. Lot of stuff and, here. Yeah, and it's very easy uh, when somebody calls me and they say, "Okay, Carrie, what's the catch? Uh -huh. I, what are you guys doing differently?" Well, what we do differently is we care about our customers. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you know, I mean, we want you to enjoy this, and they're they're pretty hard to enjoy if. It's a house payment. Yeah, yeah. So, you know, again, my name is Carrie, extension 117. Okay. Um, call for any questions. Any way we can help you guys, that's what we're here for. Nationwide, we've talked numerous about our nationwide service network. Yeah, which is impressive. Um, that is probably by far the biggest thing that separates us from our competitors. Mm -hmm. How long have you been with with this, uh, with this, with RV wholesalers? Me, uh, uh -huh. just a little over two years. Okay, great. So a little over two years. Um, Great company to work for. Um, not only do they care about, of course, our customers, but they care about us too. That's and good, um, yeah. you know, yeah. and customers want to hear that too. I hope. You know, we're we're just not enough of a number to them. No, that's good. Yeah. So that's important. Yeah. Uh, yeah. If you can buy from somebody who loves doing what they do, it's yeah. going to make a total difference. Yeah. And and we've been super busy today. I mean, it's kind of a norm for us, though. I mean, we're kind of used. I know to you just, guys have. We had a great month. We have. Yeah. We have, and that's because of everybody out, everybody else out there. Yeah. Uh, really, really appreciate them putting the trust into us. Love so, it. yeah. This is if you're watching right now and you're thinking, 
is this the company I want to go with? This is the company you want to go it with. It is. Price-wise, service-wise, customer relation-wise, this is the company to go with. Right. And I don't sales. know how often they've talked about it today, but our Ohio customers as well, mm -hmm. offering something no other dealer in Ohio offers, which is our Ohio Buckeye Guarantee, guys. Um, free it's delivery, first of all. Free delivery, anywhere in Ohio. Um, you know, 10% off of our parts in our parts store. But the biggest thing is also, too, if something happens to your camper and you can't use it, mm -hmm. we'll bring you a loaner. Right. That's that's incredible. There's nobody else out there that I mean, will do that. I mean, there's car dealerships that if your car breaks down, they won't give you a new no. car. But nope. you're going to give folks nope. a new RV to drive or right. an RV to... Right. We want you to not have to cut your trip short. Yeah. That's These are to have fun. Right. And it's no fun if you're stranded somewhere and that's you awesome. can't do anything with that's it. That's awesome. So. so if you're thinking... If you're thinking about it, this again, this is the place. This is the place. Yeah, love it. Yeah. Uh, where are you going to take us through the next one? I am. You're already talking you're to me about the next me, one. Yeah, you? let's go. Let's All go right. for it. Were they telling us we were talking too much? No, I just got Tim in my ear. Which, where are we? <laughs> I is it over here? I think we're over here, guys. This is. It's it's nice that it's not raining. Last time it was raining, so we were just in yeah. here constantly. Yeah. It's nice that there. We're all Sun over the place shining. out here. Yeah. 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 This is our Rockwood signature. Um, all right. You know, this is the, the 8335 SB. And is this a, is this a park? This is, this? this is what some people call a bumper. Okay. You know, travel trailer. Um, but it is one of the larger uh, travel trailers out there. This one here, though, is just, again, just, just, just barely over 8,300 pounds. Okay. Um, wow. Dry. So, and this one actually sleeps seven as well okay um and you're gonna see you know just like the one we were just into i mean there's a lot of luxuries on this one as well this camper has tons of storage really tons of storage you got your pass through Here. um there's actually an ice maker in this refrigerator as well two entries again mm -hmm. all right um ready to go on yeah, in all right let's do it um this is what we call a front kitchen as well I am personally a big fan of the front kitchens because of the, the, the counter space. You know, you got your solid, solid kitchen countertops, um, which is huge. Um, you got your two, you know, your two separate sinks, which a lot of people really, really love. But again, you got that panoramic window yeah. there. Um, it still gives you kind of the feel of home. You'll notice the cabinetry again, you know, lots of storage um, and they're they're deep okay which a lot of again you don't get a lot of that in just yeah, a really smaller nice. travel trailer yeah and then of course who would think that you would have another Jeez. residential <laughs> <laughs> i walk right by and i think could huge. like stuff you in that yeah you know i mean so yeah <laughs> and then of course you know this is nice too um People love this because it doesn't give them the feel of being crammed in a boot. It's real chairs. Real chairs. Yeah. You can move them. Um, good for couples to sit and play cards with. Yeah. You know, a lot of people like that as well. And then this one here, you got your two, you know, yeah, this one's also heated. And, yeah. You and know, the, the we don't want him to get too comfortable. I know. I got to stay off of it. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, these are great. They are. Every, every chair built from here on out should have these. I agree, um, because often enough, you know, you've got your, your iPads and uh -huh. everything that we are sitting on our laps. This is pretty genius. Yeah, yeah. And you'll notice, again, Rockwood is famous for all of their windows. Okay. Um, that is one thing this camper does not lack. And the storage is huge. Fireplace. Mm -hmm. um, the the uh, TV with storage behind it. Correct. Yep. You just... Um, Let it there. There Oops, you sorry. go. I scratch you. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, you can store whatever. And that's nice too because it hides the wires. And, and then, of course, you got your surround bar here as well. Mm -hmm. So, and then, you know, it also goes with your outside speakers that are outside. More storage here, folds out into a bed. Um, it's just, and those do recline. Okay. Okay. So, yeah. yeah. Pretty, pretty. It's nice, very roomy. Yep. And then, who would think, and this is one thing too, this has got two entries into the bathroom. Oh, it does? It does. Oh, yeah. you know, so you don't have to walk through the whole camper to go to the bathroom. 
And you've actually got a full linen closet in here as well. So. Yeah. That's a good size closet. And you know, this actually has a towel rack, toothbrush holder, cup holder. Oh yeah, look at that. That's, yeah, get a shot of that. You it's, know, it's, don't get that often um, uh -uh. in a travel trailer. And then of course your medicine cabinet. Um, right. Nice side shower. And again, you know, with the skylight there, it does give you that extra headroom mm -hmm. that you need as well. Yep. And then check out the size of this bedroom. This is, this is a good size bedroom. King size. This is your, your, um, this is your master suite with a king size bed. Yeah. And as you can see, um, the end tables on the, on the sides are have become pretty huge yeah. here lately, um, of course, because you've got machines that we have to have hooked up. You've got your outlets and your USB ports. Um, there's another, you know, kind of stand over there. Mm -hmm. And then behind you, the big, the big closet. Yeah. Oh, it is a big closet. Oh, it's, this is for uh, your uh, washer dryer hook up here. Yep. Yep. Washer you've dryer. got your, your stackable there. Um, some people choose just to use it. You can use it for storage. Yeah, they, it's, uh, you can't see it, but there are hooks up here for yeah. um, for shirts. And, and then for drawers underneath as well, um, you get one of them. Yeah, again. Just remember that. Just one. And, and it's probably course, one of the smaller ones. Yeah, yeah. And then, of course, you do have storage under the bed as well. These lift up. Okay. Um, maybe. They grabbed the wrong. They don't grab the wrong There one? we go. There we go. So you've... I actually got an entrance to the outside with this as well. Uh-huh. Um, and then these actually pull out. So you can get into them from the inside and the, the back, inside and outside. Right. So that, that's pretty nice there, too. Yeah. Capable for two ACs in here. Um, one in the... <laughs> down. <laughs> Are we stuck? Oh, there. You just have the, a little force. Yeah. <laughs> um, two ACs, one in the bedroom. Of course, one in the living area. Um, and again, guys, again, what do you think this would cost? All right, let me let me take a look. There's, take let's... take a trip around. Okay. So the last one was the last one was what fifty two? It was a fifth wheel. And a fifth wheel, so it's gonna be it's gonna be a little more than this one. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna say this one is forty two. Mmm, no. Um, this one here, guys, is thirty-five thousand. I'm getting closer, but still, that's thirty-five thousand. Wow. And again, our competitors are are selling this for fifty-seven thousand dollars. That's crazy. Um, where else can you save twenty thousand dollars? And I do it every day. I uh -huh. save people an enormous amount of money on these units. Wow. Um, so, <laughs> yeah. So. Like a car, a nice car right now is thirty-five thousand mm -hmm. dollars. If you get a nice SUV with a few extras on, it's gonna be thirty-five thousand mm -hmm. dollars. Same price for this mm -hmm. house. It, for, right, correct, correct. Wow. And you know, this is where the memories are. Yeah. This is where the memories are, guys. Um, and this is why we've become so big, is because you can make the same memories for a heck of a lot less money when you come to us. Wow. That's so, good. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Again, my name is Carrie, extension 117. So we can call right. you and get you or your team? Call me, get my team, guys. We are here to help, even if it's just to answer questions. Yeah. You know, guys, whether you purchase from us or not, which we hope you do, we want to make sure you know about the industry that's yeah. out there. Love it. Um, have you had a chance to see any of the stuff going on? Have you been working hard? Have you been able to see I have been working. I've been working hard. So you haven't seen any of the Trailer Swift stuff? I know that's projected I watched in there, it. I but you can't hear it. it. I, you know, I was just wondering if they do weddings. See, well, Asking for is, a friend. Yeah. <laughs> well, here's the deal. I asked them earlier if, like, how long they've known each other. And Paul, the lead singer, told us that he hadn't even met the drummer and bassist yet. It's crazy. He, the, he knew Jeff, the, the lead guitarist, and, and they're, they know each other, and Jeff knows the other two. But he hadn't, And they're making this amazing music, and... Some of them have never met each other yet, so yeah. I think it, he did mention that once this all gets back to normal, he can't wait to meet these yeah. guys, hug them, and, yeah. and hopefully make some music because yeah. they're good at it. And we're hearing got a lot of good feedback about them as well. It's yeah. entertaining, yeah. you know, and, and what I'm hearing is, is why haven't you guys done this sooner? Right. 
Well, guys, we're bringing the shows to them. Yeah. You know, let, yeah. let's just face it. Look what we've been in in the last couple of months. We couldn't get out. So right. let's just take it to them. It's, and we, it's, we talk about rock stars, and a rock star just showed up. Well, thank you. Look yeah. at that. <laughs> What's going on? You have questions? It's, it's nice to be noticed. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. Patricia would like to know how much this unit is and what the model is. And Grace would like to know what the length of the unit is. All right, so the price on this is $35,000, um, $60, um, and for a payment of as little as $270. <laughs> that is crazy. <laughs> that is insane. So for, for practically less than a car payment, yeah. you can have this camper. And I don't remember what the other questions are. The uh, length. The length, yeah, yeah. No. So that I will have to find out because I don't. The model, the model on this is your 833. 8335SB, um, but the length, I will have to get back to you on that because it's kind of deceiving. You usually can base that on the model number. This one, I can't, so forgive me, but I will get that answer yeah. for you. Cool. So we talked about Trailer Swift before we had the questions. Uh, they're from Nashville. Have you been to Nashville? Do you know I Nashville? have. Yeah. I have just one time. I want to go back. My wife and I love Nashville. We, before all this happened, we were trying to get down there once every three months with some friends of ours, and... Uh, I told them that when I get back down there, I want to hang out with the guys. And we're going to make oh, that happen. that would be so fun. But I also had a chance to ask them, like, are there any, like, hidden gems that maybe we don't know about in Nashville? And he filled us in. Listen to what he has to say. Quick look. <laughs> You guys are in Nashville. I love Nashville. What are some hot spots to hit next time for my uh, wife and kids that are down there? So let me go ahead and hit that. Yes, Nashville is full of great hot spots, especially great food. Um, and I polled the guys to see what some of their favorites were. I'm going to start with my favorites, which are Hattie B's Hot Chicken. If you've never had Nashville Hot Chicken, go to Hattie B's. You won't have to eat anything else or any other hot chicken anywhere else. It is the best. Spicy is really spicy. You might want to try mild if you've never had hot chicken before because it's kind of like it, it starts out with heat on it anyway. So good. Oh, I'm getting hungry right now. Anyway, once you're done with that, you want to hop over and go to uh, Broadway Brew House and you want to get Mojo Wings, extra crispy. Asking for extra crispy. It doesn't say it on the menu, but you want to ask for that. Oh my gosh, that cook there is so good. Best wings ever. Um, let's see, if you want to start a whole day out of it, Go to Pancake Pantry for breakfast. Get you the world-famous pancakes there. Then head on to Lower Broad and stop in Robert's Western World to get yourself a world-famous cheeseburger while you are watching uh, country music that is pre-1970s, like the classic artists who started country. Uh, people dress up. They play the upright basses and uh, Hank Williams Sr. type music. So um, if you know that music, you're going to absolutely love it. If you don't know it, you're going to absolutely love it because it's something fresh that you, you just won't catch anywhere else. You know, outside of all the wonderful food hot spots, um, uh, you're really going to want to check out Lower Broad for uh, the, the famous, famous spots. Tootsie's, Legends Corner, The Stage. I um, already mentioned Robert's Western World for that sort of stuff. Um, those are the legendary kind of things. But what's also cool is a lot of new artists have places now. Dirks Bentley, Luke Bryan, Jason Aldean, um, and uh, Blake Shelton uh, has one called Old Red. And uh, they are like in top-of-the-line uh, joints, multi, multi-level, multi lots of different foods, music, all that sort of thing. Um there really is something for everybody for all ages. And uh, and if you do have time to get off the beaten path, uh, and if they're open, you have to check, um, definitely go and check out the Bluebird Cafe. That's, you know, was made famous with the show Nashville. It was actually made famous way before that, but the show Nashville that was out recently, um, you know, was, was featured there. And uh, I've had the privilege of, uh, of doing a few uh, solo artist rounds there as well. And it is just, it's a magical place. Um, very similar to uh, 
to the Ryman or Grand Ole Opry, which I should have mentioned those. Um, obviously, you, you want to get those are kind of a given, so I guess I didn't think to throw those out there. But uh, yeah, go, go visit the Mother Church. Uh, maybe you'll see low cash there. We perform maybe half a dozen to 10 times a year there. So you, 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 might, you might catch us there, uh, either Grand Ole Opry out at Opryland or at the Ryman downtown, um, if it's in the wintertime or whatever. But um, yeah, those are, those are our favorite hot spots. So uh, we encourage you to go check those out. another this is one of the park yep. ones right so Again, this is I can a, tell from the front yep I'm so learning. this is a wildwood dlx uh, this is the 4002 q okay so what this means is there's two queen beds in this oh really okay so it's pretty neat especially um, if you have maybe an older child um, this is going to be perfect instead of just bunks yeah. so um, nice aluminum on the outside you still get your awning okay um now this that is an option just because with most park models people have a permanent awning okay so this is an option so you don't have to get the awning if you don't want to uh, you still get your outside speakers so you can still listen to music outside um, now you see these doesn't have the fancy steps as we've been seeing on other trailers right just because people usually have decks 
already there because this yeah. usually just sits and that's it. Yeah, it's yeah. not made to be traveling around constantly. Right, right. But um, let's walk on inside. Yeah, absolutely. So as you walk on in here, uh, we have a pull-out sofa. Uh -huh. Okay, so that goes out into a queen bed. We still get your fireplace um, with the entertainment center. Um, you get your nice L-shaped countertops with your uh, sink, your stainless steel, and a nice residential refrigerator. So you're going to always find a residential refrigerator and a park model. Yeah, okay. Um, let's go back here. And I, again, I'm really starting to like the real chairs. The table and chairs? Yeah. Always makes it a little bit more roomy. Yeah. I mean, you lose a little bit of storage, but right. I mean, it's well worth it. So this is actually the second bedroom. So this is a queen bed. Uh-huh. Entertainment center behind you. Right. Nice little closet right here. Okay. Pillows and stuff. Uh, that is pillows, bed topper. Like that is just okay. in the package. So it looks brand, brand new. Gotcha. This is what sells the unit, guys, is right here. So it goes back further? A second bath. Wow. Full bath. And you get another entry here in the back. So a total of three entries in this unit. Wow. You got to be careful when you don't step too high when you come out. Yeah. Your feet are still going to stay wet. Yep. Uh, but yeah, wow. And then what we would do is let's go ahead and move up to the front of uh, the unit here, David. Have right. you, sir. Thank you. Uh, herringbone floors again. Uh -huh. I know I've been in a Heritage Glen Wildwood earlier. Nice little feature instead of just the planks. Okay, uh, your uh, first bath, full bath, still is right here. Mm -hmm. Nice little corner shower. And nice. then right back here, David, is the master. The master. Uh, it's entry in here as well. Oh, it's all carpeted. All carpeted. And you still get your queen. Nice um, closet space with some mirrors behind you. So especially if uh, the women have tons of clothes, there you go. Yeah. And this is usually where... Uh, the husbands put their clothes is just that bottom uh, right. That's exactly, drawer right down there. That's exactly what we were talking about <laughs> in the last trailer. Maybe. It yeah. may be uh, in like this shelf that, in here. Right, that, yeah. That's about it. <laughs> Shove your clothes in there. That's what you get, hon. Yeah. <laughs> um, so this is, like again, this is the park model. This unit, uh, our sale price is 31405 bucks. Wow. Which brings a payment around uh, $245. What's crazy? Our competitors are selling us for like fifty-two. Good grief! I still, <laughs> it still blows my mind that you guys are that that far below. Yeah, competitors. I mean, we have. There's no excuse not to buy from us. Yes. So I mean, and somebody watching could buy this right now. Right here, this right unit, now, right now. And then if you're out of the state of Ohio and you're not drawing for the free shipping, that, um, I had a lady in uh, Washington. She's like. So if I buy this right now, I could be in that drawing? Yes, ma'am. Yeah, that's right. So we're going to do a drawing later in the show, probably yep. towards the end. I would assume towards the end. Really? And so that's a shout out to uh, Beth Anderson right there. So. Okay. <laughs> she just bought an extra hype light. She's Congratulations, seen Beth Ann. <laughs> uh, yeah, this is, uh, I was going to say something before that. I forget what I was going to say. It was probably brilliant, too, whatever it was. It was well, probably going to be mind-blowing. Let's go to one of the favorite toy haulers, which is going to be the cycling. Okay. It's right next to us here. If it's huge. Huge. I just kind of peeked in very, as I walked very by. Very, very big. Yeah. So let's go take a look right. at this. So let's start on the outside here. Okay. okay? So first off, you still get your outside kitchen. Uh-huh. Uh, this just pulls out. You got your nice grill there. Oh, yeah. Okay. A uh, nice dump sink. Dad's medicine cabinet. Yep. And then you even put a TV out here. It has all the hookups for it. What, okay. is it. what is a dump sink? So this doesn't go into oh, your gray tank. Okay. So you just fill it up, and you just go dump it okay. out in the gravel, out in the yard, or whatnot. Okay. And then tons of storage. Okay. Uh, so let's just open this puppy up right here. Wow. Look like at that. Wow. There's a lot of storage right there. Uh, this unit is standard. All Cyclones are standard with a 5.5 Onan generator. So you don't have to pay for that extra. Automatically okay. has it. Automatically has the auto level too. Okay. So a lot of guys like that. So they don't have to level it out with the leveler. Just hit a button. Boom. Wow. That's it. 
outside That's speakers, awesome. power awning, even with an LED strip under it too, okay. so no hanging lights. Great. Is that, is that with magnets? That's all magnets there. Okay. Yep. And slam door latches, so we don't have to keep them pushing, just slam latch it. And there we go. Two uh, doors. Two awnings in double entry. Okay, one oh, into yeah. the garage uh -huh. and one up here at front. Spray port too, so it's to wash off your toys. Yeah. Um, and there's another one on the other side. Uh, you can even wipe off the um, outside of the camper. Yeah. As we see here at the Buckeye Service Guarantee, for people who's tuning in, free of charge for all Ohio customers. Tons of stuff into that. Three-day exchange program, free loaner program, uh, discounts in the power store, free shipping, expedited service. I mean, a whole bunch of stuff. Free shipping. Small note, a lot of people asked last time, or at least one person asked mm -hmm. last time, do these stay on? These We put these on there for, yep. the, for the show. They yep. peel right off. But right on yeah, those, off. Those come off. And they, you get your... they just do it in like 30 seconds, too. It's crazy. Yeah, <laughs> they're, they're quick. They're really good at getting these prepped for us. Let's go on here inside, guys. So as we come on in, we have a four-seater sofa. Every single seat reclines. Really? Yep. So mom and dad doesn't have to recline. The kids can recline too, <laughs> relax. Um, and the TV will be just right above you here, right yeah. in front of the, in the sofa. Uh, we have your nice um, dinette right here. It's about half, because um, a lot of people just want to eat in a garage. So they don't put a full dinette in some of these, so they just like that. If you want to yeah. eat there, you can. but. Most people is going to eat outside or in the garage. Um, tons of counter space here, David. Yeah, um, there is. Wow. You have your nice deep farmer sink, a little uh, hole right here for your trash can. Good. Um, and then your three burner in your oven. Tons of cabinetry as well in this unit. In your nice residential fridge. Big old fridge. So let's go up here uh, to the master. So this bedroom wow. is called a double slide. So it's a slide inside of a slide where the bed is. Okay. Okay. You make a tons of room for the king bed. Um, you even get a fireplace in this bedroom. Oh yeah, look at that. So that's a nice little touch here. We have tons of closet space. Okay. And that's not even all of it, guys. Let's go right here into this door Jeez. here. More there, especially if you, this is washer and dryer prep, so you can't uh -huh. put a washer and dryer in it. And a lot of people's like, where in the world do I put the TV? Here, they hide it for you, okay? Uh -huh. So right here, you just pull this whole uh -huh. arm out. <laughs> That's awesome. I saw it in there and thought, why would somebody put a TV? <laughs> right. <laughs> I had the same customer ask that and he was like, yeah, I just can't buy that because of that. And I showed him that, that was it. It was it? That was it. <laughs> <laughs> That's cool. He really liked that and the wife liked the fireplace. Yeah. Um, and awesome. then double entry into the bathroom. Oh, a you, little bathtub. Yep, you do get a tub in here. Um, a lot of people do like that, especially if you do have smaller children. Uh, maybe you can't take a shower yet. Nice little bath there. Yeah. Again, this is this is nice. I'm sure for for taller yes taller people. And so that kind of makes it right there. They can just stand right inside that. Yeah. And not worry about hitting their head. Every little where they have to go to. But, David, let's go and check out this, uh, this garage. Okay. We got David down here, too, who's, oh. I'm assuming, has more questions for us. Perfect. Oh, we've got a question. Dondra wants to know if you will repeat the price if you haven't already. So, with the Cyclone, our sale price today will be $66,094, which puts a payment around 430 bucks a month. Okay. Kenneth wants to know the same thing. So, Kenneth and Dondra, hopefully you heard that. And... Um, if you go down to Joe down the road, he's going to sell this thing for 105 bucks. So get it here about forty thousand dollars cheaper, guys. Jeez. <laughs> <laughs> I like the lights lining yep. up along there too. And, oh yeah, tons of lighting in here. And then let's this go is great. Can we shut this door for a second? That's a good looking door. We can. So let's do this here. That's kind of sweet. Nice little glass door. Yeah, that's kind of cool. <laughs> I dig that. Oh, look at there. Another bathroom. You Maybe get a half odd. bath back here, guys. So, and the cool thing with this, oh. so I had an issue with a customer just last week. Um, he said, my razor won't fit in here because of this wall. No worries, because watch this. You, so you take this pin out, this wall moves. So now he <laughs> has that extra space to bring his razor up. Wow. That is so brilliant. <laughs> Um, and then get your nice loft. Yeah. You still have your queen bed. And then these are your sofas, too, that go across. You can sit down. Okay, yeah, yeah. 
but they go into bunks as well, as you see. Again, if you don't have a toy, that doesn't mean you don't need a toy hauler. Right. This is a cool little, yeah. you got your deck, you got your outdoor we, space. We have people buying toy haulers all the time because they love the space. Yeah. That's it. And then yeah. right back here, we have your patio system. So a lot of people, when they go to NASCAR races, uh -huh. right here it is. This is it. <laughs> this is it. I'm um, even getting an awning back here um, with oh, yeah. your LED. Still backup camera prepped. Uh, you even have your screen door. So this is your three seasons removable uh, glass doors. You even have your screens here. So if you want to even have the AC on or hanging out on the inside, but you want to have the deck down, right here. The bugs won't come in. Uh -huh. Then there's even a glass door that slides in as well. This is by far, by far the best toy hauler I've seen. So cyclones are outstanding. Yeah. I mean, the others we've seen have been great, but yeah. there's a lot. In Cyclone, this. you get just about everything. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Yeah. No question about that. But yeah, guys, again, this unit's going to be at 66094 bucks. You get the best service in the nation guaranteed with that. So with all that being said, 430 bucks a month. It's crazy. Oh, man. Anything? Did we miss anything? Uh, we pretty much covered every little thing about it here, okay. David. Well, we talked everything with this unit. Yeah, this is this is impressive. You mentioned you warned me before we came in here. We're getting into a good toy hauler. <laughs> uh, so here's the deal: a lot of people are buying RVs. Yes. Last month we had a guy named Rob call in, mm -hmm. and actually called in to win. I'm trying to remember what happened. He called in to win a $500 gift card, and he was like, "We're doing the fifth caller," and he was like the second caller, and then he ended up being the fifth caller. He got back in somehow because the lines are nonstop. And uh, he ended up buying an RV that day. Mm -hmm. He was super excited on the phone. He actually came in to pick it up. I happened to be around, and we interviewed him. We had a chance to talk to him. Look how excited he and his wife are. This is, this is awesome. Watch this. On our last uh, virtual RV show, we gave away a $500 gift card. And one of our most animated winners was a guy named Ron. I believe it was Ron with an N. Uh, and he's here because he not only won the, the gift card, but he ended up buying an RV. Uh, and he's here to pick it up. He's taking a tour of it right now. Let's go see how excited he really is. Congratulations, I'm David. I'm the guy that talked yes, to you. Yes, David, how are you? Hi there. Hi. 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 How are we doing today? Hi. 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 Congratulations. Thank, Thank you very you. much, dude. We're like stoked. That's I mean, awesome. come on. And this is Ron, right? Rob. Rob. Yes. Yeah, I messed okay. it up. Rob. It's NRB. We'll yeah. get there. <laughs> All right. <laughs> well, fantastic. And what is your name? Jessica. Jessica. Yes. Awesome. Well, congratulations on number one winning the five hundred dollar. I know. Gift card. Yeah. I said yeah. what? I mean, <laughs> and if you win a five hundred dollar gift card to a, a, a parts department at an RV, you got to buy an RV. Right. And that's exactly what you did. it. This this is exactly. This is it. That's awesome. I know, dude. This isn't it awesome. How stoked! I have goose. Look at that. Look at the goosebumps. I have goosebumps right now. Goosebumps. I haven't even seen it, and I'm dying. <laughs> yeah, we we interrupted. He's back here taking the outside tour. He oh my god! I'm like overwhelmed. I'm loving this. Fifteen hours straight. Really. Yeah. Guys coming from Louisiana. Louisiana. Okay. So Sweet. We're, no sleep. <laughs> yep. I thought I had a shirt. <laughs> you know, this is my work shirt, and I thought my wife might have packed something. Right. No. <laughs> No. So she's, I'm like, we're just going to pull off real quick before we enter. I'm going to change my shirt. She's like, oh, you packed one? Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, if it makes you feel better, this is what I wore yesterday in a bunch of videos we did. <laughs> you know what? Are, are you getting ready to take them take in? Yes. Yeah. You, can we get your reaction? Oh, my, I'm, I might pass out. Yeah. It's nice, guys. Look at that. I don't even have to hold on to a handle. It's easy to walk in with two dogs. <laughs> That's right. Oh, oh nice face. Oh, big boy can come through the dog. It's wild. That's awesome. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. We've been looking at this. Oh. I can't remember three weeks. Oh Staring at it. Yeah, just videos. waiting for it to. Oh just waiting, waiting, and waiting. Oh and it was approved. We got what here. We got our money. <laughs> This is unreal. This is what unreal. Is this? this is roomy. Holy moly, this oh, is roomy. So it is. It's so open. Wait, oh switch gosh. back here so I can <sighs> get a view of your kitchen. Oh, oh my Bob. <laughs> Daddy found a home. Oh, my goodness. What this is, is awesome. This is great. This 
This is the best ever. Oh, oh you know okay. what? Emma, <laughs> I'm I, I, hope we, I, I think I'm we got it. that. I think we got you that. Got it? Yeah. This, uh, this is that new 12 volt refrigerator. Yeah, look how deep that is. Wow. Oh, good mama lord. I gotta play with everything. That is a nice, that's a nice kitchen. Feel, look, wow. feel the beat on that door. This is what sold me. Kitchen. The floors, yeah. I love the floors. It's oh, the floor is great. And the contrasting Highways. colors, like the clay with the white and the dark, and the, so and the little honeycomb pattern on the. Uh, windows. These windows are amazingly huge. That's Holy a big old window. Wow. Is that our office? Oh my goodness. So, how long had you guys considered buying an RV? Oh, good oh, lord. We've been full timers. Uh, we started with a Class A. Oh, so you've had so, one before? A '99. Okay. okay, very old, uh, gotcha. outdated. We fixed it up a little bit. It ended up being too much for us, so uh, too big. We got a truck, and I was like, "Travel, travel, make a lot of sense." Yeah. Yeah. You get more space. You don't have to worry about if you wanted to go somewhere. Uh -huh. You can bring a forty-foot class. No, I'm gonna park this. Uh -huh. <laughs> take the car. And go to the bar. <laughs> Y'all don't even understand. We've been looking at videos, amazing, every video you can imagine. And this takes it. Oh my God, that's awesome. <laughs> Squeeze it in. Oh, that's a big shower. Oh yeah. Look at that. Look at that, baby, I'm joining me. <laughs> I'm, I'm busy running the wow. camera. <laughs> this is cool. And I'm a big guy. I mean, geez, Louise. There's this plenty is of awesome. room. Oh, look at this. Oh, wow. Wow. Oh, that's that evergreen mattress. Oh. Yeah. Wow, baby. Holy. I feel, I feel a little awkward standing in your bedroom with you guys. <laughs> Happily married for 10 years, and today is our 10th year wedding anniversary. Really? 16. Yes. Wow. Well, congratulations. Thank you. That's yeah. awesome. And you're and celebrating with a new. Right. Well, then I probably right. should leave this room, is what right. I'm thinking. <laughs> well, congratulations so again on everything. Thank and you. Uh, thanks for letting me uh, talk to you. Absolutely. It's been a pleasure. I hope awesome. we can talk again. In yeah, the absolutely. Where my light up palm tree at? <laughs> All right. Well, thanks again, guys. We appreciate it. Have fun in the trailer. Oh, we will. Thank you. I'm just gonna stare at you until you tell me we're on for real. We're on for real. <laughs> we're on for real. Guys are messing with me. They're all just yelling out numbers. Five, four, 25, 24. Uh, this, I'm standing outside of the 2016 uh, Gray Wolf Limited that we are auctioning off right now. I believe the, the highest bid is 10,600. That's only going until nine o'clock, correct, Tim? Which is uh, 9 30. We're going to go to 9 30. That's, tw uh, that's uh, 9 30 our time. So you've got uh, another 35 minutes to get in on this. Right now it's going for 10,600. The auction number is 937 9666. How fancy are we? Look at this. 937-649-9666. If you want to get in and make a bid on this, it's a toy hauler. I'd get inside. We've locked it up. Uh, we're getting kind of bad reception out this far away from the place. We've moved other things in to talk about them. But uh, you can get more information. Uh, uh, I was going to say you get more information at the, at the website. No, you can't. You get information from me. It's a toy hauler. It's 2016, 2600. What? It is on the website. Okay. So you can find that on the website. Right now, though, the next two callers, first two callers, are each winning a ground blanket. Tim's in there to answer right now. So uh, get on the phones and call the prize line. That number should be on the screen. And you can still have a ground blanket. These are lined, so you can put them down. You won't get wet. They're about six, six by seven or, yeah, something like that, six by seven or so. So uh, good luck to you guys. Win that. I'm going to walk over and walk through the next, the next RV. You ready? You want to catch them both? Nice. That is talent right there. No, it's not. No. You threw it in my hand. <laughs> it was, it was, was no, the talent was my throw. That's what I meant. That's, that's, what the, that's where the talent was. Where are we going? Right here? Oh, I was just dropping off the okay. blankets. <laughs> hey, you ready? You got this all cleaned up for us? This one we're going, or you want to go over there? We're done with this? We've done this one? 
This is the 261, the one that we did the... Oh, um, oh, am I at the wrong one? I don't know. If you're at the wrong one, I'm at the wrong one. <laughs> I just wanted to get hey, you, is that what's on, the bottom get you of the on camera because you've been working so hard today. No, no? no? Okay, my gift to you is not getting you on camera because you've been working so hard today. All right, so this one here. Let's do this one. Okay. Yeah, so this one's going to be the 22 RBHL, the Heritage Glen Hyperlite. Uh-huh. Uh, Half-ton towable trailer, dual axle system on it. Um, I mean, everything that we've talked about, about Heritage Glen and the quality of them, light interior, things like that, is on this guy too, okay? Yeah. So this is just the Hyperlite version of it. A little bit smaller, compact unit. You're going to be able to get it towed around on a little bit lighter vehicles, you know, your half-tons and things like that, um, kind of your heavier... Um, I don't know if you want to call them uh, your Suburbans, stuff like that. Okay. okay so um, kind of a cool little setup on it. Uh, over top here, you do have your uh, automatic awning, LED light strips underneath it. You can see it's like the, the cool little blue uh, um, you know, speakers. speakers. Um, outside TV hookup. Um, you got the flip-up solid surface steps in here. Manual stabilizer jacks going on inside here. Um, you can kind of see what the inside of this looks like, okay? So oh. this is a couples coach. Right? Feels good again. Yeah. So couples coach on the inside, chase lounge here. Um, so as you kind of set up here, um, you can kick the feet up. And then also it does have a hook up here for your table that comes up and underneath it. Okay. So uh, pretty cool in terms of that. Uh, Heritage Glen does these, um, the 12 volt refrigerators because they are Wildwood. So Wildwood Heritage Glen does the 12 volt res refrigerators just like Puma does um, and Palomino line and things like okay. that. So um, pretty cool in terms of that. Um, you'll notice that this is going to be like a more uh, modern style camper. I mean, uh -huh. uh, everywhere you look, it's a barn doors, light interior colors, um, you know, dog dishes, shawl flooring. Um, I mean, we can go on and on and on about the interior options and designs and things like that of the camper. Uh, but a lot of people are buying campers like this just because of the pure fact that it's small, okay? Yeah. Um, this one's huge because of the bathroom back this, here. This is a big bathroom for a, a big smaller bathroom. RV. Oh yeah, absolutely. So it's gonna be a total of eight foot wide, okay? So obviously plenty of room here on the John. Um, and then a really big shower too with the pantry on the back side and then and also a bigger closet space as you flip around. So not many campers of this size have two different spots to store X, Y, and Z that you're planning on storing in here. And then a little hook for towels and then finally a little medicine cabinet too, okay? So lots of, lots of counter space. Lots of counter space in here as well. I mean, the biggest problem that people run into when buying campers is again, they buy them too small. There's not no storage. This, this, this. Everything's just small, right? Uh -huh. Sometimes people can't afford to pull a huge trailer behind them. So that option for them to go up in campers is not really there, right? Okay. So right. you just have to do what works for you at the time. But understanding and keeping in mind the storage, you know, availability, room, stuff still like that important. is still very important. Okay. So uh, just not limiting yourself, obviously, um, if at all possible. You're going to see behind here another great storage spot. Um, right there where yeah. you just opened it, yeah. Uh, a great storage spot in there as well. Yeah, that's, um, that's it goes all there's the way back the table the you're side. talking about. Yeah. And then there's the table I was talking about that would kick up in front of this uh, Chase Lounger style. Um, yeah, like I said, it, it's, it's hard to sit down and just like start pointing out one or two things that are like so important about this trailer. But, you know, at the end of the day, um, what I can tell you, deep farm sink, um, going into the... Uh, into the bedroom here, still plenty of room in here. And then obviously you still, it's a Wildwood, so you still do have the gas struts on it. You got all the little clothes hampers, big pass-through storage underneath. Um, you know, Denver mattress, which is super cool because basically that's the pillow top mattresses. Okay. Um, more of that luxurious style uh, in terms of uh, mattresses on the inside here. You can kind of oh, see yeah, there that. It is. Um, as we put this part down, you can kind of see, you know, pillow top style mattress on it. So. Pretty cool little setup all together um, for a camper, you know, a smaller camper. I mean, it's yeah, this is really nice. nice this setup. is nice this for, like you said, a smaller camper. For sure. Camper, it's still, it's still uh, roomy, especially right in here. Super roomy. Yeah. I yeah. like the idea that you can remove the the table and have the living room, bring the table in, and you have a place to eat. For in sure. In front of the TV. Yeah, right in front more. of the TV because that's pretty much what everybody does yeah. when they go camping, right? right. Is watch TV. So. <laughs> but, um, but yeah, so I mean, um, questions on this camper, guys. Um, I don't have my cue card in front of me. Got I got thrown in on this one. But, uh -huh. um, you know, price, weight, anything like that that you guys have. Um, as soon as I get off this video, guys, I'm going back in. Okay. Um, give me a call, 937-843-2074. You can call me. You can call my sales partner, Jen. Uh, we both pick up. That's our personal line. 
Um, but like in terms of price and monthly payments and all that good stuff, I don't have that one on this yeah. particular one. But obviously something that's very easy to find. So. Uh, and I would I would jump on it soon because we're we're yeah. almost towards the end of the night here. Yeah. So um, just kind of like a grand total, guys. Um, we've sold a ton of trailers. We sold a ton of trailers here. A lot of stock moving out. Um, we do have more trailers coming in. We uh, David announced 150 new trailers coming in ASAP. Mm -hmm. That's huge. Um, and then on top of that, you gotta have. Other, everybody else is running out of stock. Nobody else can get stock. You know, we were buying campers while everyone else was letting them go. We were putting orders in while everyone else was, you know, letting them go, yeah. cutting out them off. And then on top of that, we didn't let we didn't lay one person off here. That's what David this whole earlier. time yeah. didn't lay a single person off. So the fact of the matter is, we were prepared for the fact that this is about to be booming. Yeah. All right. The fact that we're running out of stock, it's crazy. Yeah, it's good. We're it's running good out of that. use. We're running out of stock. We're running out of everything that we can possibly sell. And so now we're all just looking at each other like, man, so now what to sell? Yeah, you right. know what I mean? Right. And so that's a good problem to have. But, you know, at the same time, we do want to make sure you guys get taken care of. We can only do that by you guys contacting us as soon as possible. So that way we can do that. Not a sales tactic out there. It's just really, we're running out of stock, guys. So yeah. um, that's kind of what I can tell you in terms of, um, you know, this camper, all campers that we have out there in the stock, out in the yard, things like that, orders are coming in, but they're coming in sold. You know, so that stinks. But at the same time, we're trying our best to help people out. It's awesome. awesome. We definitely are. But uh, I was just told that Rob, our our guy that won the five hundred dollar gift card last time and ended up buying mm -hmm. an RV, we just did the interview with him. He just won one of the blankets we gave away. Right, how can you win both of them? <laughs> I don't know. He's he's good, man. Uh, lucky. He's I need lucky. to get his luck. I tell yeah. you that right yeah. now. He's gonna play the lottery. <laughs> <laughs> we all uh, need to go do that with yeah. him. <laughs> all right. Uh, I think we're just going on to the next one. Perfect. This, yeah. This is. I really like this. That for like again. That, for I'm, the I'm amount of storage that, that yeah. you get on the inside of the camper. For such a small camper, is it's just astounding. Yeah, you know, I'm, I'm shocked. The that ability that to do that. Yeah, yeah, you know, it was such smaller. a small camper. Yeah. I mean, and then the, like one thing on the backside here, I'll kind of show it as we're like walking by, is this back flip down storage tray. I mean, how uh -huh. many campers have we looked at that have that? Yeah, you know, not many. Not a whole bunch. I think that and might so, be the second one we've seen. Today. Exactly, and it was probably another Heritage Glen Hyperlock. Okay. Right, and so this one right here, basically a flip down. You can bring your grill. You can bring whatever you need to to do um, the camping that you wish to do. Um, you still have. Very important stuff like black tank flush, cable hookup, water hookup, all that good stuff okay. on this camper as well. Great. So, super cool, guys. All right, let's get into the next one. Yeah, absolutely. Let's head over here and uh, what are you guys this up? Is one, this is the one that you're on in here. Okay, Take here we go. Oh, well, this one. This is one we tried to get in earlier. Okay. All right. So welcome back. Yep, uh, guys, this is the 261 BHXL. Uh, this is a great camper uh, for, uh, for a great quality unit on a budget. Uh, price on this guy, we've got a price on him of $14,760. Um, <laughs> you're right? Yeah. Great construction, um, great, uh, great space in here for the whole family. Let's take a look inside and check it out. Up here. So when you step in here, you're going to walk in straight into the kitchen. Uh, you know, you got your uh, you got your sink in here. Uh, got your oven. Now, if you remember our last video, this is significantly smaller than the last oven we showed. Uh, something like this, good for a plate of cookies, something like that. And then you got your standard three burner stove up top with stainless steel microwave. Uh, the couch we've got over here. This guy jackknifes, so have any guests over, um, any friends, family, things like that. Roll this guy over, lays down to about a twin size bed, couple kids, full grown adult, pretty much anyone can sleep on this guy. Back here, the, uh, again, another small tub. You got, you got little ones that need a bath, this mm -hmm. is a place to do it. Absolutely. Um, and you've also got the removable he shower head on there right. as well. Um, and let me see here. Another big feature on this guy, extra sleeping space for the kids, guests, things like that. You've got two bunk beds in here, 300 pound uh, weight capacity. Uh, let me see here. Should be, ah, here's what I was looking for. You have totes in the storage on all the storage in this unit something not a whole lot of uh, manufacturers provide storage totes. So this is really great for storage, uh, you know, hiding the liquor from the kids, things like that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
Uh, and again, another one that I've seen one of these today. I like that the sink is separated from the, the shower and stuff, so somebody can do something here while people are taking care of things in there. Absolutely. Yeah. And then over here, another big feature. Underneath the bed, not only do you have a whole lot of open space. Should we wait until we back over here? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Over here with the bed, not only do you have a whole lot of open space for storage underneath the bed, but they also come with these collapsible totes as well. So this unit for the size, for the quality, has an insane amount of storage. A uh, great unit for the entire family. Uh, whether or not, you know, big family, small family, uh, you got uh, your kids bringing friends to go camping with you, this can meet just so many needs. Yeah. It's nice. 14,000. Wow. It's insane, isn't it? Yeah, it's crazy. <laughs> You know, the, the same unit over at a competitor, uh, you're looking to pay almost $30,000. Jeez. So, I don't understand how they can do that. So, we just, at our house, we just bought a refrigerator. Now, the refrigerator is a little bigger than this, but it was, a, I think, a $2,500 refrigerator. Mm -hmm. And this whole thing is $14,000. It just, it blows my mind. I don't understand how that can happen. Well, when you, uh, when you do everything for your customer, you sell at an honest price. Uh -huh. I mean, this is normal for us. Wow. Yeah, this is good. Very good. All right. Well, thank you very much for walking me through it. No problem at all. Back out and see what else is going on out here. Uh, again, congratulations to Rob, the luckiest guy uh, at RV Wholesalers, winning, winning blankets and winning, winning uh, $500 gift cards and getting a brand new getting a brand mm. new RV for himself. He didn't win yeah. that. He bought that. Uh, I don't know what what do we got okay. going on next? Next we're going to step we're, up into this Columbus. Bringer. Okay. <laughs> All right. So one thing before we even step inside that I really want to really showcase on this, look at the storage in this thing. This is insane. You can it goes around the corner. Right yeah, there. you can fit an entire family just in this storage yeah. right here. Yeah. I mean, what? Is there any possible way to fill that up? I mean, what would you fill that up with that wouldn't be too much to put in this? You know what I'm saying? That's uh, you can take pretty much anything in storage like this. An inflatable pool. Uh, yeah. You know, any kind of lawn furniture you ever want to take. So um, much space. Bicycles. Um, yeah. Anything. That's good. Wow, there's a lot of room in there. A lot of room. It's really bright on the outside, too. If that makes any sense. <laughs> the, 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 I don't know. This seems, it seems very white. <laughs> I don't know why. It's, <laughs> maybe a lot of them have been like that. But the, uh, I don't know. It just seems very bright to me. I like it. Yeah, it really pops. Yeah. Well, let's uh, take a step in here. Palm trees, chairs, and rugs sold separately. That's right. <laughs> oh, yee, what's going on here? Here's something new. Yep, you've got a little wet bar in back here. This is, let me get out so you can see that. Mm -hmm. That's that's pretty sweet. That's Great awesome. place to keep the drinks, entertain the friends, any guests. Uh, you know, even to... Assuming that's... Yeah, you got to watch down, down here. Right. Okay. You wanna, we can do it. Yeah, let's, we'll close it just to see what it looks like. Um, yeah, let me let me run things. I'll break it. In a, <laughs> I'll break it before you know it. That's that's cool. That's I dig that. And then you know you got the kitchen island. Uh, really brings the uh, area together. Adds a lot of uh, you know. Uh, visual aesthetics to the room, uh -huh. uh, single sink or sta single stainless steel sink, uh, drop down sprayer on the on the on the nozzle. It's a decent sized sink too. Absolutely, and then you've also got uh, theater seating over here. Now, where this theater seating differs from any other you might have seen in any uh -huh. other unit, this guy is fully automatic. So, okay, no levers, no anything. Cups, the uh, cup holders all light, light up. Man. I'm a sucker for and that blue light. They have USB ports in all the cup holders as well. So right. sitting there on your iPad, glamping in true fashion. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> and then you've also got a full pull-out bed here in this sofa. Pull out all the way out to here, about a full queen-sized. Wow. 
Uh, and obviously, overhead cabinets more all storage. the way through. Nothing wrong with more storage. Yep. If you need more storage, though, after what's underneath this, mm -hmm. I'm not sure what you're bringing. But. And these guys, you can't see it because we take all the TVs out on arrival just to keep the TVs safe. But this guy will come with a 42-inch television. Okay. I got the sound bar down here. You got the, uh, I believe it is a, whew, I can't remember the wattage on the fireplace. Sorry about that. But you got the fireplace down here. More than enough to even, if you use the fire or the furnace to get the, get the heat in here, you can turn the furnace off, save on propane. You turn that guy on. Customers have told me it burns them out. It, yeah. It's so powerful. Okay, yeah. And we learned that last time, uh, last month, we walked into a couple that those were on. It, it does. It heats the place up. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. I, I really like the storage behind the TVs, too. Um, a couple things. Number one, it makes it easy to set up and when you need to plug in. I hate trying to reach behind the TVs at the house. Mm -hmm. That makes it a lot easier. But the storage back there, it's just, it's just more brilliant, brilliant space usage. Is that what I'm trying to <laughs> Usage of space. Uh, it's getting late. I've been here all day. I feel you. <laughs> now, over here with the refrigerator, um, this is a residential LG. Now, this guy's going to run pro only off of 110. So you've got to be hooked up to shore power to use a refrigerator like this. But with a refrigerator like this, we can get it unlocked. Look at all the space you get in this guy. Yeah, that wow. is insane. It's going to carry more than enough food for a couple weeks in here. Right. Now, this is something like this. This is for your full timers. Okay. I mean, you're really not going to need something like this if you go camping every other weekend. Yeah. You'll never be able to fill this up, okay. whole thing up for an entire weekend. that in there right and as you can see freestanding table and chairs just something that the manufacturer offers give it more of a residential feel more of a home feel you know a lot of people they like to sit down on real chairs sit down at a real table and enjoy their dinner yeah i do i like those it's 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 nice to see that as opposed to the benches i mean the benches are nice but it's nice to see real chairs. Absolutely, and these guys come with two foldable chairs as well. As you can see, they've got the extension, so if you've got the bigger family, you just pop this guy out, stick your chairs down here, and the whole family can eat together. Perfect. Up here, you walk straight into the master bedroom, king bed, sliding doors on each side. And storage. Uh, yeah, absolutely. Underneath the bed here, more oh, storage, the, and there are the chairs right chairs. there. Nice. And then, is this, okay, so I thought I saw the biggest bathroom I'd seen yet. I was getting this ready to is, say, this, this, this is the, it. yeah, this is wow. the number one. Now, me personally, I like a seat in the shower. Uh -huh. uh, I'm just one of those guys. So when nice I saw one. this, that blew my mind when yeah. I saw that. Here, let's get that out so they can, everyone can see what's working on in there. Yeah, and I'm assuming that obviously folds up if, mm -hmm. if you don't want that, but yeah. Wow. And the backsplash, the liner they use is beautiful. It's uh -huh. not that, you know, standard white plastic. Right. Give some, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Give some personality to the bathroom. Yep, and this is, this is nice. This looks, this looks high quality. Absolutely, and you've got two separate closets here. Well, it's all one closet, two separate entries. So this side over here, you'll be able to walk in, use whatever you need in this area. And this door right here, this is direct access to where you put a washer and dryer. Or if you did not want to use a washer and dryer, just more storage. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. I mean, that, that closet is big enough. I'm sure you could go in that door and walk straight through Absolutely. this side. <laughs> Absolutely. More space up here, more storage. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, this is this is good. I mean, it looks. It's just it's very roomy. It's very roomy. <laughs> I, I'm hoping again. I hope it comes across online how roomy this is. But there's three of us in here right now, and plenty of room. Absolutely. Yeah. I mean, I'm not a very big guy, but you guys. I mean, Drew. He's yeah. He's tall and Seven, he's. Three. Very good. <laughs> Seven, three. Yeah. Somewhere around there. Yeah. Yeah, he's super comfortable standing yeah. in here. 
Well, he's holding the, he's right now, he's holding the camera about at his belly button. And I'm, look, <laughs> and I'm looking up. So, come on, man, don't make me feel right. shorter than I already am. <laughs> Uh, all right. Well, I'm going to give uh, something away, but is there, I don't want to leave if there's anything else you want to hit. I like this too. This is nice. Yep. Yeah. Accent lighting, um, 12 volt fan. Uh, and you've also, we did not point it out, but that toilet in there, that's uh -huh. porcelain. Oh, it is? Mm -hmm. Wow. I didn't notice. Yeah. <laughs> that's cool. Very cool. All right. Well, uh, I'm going to go in and give something away. I got 15 seconds to get there. So from the time <laughs> I say, I'll see you in there. I got 15 seconds. We'll see if I can make it. <laughs> camera was already tilted down, so you know what, forget it, I'll just sit down. Oh, it feels good. I'm going to relax for a second. So here's what we're giving away. This electric jack, this smart jack, again from Lippert. Okay. Thank you, Lippert, for supplying so many uh, of the prizes today. We're going to give this away to the, I don't want to, because if, if we say like the fifth caller, do I have time to sit here and take five callers? Do I, should I get back over there? Should we just go for the first caller, the person that's on the line now? What's that? Hang up on them real fast. I can, dude, that's awful. Uh, you, you want to just go for the first one? Yeah. Okay. Uh, here we go. Caller number one. I've, James, please hand me the, the phone. I'd hate to have to pick it up myself. Hello? Hello? Oh, I think they, I think I lost them. Try another one. Hello? Are you hanging up on them? Hello? Hello, hello? Live television. Hey, somebody there? Hey, who, who is this? Hey, Ellen, how are you doing today? Good. Ellen, guess what? You just won something. Well, you just did. The, the curse has been broken. You finally won something. And it's the Smart Jack from Lippert to go onto your RV. Do you have an RV? Uh-huh. Awesome, I love it. Well, we've got you. Well, we, appreciate, we really do appreciate that big time, you guys watching all day long. Um, have you liked what you've seen all day? That's, that's a brilliant idea. What one, what one, uh, what one are you leaning towards? Uh huh. Okay. Awesome. And I, the big horn was nice. <laughs> that was nice. And when it comes down to it, who's really going to make the final decision? You or your husband? Be honest with me. It, it's going to be you. Yeah, that's what, that's what I was looking for. I assumed. <laughs> I love it. All right. Well, listen, Ellen, congr Ellen, right? Ellen, congratulations on the Smart Jack. I hope you put it to good use with a brand new RV here very soon. And, uh, you guys enjoy, enjoy, did you say it's retirement? You're, you're getting ready to retire, is that what you said? Yeah, well enjoy that retirement and uh, travel the world. All righty, I'm gonna hand you off to Tim, he'll get your information from you. All righty. Uh, I said travel the world, it's probably hard to travel the world in an RV, but you can travel the country in an RV and it's gonna be nice for Ellen with this smart jack from Lippert. Again, thank you to Lippert for supplying these prizes. Uh, this is going, we're going to ship this to her for free. It would be terrible to win a prize and not get it shipped to you for free. I believe I'm going to go to the next trailer here in a minute. I'm messing up the, the ground. Yeah, I'm going to just head over. So, uh, again, I think i got 10 seconds. I'll meet you guys over there. Oh, now. Oh, so I made it. I got over here so quick. We, we've been talking for 15 <laughs> yeah. minutes thinking you guys were watching us. Uh, that's how quick we are. All right, so what do we got here? This is the Rockwood 2902SW travel trailer. Uh, couples coach, master up front, living area in the back, nice pass-through storage up front. 
All right. Uh, outdoor kitchen. Outdoor kitchen. With the uh, the fridge, the little fridge here. Yeah, little mini fridge. Awesome. Oh, look how adorable that is. Look at those little, look at those little ice cubes. <laughs> uh, great. Plenty of, plenty of uh, room to put your your dishes as you're cooking and your what you're topping up. Again, I've got a video coming up soon and showing the cooking we did at the campground that my wife and I hung out with. The outdoor kitchen was one of my favorite things about it. Oh yeah. Should we go inside? Absolutely. All right. Yeah. <laughs> Showstopper. Yeah, I, I like I, everyone I walk into. I'm, I'm just taken back by it. This is nice. Tons of counter space. Yeah. Tons of counter space. Again, I'm still fascinated by the storage behind the TVs. Right. Uh, the fridge with, the, what do you call these panels? Raised panel. Raised panel, yeah. I really like that. I kind of want that for my house. I want it to match the walls instead of. Yeah. Yeah. And then what is, what is this funky little thing? Oh, okay. Lots of storage. Oh yeah. Lots of storage. Theater seating. Theater seating. Again, I really, I really dig the uh, let's lift off. The uh, heat and massage. Oh yeah. It's the way to go, man. It's the way to go. And then I was talking earlier. These we haven't talked about these enough. The little laptop. Yeah, I yeah. think every chair. I was telling uh, her earlier that I think every chair from here on out, whoever builds them, uh, should automatically have these on them. Mm -hmm. Right. That just makes sense. Oh yeah. Yeah. Rockwood is the only one that I know that has that feature. Really? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, this is the living area. Up front would be the master, and then you have your bathroom in there as well. I'm sure it's a enclosed shower, radius shower, no curtain. And then you have a nice little pass-through right into the master, too, so you're not having to walk down the hallway if you have to go at night. Yeah. I'll meet you guys in there. This should be a... Uh, King bed as well. Is that closet space behind you over there? Yeah. Place shelves. Might be closet next to you. There it is. There it is. I'm learning. <laughs> I'm learning. I'm learning how closets work. Room for your TV. Again, TV is super important. You sleep with TV on all the time. So we got room for that right here. TV backer. Uh, I didn't get to see the the bathroom. Nice. It's a good size sink too. Yeah, yeah. With the uh, with the the little bar for the toothbrushes and, uh, and that kind of thing. You can actually sleep seven in here if you absolutely need to. This will break I'm down into a sleeping spot. Down. Yeah, that will pull out right behind you there, and then of course the master bed. So it's good. What uh, what does this run? This one is $31,447 for today's sale, right around $245 payment. Our competitors are selling this over $52,000. So it's a. How do you guys even have competitors? Can you even call them competitors when they're that far off? No, I guess you would just say everybody else out there in the market, yeah. pretty much. Yeah. That's what's nice about being a volume dealer, just make it up on selling as many as we can. Yeah, that's good. This is a nice one. I like this. Yeah. I know I say that with everyone I walk into, but everyone <laughs> feels different although there's obviously similarities there's they mm -hmm. do, it feels different when you walk in yeah i want one of each <laughs> yeah it's hard not to uh, find a way for it to to suit your needs no matter what the floor plan is i mean they're all just super nice yeah lots of storage underneath these yeah the table is removable does the table become the table becomes the bed right yeah you drop go, that and, yep right down okay. there's some there's a lip down there it hangs on cool yeah great all right I know we've got a, a few more of these to get through before the end of uh, the end of the night. We got one back in in here right now. Looks like a toy hauler coming in here oh, right yeah. now that we will talk about soon. Yeah. Other than that, that's that's it. That's the Rockwood 2902 SW. And we only have a few left in stock. Can order it in for you as well. Um, but call in as soon as you can. Get them out before they sold or sell. Have I'm you been not, in there on the? Have you been in there on the phones? Today? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Is it crazy in there? Yeah, yeah. It's nonstop ringing. Um, yeah. Everybody on Facebook that's watching, they're calling in, asking questions, and buying campers. It's a great time. Love it. Great experience. Love it. I'm gonna go over and give something else away. 
Uh, <laughs> so thanks for hanging out with me. They're going to get this one prepped for us and ready to go. Absolutely. Let's go over and uh, let's go over and give something away. It's going to take me a little longer to get there because this is back in. I got to go around. <laughs> so I don't know if I don't know if I'm still on camera or not. I'm just going to keep talking just in case I am. But I'm going to get over here and give. All right, so here's what we've got. Let me get close. Boom, the Flomax. We all know. We all know what this is. This is if you're camping by yourself, and uh, or in quarantine and getting a little shaggy. What you do is you hook uh, hook this end up to your vacuum, and it cuts your hair like this. You just run it through, and it cuts your. What's that, Tim? I'm thinking the Floby. The Floby. That is not what this is. This is a Flow Max. Okay, so it's not the Flow. The Floby is the one that cuts your hair. I actually know people who use the Floby, and their hair actually looks halfway decent. It would surprise you how well it works. What is this? Flow Max. Oh, it's a water pump. Positive displacement three chamber fresh water pump. Somebody's going to win that right now. Uh, so if you own an RV, or you're thinking about buying an RV, or you're going to buy an RV, then call in. If you're not thinking about buying an RV, don't, don't get this unless you're just going to take it and resell it. <laughs> Buy this, I mean, win this if you've got uh, an RV. Uh, again, thank you to Lippert. Lippert is the company that has given us a lot of this stuff. Hope you guys are watching. We really, really do appreciate you giving us stuff to give it away. And of course, obviously, the people who are winning these are really appreciating it. You want me to figure this out? How does this work? I, so I take this, yeah. now that we're almost done with the night, and just push this button. Oh, wait, somebody's on the phone. Hello? Hey, who is this? Bonnie Harden. Hi, Bonnie. How are you doing tonight? Okay. Good. Where are you calling from, Bonnie? Vicksburg, Mississippi. Mississippi. Oh, I think I hear it in your voice. I think I heard it in your voice that time. <laughs> <laughs> okay. What What time is it in Mississippi? Is it Is it 9 o'clock or is it 8 o'clock? It's 8 o'clock. It's 8 o'clock. Okay, so you're an hour behind me. It's late here. I'm getting tired. But uh, one thing I'm not getting tired of is giving stuff away. And you just won, Bonnie. Okay. You just won the Flow Max. I don't know if Thank you, you. Yeah, not a problem. I don't know if you saw me talking. But this is not the thing that you cut your hair with. That is the Floby. Do not, do not <laughs> use this to try to cut your hair. Yeah. The, do you remember the Floby? Do you, do you know what I'm talking about? Yes, I do. Yeah, that was a real thing that I really knew people. Would you, okay, Bonnie, be honest with me. Would you ever use a Floby to cut your own hair? No, I would not. You wouldn't? I don't think I blame you. Although, like I said, I've, I've seen people who have used it, and their hair looks halfway decent. All guys, though, all the guys, have, they were all guys, and, and their hair looked all right. But uh, I'm getting off topic, uh, off topic Bonnie. Uh, I want to <laughs> congratulate you for winning this. Uh, thank you for watching. We really, really appreciate everybody watching the show. Um, it means we a lot to us. We watched it from the start this morning. What's that? We, we watched it from the start this morning. You watched it from the start this morning? That, yes. is, that is awesome. What do you think about the band, Trailer Swift? Oh, I love them. They're so good, right? Yes. Yeah. I'm, I'm hoping to get to Nashville someday and hang out with them as soon as all this craziness is done. We're going to make that happen. All right. We are going to try to get there, too. Yeah, we'll have, to, we'll have to make sure that anybody who goes down there to Nashville gets time to hang out with Trailer Swift. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Well, Bonnie, congratulations. I'm going to hand you off to Tim. He's going to take care of you and get your information from me, and we'll get it shipped out to you. All right. All right. Thank Thanks a bunch. Have a great night. Bye bye. All right, I'm gonna head over to I'm gonna head over to another RV. All right, it's fun giving stuff away. Oh, it's fun. It's fun giving stuff away, and it's nice this time that we. We figured out the technology so people at home can hear who I'm talking to. Absolutely. Last time I had to listen and kind of convey what they were saying. So. Right. Uh, yeah, we've got another one. XLR Nitro 407. Uh, great toy hauler. 
Nothing else like it on the market, especially with the front kitchen option on here. Yes, I said a front kitchen option and a full-size fifth wheel toy hauler. Um, just starting off from the from the rip of it. Price point, nothing like it. Sixty-three thousand seven hundred and ten dollars okay. for a toy hauler like this. Let's show you a little bit of the outside before we walk in. So we got the pass-through storage, full pass-through storage. You can put anything you need in there, anywhere from lawn chairs to picnic table if you wanted to bring one. There's enough room in this one here. So uh, also up in here, they do a good job keeping it open in the area up in the front so you have the extra storage so you're not having everything up in your living space. Okay. You ain't tripping over everything that you're bringing to camp because you can get a lot of extended stays in these. It is generator prep generator ready so if you want to go ahead and you want to stay off the grid you can do that with this run it off a generator if that's something you want to do okay. but let's take a look at the inside it does have both the awnings that come out all the way out outside entertainment surround sound all around outside controlled from the remote with the stereo option on the inside when we go in come on awesome. in guys let's go check it out <clears throat> So this is the front kitchen toy hauler, XLR. This is what I love. If you're married and you have a wife or a spouse, don't bring them in here and expect that they're not gonna buy it with the counter space in here to cook. Yeah. There's nothing like this in a toy hauler. Um, that's why they stand alone. That's why I'm so happy about presenting this toy hauler for you guys. The counter space in here, you, can, you, you have a nice flow. There's, not, there's nothing in the way to where flow of traffic if you're entertaining people, you have a nice little bar area right here to put your entrees out, easy to get to. Nice outlet so you can put crock pot, air fryer, whatever you might need. But aside of that, you got the nice inset cooktop. I like this with the nice backsplash. And then you can also use this as a pass-through window. So if you're serving okay. food outside, that's kind of like nice. Food truck. Yeah, you don't <laughs> have to go all the way outside. Huge fridge. Bigger than the one at my house. So, full size refrigerator, residential refrigerator. Cools off right now, you ain't gotta wait on it. Your food's gonna be cold when you get there and as you travel down the road as well. Great. The living space, huge TV. You got, like I was telling you, the surround sound is all throughout the coach, outside, inside options, uh, all remote control. Beautiful fireplace in the design. I love the interior in here. It's more of a, a homier look, mm -hmm. you know, they go in here, they do a good job with the wood flooring. It's not the tile look like a, some of the other toy haulers you see. Right. They kind of spend time and have taken the advice of their customers in the past and said, hey, look, you know, I'd like to make this more homey and livable okay. while I'm in here. Thomas Payne design furniture in here. There, in my opinion, in the market, there's nothing better than the Thomas Payne. Uh, that's what people are looking for in a toy hauler these days when you're spending this kind of money. You want quality and that's what XLR represents. I like the style of doors that they provide on here. They got like the barn theme, the yeah, barn style doors. I think that's like really that. cool. Yeah. yeah. It looks nice. But let's take a look in here. It's another big shower. Huge shower. There's space in there for, you can, I don't know, you can put three or four kids if you want to. And they can all take a shower. Hose them down. Hose them down. Lots of room as far as height. Yeah. Height wise. Come on in here. Going into the bedroom. I like this design that they look that they have in here. Yeah. You can close that all off to the front. Nice barn theme design. Uh -huh. Good, good exterior. Good it interior. It feels closed off. It, it feels does. Nice. Feels like a separate yeah. bedroom, yep. master bedroom, with the nice size slide that comes out to give you that extra room in here. You do have the armoire on the side, so plenty of room for storage if you're going extended camping. You have somewhere to put clothes. You don't have to worry about it all being up under there. These are locked up. Big cabinets in there for you to put your clothes in. Plenty of room for organization. Mm -hmm. But let's see what everybody's interested in. The garage? The garage. Ooh, more, more storage space up here. So. There is. Wow. I mean, you gotta be... Tons of storage in these. <laughs> they maximize all the storage they can. Even out here, if you look up here, tons of storage on the top, ducted AC throughout, washer and dryer prep. Um, so you don't even have to go nowhere. Your washer and dryer ready right here. 
TV for your kids. This is a full size bed up here that you can raise down up to 300 plus pounds can sleep on there. These also turn into beds that mm -hmm. you can utilize or you can just have it to sit and eat. Right. Out here, oh, this is nice, the outside. Having a second entrance is handy. Yeah. So that's really nice. Got the patio kit on these with the screened in slide doors. So you can keep the bugs out like we were talking yeah. about before. They were bad. Yeah. That but night they got bad. <laughs> but you still get a nice cross through breeze through there because you can leave it open with the screen door patio sit that we offer on this design as well. Um, so this yeah. is the XLR Nitro. Any questions? Yeah, I, I don't see David. So I'm, you know what, I could probably, I can, I've been watching kind of online. Let me, let me go and see what, uh, if we have any live, uh, any questions online. They're bringing a, bringing a thing in here. Um, like I said, the price on this one is about $63,710. You can get a payment of right around four fifteen dollars for something like that with us. Uh, you just had somebody said uh, that toy hauler is freaking sweet. Oh, this, it is. yeah, it's nice. That front kitchen, it, there's nothing like it. That's why this thing right here is going to be a dominant factor on the market today. So if you're interested in it, I'm telling you, the custom orders that you're going to put in here, it's not going to take long before we're going to get backlogged. I already know. So if you're interested, now is the time to go ahead and call in here and get with us. Double seven eight said, okay, that toy hauler is freaking awesome. And it, like I said, you, you, to walk through it, it's even even probably more amazing than what you're getting. It is. I, I wish we had more time to go through it, but I know we're trying to get gotta, through yeah, some of the other campers. I've got another one I'll show you, the Solaire. Really out here to the, the Puma out front. We have one out here. Hey, I remember when it was daylight when I got here. <laughs> this is great. The Puma? Who's doing the Puma? All right. This Puma right, this one over around the corner here? Yeah, okay. the Solaire. This one here. Oh, this, this, this is nice. This was the kind of, yeah. of I will have a video. I think the next video we do where my wife and I stayed out was at a kitchen. This is what you used like right this. here. It was yeah. Just like this one. Yeah. The conventional top. Uh -huh. uh, th these are nice. So easy to clean off when you're out there and, and you're utilizing your outside camping features here with the outside kitchen. But what they do good is they have some overhead storage for you out here. You ain't have to run in and out to get your pans or nothing. They actually provide you a space for that. Uh -huh. You got some extra storage in here. Good size good fridge size. out okay. here, not one of the small little ones. So they do a good job with that as well. Outlets as well. And as you can see, it's dark out here. So they provide you some lighting, which is really nice. Yeah. Awesome. Hey, I'm just getting, I'm getting some footage or some footage, some information. Uh, you were in the army? army? I was. That's awesome. Thanks for your service. Man. Hey, you're welcome. A lot. Thank you. Just got past Memorial Day. And, right. Yeah, that's, uh, yeah, that's awesome. We appreciate it. We really oh, do you're quite that. welcome. Thank you for saying that. So the inside design on these, I, I, I love the, the way they do these. For a pull behind trailer, there's nothing better. This turns into a bed, so this is nice. I don't know if you guys have seen that option. This folds uh -huh. out into a bed to sleep with you. Um, if you come in here, they got a nice corner kitchen in here, so it's not all up in your way. And if you look with this mega slide that they provide in the Solaire, you're not on top of each other, mm -hmm. where you got room to actually move around. So if you have somebody watching TV around behind here, uh -huh. And somebody's in the kitchen, you're not in each other's way. Right. And somebody watching TV, you're not. Again, there's three of us yeah. in this room and we're not crowded. Oh, no, not yeah. no, by no means. So then we all know about the dinette set. Turns into yep. the bed as well. These yep. are nice to have. They do a good job of maximizing the storage everywhere they go. Coming in here but to the bunkhouse. We'll take a look at the bathroom on our way out. These provide a nice bunkhouse area for the kids when you're ready to shut the door at a long night of camping or fishing or whatever you're doing out there. You can say, okay, go to your area. This is a beautiful area for them to spend time together. Has their entertainment center if they want to do that. Provides a TV. But the coolest thing is they got areas for their stuff as well yeah. in here to put your clothes up in there. The bunk beds, they have the teddy bear mattresses, which is very comfortable. Yeah. I'm sure everybody's mentioned that yeah. already. Yep, so. absolutely. Uh, also just got word that as low as the prices are now, mm -hmm. uh, through the rest of the night, they're going to do 250 off for veterans that, that are interested in buying, That's outstanding. Um, buying an RV. So like I said, as low as they, the prices already are going even a, a bit lower. So Yeah, give so me a call. I'll give you the best you. do I can, uh, especially if you're a veteran. My extension's 150, as per Timothy. I'll do everything I can to get you in the, the dream camper you're looking awesome. for. Awesome. Love it. Have we looked in here yet? I can't remember. No, we have not. We were making our way out. There Here's the bathroom area. It's got a nice corner shower in there so you can fit in there. Plenty of space. Yep. Ducted AC throughout. 
nice ventilation systems in here skylight for natural lighting during the day but what they have also is the nice windows pass through windows you can slide open mm -hmm. very nice camper out here we can look out to some of the outside features fridge a good size, good size fridge, fridge yeah. yeah yep yeah yeah and it's cool that i mean it's like any fridge though did we you move you can move stuff around i'm not going to do it but this can yeah i mean fridges that's obvious for a fridge but it's just something to think about when you look at fridge that might be absolutely like something like this is not quite as big as it's in your house so, but you can make it fit what you need to fit right on some of these cameras a lot of times people are looking for extended stays this does uh provide the washer and dryer prep in here for a washer and dryer if you're looking to have something like that okay. if you if you got a permanent spot you're camping at that you say they're all year round or whatever it is yeah you have that utilization if you need to do that but they also have great closet space oh, yeah. so and they slide both ways but it's nice that they do the mirror on the outside so it that you can actually have makes, something to look at and make and sure it you, makes it a little roomier makes it feels feel like it, yeah, yeah absolutely it does yeah so yeah this is this is good it is warm back in this one it is we, we haven't had the uh <laughs> so we step back out here this is a nice one this is very nice uh speakers outside entertainment Outdoor speakers yep yeah. led lighting throughout the coach a uh, huge awning on this thing, as you can see, it almost covers the whole oh, yeah. size of the camper. Wow. The outside kitchen is fantastic. We talked a little bit about that. That's always a pleasure to have. But this one has everything from the solar prep ready, um, anything you're looking to have, they have it on this camper. If you have any questions, please feel free to give us a call. Yep. We can jump right over to the Puma. I... Let's head over here. You got oh, it, my you man. Got it? Hey. Yeah. All right. Thank you, yeah. sir. Appreciate it. Hey, hey Eric. Also. Oh, really? Yeah. Awesome. Well, thank you for your service. Oh, thanks. That's uh, yeah, that's that's awesome. Uh, right now we're doing actually a deal. Any veterans that call from here on out, getting an extra two hundred fifty off trailer. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah we an already low price from you guys, knocking another two fifty off. So definitely, yeah. I, I I love being able to talk to another vet and uh, awesome. you know sharing her stories. I did eight years uh, Navy explosives wow. area, so uh, Thank you. yeah, that's awesome. It's been fun. I, in the comments these guys will go back and see comments let people let them feel your love that's awesome i love yeah. it all right let's talk about this all right so what we have here this is the 28 dbfq it's a very very awesome bunkhouse layout and it's awesome because it has two entrances it has one for the bathroom uh -huh. one for the living area as you see you get your huge awning with the led lighting as you see during the daytime you can't really tell but that at night, it really lights it up. It does. It's, it really does, and it's not overbearing, too. Yeah. So uh, what you also get underneath the awning is you get that small miniature outside kitchen. So that's got a, that's got a little cooktop in it, okay. and it's also, got, um, it's also got... It's also got... The dump? Oh, this one has the sink. This one's just the sink, okay. And then it's gonna have the, the refrigerator. Oh, oh yep, there, there it is. is. <laughs> there it is, okay. Uh, they, that's, they, that's pretty cool. Space saving idea. Yeah. Thanks for the assist on that one. Um, but yeah, definitely you're getting that miniature outside kitchen out underneath the awning. Uh, typically when you see these outside kitchens, they're out away from the awning. So uh -huh. this is kind of nice that it's underneath. Right if it's raining, you can still come out here, cook your breakfast, things like that. You still get your outdoor speakers. So, you know, on, off your Bluetooth radio, you can play all of your music inside outside or even both okay. um you know and it's got it's got a pretty good range on it. i think the puma you can range out almost 40 i think maybe even 50 feet on the bluetooth wow. uh radio so you can definitely get some range on that good. the one reason that i really like this layout being that it has the bathroom entrance say it's a little bit muddy outside you know the kids when they're coming in they can kick their shoes off right there in the shower and they don't have to track it all the way through the trailer. Gonna make gonna make somebody real happy that's gotta clean <laughs> exactly, this up. Exactly, exactly. So uh, that's that's why I really love these two door layouts. And uh, if you don't mind, which really? door do you wanna go in? Well, let's go in this one. All right, right let's go in this let's one. Walk in through the, the bathroom, let's go. All right, so it brings you in right here next to the bunks and into the living room. Now, um, in here, you're gonna be able to go straight to your sofa. That's a jackknife sofa, so that's gonna come down and you're gonna be able to sleep one person on that comfortably or two small children, depending on how you lay them out. 
Mm -hmm. um, and also, you get that huge 80-inch dinette. Yeah. And the 80-inch dinette, that's, that's, I mean, that's a lot. Six feet, you know, that's 71 inches. Right. I can stretch out on that thing. Yeah. And still have room. So uh, I like to call it the adult size dinette sleeper. You get, of course, you get your storage and everything underneath, mm -hmm. uh, underneath the dinette and everything stows up real nice. Cool part about this is the double over double bunks. Um, you get huge bunk. The upper bunk has a 300 pound capacity. I can sleep out. I can sleep on that thing. No uh. problem. And I'm, I'm a big guy. <laughs> uh, so, uh, of course you get your ladder to go to the top and you actually, um, and some models, I don't think this one does, but some models of these actually have, uh, storage, storage up idea. underneath. Okay. So, uh, I don't think this one does, but mo uh, a lot of the other Pumas that have this will lay out. Feels good. Yeah, duct <laughs> ducted air conditioning so the kids won't get hot while they're sleeping. Uh, they get their charging ports in their bed. Same with the top bunk. Now, you still get your uh, 5,000 BTU uh, fireplace. Nice feature for a trailer that's, you know, at this price point. And, um, you know, and you get your Bluetooth radio, surround sound. You got a big space for your TV. And you get your... Uh, uh, residential sized refrigerator. I believe this one is actually 10.7 cubic inch or it's an 11.7. Uh, it's one of those two. I can't think okay. of it off the top of my head. But leading into the kitchen, we have a nice little kitchen space here. So what makes it really great, and you may have seen these. I think you actually liked these the last time uh, yeah, you were out here. Yeah, I'm fascinated These by things that. have so many purposes. It's probably uh, next to the lights. It's probably my second favorite feature uh -huh. in all these trailers because, I, I mean, you can use it to beat your kids with. Don't, don't do that. <laughs> don't I'm just kidding. Uh, but you can, you can use it to, uh, for a cooling rack. You can use it to put your cutting board over top of the sink. Uh, you can do all that stuff. And this is kind of a standard feature that's coming in all, a lot of these trailers nowadays. And, um, uh, and you know, and, and over uh, your space, over top of the stove, it's actually pretty deep. You know, that's uh, that's probably about 15 inches deep in there. So, you know, you definitely have enough space. Uh, put all your spices, put all your dried goods up there, and you're ready to go. And, of course, you get storage underneath. Let's uh, check this out. This is a cool little feature. Uh, next to this, it's called the pantry. Mm -hmm. So the pantry, you know, you have eye-level shelves that you don't have to reach high. You don't have to reach low. It's really good ergonomically placed so you know being in a trailer like this you don't really have to try to reach things or try to stow things right so that's just they the bunk houses are very very family oriented they're super easy to stow up things super easy to sleep and that's why we sell a lot of them yeah uh heading into the bedroom here Now, somebody did the liberty of already showing you how much storage is in here. Um, you get this, and then you get that door. What's really cool in the thought is that you can open it from that side uh -huh. and this side. So, it's, they don't open the same direction. Okay. It's just the thought, right? Uh -huh. You know, that it's very easy to... So, she has her As side, you have your side. Over and, exactly. Yeah. And it's passed through. Mm -hmm. So, this whole thing is a big shelf up here that you can utilize to load up. Okay. Then you get your wardrobe with your uh, rod in there, hang up your things. And this one actually has what's called a CPAP uh, shelf. Okay. So if, you're asleep, if you sleep with a CPAP, mm -hmm. you can stow it right up under in that cubby and it's gonna be nice out of the way and you don't have to mess with it. Right. Um, so really cool. And of course you get, your, uh, you get a vent here. And also, I believe you can run a Max Air fan there if you okay. wanted to. Really good option. I really recommend the Max Air fans. Um, if you want to save on your energy, uh, you can run one of those Max Air fans. Instead of turn, you can crack the win the window over here, turn that fan on, and it's going to move a lot of air. It's going to yeah. keep it fresh in here. You're not going to get the camping and funk. What, and what is that called? The Max. The Max Air fans, okay. we sell them, we install them. I do recommend having the shop install them for, uh, it's a little bit of an additional price, of course, to right. have it installed here, but highly recommend nice. them. 
Um, if, if the trailer doesn't come with them from, from the factory, I always tell my customers, you want it. Yeah. Because it's to, it's a it's a good option all the way across the board. Okay. Um, so yeah, this uh, the 28 DBFQ. It's a really great trailer. Um, good hitch weight. I think it's about 5,800 pounds. I'm not too sure on that. You might want to give us a call if you really want to know what the tow, uh, tow weight is on this thing. Uh, but yeah, really cool trailer. We sell a lot of them. Perfect. And I see why. Yeah. I see why. It's nice. We stayed in the Puma, my wife and I. Yeah. We came down, we stayed in the Puma. Yeah. The, the, awesome. the Puma is the best way to get your family out for the cost effective money. Okay. Now, um, where we were talking about the XLR earlier being the cost effective toy hauler, uh -huh. this is probably the most cost effective loaded wise for a bunk model trailer. Okay. And I, and this is, it's super affordable. Uh, of course, you're getting that Palomino Puma name. They've been around forever mm -hmm. and uh, you know, and, and their quality has not changed. So really cool, really awesome. cool trailer awesome and then out here we got a electric stabilizer jacks on the front and back okay. that's just really nice you don't have to do any uh, hand cranking or jacking or anything like that it's just a really nice feature uh, just makes everything so you can get back to camping in a snap perfect perfect all right I think we're going right we're going right to the next one yeah yeah I believe we got a heritage Glen over here you want to check it out let's, let's hit it Boom, boom, boom. Another outdoor kitchen. Yes, this one's actually really big, and we're going to get to that back door in just a second. Okay. Uh, so this is the 356 QB by Heritage Glen. Forest River product, of course, as to be expected. It's superior quality. Now, you get your outside gas griddle right here. Uh -huh. Everything is on these nice slide. You know, they have a nice weight rating on the slides. You get your big deep sink out here, as well as your large outdoor refrigerator. Yeah. And actually, that's that's actually running right now. Uh, they didn't, haven't hooked, had it hooked up for long, but you feel it. It's already yeah. cooling off. Yeah. Um, so very efficient, made by Everchill, great company. You get your outside storage for that. Moving upwards, again, you get your outdoor speakers. Nice feature to have. You can play it inside or out or both. Also, what you see here, you get your ground control mm -hmm. jacks. So there's going to be there's going to be four of those, and that's just going to kind of help you uh, stabilize and uh, level to a point. Okay. You don't really want to level too much with those, but uh, you can very slightly. So moving up here, you get a huge pass-through storage. I believe they call this a Texas size storage. I may be wrong on that. Okay. It's, it's getting a little late. I apologize. <laughs> no, uh, I, I but totally yes, de that. definitely you have a nice battery cutoff switch right here. So if something were to like catch fire uh -huh. or anything like that, you can run in there, boom, cut the power okay. off. Everything's dead. So um, also nice little feature. There's uh -huh. a beer op opener in there. <laughs> That's always important. <laughs> there, you go, um, there you go. Yeah. So, uh, also cool feature, these all have magnets. They don't have those cheap uh, little latches uh -huh. that hook, it, hook up this heavy door. So it's all held up by magnets, super easy to put up, super easy to put down. Great. Uh, let's go ahead and inside. Has those nice solid steps, as I said earlier. Big yeah. guy like me, they really, really get a lot of benefit out of that. Now. Oh, this is open. Very, Yeah. very, very open. Now. You get your, uh, you get this uh, residential size refrigerator, right? Mm -hmm. It's nice and big. You uh, you can hold some pop cans here. You have your uh, produce rack inside, um, next to your nice Furion cooktop and oven. And I believe this one actually has the rack and drawer underneath, so that actually blends in with the oven. Smart, uh -huh. yeah. right? Looks For your good. part, yes, it really does. Nice little feature. Big deep sink, a lot of storage space. Uh, Heritage Glen, it's to be expected. I like the lights above. The yeah, the accent lighting. Yeah. You know, you really want to. You really want to set that. You know, that nice ambient vibe in here. You mm -hmm. totally can. And uh, you know, and of course, storage still goes back. This is about 18 inches deep back here. I mean, I can. I'm. Oh yeah. That I just now touched the. Got to it. 
Yeah, it's plenty of room. All the way, it's deep. Yeah. Um, so you can hold a ton of stuff in there, just m more than just your salt and pepper shaker <laughs> right, right here. Right, right. U shaped dinette. Um, I believe those are recliners um, that will, you know, they'll, they'll just kick back, recline back a little bit mm -hmm. so you can watch your big TV there. And um, probably the best thing about this trailer is this back here. Okay. This is the kids' sanctuary uh -huh. of all fifth wheel all bunkhouse right. trailers. Check it out. Oh, yeah. Look at how wow, big this so is. So much room. You like this is this is about the size of a king size bed. Yeah. That you can lay right here in the middle when it's all open up. These kids have so much room to move around. And they have a bunch of space right there behind you. Yeah. Right there behind you. They have so much. And uh, of course, this is uh this is the top bunk here. Uh, it latches up super easy. And it comes down with the teddy bear uh, mat mattresses on it. Super soft. I don't know if you can pe pe there. people that are watching, they don't yeah. know how soft no, these are. No, they are awesome. They're very every soft. Every time I come in, I don't know if people have seen them, but every time I walk in. Yeah, they just yeah. feel good. They, yeah. they're, I mean, them kids, I, I'm a little jealous. <laughs> uh, and, of course, they have their own TV backer here. They can run a 32-inch TV right in here. And you don't even have to worry about them. You know, you know that they're going to be back here. Kid safety feature has a climb up, hand, uh, like a hand grip, for when they when they want to climb up. Mm -hmm. A lot of trailers don't have that. That's a nice little feature to have. It has the roll down blackout shades, coat rack, outlets everywhere, and the best part is that they don't have their own bathroom. Wow! So wow. now it would take a little bit of supervision because that door I told you about when we were uh -huh. walking up. That goes right, right out there. the back. Okay. So, you know, I wouldn't leave them back Lock here too up. long yeah. to get too quiet. But right. uh, you do have the option that, you know, the kids, they want to go in and out of the trailer, uh, drop the muddy gear off right mm -hmm. in here, and change directly as soon as they get in here yeah. so they don't have to track that mess all the way through. Nice feature. This is one of few fifth-wheel bunkhouses that has a bathroom all the way in the rear. So that's a really, really cool feature. Uh, as I said, this is this is about as good as it gets for a bunkhouse fifth wheel. Yeah, this is this is a lot of this is a lot of space. It really is. I mean, we're properly we could properly social distance in yeah, this thing. Yeah, yeah. Like absolutely. we're all all three of us are uh -huh. properly socially distant right, right. now. So it's um, a lot of space. Yeah. Very very much wow. so. Very very roomy. Uh huh. Now. Moving forward, there is so much to see in these trailers. I mean, just a lot. Of course, you still get your 5,000 BTU uh, uh, fireplace. These don't just put out nice, pretty little fire. It's warm. Uh, yeah. yeah. I think last time you were here, you almost burnt your knee yeah, on one. They yeah. Were, yeah. Yeah. They're warm. They do get warm. Yeah. So, you know, if, if uh, you and mama are sitting right here, she could sit right here. Her feet are never going to get cold. Yep. Uh, with the with the enclosed and forced air underbelly, uh, you know it's she you you're not going to get a cold floor. Okay. Uh, so with that and that, you know her feet you're are going to be nice and warm all the time. And uh, nice feature frosted glass cabinets. Mm -hmm. um, let's move up to the bedroom. Uh, well, actually, I'm going to kind of backpedal here. Okay. Can I open that door? So. Pretty big uh, bathroom here, actually. Um, as I said earlier, when I'm walking through a trailer, these doors is always something that I'm concerned about. Right. Because my shoulders are wide. I'm a big guy. Uh -huh. So whenever I can walk in a trailer and I don't have to sidestep through mm -hmm. it, that's always something that I'm going to remember. Yeah. And Heritage Glen has those nice wide doors where you can get in and out and you don't have to worry about getting all cramped up. Two-piece shower, really tall shower head, uh -huh. so you don't have to duck down or anything like that. You get that nice two-shelf cabinet above your stainless steel sink. Yeah. Really a nice little layout of a bathroom. That's nice. I like these barn doors. Yes. Now, the, with the Heritage Glen, they really, uh, they really have capitalized on 
uh, the on the barn house feel. Mm -hmm. It's uh, a lot of people like it that rustic feel. Yeah. It just it, it feels like home. Uh, that's usually the first reaction that we get when we're showing one of these. Right. Is that they're just like, wow, I could live in this thing. Yeah. You know, and people do. Yeah. Uh, I know Absolutely. I saw somebody in the comments said earlier, he's like, uh, living in a camper is an RVing. I mean, it's very wrong. Yeah. Uh, people do this full time and, uh, and they, they cannot be happier. Yeah. Because, I mean, the last right. time we I checked, you can't, couple, you can't move can. a foundation. Right. You know, you can move this. Uh -huh. You can't move a foundation and a house on it. Yeah. So, really, I mean, the freedom to just live out your retirement or whatever and one of these things is just perfect. I just talked to uh, Bonnie, who they, she and her wife, or she and her husband are uh, close to retirement and plan on making this their next step. Exactly. Yeah. A, lot, a lot of people do that. And um, so with that, um, I mean, these things are very livable. I see you uh, noticed how big yeah the uh the walk-in closet is up there it's and nice. of course like the uh like the like the big horn we looked at uh-huh this has those shelves up front yeah now the big horn where that was at about a sixty thousand dollar price point i believe this one is actually uh is going to be less than 43 i'm if i'm not mistaken i don't have i don't have my cheat okay. sheet with it's me on, it uh, on the screen it, it's it's going to be uh probably right there <laughs> and um, so if I'm wrong, don't hurt me in the comments too bad. Uh, but anyway, that there's that. And I think, uh, does this have a washer and dryer yeah. prep? Yep. So, yeah, this does have a washer and dryer prep. And it has a nice little cavity right over here that is set out for a nice stackable washer and dryer that you can actually, you know, get a decent amount of clothes in it. Has a nice little bench there you can sit on to put your shoes on. Uh, of course, you get you get uh, nice deep drawers that uh, have nice strikers in them. Everything is anti-slam, of course. And uh, yeah, ducted. Uh, oh yeah, that feels good. <laughs> it's it's kind of warm out here today. Yeah, yeah. So. Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah. This uh, really cool trailer. Uh, definitely um, for a fifth wheel. This is going to be very budget friendly uh, for a fifth wheel. Yeah, that's that's nice. Yeah, definitely. And um, of course, if you have any more questions on that, you can reach me. My name's Eric. My number is 937-843-9000, extension 145. Or you can email me at elaroy at rbwholesalers.com. All right. Well, thanks, sir. We jumping into this one? All right. Good work. Thanks, buddy. Hey. All right, well, closing out the night with me. Is this it? Is this our last one? This is the last one of the wow. night. Wow. All right. Uh, let's, let's make it a good one. Yep, so we're going to end on a great one. This is the Wildwood 28 FKV. Um, we've got a price on this guy at $26,556. let us hop in and take a look. All right. So as you can see, this is a front kitchen model. Um, these front kitchens very popular right now. Uh, they give you a whole bunch of counter space in these front kitchens. Leaves a lot of the uh, living area and dining area leaves that very open. Mm -hmm. So family activities, things like that. Uh, you know, mom or dad can be over here cooking dinner, uh, not in the way of the television, things yeah. like that. Everyone has their own space. Yeah. That's 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 a good kitchen. Like you said, a lot of counter space. I like the counter space. It's important. And as you can see, a plethora of storage up, mm -hmm. up above here. Standard, uh, standard features, you got the pull down nozzle for the uh, sink, double sided sink. Uh, you've also got your oven, smaller oven, uh, and three burner stove. Stainless steel microwave. Nice, nice. More, uh, more storage inside. Absolutely. Um, <laughs> this is a Wildwood, so you got the, as you uh, can the, see, you got the totes. Yep. Yep. Something Wildwood does very well. Storage for everyone and everything. And this uh, this couch also jackknife, so you can use it as a twin size bed. It's such a simple idea. Those totes, a simple but and, brilliant idea. And you would be amazed at how many people just freak out when we show this. Like, oh my gosh! Yeah. Look at all that storage. Uh huh. It's good. All right, room for your TV, big old Absolutely. TV right here. They've already got the backer marked for you. Uh, sound, bar, or sound bar, 
fireplace, bathroom over here by the master bedroom. And then in the bedroom, I mean, you know, I'm going to show it to you. Yep. Under bed storage, <clears throat> a lot of open storage up underneath here. You've got four or sorry, five. Nope. Sorry. Four. I can't count travel <laughs> totes and uh, collapsible. So insane amount of storage throughout this unit. Mm -hmm. More uh, CPAP space. Whatever Absolutely. And around the corner, we have the, uh, another closet over here. Mm -hmm. And one thing about that Wildwood does that I haven't seen any other brand do so far, they make these special spots for the CPAP. Yeah. So rather than have it sitting out in the open on the, on a shelf or, uh, you know, trying to run a wire through your cabinet door, they have a space right there. You just mm -hmm. put it up, put the mask on your face and the machine is right out of the way. It's good. All right. And what, what did you say this one goes for? This guy goes for $26,556. Competitor, they're selling this same unit for thirty-seven thousand dollars, thirty-seven five. Eleven thousand more than what you guys are. Wow. Absolutely, that's crazy. All right, well, thank you, sir. I know we got through these last couple pretty quickly because we're running late, but mm -hmm. uh, yeah, appreciate you hanging out with us. No problem at all, and thanks to everybody who watched today. Yeah, absolutely. You want to give them your number so they can call you and uh, talk to you specifically? Absolutely. Uh, my direct extension here at the dealership is 877-877-4494, and my personal extension is 138. You're more than welcome to call me on my cell phone as well, 937-844-8511. Awesome. Thank you, sir. All right, we're going to head back to the campfire. Feels good out here. Yes, you're good to go. <laughs> so, how you guys and That's doing? the last one. I haven't seen you guys for a while. We're good, buddy. Yeah. We were hiding. Yeah. <laughs> Ah, uh, got it today. Yeah, I love it. Let's do. Let's do another ten hours. Not right now, though. Not right now. We, let's, let's take a break. Let's wait a little while. <laughs> yeah. at least an hour. Man, that was fun. Yeah, How'd it go? Well. Love it. Everybody's happy. Yeah, people are uh, making very good decisions for buying with you guys. I oh, appreciate yeah. that. Thank you. We yeah. want to thank all the factories too. Uh, too many to name, but man, we'll try. Uh, Wildwood, Wildwood FSX, Heritage Glen, uh, XR, the whole team, Sam Piper, Cyclone, uh, uh, Solaire. Yeah, Solaire, Rockwood. Who could Rockwood. forget Rockwood? They had a ton of them. Cameo. Uh, man, just, I, I'm sure we're forgetting a bunch, but thank you so much, guys. We appreciate it very much. Really thank appreciate you, you yeah. watching and commenting and letting yeah. us know you're there. Yeah, and all, all, the, uh, all the people that bought, all the people that are, you know, in the process of buying. We had some people stick with us the entire day. Uh, that, that means the world to us. Yeah. And, David, you did a phenomenal job. Oh, I want to thank you fun. guys at uh, Virtual RV Show because uh, we, we've already seen, like, three people try to knock it off. And it's funny how unprofessional, <laughs> uh, not to be mean, but, you know, they tried. But you, you guys do such a great job. It's so professional. Yeah. It's amazing, so thank you very much. If you, if you didn't get in today, the phones were nuts. Don't get discouraged. Okay, we're here tomorrow. We're here Saturday. Uh, just call. We'll we'll fix you up and get you taken care of. Well, what, yeah, what is today? Is today Wednesday or Thursday? Thursday. Today is Thursday? Okay. Yeah, so we got two more big days left in the end of this month, so just call us. Yeah. Yeah, and, you know, re remember, uh, w when you buy here, your, your family to us, we're going to take care of you. We're going to treat you well. And I hope you know, especially those of you that bought, what it means to us, because it means the world. Yeah. It really does. And, you know, with the current condition of our uh, country and the world with the things going on, uh, we really appreciate it. You guys, uh, our customers are amazing. We've had a record month, uh, biggest month in the history of the company. Yeah, history of the company. Not just I mean, a, a record May, but a record period for this company. Yeah, and, and 24 we, years is awesome. That's huge. We have a real shot at selling uh, the most ever uh, by a dealership in a month, so it's just crazy. So thank you all very, very much. It just shows that uh, we're not in as bad a shape as the media wants us to uh, <laughs> We're believe. making it. Yeah, but thank you all very much. Yeah. Yeah, speaking of believing, uh, what about don't oh, stop believing? Boom, what a segue. We're going back to Trailer Swift one more time. Don't forget these shirts. They're, they're not going to be around next time. Yeah, that's true. So 25 bucks for Trailer Swift shirts. Uh, we're going to close it out with Don't Stop Believing by the guys. Uh, 
you can't beat it. These guys are fantastic. Thanks for being here. We'll see you guys next time. For those of you who bought, enjoy, enjoy, enjoy your RVs. We'll see you guys next time. Thanks again. Yeah. Bye-bye. <laughs>